uh, even well, I mean, you, I just listened to you oh, literally said it crap. Is. Oh, yeah, I, I, I heard we're having blood sports, but apparently somebody named Tommy wouldn't show up. I, this guy, and apparently after me bashing him for 20 minutes at the end of his stream before he cut it, he goes, I like Andy and I respect him because he made fun of me. He says, uh, I'm not going to give Andy the time of day. I'm like, oh, so I went off on him. And then apparently at the end, he cucked out and said that he respects me. So uh, quartering. So what is the salt line you're referring to? Where was the uh, salt that was coming from me? Oh, well, it appears to me, at least, that you're taking this criticism pretty personally. But maybe that's just me not being fair. I don't know. But I don't really see a lot of criticism. Well, point it like, out to me how I'm taking it personally. Show me. Well, you shot a 20-minute video in response. Yeah, to faggots trying to ruin something fun. Yeah. <laughs> that doesn't sound salty at all. No, that sounds realistic. I hate when Redditors <laughs> stick their nose into something and then fuck it up with their dumb critiques that really don't have any bearing on what the audience wants. So, so who's a dumb faggot? Well, you'd be among them. You've said a lot of so, dumb fucking shit. So, so I'm a dumb faggot. Yeah. So, okay. So now we're getting to some high quality. Some high well, sure quality we are with your passive content. aggressive. Oh, Jim's being salty because what Andy made fun of your Magic: The Gathering game. Well, I After don't think you, you know said, what oh, passive Jim's, aggression Jim's, is. Jim's Jim. been Jim's been fair to me. But all, all of a sudden, Jim's got a salt mine because you read me talking about people in my comment section and thought it applied to you. Maybe that says something about your mentality more than what I'm saying. Well, your your tweet didn't say it was in your comment section, to be fair, did it? My tweet didn't say it was at you either. You read into it. Yeah, that's probably fair. So you're saying that you don't think I'm, oh, no, no, I, I'm a faggot. No, trying yeah, to ruin I, something I, you yeah, like, right? Yes, something no, most definitely. Something pure. I, I've noticed people like you like to use the we language a lot. Like, oh, we and us and stuff. You're not a part of this shit. You're not hosting blood sports. Who cares what your fucking input what you is? What do you ref uh, It's entertainment. Why would it have a goal in the long run? So, Jim, am I not allowed to have an opinion? You can have an opinion, but it's fucking retarded. So your, your analysis of what couldn't have been a softer critique is that I'm a faggot trying to ruin something? <laughs> yes. Simple. Yeah, that is my analysis. Yes. <laughs> well, that, I mean, that is my analysis, 100%. Yes. I, I guess I can't argue with that. I mean, that's some solid logic. Well, I know. I like to be sound. I like to use that rationalist, skeptical mindset. <laughs> that that's how I like to approach the internet. Yeah. I also thought a lot of the other things you said in your video were fucking dumb too. I mean, you went on about the. Uh, and it was uh, wrong for Andy to show Skype messages from Sargon. Why? It is fucking wrong. Why? Should he because be a bitch? Should he be he, a bitch and let somebody lie about, about me? A... He lied hey, about let me. me. Let, let me and Quartering sorry, have our talk. Sorry, Mute yourself. Sorry. Should he be a bitch and be a little beta and let somebody say something that's not true? So you're saying that there's no implied confidence when somebody's Skyping another person. You're talking, to fucking people on the, you're talking to people on the internet. Did no, you, did you I'm sign a fucking... Did you sign a non-disclosure agreement? Is there is there a privacy notification when you're DMing people? Jim, you're trying to compare like a public tweet versus a personal Skype conversation. I didn't say it was illegal. I said that it's immoral. So, so quartering, could I just make up a bunch of shit about you? And then if you had information that that wasn't true from private conversations, you would never use that. Have I before? If Hasbro or Wizard said Have shit I? about you and you had an email to talk about it, you would never share that because that's a private correspondence. Well, an there's, email there's from implied privacy, Hasbro, right? Jim, an email from Hasbro is not the same thing as two friends talking on Skype. You if, can't possibly how think of, it is. How much is of a friend argument? is he if he's going to lie? You don't even, he didn't need to show anything to prove his point, did he, Jim? According to your uh, mic is a little bit fucked. God damn it. I don't... And also, also, uh, me and him ain't pals. We're acquaintances on YouTube. That that's good, Andy. Mute mute yourself. But yeah, how much how much of friends would they be if he's going to lie about him in front of a large audience? Is that fixed? Yeah, you sound fine. Does anybody else have that happen on Hangouts? Like after hey, exactly Hangouts are dog seconds? shit. It happens Google a lot. You just have to refresh the page. Fucking awful. I don't understand why that. It seems to happen to me. Like at the must be an exact amount of time, like a minute twenty or something. It fucking glitches out all the time. So wait, how do I get angry again? Oh yeah, okay. So you're you're saying, I mean, I I think I said the wording used in that video is that is something I wouldn't do. 
I don't do that. I don't think that it's fair to say, well, you leak an email from Wizards of the Coast. That's the same thing as emailing or sharing DMs. I don't agree with that. That doesn't mean uh, I'm right. So, so what should agree. Andy have done? Just sat there and taken it? He didn't even need to acknowledge it, did he? Oh, so he should be a good boy and keep his mouth shut and just not acknowledge it when somebody Jim, talks shit about Jim, it. that's not what I said. This is What this are is, you saying, Quartering? What should Andy saying, have done in response to being lied about on a live stream by Sargon of Akkad in front of, like, fucking 8,000 people? What should he have done? He didn't need to show up. I'm not saying the guy should go to jail. I'm saying... he's bringing up criminality. What should Andy have done? That's, that's all I'm asking. He can address it without sharing private conversations. He did not need... Everybody in his chat believed him, and everybody in Sargon's chat believed him. That's the way it fucking goes with this shit, right? No, so no, then I nobody guess he had changed minds by showing he had proof. His that, that Skype conversation was far from proof. Andy, even, okay, I'm going to let Andy interject here because th there is one follow-up to this, and he mentioned it when you guys talked about it on stream as a follow-up. Andy, you had previous conversations with Sargon nailing this down, didn't you? That was the last part of like a three- or four-part interaction with him. Andy, this is where you unmute yourself. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Damn I went it, to Andy. <laughs> I went to grab some food and I'm listening on my phone and I'm like, fuck, fuck. And I ran back. Uh, sorry. What did you ask? I, I said that the Skype cover or the DMs, whatever that you had shown talking to Sargon about nailing down a Spencer and uh, him rematch. That was the last part of like a three or four uh, part interaction with him that spanned over a month. Was it not? Yeah. I say a month and a week. I asked and him. You, you had confirmations from not only him, but V that he was interested in doing it, that he was going to do it, that it was going to happen, correct? Yeah, well, actually, he was the one who told V to message me to set this up. And then I asked him, I think twice, and then I also asked V a bunch of times. And then when you brought it up on Kumite a few weeks ago, which was February, whatever, that's the last message. I'm like, hey, man, people are asking when you want to be uh, doing this stream. And then it, he said, fairly soon. And I was like, cool. And then when he was on Baked Alaska stream, the only reason I was pissed off was it's been like a month and a week of fucking uh, pure jerking around. And then he said on Baked Alaska stream, I never told him I wanted to, to talk to Spencer. And I but, was like, okay, that's. But not only did he acknowledge that he wanted to do it, he had V reach. He had V contact you to set it up. Well, you don't know that, do you? He did. Yes. You know that is, v, is v, v lying? I don't know. I'm asking. I'm not saying I know better. Well, that was the whole birth of the idea. So you're saying, like, hey, Andy, it sounds like you need to bring V on. <laughs> He's probably around. It was live. Hang on, Ann. I know no V was so trying to get it set up quite a few days on the Kumite a few weeks ago. Hey, I, don't, hey, I don't remember how many weeks ago it was. I have, to, I have to let people know. I know there was no date set. I never said there was a date set. All I'm saying was he wanted to speak to sense, uh, Spencer. And then on Baked Alaska stream, he said he never said that. So now that he says he wants to, fair enough, cool. You let me know when you want that to happen. Okay, but don't tell people you never said you wanted to speak to him because you did. Well, That's this it. whole thing is a semantic argument, right? It's the same thing where he said, oh, it's a debate. I wanted to have a conversation. Well, it's supposed to be a debate. No, the quartering. He said he never told me he wanted to speak to Spencer. That's not semantics. That's a straight out lie, right? And then when I brought I wasn't it up, wasn't there, Andy. I don't know. Then he was, right? and then when, and then when I brought it up, he was like, "Well, there was no date set." I'm like, "I wasn't talking about a date. I'm just talking about you saying the original point." And he's like, "Well, that's not a promise." I'm like, "But that is a commitment." But fine, whatever, cool. Mm -hmm. Now let me know when you want it to happen. Don't tell people. That's like you saying, "Hey, Andy, I want on your show." And then you saying on your show, I never said I wanted on. And then I go in front of everyone, well, you did say that. And you're like, I didn't set a date. Hmm. I'm like, well, yeah, I know we're talking about dates right now. We're talking about you just wanting to just be on generally. No, Don't, I get it. it. I, I understand that you wanted to prove that you were, in your opinion, you were telling the truth or whatever, right? Yeah. But yeah. I'm saying it's just a different set of standards. I'm not saying it's worse. I'm saying I've been in the position before when Boogie was fucking ass blasting me. Did I release his Skype conversation? No, because it's just not fucking worth it. Being right is not the end all be all. You could have just said, in my opinion, okay, whatever. You're I'm lying. sorry. No, no, no. Hang on. When I'm, my job 
is this. So when you slander my 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 job, basically that I can't set up debates or I don't know how to talk to people. Like, look, it's not like he yeah, was. Like, is that what he was saying, Andy? Is that what he said? Yeah, but he's making me seem like I'm lying when I'm setting up debates, which makes me look bad. But don't most it's of your fans call him like Sar- Sargoy or something like that? Like nobody, nobody in your base gives a fuck about what he has to say, don't you think? Uh, I wouldn't say all. Uh, that's convicting the loud minority for the majority. Is it? Okay. I mean, I'm reading chat and all I see is, you know, nonstop puns on. So I don't think they uh, really give a shit. Well, yeah, oh, that's like, the oh, people who are in the in chat, chat, though. Chat? Hold oh, on. No. Hold on, though. That's the people who are in the chat. That's kind of reflective of the thumbs up, thumbs down ratio. A lot of people just like to watch. Yeah. Okay, fine. So you would say that you think it was imperative for you to. I mean, I'm not saying you did. Like I said, I wouldn't have done it. That was literally my point. You, if you watched the video, I couldn't have been kinder about it. It's not like I called you an no, asshole. It's fine. It's, fi- it's fine. I know. I said I don't share personal conversations that I don't think other people should either, especially if it's just. Can, can I? Can I say right? something about that real quick? Slander. Hold on, I real quick, you. Andy. Andy, I I do have an objection to that. You said you don't release personal conversations. Yeah, I would prefer not to. Yeah. Oh, well, you said that you didn't. I did, oh, I didn't. Say I'm not. I'm not going to talk about uh, the Magic the Gathering thing. There's a there's a conversation that V talked about you releasing between yourself and Boogie. That would be a private conversation. Never really. released it. V is pissed off at me because I didn't. Oh, I thought you like gave. Yeah, he yeah. said you gave it to him or something. No, we were on a we were on a uh, playing a game, and Boogie was fucking blowing me up. And I said in the game, Boogie's blowing me up, and he wanted me to release it, but I wouldn't because it's just not worth it to be right to me. I mean, it would have been very damaging for him. But what's the fucking point? Just to make him look bad? Like that's just. That's no point to me. Yeah, but hang on. There's a difference between what he did and he me made a show- video. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Me showing one message saying, "Yes, fairly soon." It's but what like, you say? Yeah, okay. It's I not mean, like well, he's fucking yelling question. at me or anything or swearing or it's damaging to his. It's just him. It's just me proving that I am saying the truth. That's all it was. And to be there clear, was- you know, I don't think Sargon whatever that video was where he showed uh, Coach Red Pill's docs or whatever on that website, I think that's fucking stupid too. Like, I, I, I don't think... message sent him, him saying fairly soon, much different than a docs. And also, he was making me look bad was, in front of 8,000 people. So fuck him. So and it wasn't Boogie uploads a video. So it's just a different set of standards is all, right? Yeah, so Boogie fine. uploads a video to what? Three million people? He probably has a couple hundred thousand active out of that just shitting on me and I have the opportunity to, to be right, but I don't do it. So I am just saying I live by my own standards. Okay, I'm not, so, so, it sounds okay. douchey, but I'm not yeah, like, I, I, would do what do, you do. I would release it if, if it was in front of 3 million people, fuck them. But I didn't. I'm just saying, I don't think it's worth it just to be right on the internet. I, well, it's, I, I think right my, or wrong. my name and clearing my name is, is, is more important. Yeah. Okay. So you're saying you felt like it was necessary and that's fine. Yeah. Yeah, I disagree. Right. I don't think anyone gave a shit that Sargon was waffling on whether or not he said it was a debate or a conversation or if he had officially yes. agreed to it. He came on the first time, didn't he? I, I mean, I'm not privy to these personal conversations. I don't want to be like V and Quartering, quartering. Yes, he did come on the first time. But don't tell 8,000 people that you never spoke to me about that. And then me show one message that obviously proves you're wrong. And then change the goalpost saying, I, I was talking about the dates. That's it. Yeah, I know that you view that message as, as uh, vindicating and maybe you're right, but it read to me as like, a, yeah, sure, when I get to it. That's how I read it. Yeah, and, and he said on Baked Alaska stream that yeah. he never spoke to me about that. Is that what he said? I never spoke to you? Yes, yes. He said, I never said that. I never said that. I never said that. Then I hop on and then I'm like, look at this message. And he's like, I didn't say a date. I'm like, I'm going to talk about fucking dates. Talk about you just generally being on. Okay, so, so could you... If he doesn't on. want to be on, whatever, I, wa- I would like him to be on. That would be a very awesome round two. Plus, he's the one who brought it up. That would be cool. I would want a round two if I were him too. <laughs> huh? I said I would want a round two as well. Yeah, but... no, exactly. And it would be very uh, fun and interesting. So I was down for it. Uh, but don't like head on in front of 8,000 people and say I never... But, 
I'm done with it. If he wants to come on, send me a date and cool. That's it. That's that's it. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not I'm not in his head, right? I'm just saying yeah. could have come on. Like we're not gonna agree here, and that's fine. My point is just that you could have come on and said, Look, Sargon, this is what you said. You didn't need to expose I him. could have done a lot of things. Sure. Yeah, I'll, sure. I'm a you different person than you could have bombed so. him. Or huh? you could have flew a plane into his building. Exactly. Right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. There's a lot of things I could have done. Okay. Uh, you get that out of your system? No. I'm just like, go, go ahead. I'm going to make some food. Back to the corner. Yeah, but uh, if I were in Andy's position, I'm not going to let somebody fucking <laughs> run their mouth and make shit up. And then if I have evidence that they're making it up, not use it. That's ridiculous. Yeah, I mean, that's fine. That's certainly you're right. But I, you, you, would, you would say that, that when you're having a... Right. So I, I don't know anybody that would allow somebody to <laughs> blatantly lie about them. And if they could easily prove that it's a lie, not use that I mean, evidence. Far, far more people would not do, would not release personal Skype conversations to win a gay ass internet argument. Really? Far more, you think yes. far more people would allow themselves to be lied about if they could easily prove it was a far lie? Far more people don't give a shit for some, about for internet some drama. Weird, for some weird thing. What, what, you keep saying internet drama. So he's, he's lying about him. That's just internet drama. If you people make sure like that's it was... just internet drama, you're going to let it slide. You're not going to respond. No, but you're acting like him. Whether or not he hard agreed to coming on the show was some slight at Andy's reputation. Well, no, you're making it sound like it's some moral quandary to be able to be like, "Yeah, this guy's full of shit." Look, here you go. There's the evidence that he's full of shit. My point it's is that. Quandary. So, Jim, if I know your real name and you mm -hmm. and I said this is Jim's name, and you said no, it's not, and I just published it on the internet, you're like, "Oh, that's cool." You told it to me in a Skype chat, so it's fair game. It's on the fucking internet, right? You could do whatever you like, man. Oh, okay. So you would be okay with that. Quartering, if you want to try to dox me, go ahead. Oh, okay. So it's about doxing. My point is that when you You have... just said, if I know your real name and I want to release it, let's well, not try... dance around what you're talking about here. If you want to dox me, go for it. Knock yourself out, quartering. Well, I'm, I wouldn't do that. That's not my standard. But I'm saying, you, you would, your argument is that when, let's say we are on Skype, whatever, together, that what we say together to each other on Skype there's no kind of unwritten rule of uh, what's the word I'm looking for, uh, uh, you know, like privacy. You think that everybody, it's a Skype conversation between internet personalities, whatever word you want to use, that it's just like, it should be assumed that this shit just put, get, can get published at any time. You're, you're comparing some really weird shit here. He, he had somebody say a lie about him, and he proved with a simple conversation, a screen cap by showing it that that wasn't true, to releasing personal information. I, I, it feels like you're grasping at straws here. Again, it's not a moral quandary. If somebody makes something up about you and talks shit about you, and you have easy access to information that shows that they're full of shit, who in the right mind wouldn't use that? What what me? kind of what kind of soy mindset would that be? It just seems weird. Why to is me. it a soy mindset? Because you're to... being a little beta bitch and letting people run over <laughs> you when you don't right. need to let them do it. it it's, well, it's I'm calling being... it what it is. That's that's what it is. It's being a bitch. It's bending a knee for no reason. What is bending a knee about not feeling an endless, unsatisfiable need to win every argument in life? You mean defend yourself against somebody against lying about what, you? Jim? Defend yourself against somebody lying about you. What and is what, difficult what, what, what for you to words? understand about that simple statement, Quartering? How were how was Andy's business, as he puts it, affected by Sargon in any way? You mean how it blew up? How, how would a guest that's coming on a show saying that the host lied about or private communication setting up a date to come on, how would that affect his business? Yeah, Shit, I don't know. How, how, how would way. somebody saying that the car you sold me from your used car lot exploded? the fuck are you talking about Has if Andy's had running a business and his, on. and his live stream is his show <laughs> and sargon is a potential guest telling people i never talked to the host he's making shit up it's probably going to adversely affect his business when other people say i don't want to communicate with andy worski he's a fucking liar sargon of right. god told me that, that, he happened, that he never that set happened? up how is that what the fuck oh are you talking god. about that just did happen where what what who backed out because of because of what sargon because said. i came on and I showed that he was lying, people knew instantly that he was bullshitting. If I didn't come on, people would think I'm a liar, therefore potentially ruining future shows. And don't compare doxing someone's name to showing a message that says, yeah, I'll do it. 
Fucking God. Well, Jim says it's fine, right? If Jim tells me his real name in a Skype chat and I have to win an argument. Doxing is different than going like, no, he said yes. Yeah, he did say yes. I know. I said, he said yes. So don't compare fucking doxing. <laughs> I would I'm never not compare it. Maybe, maybe that wasn't it. So if I showed a message a... that had someone's name on it, I'd probably blur out the fucking name. You would. I'm sure you would. I that's yes, probably not a great example. It it should have been something more sensitive, but not a name, right? That's that's probably a bad example. It wasn't to win an internet drama argument. Oh, sure it was a blatant lie. Quartery is a fucking lie about how I if run I go my back fucking and business. To that stream, you guys hash yes, it out, go ahead. right? He said, I didn't say that. Here's a message that says, yes, I did. That but makes it, me look hor horrible. Yeah, but I, you know, I remember watching it. Maybe I need to go back and watch it again. But when I was watching it, here's what I heard. I never agreed to that. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Yes, I did. Like, it wasn't that he was blatantly ever denying. It was oh a 30-minute semantic Am I crazy bullshit. right now? Am I crazy and what you right showed now? was more semantics, right? He wasn't saying, if you would have showed, oh, yeah, I'll be on Friday at 7 p.m., that proves your argument. Not sure when I get to it, mate. Or whatever the fuck it was, right? Are you kidding me, dude? No, do I sound like I'm kidding? Like, like I don't know why you're fucking virtue Jim. signaling about me showing a message that said, yeah. What do you mean? Jim brought it back up after you were done talking about it. I was responding to him. I don't give a f you can share whatever you want, right? I would he, only if you're gonna ruin me in front of eight thousand people. When no, I can now he ruined you. It, when I, well, it makes me look horrible. Come on, yes. you're being a, you're not saying you're being a, a bit hyperbolic at all. You're completely fine. Not ruining me. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm just kind of pissed right now. When he's trying to okay. make me look like a liar, I apologize for exaggerating. When he tries to make me look like a liar, and he's been jerking a, a, me around for a month and a week in front of 8,000 people. Yeah, I came in a little bit hot yeah, yeah. and I showed the message. If I don't you think don't I want to show messages, that's fucking fine. That's cool. If, if that's not what you do. But that's but, all I said, Andy. I didn't say, okay. I, that's okay. all I said in the video. But, but, but you keep saying why, why, why right now. And my why is you made me look bad in front of 8,000 people. Here's well, a message that proved you wrong. And then you change the goalpost. Now we are where we are. That's it. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I felt okay. like I said what I, you know. Done. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. I was done with it the first time, but I was just responding back to it. Like, Andy, you should check your DM real quick. Did you get your boy, Tommy C? You want me to jump off? Oh, fuck. I doubt it. That guy's never going to come on. He was going nuts early. He's drunk as fuck. That girl was on a, on a roll. I never heard so many motherfuckers in a seven-minute span in my life. I verbally beat the ah. shit out of him. Get your fucking ass on here. All right, Corner. Hi, Jim. Yeah. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Joy, Joy, quartering. Yeah. So you would never, ever in your entire YouTube history ever show a private message. Is that what I said, Andy? Because this is the this is the blood sports gotchaism, right? That's okay, not okay. what I fucking said, man. Okay. Okay, then what did you say? He said he wouldn't do it to win an internet argument. Okay. And if I did, it was a mistake, right? This is the oh. whole gotchaism that I even talked about in the video, right? Show me a fucking screenshot of me showing something. Go ahead. Uh, you I actually tweeted out publicly showed... so I can retweet it. No, I, I'm, I'm not going to send any personal information from other people. I don't know what the argument is about. All right, now, hold on. I don't run like that. Now, you hold on. You label, it a, <laughs> you label it a gotcha, but hold up. You label it a gotcha, but don't you think, I mean, when your argument is, it's a double standard for your, for Andy and not someone else. Don't you think that's a double, you applying a double standard and not him? No, that's not my argument, though. That was my, what you were saying my, earlier. All right, I'll, I'll give you a chance to clarify it up, but that's no, no, what I was I'm understanding saying, is that... I don't, yeah, so if it's a Skype conversation, I don't think it should be shared. Doesn't mean I've made that, I've, if I made that, if I've done it before in the past, it was wrong then too. Is that fair to say then? Better way to, to unless it's to save somebody from like physical harm, in my opinion. Like, I believe I shared one with the cops when I thought someone was gonna commit suicide. But no. I also did, you know. It's another that, internet argument, so never mind. What's that? Oh, okay, so I get what you're saying. You're saying 
people shouldn't share messages, even though you may do it from time to time. You still I shouldn't do it if I do it either. Right. I shouldn't be doing that shit. It's not, Fair. I feel like at least with Skype and DMs, obviously if it's like on Twitter or whatever, who gives a shit, right? It's already public. You did say you wouldn't do it at some point. Yeah. 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 I would. I mean, right. I did say I sh- it shouldn't be done or something no, like that. No, I didn't no, say I no, never no, did no. it. No, no. Earlier you said you wouldn't do it. Yeah, I would not. Now I, you wouldn't. I would. I did. God damn it, Andy. Right. I, I'm not. I, I'm just trying to be like. Just. I, I want to iron everything out. You said you wouldn't do it. It's not. You, it's not cool. Not, okay. If, if you want to now. call me beta for saying it's not cool, then that's cool by me. You know, that's fine. You should. People should do whatever the fuck they want, right? But I feel like if I'm DMing, some, DMing somebody, I feel maybe maybe other people don't feel the same way, but I feel like there's there's some unspoken rule of like this is private for a reason, right? Is that why you released his DM, or you mean like right now you wouldn't release it? Now Who's DM? it's not cool. Who's it DM? Like, it was a message between you and uh, some guy. <laughs> some guy. Give me some. I, I, give me I some have guy. it right here. I have it right here. Okay. Uh, let me give me some. Give me a hint. Uh, does it have his name? Uh, an MTG subscriber of yours, and I share their DM against their will. Maybe his, they, name, some... his name may start with. It seems like J. you had J. caught him in something. With yeah, the, his name starts with J. Oh, I don't know. You have to. You have to maybe tell me later or something. But I'm not saying I've never done it before. His name starts you. with J, ends with Y, and rhymes with Toey. Are you that. talking about fucking, uh, hold on a second. I'm going to send you a name. That's cool though. I understand. I shouldn't have probably done no. that either, right? I, if this is who I'm thinking of, what is his fucking name? Wait, no, no, it's not Joey. It's not Joey. Everyone. Stop running Joey. That's not what I said. Yeah. <laughs> I thought Joey. he said Joey. No, no. It, but, but it wasn't Joey also. <clears throat> wink, wink, hint, hint. Ixnay on the real Joey name, eh? Jesus Christ, Andy. That was good, right, Tonka? Nailed oh, it. Nailed, nailed it. it. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Thanks. I was just... Anyway, that's all I wanted to, to, to do a little step in there because I just found it. Yeah, yeah. So, I don't know. Yeah. I sent you irony. Email. Irony. I love irony. Well, it's not irony, right? It's It would be... Uh... Wait, um, uh, no, never mind. Go ahead. <laughs> check, check a DM. Is that who you're talking about? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, I don't know his real, I actually can't think of his real name, but is that I know his real name. name. Starts with J, ends with Y, and Y. Oh, Jesus Christ. And Bowie. <laughs> Bowie. I think he's public about his name, but. There's really no point to bring him. No, no, no. You showed his entire, like, a big message thread between you and him. Through, uh, I don't, I don't no, think it wasn't me and him. It was me and somebody else who he, somebody else shared his message with me. But yeah, I shouldn't have shared that either. It's fucking stupid. Didn't need to. The, the, uh, he was, uh, I, th- I don't know. I don't know if I want to get into it. But yeah, if I, I know who you're talking about and I probably shouldn't just share that either. I think mm-hmm. it turned out that that message, Facebook message thread might have been faked too. I didn't really know people could do that back then. <laughs> yeah. So. But I think somebody went and edited it because I don't know. Yeah. It's uncomfortable now a little bit. It's a little bit For harder. me? Yeah. No, I'm very comfortable. <laughs> okay. Okay. Cool. People, I mean, Andy, people make mistakes, right? I me mean, too. I make mistakes every day. I, I, you know, I shared that shit because the guy was faking videos uh and and i shared that because some some guy lied about me <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah we can i mean yeah i shouldn't be so we are allowed to share things if people lie is what you're saying no i'm not i'm okay. saying okay, no, when i right. shared it, it was a mistake and i shouldn't have done it i don't put words in your mouth <laughs> that's why i corrected it You're gonna well, kill that table. This is this has been a fun conversation. So, Billy, what do you think? What's your thoughts on uh, the whole sitch? 
again, if somebody's fucking, if somebody's fucking with you or lying about you or whatever, and you can easily prove it, uh, is not the case. I, I, I don't see the fucking issue with doing so. There's this it, weird it's really politeness. Weird to me. It's yeah, like they're people are polite people on the internet, that. right? You know, like, oh no, oh no, my YouTube friends. Oh, but oh, they're the not even the friends. Twitter club aren't gonna like me anymore. Like, what the fuck yeah. are you talking about? I'll never get my blue check mark now. <laughs> Holy shit! I and I mean, those <laughs> just I don't. I I I'm a, I guess I'm from a different fucking part of the internet. I don't I don't fucking know, man. Well, yeah, but that's okay, right? I mean, what's okay? That, I mean, I'm not saying you can't have your opinion. I just, I don't share. I, I'm not saying you can't have yours. I'm giving you my yeah. opinion on your opinion on my opinion. See, it's like the commentary community used to be, a commentary on a commentary on a commentary, but we switched it up a little bit. Now yeah, we've now got we a live go, chat and viewers. Yeah, we have to, um, in, Inception c c commentaries. Uh, so nobody nobody thinks that it's, I mean, so there nobody would agree that, I don't know how many people are even on here. I'm not watching the screen, but nobody would agree that when you're skyping somebody that there's any unwritten rule there that you you know. I wouldn't agree that no, no, no. when someone's lying about you, I think it. I think that all bets are off when someone lies. About okay. You. I, I assume that every private conversation I have with somebody is going to be published eventually. That's yeah, you mind. do come from a different school, though. You come from like an era. I'm just you know an era of fucking Gamergate and sh doxing and all that shit. So I don't, I'm not surprised to feel that way. The yeah. era of sounding the alarms over everything. <laughs> you know, I just, I don't, I don't fucking trust shit. You said earlier too, you thought I was just sticking up my, for my friends. Listen, I like blood sports and, you know, Tonka and Andy are okay and stuff, but we're not friends. We're not, yeah, had sleepovers together and doing barbecues and shit. I don't talk to them on the phone about the girls I like. We're really? not friends. I, I just watch their streams. Yeah. I've got I've got about five people that I would consider online friends that I've known for a decade, so maybe in ten years, Andy and Tonka and I will go and hold hands at the park. But until then, it's going to be a long fucking wait. If, All right. if we're really friends, we're not going to the park. Oh, we are going to the park. God damn. And you're going to wear your YouTube uh, belt, and we're going to wrestle in front of people and make them think that somebody put acid in our Kool Aid. Oh. <laughs> oh. Uh. Well, that that's the thing. Like I've talked to. Uh, Billy, like maybe twelve times ever. Uh, like I, I hang out with Andy some mornings. We we have so, some yucks. Yeah, yeah. You guys are responsible for school shootings. I didn't see that one, um, but I just had not seen any. I thought my opinion or criticism was extraordinarily fucking light, and I just yeah, never I said you went in there. You went in there and cupped his balls before you said what you thought. I went, I uh, but my my point of my I video like was I, I see a influx of criticisms from multiple different angles. I never said you said the school shooter shit. That was fucking uh, Jeff Holiday and Monday Matt and uh, what's the other they're, fucking they're one? Good, Dusty. Yeah, Cult to Dusty. They're a little doing just, just retarded they, shit. And, and then you got people, you got people like uh, Sofane, I think um, David Schrott. Uh, th who's that fucking guy chick that gives you a lot of shit, Andy? Teresa something? What the fuck's the, his name? And Theron Meyer. Theron. I think that's Theron. it. Yeah. Uh, Theron Meyer, a bunch of other people that fucking, uh, like, oh, you're platforming Nazis and the world's going to end. Then you got Mouthy Buddha, who I, I I still can't wrap my fucking head around him talking about mean comments in the chat. I thought you like, guys <laughs> ironed it out, though. Didn't you? I'm, I'm not these guys. I'm giving my opinion. No, in no, the video I mean, I thought, as a viewer. You, I thought you, like, directly criticized him and he responded. Am I not? Did I not see that thread? Did I, I, Mouthy I, Buddha? Did has Mouthy Booty responded? Uh, <laughs> well, backpedaling <laughs> isn't a resolution. It just means that. Well, now not only did you say some bullshit, but you're spineless too. Yeah, but people can change their minds sometimes, can't they? So Is, to get back on my point, I look at this as something I like to watch. I like watching people be autistic on the internet. I like watching spurgs <laughs> flinging shit at each other. That's my goal. That's what I like. So I want to help facilitate that. So when I see yeah. people coming in from the fucking uh, bleachers with their opinions on how things should be run or how they could be better served, uh, that just seems like they want to soften it up, shit it up, and make it uninteresting. Then I don't get to watch people be autistic fucks on the internet for my own goddamn amusement. It's a purely selfish goal on my part. Yeah, okay. Well, I mean, I think that's totally admirable. I, I, think, I think I said you're either friends with them or you just like the show. Maybe I didn't word it right, but I would do the same thing. If I mean I didn't, I'm not. I'm unaware of people saying 
you need to deplatform people. I don't see that stuff. So, I mean, I think that's stupid. I mean, you should have on whoever the fuck you want. Yeah, the criticism was either you shouldn't bring on the guests that you're bringing on, or you should bring on better people to counter them. But that the problem is, <laughs> the only ones like... that have accept the only ones that have accepted would be uh, Sargon of Akkad, Sticks Hacks and Hammer when they did the debate with Spencer. You had uh, Tariq Nasheed when he went up against Jared Taylor. That was unbelievable. And I, think, and I, think I couldn't even believe that happened. The liberalist stream that JF had done, where I, I I don't know their names, but it was a guy from like the Discord or the Reddit or whatever. But they came on. So aside from that, but all the people talking all this shit about, oh, this needs to be shut down, it's terrible, and giving their bullshit reasons, none of them want to come on. So who, it's, who do you think they want on the left? I don't know, but it's what, I find, on the left, right? what I find amusing is, is if race realism and the alt-right, you know, the ones they're focusing on when they give these criticisms, if they're such shit, if they're so fucking stupid and easily beaten and made fools of, then what is the risk of coming on and doing just that? I mean, the internet exists. You talk about, about gotcha that, culture. Uh... Well, wait, wait, you talk about gotcha culture, but that's like a founding principle of what YouTube is. I, yeah, I, I'd it's... say 80% of the videos that exist on YouTube are gotchas in one way or another. And that's not a political alignment. That's not left or right or center. That's everybody. That's just how we function. So is, I don't uh... see how these YouTubers saying they don't want to do this when they <laughs> subsist, when they exist just for that sole purpose. It strikes me as a little bit disingenuous. Yeah, well, I haven't seen anybody who's who's not coming on. That doesn't mean they don't exist. I just I don't know who these people would want. I certainly it's somebody on the left, but I don't know. What about that dude, uh, <laughs> the Jew guy? I hate to remember him as that, but I don't remember his fucking name. He was on there, right? He was going yeah, Hal Halsey came on. Yeah, he he came on and he debated uh, Nick Fuentes, which was funny, and then he came on and he debated uh, Enoch, which was funny. I saw the uh, Enoch Halsey, Halsey's had he's had no fucking issues coming on. You can say what you like about the guy and about his politics or anything else, but at least he's stepping up. He's jumping in there and doing it. I thought he, I thought he held strong. I mean, I can't say who. I mean, I, don't I thought know. against uh, Fuentes he did badly, but I thought against Enoch he seemed to control the conversation. Like every time that Mike tried to talk, he'd be like, "Let you know, don't interrupt me, don't let me speak." And he had a he had, he was kind of in command of that conversation. He wore him down near the end. You could just see he was fucking tired. Yeah, he, you could t you could tell uh, Enoch was just uh, he he was starting to get tired out by Halsey's constant uh, debate tactics, blood sport tactics, whatever you want to call them. But he did have a good plan. Uh, yeah, he, he, yeah. Nonetheless, he went in and he did his thing. But Halsey at least shows up. Um, so Does again, it goes YouTube back channel? to these people that don't want to do it, huh? Does he have a YouTube channel? I don't know who he is. I, I have no idea who the fuck the guy is. I, I I watch the like I said, I like watching autistic people scream at each other. I don't know who Halsey is outside of just the blood sport shit. Andy, who do who do they want? Who do uh, parentheses 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 they want to come? We've had we've had we had the opportunity to ask uh, Spinosaurus that question just last week. I saw and, he was on. Yeah, yeah. We sat there for a couple of seconds in complete silence before he just admitted, "Well, that's a really good question, and I don't think I can name anyone." The reason hey, sorry, being sorry. that they want a special person to show up question? who's going to win no matter what. They don't want a Who specific person. Who do they want person. on your show, Andy? To to make it pure. Uh, I fucking I've asked them a million times and no one's given me uh, any answers. In they fact, don't want to name a name. Today. They do not want to name a name because once they name a name, that person shows up. They don't do so hot, then they're fucked. Don't well, name a name well, and just said, keep complaining. I just said the funniest thing. Remember, I uh, the other day. Uh, other day we got david shred on aka spino and i asked him i'm like he's actually fine with the blood sports thing he thinks it's cool he's like yeah whatever no it's cool uh and then i was like uh well a lot of people bitch who are like on the left or the center about me bringing in the wrong people to defeat the alt-right or whatever so i'm like do you have any suggestions he's like can't think of anyone so yeah not not YouTube, anyway yeah but he's like i'll i'll do it and I'm like, fucking awesome, done. How much money would you someone... need to pay Franny? How much money would you have to pay her to make it happen? Pay for who? Franny. Uh, I wouldn't pay ten, her. 10 grand? Franny versus so, the alt right? No, she'd have to pay me and suck my dick. <laughs> uh, but no, we have actually on, on, on Tuesday as well. So tonight it's going to be joy versus uh nick but we also have on tuesday is actually an anti-blood sportser who's going to be on an anti-blood sportser so it's my first debate it's the first it's the first show that it's me as the, a debater uh with jf as moderator who is, uh, oh you want to say who it is probably 
Nah, his name's Yusuf or something. Oh, oh it's just like nobody, nobody I might know. Yeah, but he ha has the balls to jump on and tell me why blood sh sports should be shut down. Well, and maybe, so and maybe I... And he's black. I thought that? It has, has to do it. <laughs> and, and, and he's black, but not that that, that has to do with anything. Whoa, and, yeah. <laughs> also black. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you should put that in parentheses when you put the title of your video in there. Just mm -hmm. put his name and then put... He's black, by the way. The... Uh, <laughs> I feel, I feel like uh, maybe I see a lot of. Um... He's a nobody. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Mm, might be my neighbor. Yep. <laughs> He's a nig. No, okay. Jeez. <laughs> Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead. No, no. I think I feel like. Uh, I don't think. I think blood sports is popular for a reason. I mean, I th the only the only annoying thing, and I don't think I get this from you directly. Unfortunately, I have a line to you, is that like a lot of people mischaracterize. Well, I get lumped in with you know everyone else, like Sargon of you, which isn't exactly a fair criticism because I feel differently about it. But I never said it needed to go go away. I said it's good. I said it's po it's just popular for a fucking reason. Um. But then I get fucking people spurging out on me all day, which I guess I'm not used to. About that's saying, what I deal with every day, quartering. <laughs> my entire really Twitter feed. Twitter. Twitter. They're okay, you know, I had DMs. People are like, all, like all day. Yeah, Andy, 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 mm -hmm. put your put your tampon in. Take a my doll. It's the internet. Everybody gets screamed at for something. No, no, no I'm fine with it. Don't, don't compare war stories about mean comments. Jesus <laughs> Christ! What are, what no, are you no. People doing? No, my point is. My point is. I'm so desensitized to it. I know this is his first, his first outing. Uh, it gets easier. I'm embracing the not <laughs> Your Thanks, holes get fuck. wallowed out, Thanks. you know. Yeah, yeah. You'll have a fucking Nazi tattoo on your fucking left chest in no time. Yeah, who says I don't? You don't know, Andy. You maybe you do. Yeah. You could be behind. Hashtag me too. Yo, yo, this is a new hashtag me too. People are mean to me as well. Oh god. That should be a fucking thing. Mean comments. Uh you know, according to the there was one other comment you did mention because after your your salt line comment, I was sort of looking through shit. Uh yeah, yeah. you had said that uh, uh you know, I don't even want to misquote it. So I'm gonna go look it up and then All I'll right, let me grab it. I gotta, I gotta grab water quick. Hold. Yeah, go ahead. <clears throat> I'm gonna for? continue making food. Um, I have a, I have a is that, feeling. Is that all you ever do, Andy? It's like I'm, you're always taking a break to do something. Making no, food, making I'm, coffee. I, I, I've been trying to make this this fucking food, and every time I'm like almost done, I just hear, "Hey, Andy, so what do you think of that?" And I have to run to the computer. Like, <laughs> so I'll be right back. Well, I guess I guess it's just us. Oh, well, what would you like to talk about, best friend? <laughs> I, not that match that we're going to have in a park. In I think years. it'll be fun. You know, I'll hold your belt, and then you can film me crying about it while I look at the YouTube plaque that's centered in it. Mm. And I could talk about how much it means to me and how it deeply affects me on an emotional level. I'll have an emotional connection with it, and then we'll wrestle. You know, I'm, getting, I've, I've, I'm about half masked right now, so I think I'm down. Are you, you enjoying that? Yeah, you think now about I'm it? I'm down. Yeah, you down for that? You've talked me into it. I'm sold. Jesus well, Christ! What is go. it? Did he fucking shut a dungeon? Did you hear that? <laughs> Somebody got shot. Bloodsport strikes again. Another innocent victim has died. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, think there, back. I think there are people who really do think there's some bloodshed that happens with some of this stuff. Like they act like people really are getting hurt. Yeah, it was uh, some entertaining shit uh, listening to those comments from uh, certain individuals talking. It was just stupid. Cult of Dusty was the worst. I think Jeff Holiday was just trying to just you know have a like a little gotcha, like a needling jab kind of thing. He'd love to. And get I don't know. I, I don't know what Monday Matt was doing. He had like a, a long. You guys were arguing about that shit for like a day. Matt's mad at me hard because because of the the YouTube plaque thing. I don't know if it's what that. Happened? Oh yeah, he's very mad about that. He's tweeting about it today still. Okay. He's a puss. Nobody has anything nice to say about Matt. 
Oh, okay. Uh, here we go. Uh, this was the one. Uh, this isn't even really a criticism. I'm just trying to get your mindset on this, all right? Yeah, yeah. My fucking uh, soda's said, frozen. That sucks. You, you said there's a huge fallacy in the video. Uh, he correlates subgrowth with large-scale or or, uh, approval or interest. Mm -hmm. uh, but when you're looking at Takasaw, Andes, or even Baked Alaska's channel, and you see that large uptick, that all corresponds. It, it does correlate with them starting to do the blood sports stuff. I mean, what what else would you think could possibly explain those three particular channels having a large growth pattern when they're all yeah. engaging the same new type of content. Maybe that wasn't worded correctly. My point is that sub growth doesn't necessarily mean, you know, people are subbing because they're into it. I mean, Steve Shive says what, 50,000 subscribers. That, that was well, I could, have, I, I could have made the, the money argument. I mean, and these, this is my speculative guess. I can't say because I don't have access to these well, the people's money argument is, Yeah. 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 Um, but I, you know, I'd say Andy probably somewhere between fifteen to twenty thousand. Taka probably ten thousand. Baked Alaska probably five to ten thousand. Uh, yeah, you know, the money people, is undeniable, people... right? But I, I also tried to go out of my way and not because I think a lot of people are criticizing that. I don't think that that's fair. Like, I, I, to... I, I'm indifferent to it. I don't use super chat. I know people who do. It doesn't fucking bother me one way or the other. I mean, if people are going to have ads on their videos, if they're going to have a Patreon, I don't see what the difference is with the super chat. I don't. I don't have an issue with it either. I. I think. Uh, good. Good on them. Who the fuck cares? I wish people would, would use Streamlabs though, because YouTube's getting rich, taking thirty percent. I'm sure they will use Streamlabs eventually when YouTube starts cracking down on Super Chat, which eventually and inevitably is going to happen. Very, yeah, I think. I think it, this year still, it will get. I mean, you can look at what's going on with Twitch. People are running for the hills right now, shutting down accounts left and right because uh, shit's about to hit the fan tomorrow. Yep. Yeah, Twitch so. is going to be. I thought Twitch was going to be a, a safe. Uh, in 2018, I was going to try and spend time growing Twitch, but then I saw their their new TOS come out, and it's just another fucking doomed to die platform. Yeah, it's pretty much dead. There are no alternatives, though, right? There's what's the one that Venti used forever? I never even heard of it. Um, stream it? No. What the fuck is it called? Hitbox. Hitbox, yeah. Do people, does they have traffic? That, that went under. Oh, did it? Okay. I, from what I understand, it changed its name or got bought up, and then I, I think it closed down. I don't know what the fuck it's doing right now. If I could, some Twitch shell company probably just bought it and shut it down. More than likely, they could have shut it down just because they didn't want the competition. I mean, it's a possibility. I'll buy it. Some fucking... I don't know. It's, with... Is is I don't know. Do you think Super Chat has nothing to do with it, or do you oh, think uh, it's... So, Tonka? I sent you a DM. Can you confirm if you're coming to my birthday party or not? Oh fuck's sake! I mean, we are best of friends. I don't get that mindset. I, do you, am I the only one in this room that thinks that's out. weird? Like to, to have internet friends, or, or am I alone on this? No, yes. I'm I'm with you. <laughs> I no, I don't. I don't do the internet friend thing. There's you, you don't know. have friend people you're friendly with online. No, well, there's a difference between being friendly yeah. towards someone. And yeah. being friends, I mean, I mean, I'm friendly with people that I run into at the supermarket. Doesn't mean we're going on dates together. No, but I also didn't say you were their best friend. I just said you're friends. Yeah. I would consider Andy a friend, you know, even though we don't like go to the bar or whatever. But, you know, maybe, uh, I don't know. Maybe it's just gay. Probably is. I think a lot of people use that friend thing so that they can, when it, you know, when someone eventually calls them out, they're like, oh, well, they were my friend. So now they've backstabbed me. I think that's you think so? You think people think that far ahead? What makes people fucking friends on the internet? You both opened up a Google account? I hate everyone. If you have regular <laughs> interactions with somebody, yeah. I would say that that's probably two-thirds of what makes somebody a friend, other than the real world. You're saying people can't be friends if they don't see each other every day in real life? Well, no, you, you can be friends, but you're not going to, you know, everybody on the uh, internet who you speak to and interact with, you're not friends with. Well, no, I don't. Most I don't of agree. them are not. I don't think so either. I don't either. Yeah, but... I don't even like JF. <laughs> it's like as a person, so whatever. <laughs> I just like you as a person. Nice. <laughs> Worski's going to be interesting tonight. Nice, Andy. We've got something to watch. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to spit on him. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I play, this is like a Facebook mentality to me. I mean, there's some weird shift that took place, I'd say, like around 2010 where people started acting like the people they talk to on social media are friends. It, it, it's kind of weird. But, but why isn't, if they say they're, if they both agree that they're friends, then why is it not? 
No, just I'm saying it's. I, no, no, I'm saying it's weird that they would agree to that in the first yeah, place. Yeah, okay, that's fair. And I, I yeah. would counter with that for the same reason that two people who get together and say that they have bugs living in their eyeballs are not correct. People are wrong. You just blew my mind. They they get delusional sometimes. They buy some to shit. To me, it's that ain't no real. different. It's no different than like I I live in a small town and there's a bar. You know, I go to the bar here. I see the same fucking people every week. I would consider. You know, you're at the bar, you talk because you're in the bar together. You're kind of whatever. But I don't hang out with them outside of the bar. It's the same thing with internet culture. Holy you shit. Know? I, I'm trying to imagine going to the bars I go to and talking about internet things. I'd probably get fucking no, hit. No, I don't. I They'd don't talk a about bottle over my head and call me a faggot and throw me out the door. <laughs> yeah, no, no. We don't talk about internet things. But I'm just saying, it's the same way. Like, I don't hang out with them. We don't go to the movies together. But I would still say I'm, you know, friends with them. But I guess I just, maybe I'm. You know, it's all that soy. I, no, I'm just I'm, saying it's no, a different really. mindset. I, I, it really is. I don't know. It's a modern thing. It really is. But um, it's just, it struck, it strikes me as weird. And I'm setting my ways on this particular thing. I mean, that's fair. What are you, about 100 now? You're 100 in the internet age. Right? About internet that, years? yeah. <laughs> I mean, it just, it ties back into my point. I mean, my Blood sports to me is my form of entertainment. I want to watch people spurg the fuck out and be autistic as shit. And so it annoys me when I see people coming in or what I perceive as coming in. Uh, to try to tinker with the uh, formula that's providing me with my entertainment. It'd be like if somebody went in and I'm trying to think of like something comparable. It'd be like if somebody went in and started locking down accounts on DeviantArt. <laughs> you know, like, you know, <laughs> don't you? I access to Spurgs. Don't do that. <laughs> no, I get it. I, I get it. I mean, I would defend content that, you know. Look, I came on. I, you know, I stood. I stand by what I said. I, I just, I don't think it's bad. I never said it was bad. I just, I worry about the, and you guys don't, and that's okay. It's not my fucking show, right? I mean, I worry about people getting burnt out on it. But maybe, so what if they get burnt out in a year and then they just do something else? Then who cares, right? It people got be, burnt it out be, on. It, it could be a complete fad rather than a trend. That's fine. But I want to enjoy it while it's here. And yeah. if it burns out, let it burn out. Uh, you know, if it sticks around, let it stick around. But I, I do find it entertaining. Uh, y you know, it's just something that draws people in. It's the reason that shows like Springer or Povich or the others were popular and watched. It's the reason people like fucking Morning Zoo Radio. Uh, it, it's kind of that attitude that develops around it. I mean, you can look at the chat right now and you're going to see people calling all of us faggots. So you got a whole mixture of our audience <laughs> participation mm -hmm. on their viewpoint of what they think of the show. But the point is, they still like interacting with it on some level. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, it's, not, it's not like some groundbreaking formula. I mean, it's just, it's a fucking live stream. There's nothing solely unique to it. It's just a different kind of mindset going into it uh, that allows it to be a little more entertaining. Uh, and, you know, if it lasts a year, it lasts a year. Yeah, I mean, fuck, how long was Jerry Springer? I'm trying to see how long Jerry Springer was on TV. Had to be like he was fucking on 20 years. Like 20, 30 years. Yeah, he was on forever. All, all of them were. Anybody that was in the 80s was on for a ridiculous amount of time. Donnie 26 Hugo, years. And before Even Jerry Richard Springer. Bay, as yeah. local as he was, was on for a while. Before Springer, there was Morton Downey Jr. I mean, yep. After Boy. Springer, fucking didn't Steve Wilkos pick up the mantle? <laughs> I think Wilkos is still on. And then there's Maury Povich, too. That fucking guy's been on forever, right? People will always line up to watch conflict. I mean, the fact is, if you take and you go into the middle of the fucking town right now, and you just nail up a poster that says, Today there will be a hanging at 5 p.m. No name, nothing of the sort. No matter how grim you, you want to look at it as, there will be people there at 5 p.m. to see that hanging. They'll be there. Same thing with a fight. People want to see conflict, even if they know fuck all about it. They want to see yeah, conflict. Uh, it's the appeal. I mean, shit, if you look at the compilations on even, like I say, like YouTube, you enter something like... Uh you know, uh, fight or uh, road rage or any of that shit, Fucking you're going to find karma cops. Yeah, Crazy videos that haters. have millions of views that have been up for a day. You know, I mean, people love that shit. Uh, Live Leaks is a website is dedicated to that premise. World Star Hip Hop, some of the biggest videos they have are their fucking fight compilations. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Good family entertainment. And, you know, I can't speak to what other people's criticism was or is, but I felt like I was pretty clear. Not that I keep need to keep defending myself, but I was pretty clear in saying, like, <laughs> the numbers are undeniable. Like, I'll never have. Look, I mean, Tuck has got almost three thousand people watching. I'll never have that many people on a live stream. You know, regardless of how big my channel gets, so you can't really argue with that. But, yeah, Tuck's channel's done really well. I mean, he's got. What are you sitting at right now on Substock? I, I haven't even checked. Eleven. 
yeah, 11K, I mean, nearly 3,000 watching, if that's what it is, uh, that's, that's a pretty good metric. I, I couldn't pull 30% of my audience if I did a live stream. Yeah, I, no you know, I'm a, I'm a, it, that just wouldn't happen. 10, 10 is like the standard for old, old, old head YouTube channels, maybe 10% if you're lucky. Yeah, well, maybe no, I wouldn't even, I, I don't even think I'd pull 10%, shit. I mean, if I've got 200,000 subs, 10% be, well, I, I don't know. Monday yeah. and Matt gets about 80 people on live streams. Well, <laughs> like his channel is also, you know, I have a channel like that that's old too that barely gets any engagement too. I think there's people get sick of you, but also I think YouTube stops kind of giving a shit about older channels. So the Matt thing really, the, the, the fact that you laughed at him, that unboxing video is goofy. It's funny. And that's really what's upsetting him? I think it's a mix between that and... He, I don't know, he used to come to me and Failure all the time and tell us that we were the only people who actually treated him like friends. Like, I never told him he was my friend, but he always told me and Failure were oh, oh, oh. his friends. And he was like, you guys, you guys are the only ones who treat me like friends and that I can listen, you know, that'll sit here and listen to me and stuff. And I was, I was fine with it. I've never really had anything against Matt until that day when I said something about Jeff and he starts losing his shit about it. And every we tweeted this morning about his cry video. I, I never really understood why people up, upload videos of themselves crying because I know that you have to then export the video, edit it. You see yourself crying. You decide to keep it in. Some people put sad music over it. It's and then not like he live streamed it. it and like yeah, sat yeah. there and had That'd to be pull it over. Thing. Like, yeah, th this was something he actively was like, okay, this is what it's going to be. What's wrong with watching a video going ha fucking pussy what's wrong with that that's possible i mean oh you mean i was i thought you were I'm not saying that you're saying it's wrong i'm just like just generally nothing's wrong with it yeah but it hurt his feelings i'm sure yeah but it's it's a funny reaction to getting a youtube plaque you know what i mean like i get it I he feels like it's accomplishment, but it's, it's a fucking goofy reaction i don't I, understand why that would bother matt so much all right they, hold on this this is I, I hate to do this but i've got to make this more hilarious here billy it, it's not your he's not crying at the plaque he was crying I thought, I thought at he was a crying about the plaque well no he's holding the plaque but he's crying at a fucking stock letter you oh from youtube two? Yeah, yeah. Yes. He's like, he's like you have changed. He's reading at the words of a stock letter. When uh, can I ask you what date this video went up? By the way, you haven't Two seen this. Ago. No, I've seen I've seen the video, but I, I didn't really like why. I saw some started to cry. I chuckled a bit, thought it was funny. You just funny, start laughing I, through all the shit he's doing. You kind of lose yourself in the hilarity. Well, no, because I find it weird. He he wasn't like this video wasn't up after the adpocalypse, was it? And no. he got really fucked in the ass by Google. He got crushed. Yeah, he got crushed. Oh, yeah. God, do you think that'd be the response if he bitches about ad revenue? They just send him the video where he's crying, thanking them? Be like, <laughs> where's the admiration now, Matt? Savage. Oh, God. YouTube would do well to be a little bit more rough like that. Yeah, yeah YouTube needs to hire that Wendy's chick. Probably the fucking Wendy's, whoever runs their Twitter account. Yeah, get her in here. But yeah, I, I saw Matt, uh, what I did see with the interaction between you two, uh, I, did, I did know the crying thing set it off, but uh, he seemed upset. He was like, he, he was he, am I getting this right? The gist of it, Tonka? Was he trying to say that you needed to be more responsible with your platform? Yeah. So is it more or less to that effect? That nicest way to put it. It's that, but also I'm uh, salty and I'm irrelevant because Blood Sports has outgrown me. Whoa. And... That's, that's pretty icy. He won't come on the show and talk to you, though. No, no, he he's refused to talk to me. Well, he he's been on the show before, though. Well, when he him came and, on the uh, show. To talk to is that where the the real, I'll fight you in real life meme came from? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where that came from. He wanted to fight Johnny Fox in real life. He doesn't want. They're going to meet up at uh, Kilroy. Yeah, that's a really, really bad hill to die on. They, I was scheduled to speak there. I had signed the fucking paperwork and everything. Oh, so you're but, gone uh, now too. Aren't they still? I, yeah, I backed out immediately. Yeah, I backed out when um, when I think I signed but the. Didn't paperwork. I tell you? Didn't I tell you? Like you, you and I were talking. You're like, "What do you uh, make of all this?" It was after I made a few streams. Yeah, I didn't know about it. And I, and I was like, "Yeah." So I, I, I had to explain everything. I'm like, 
Woo, where do we start? <laughs> it's like an hour Yeah, I didn't know. I just was like, oh, this is a, a cool like opportunity. And then I saw Andy make a video and so I had to DM him like, uh, what's up with this? And then I just dropped out. And the next day you were like, no, yeah, yeah, I'm fucking out. Yeah. It's still happening. Think... You know, the people that um Yeah, oh I know. I know. Yo, you yeah. it's so funny. That night, uh I forgot who was bitch. It was either Repsion or Monday and Matt, like one of them of that group, Rucker or something. Someone's like, Yeah, whatever, Andy, like you're fucking over your friends, quarterings coming, and I'm just like Yeah, yeah, no, he's not. <laughs> They've re- all right, they have <laughs> updated the website and removed the quartering from the guest lineup. But I just noticed that Monday and Matt actually has his Patreon in his little like there's only like it only has like your at for Twitter and your YouTube channel in your description. But Matt's has his fucking Patreon in it, too. Ugh. I think I said I was still going to go to Arizona and, and get hammered with Andy and Sticks, but I don't think either one of you guys are going, right? I don't know what's happening anymore. I'm sort of like, I don't know who's going or whatever. I don't, I don't anybody's waste... going. Yeah, I don't want to waste my money, man. It's I'm an expensive pay... fucking ticket, too. For I to... If yeah, nobody's yeah. going there, don't do it. I wouldn't LA or something anyway. and just hang out and just, like, fucking, you know. Or take that money that I would have spent there and just fucking have a wild week here in Canada. Hookers and blow, you know, whatever. No big deal. Don't tell anyone I said that, though. Yeah, secret plan. I, I don't want that being leaked. Send it to me in DMs, dude. I'll keep it. All right, one second. Hang on. I'm just one of those <laughs> weird motherfuckers who wants the internet to stay inside my computer. That's, that kind of That's where it belongs. I'm telling you. I know, right? fucking go and hang out with people from the internet what do you do when you you don't even know if you've got the right person something what is that he's like well what's <laughs> up raccoon lover xd 440 <laughs> right that's oddly specific i don't people have the dumbest fucking names on the internet <laughs> everyone has a dumb name on the internet like, could you imagine walking around like with a person like face to face calling them like I don't know, like I'm gonna walk out and call you the quartering. How weird would that yeah, be? Yeah, it's fucking awkward. How yeah, awkward is yeah. that? That feel weird? Yeah. Like somebody just sitting there face to face with you. What's up, quartering? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's it's cringy, but also, you know, what about with other creators? You wouldn't wanna go hang out with other like you wouldn't wanna kick it with Andy. I mean, uh Warski show. I, I don't want to meet people on the internet. Maybe one day down the line, you know, you know somebody like real well is like, okay, yeah, sure. We'll get together, have a few drinks or some shit. Way down the line. But it's not like, oh, I met someone cool. Oh, it's time to go hang out with them in real life. I just started really hanging out with Andy like two months ago. Yeah. You were. What am I heading to your birthday party? I swear to God. <laughs> your birthday yeah, parties. what happened to that? Yeah. Oh, actually, you uninvited me because the the Israel thing, right? Yeah, you fucked up Israel. Oh, you party in Israel? I'm going to go to Israel instead of fucking Arizona and see what happens. Just take a selfie with uh, the wall yeah. the Israel sign. I'm going to suck my the... dick on that wall. <laughs> Holy shit, oh, Andy. They, fucking suck my... you. <laughs> they will gonna... fucking put a bullet in your head, Andy. kill the fuck out of you, Andy. Yeah. I'm going to go, oh, they, as I'm blowing oh, the fucking... Oh, they? Oh, they? <laughs> hey, check this out. That's my Jewish accent. And it would be epic. I mean, it would be one hell of a way to go out. Just make sure somebody films it at least. Don't be a, don't fucking deprive us of that. Yeah, put it up on Live League. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna go. Who fucked with Jesus here, huh? Adam Ray Swarski shot mm-hmm. to death today in Israel. Mm-hmm. For the crime Hasbro. of dicking the wall. Fall- phallus attack occurred today at the Wailing Wall. Mm-hmm. What about going to the Dome of the Rock and just doing a helicopter with your dick in there? Would you do that? I'd fucking do anything there. You would die so quick. I'm going to put fucking posters up with Tonka's fucking uh, face and his link and go, this guy hates Jews and just put it all over Israel. Oh, I was about to say, if you put it all over the Dome of the Rock, they're going to praise me as a hero. Yeah, how (laughs) How many fucking posters do you think you'd get up before maybe... One What's your brother on that? Ten? None. Zero. He'd get zero up before he was completely killed. <laughs> completely killed. 
They would, they check would, they would, they would cut him into pieces before it's completely. No, no, I'm gonna, no, I'm gonna hire a bunch of Palestinians to help me out. Oh, that. Oh, yeah, work. they're gonna, they're gonna be in on that. Yeah, that'll work. Your life yeah. force will be terminated. I'm gonna go. It's like I'll have them all around. I'll hand them all one poster each, and I go, ah, and then they all run at the same time and put up poster up at the exact same time. Fucking book it to the airport. Done. You're gonna get tea bagged by the Reaper so list, hard. Dude. Uh, I, me either, it was man. that woman. It was the woman, Andy. Yeah, I know Claire. Yeah, who, who's supposed to be on this show but then canceled? I wonder why she canceled. Well, she doesn't want to associate with somebody on the Hate Watch. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and put her on the Hate Watch. How the fuck are go, you she... gonna do that? He's gonna change his gonna avatar go. to her picture and start talking with a soft, feminine voice about how he wants yeah. to murder Jews, and eventually yeah. it'll. Oh. Yeah, exactly. I'm gonna be like, I don't know. She's on DMs with me, just saying nigger all the time, and I'm like, whoa, calm, calm yourself. What are you, Sargon? What are you, Sargon? <laughs> oh, <just trying. laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. No, okay. yeah, it, it was her. Uh, I, you know, she started talking about it, and then the uh, whatever website that was, Right Wing Watch or whatever it was, wrote the article mm -hmm. like a day after or two days after she had talked about you and wanting you on a hate list. And then the next day after that article, it got put up on the SPLC. Yeah, actually, are you on, on right-wing watch, Andy? Uh, yes, may, maybe. Yes. I don't know. <laughs> uh, it should be uh, uh, real name. It should be yeah. They use his name. Uh, it should be YouTube Blood Sports New Alt Right Phenomena. Oh, I see it. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And then I'm also on the SC. Hey, Medicare, you're on there, prominently featured too. So are yeah, you? They, uh, they don't. God uh, damn it! So am I. <laughs> yeah, so you are go. you? Yeah, you are on yeah. that pay picture too. My face is on the fucking right wing box. Congrats. Hope you're okay with that. People told me to not be friendly with you, and now look, I'm on. Mm. God damn it! Uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh, that's I wish they would. I really wish they would have used Adam Morsky. That would have just been the best. Yeah, yeah. I uh, no, I'm. I wear it as a badge of honor. It's right. It's right next to my hood. Uh, you know, Andy. Um, I, I was thinking what might make an entertaining show if you could swing it. Uh, because you've had you've had Fuentes on right before. Yeah. You times. should have uh, you should have Fuentes and James Alsup on together. Why they hate each other? Okay. I just think it would be an entertaining show if you could. Oh swing my that. god! <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'll set that up for uh, not this week because he's all booked for this week. N next week, Keebler Elf GIF. You know Halsey and fucking Enoch <laughs> are doing a rematch next week on 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 a on Tuesday, twenty seventh of February, wherever that is. I'm like, what? It's already been booked. I'm like looking through group chats. I'm like, oh, I guess we have a show. They've been going back and forth in this group, in this group chat forever. So, all right, but I'll set up a fucking. Uh, no, I think it, I think they'll have a very friendly conversation about the issues with you. It should be great. Uh, I don't trust anything you say, Medicare. Oh, come but, on. Okay. I'm Andy, I would saying, never, I, Andy, not... I would never lie to a friend. Come exactly. On, yeah. Our good oh, friend BFF? Billy here. Yeah. BFF. No, no. Look, I don't trust you, but I, I, I like, like all those questions you sent me and I just say it like, it always starts like the USS Liberty. I'm like, I don't know what he's talking about, but I guess I'll ask this question. One hour later of yelling at each other. I'm like, Medicare was right. That doesn't sound like I, someone so who wants to come to the birthday party. That Lauren Southern was the only one on that fucking stream that got the question I was asking. Nobody else knew yeah. what Murdoch Murdoch was, but she instantly picked up on it. Yeah, yeah, but uh, I don't trust you, but I, I trust that it'll be fucking a disaster, which is great. I, I think it'll be good, yeah. There, there is a dispute between them. Yeah, they have a little bit of heat between each other, but they mm -hmm. both do streams all the time. They're both well-spoken, so it should be... Oh, shit, my pizza's gonna burn. One sec. Oh, fucking, fucking stoner. Hey. Fucking stoner. He's fucking burned it. See, look, this is what I'm talking about when people bring up Andy in the ovens. He doesn't know what he's doing with the ovens, lads. You, you need to, you need to let somebody else man the just, ovens. Just running straight out. All right. Well, I, I got to jump. Uh, it's it's been fun. Um, yeah, good time. You're probably not going to get that Tommy guy on today, huh? It doesn't feel like it. It, it feels he like he's talking himself. He DM'd out. me. Oh, he did. Oh, did he? What did he's he say? I owned him. He's not showing up. He he's said, under the ball. So I wrote him. I wrote, you said I'm not worth it to be on my show. Fuck you. You talking shit about me. I was a little bit heated. Uh, I gave you the chance to defend your position and you become a coward. And now you shit talk me. And then he wrote, shit talking you. WTF. 
did you even watch? And then he sent me a one minute and 14 second video, uh, but I haven't watched it yet. It's going to be I, that I bit at the end where he says that he respects you after he... Oh, well, I, I can tell you this, probably starting the DM with, uh, hey, motherfucker, you should talk to me. Yeah. Hey, motherfucker. No, no, it was... No, hang on, hang on, hang on, Billy. You're misrepresenting me as you. You're misrepresenting me. <laughs> okay. I, I said it like this. Correct the record. Ver it for Andy us. Andy the okay. diplomat. Yeah, no, no, this is how I said it. Hey, motherfucker, what's going on? Yay, I heard your shit talking to me. It was like that tone. Hey, what's going on, motherfucker? Hey there, motherfucker. Hey. Oh, hey, was it that tone? Yeah. yeah, you, yeah. You, Howdy, home, motherfucker. You really convey that to him, did you? It's just hard when you read <laughs> when you read the text, but it's, hey. Hey. Andy, wait, wait, explain to me how the secret plan was any different than you going to the chat and calling him a faggot. Like, if you're just calling him a faggot in the DM, what's the difference in the plan? Uh, I mean, you make a point, a valid point there, but... That's a valid point. You fuck? know, I learn every day. Uh, I, I, tell you to go read, I tell you to go read The Prince, but you'd probably think it was a musician's autobiography or something. <laughs> like, you're never gonna, you're never gonna learn deceitful tactics, are you? <laughs> you're never gonna learn no. how to manipulate people. Wait, 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 wait. Hang on. I know there's an excuse somewhere here. Hang on. Hang on. Oh! Because he wasn't watching the show. There you go. He wasn't watching the show. His entire mm -hmm. chat was. Tonka, are we... I thought we were BFFs, bro. I, I, thought, I thought you were coming to my birthday party. <sighs> it's, it's a pipe dream now. Uh, dude, I don't know, man. Like You don't know who's your, who's your real friend on here. It's like, yeah, it's like you don't All right, know. I'm gonna hop off ticket. I gotta go go make some shit videos. Yeah, you're not yes. coming to my All birthday right. party either, quarter. So just you know. <laughs> Come on, man. I Hi, give quarter. good gifts. I promise. Thanks for hopping on. Yeah, yeah see ya. <laughs> Peace out. All right, I'm gonna bounce too. What uh, a it's been, homo! It, it's... <laughs> what? <laughs> wow, another Andy secret plan played out in front of us live. Gold. <laughs> Holy shit. Enjoy, enjoy your burnt pizza, Andy. Have fun. It's not burnt. I was smart. I turned off the oven when I came back in here thinking I would forget about it. So it's not burnt. I'm a pro with oven, you know. Well, oh, he, he, he fucking left. He didn't hear my joke. I th he may be better off for it. <laughs> Oh, you're wrapping it up right as I show up? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? No, no, no. It's have a you wrap heard... that Baked Alaska did. Have you heard no. this, Jim? What's that? Have I heard what? Uh, Baked Alaska apparently did a rap at me. I, I I haven't got a chance to listen to it because, you know, I've been... I, I don't know. I, I came to watch, uh, you know, Fuentes and Allsup and the Morning Mad <laughs> Happen thing out. That was entertaining to me. That was, that was I wanted to watch. Was. Good content. Got, it, got into some geopolitical stuff. I like that, like the Syria talk. That was entertaining. <laughs> Enjoying myself, and then I get invited over there. So I, I went to do that and uh, had a little bit of Sunday morning blood sports. <laughs> it went into a lot of dis different places, their conversation. Like, I was just sitting back. You know, I didn't even really want to interrupt. See, I, think, just... I think that's why our podcast was so successful for, for so long, was because of that natural back and forth, which, which again, I mean, not uh, not exactly where we'd like to see it coming out. But, no. but, uh, <laughs> but it was... It was uh... It was good. Well, it's funny how you, it started out as like a fuck you, I hate you to like, but you don't even call Syria right. It's a missile. <laughs> they launched missiles. No, but it's just kind of weird how it developed. And then like, it ended with, let's go fight. laugh at a man getting cucked by everybody. You know? <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you guys started out, and Ralph's like, oh, I want to read some super chats. And I'm sitting here like, no, shut the fuck up. Let them go at it. Fuck your super chats. Let Nick and James go at it. Yeah. Uh, I, yeah, I got to say, Ralph, I, I did enjoy that you you were like that, though, that you you held back. I mean, you read some super chats here and there, but you just kind of let them do their thing. I, well, I, it, it was gets, going it so gets, well. Like, Yeah, but I mean, it, it gets really annoying, though, on occasion when you'll see like uh, a stream with uh, you know heated opponents or somebody that's got a backstory to them. And then it gets interrupted every two fucking minutes, and there's no flow to it. So it was nice being able to just listen to it. Well, yeah, thank you. I appreciate was. that. Plus, I mean, I don't know. I feel like sometimes people uh, think they have to interject to just, like, justify their, <laughs> their existence. You know what I mean? Um, but I don't, I don't even know the whole backstory either, and they were going at it so hard, I just figured uh, there's no need to really. Yeah, Ralph, uh, to be honest, I forgot you were even there, which I think is a good <laughs> 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 you, you were doing a good job. Yeah, that's that was kind of the idea, so... 
Oh man, it was crazy. I didn't even get to hear what all what all happened on on Bake Stream. I mean, I heard it was pretty ugly. Uh, well, it got it got, a, it got a little heated, a little heated at the end. It was hard to hear with all the super chats shooting through at the last minute because it was like interrupting every five fucking seconds with the streamlab shit. Yeah. Um. But uh, no, it's just it's a follow up to uh, my uh, initial assessment, I guess, via Twitter, which is I just don't like the I don't like this mentality of what I've seen people do, which is the I want to be popular and I want to draw in an audience. And I'll do that by presenting myself as being, I'm for unfettered uh, speech. I'm for everybody having their say. I'm I'm cool with all of these things. Look at I'll you know wink wink nod nod. I'll let you say whatever you like. I'm I get it. I'm into trolling. I get the culture and oh you know all this shit. And then the moment they start to get a little bit bigger, they want to just they just want to cut it off. They want to just kill that segment of their audience that got them to where they are, and be like you you know you're not welcome anymore. You're toxic. You're problematic. I have an issue with it now. It's just such a money whoring thing to do, and it's so fucking blatant. It just irritates the shit out of me. It, it all happened, especially when he moved straight to L.A. And it's not a coincidence, I don't think. He got he got a manager. This girl shows up, and all of a sudden he's changing. It's really you know the timing. You got to notice some stuff like this. But no, I don't yeah. think it's his manager doing it. I mean, I'll be honest. He had the manager for a month, and if the manager was going to implement changes like that, he would have done it in the beginning. But I don't think any manager is going to tell somebody who wants to be a YouTube personality or a streamer. Hey, here's a great thing to do. Go alienate your audience and tell them you don't want them anymore. Like, if you want to kill organic growth and word of mouth, that's the perfect way to do it. I mean, you can't shit on the people that are paying you money and coming to view your content and be like, yeah, guys, I'm cool with it. Go ahead and say what you want. And then immediately turn around and start talking about how sensitive you are and how, uh, you know, you're, you're, what the fuck did he call himself? An influencer? Yes, yeah. influencer. He's using all these buzzwords. Uh, that's why you don't bring a woman on your stream who's going to get offended on your behalf. And then you're going to be put in that position where you either have to side with the chat and and agree with her and let them say what they're going to say, or you have to side with her and you know tell them to knock it off. It's a lose lose situation. It, it yes. will not end well for you. Women ruin everything. They, they shouldn't <laughs> fucking <laughs> be involved with the shit that men do. They fucking ruin everything. I don't disagree with that. But it's, uh, it's, I think it's the hypocrisy too. Like you said, though. I mean, Baked Alaska was on Twitter. You know, not that long ago. I mean, year year and a half ago going on and on about the Jewish question and just, you know, completely yeah. Paul speak, yeah. which is fine, but, you know, the next year to be saying, oh, you guys are toxic. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, he, he demods he demods somebody for saying, uh, you know, <laughs> uh, I think it was nigger genocide. Yeah. But, you know, he demods them, and I think he even banned them from the chat or he erased yeah. whatever they said, deleted it. But he doesn't have a problem if you do that via Super Chat. Then that can play. If you want to say it via Super Chat, that's totally fucking fine with it. But if you're in a fucking it, McDonald's and they'll play up Super Chat, yeah, so I mean, it just, I didn't like the direction he was going, I guess, and it, it felt to me like he was doing an about face or a heel turn on the people that basically were helping to build him up. I mean, this is a guy that I went on stream with before Oh yeah. who, who said he wanted to grow his channel and he was asking me, how do I do that? And I said, you just put on good, consistent content that's entertaining and that has something that people want to come look at. And, uh, you know, the, the last thing you want to do is be like, I'm too good for the people that watch me. That's just such a fucking dumb thing to do. Uh, and I just, I, it irritates me. It personally irritates me when I see, uh, <laughs> I hate saying it, but content creators, which sounds better than fucking influencers. <laughs> when I see content creators do that, it just, it fucking irks me because it's like, well, I mean, you can't, you can't use these people as a fucking ladder to get higher and then, you know, turn around and spit on them. They should, they should deserve a little bit better than that. YouTube influencers. Jeremy Carroll in <laughs> right. chat said he demoted me when I mentioned it looked like Aaron was going to OD. Uh, oh, so shit. apparently that that was another. Uh, but the reason the reason home. I brought up the manager is if you're working for if he's trying to get sponsorships and things of that nature, you know, you had a whole video on how advertisers don't like that kind of talking, and if his chat's going about the Jewish question and saying niggers all the time, you know, uh, advertisers don't want to advertise on him. So do you, I think that's what he was going at. Well, hey, if you guys if you guys want to talk about advertisers. <laughs> you know, that's what I think. That's what I think that, that, that part is coming from is 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 sponsorships and things of that nature. Oh yeah, but I mean, you're, 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 you're still putting, Bitcoin if you, if you guys want. If you guys want. You want yeah, but you're, you're, you're putting <laughs> you're putting the, the the cart before the horse. I mean, you're you're telling you this is a guy that's like looking forward, and I want to do sponsorships and shit like that. But you got to grow. I mean, uh, I I oh, it was Andy. It was Andy Worski that told me. Or, yeah, was it Andy? Who the fuck told me? Somebody said they had a fucking manager. Uh, that set up. I, I think it was Worski. Uh, no, maybe it was. Oh yeah, baked. Yeah, he, he's got a manager. Yeah. Yeah, the, no, yeah, it's uh, Bake tells me the first time initially that he has a manager, and I'm like, okay, well, you've got a fucking channel with 30,000 subs, right? That's his main channel. 
why do you need a manager? Why are you acting like it's so hectic doing what you're doing that, uh, you know, you, you're like on drama alert levels where you've got so much shit to keep track of. You need somebody to help. Uh, it made no sense to me. Like, I, I think he's envisioning far too out in the future. You know, if you're thinking sponsorships and, you know, products I'm going to sell and shit like that, well, you've got an audience that's already funding you. I mean, you have to build up something that somebody's going to want to come advertise on. And if you're a dude, you like what you know, you're you're struggling to get to 500 or 700 uh, viewers on your stream. Fine, that's great, but then to turn around and then shit on them is just going to sink you back to a lower number. So what what sponsor is going to jump in and say, yeah, I want to go on to the Baked Alaska show and sponsor him uh, because he's got such a sterling fucking reputation. <laughs> those 200 viewers, those 200 fucking viewers really appeal to me. Well, they, it, it makes, just it, it makes no sense to be Ralph, honest. Hey with Ralph, you, you uh, you're robot. robot. Uh -oh. But yeah, no, I, I think you're right on that, and I think he is looking too far ahead. But I think that's where he's he's not thinking of the now; he's thinking of the future. So no, he's thinking of the pussy. You can see oh. it yesterday too. There were so many times where his chat would push him, and he would you could see the dilemma in his head: pussy or chat, pussy or chat, pussy or chat. And he went with pussy, and I don't know. He's just he's stuck by it now. There's no he, clear indication he ever actually got any of it. No, and he didn't. The only one that didn't. No, he didn't. He got no pussy. Uh, no, yeah, I, I mean, I brought this up on the stream with him, too. I, I don't want to, like, uh, turn around him off the stream and he can't respond. And so I'm right. just keeping to the shit I said while I was on there. But I, I, I brought that up, too. Um, You know, and I even said, I, you know, I didn't say that it was necessarily Aaron telling him to do these things. But it seemed to me like he... It's the power of the pussy. Yep. He wanted to get into that. He wanted to get into her fucking pants. So yep. hey, look, I'm a good boy now. I don't say those. Things. Me, I don't say the bad me. words anymore. Look at me, virtue, virtue signal for the pussy. But I mean, can anybody on this fucking stream? Oh, Hell no. fuck no. Fuck with, the, with no. the subject matter that all of you deal with. Are you kidding well, I me? Did not, I did fuck not get no. that once, but I was referring to Paul Nealon and, and that. <laughs> <laughs> But generally, uh, anybody... talks to God, no. when people say problematic and also influencer, that's that's what Mike Tokes calls himself. I think he's spending too much time with Michael Tokes. Uh, it, it, it could be it could be Tokes doing it. Maybe he helped him upgrade his hardware from the broken iPad his fucking manager gave him. I don't know. <laughs> oh but um, yeah, yeah I, I just I don't know, man. The guy is lost. He wants to he wants to be a bigger channel than he is. And I don't begrudge him that. But, uh, you know, don't turn around and shit on the people that got you to the point of where you are at that moment. It's a very bad idea. Yeah. Yeah. Am I still sounding like a robot? No, you're nope, good now. Okay, no, I had to close good. about I had to close about fifty five windows. Uh, <laughs> for that. Um, I guess the stream itself was about to crash, but I didn't do that. Um, yeah, I don't know. I know you don't want to slag him off too much while he's not here, but just the whole like we were talking about it before you dropped in, just vlogging your entire life. Like, you know, when he got cooked on stream, you know, two or three times earlier, his his bit was already done. He had already went to the protest. He had already you know done his coverage. Why are you still filming right now? You're just walking around town doing dumb shit. I mean, well, I mean, I, yeah, I, I brought that up to a degree because they're like, oh, well, these, these are personal things. Why should we have to talk about them? And I'm like, well, if you want to do yeah. in real life streaming where you're doing it fucking eight hours a day and all these people are characters in your little production, but, you know, people right. are going to start to pay attention and be interested. And in, so when you start acting differently or acting weird, they're going to be like, okay, which one of these fuckers is responsible for it? It becomes like a sitcom. It becomes like a like you're watching a sitcom, and these people, like you said, Jim, they all become characters. And that's the thing that that I don't understand is like why stream for eight hours a day? You know, like when I do streams, and and if you if you want to talk about like super chats or whatever, okay, like by the the halfway mark, super chats start to dry up. You know, like you're not you're not making a lot of super chat money in like hour seven of a stream. So even if you're doing it for financial reasons. There's like really no incentive to keep a stream going that long. You're just setting yourself up to have your content uh, become uh, a law cow. There's, there's well, no yeah, you, you need something to to be able to justify doing it. Like I think the longest stream I ever did was seven or eight hours, and that was because it was the whole fucking election night. And yeah. I, I, you know, I don't do super chats or ads, so it doesn't really factor into it. But I wouldn't want to be on stream for fucking eight hours <laughs> unless there was a reason, like uh, a massive election. But um. Or yeah, a I huge just, spark I, session like tonight. Or, or a huge... <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, I mean, if, if you look at the way it, it, it evolved, it was really interesting. I mean, here you're doing your stream. He's doing his stream. Or you're doing yours. He's doing his. Right. Then you notice each other, uh -huh. and they start shit-talking each other. Uh, and then that, you know, another guy jumps in. So you've got three streams all talking to each other. And then what <laughs> is all sub and Millennial Matt start going at it. And then I jump over to his. You know, it's like this giant fucking clusterfuck of YouTube stream wars. It's fucking uh, beautiful. It's fucking beautiful. It was a nice. It was a nice everything about it. 
The only way it would have gotten better is if Scribology had put both streams on at the same time. <laughs> well, that, that that would have been nice. But and the other thing uh, too that he he brought up was, oh, you you know, he was like, uh, am I not allowed to do new things? I want to go out and activize. Well, I didn't say shit about him going out to activize. It, I didn't care. You know, he's acting like I'm 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 saying the things I'm saying because he decided to go talk about Syria. I don't give a shit. Go fucking talk about Syria all you want. I mean, I haven't shit on uh, Elsa Fuentes or, or Matt here for having a fucking discussion that led into Syria. Well, I mean, he caught your attention, obviously, through his own behavior on stream last night, right? I mean, it's not... You, well, no, I, I I wasn't even watching his stream. I ended up well, seeing on it Kronos, on Kronos, uh, right? That's where yeah, I saw it, too. Kronos. I didn't see it yeah, live. Yeah. yeah, I saw the clips. Like, there's a 30-minute one and a 6-minute one and a 2-minute yeah. one. So it wasn't like a one-off comment, but I mean, no. they were so arrogant about it. Like that one where she's like singing songs and going "bye" and all of that shit. Like, oh that god, that was terrible. fucking grating. Oh my god, it's like he, you know, just thought he got big enough to where he could just do that. I guess. I well, was... and I, I kept waiting for him to turn around and go, "Will you shut the fuck up?" That's you know? what. Oh, that part where she goes, <laughs> yep. "Oh, Bake's just this sensitive guy, and you guys are, oh man, you're hurting his feelings." That oh, literally geez. the only thing that could have saved that would would have been him turn to. Turn into her and just going, shut the fuck up, bitch. You know what I mean? Like that. Jesus Christ, if I was trying to stream and my wife was sitting over my shoulder eating potato chips and I'm trying to fucking hold a conversation, I you're going to catch five across the eyes. You know, shut the fuck up. You're eating potato chips on the fucking stream. I don't know, man. I, I don't know. It's, it's, just... it's a shame to me because he was able to set up uh, really, <laughs> he was able to set up really interesting uh, matches, right? I mean, he did get some interesting shit set up and it was fun to watch and. I mean, when it was just him doing his thing, it was entertaining. People would come to watch it, but he like wants to involve all these fucking LA people, and I, I couldn't even understand who the fuck I was talking to at the time over there because there's like some new fucking person sitting at the mic every two minutes. And there's this weird echo going on where you you sound like the voice of God with with when you're speaking on his stream. I don't know. It was, it was well, just, that's just my natural presence. Yeah, that's, 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 <laughs> <laughs> Nothing spoke down to the faggots. Get your shit together. <laughs> Man, I don't know. I, I am going to have fun uh, watching it. Oh, Tonka saw with the Super Chat. I am going to go through and read the other Super Chats uh, eventually. Aren't they, aren't they all like streamers, though? Like, each one of those person like, does some, like, internet thing. Like, they want they all want to be influencers, quote-unquote, in their own right. I, I it, mean, it's I, such a ridiculous yeah. term. Like, if you put out, if, whether you're streaming or making videos, if you put out interesting shit that people like, they're going to watch it. But if you get full of yourself and think you're an influencer... Yeah. You should be shot in the head. That's such a dumb fucking term and an attitude to have when you're going around in life. Well, I think influencer is just a code word for someone who doesn't have any of the real oh, well, source of income. Yeah, it's marketing speak. It's yeah. it's somebody somebody in marketing and PR looks at your channel and is like, oh, you get people to watch your shit. I'm going to give you a nice title and then uh, try to get you to do goofy shit it's to make me money. It's agency speak. Like, yeah. <laughs> that's something that's meta. That's not even supposed to be said, especially not by the principal of the channel. You're not supposed to – like, what are you even doing talking like that in public that just – it's a turnoff, you know. That's something your agent. It's like some FCB say. Chicago shit going on there. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah I, I don't know. So I mean, that that was energy. It's been a hell of a week. What can I say? I mean, you've got Channel Awesome imploding with all the rape and pedophile charges getting thrown around, and uh, bully hunters. What the fuck? Bully bully hunters imploding. Uh, <laughs> yeah, all the advertisers. Jump Steel ship. series completely <laughs> dropped them like a hot rock earlier. Yeah. Actually, well, they're the threatening lawsuits now. So yeah. <laughs> they're, 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 <laughs> actually, that that chick uh, Zombie Unicorn actually was tw uh, streaming on Twitch. Burning it down, basically, just complaining about everyone and everything while we were streaming. Oh, oh wow. that's fantastic. I, yeah, yeah, I'm going to have to go watch that because Steel yeah. Series is pretty angry. They said that their brand has been damaged by this. It so has they're, been, yeah. yeah, they're looking at legal uh, legal uh, <laughs> avenue to, to assess that. I'm hoping somebody, oh, no. somebody pulled the VOD out of that so I can watch it too because I didn't get a chance to watch it. I really I'm see sure somebody's said. got it. Yeah. yeah. And that was another thing. Did you end up getting, I don't know if you got her channel earlier, uh, Bakes, whatever his thought. Uh, you know, she hit about 30 of her videos, and I had, like, two of them. Oh, well, yeah, that was the other weird thing. They're like, oh, you're, you're digging through people's lives and uh, all the, this weird shit. I was like, no, I, no, it was on her YouTube channel. <laughs> yeah, the, video I, the video I put up of her talking about running away across, <laughs> she said she, flew, she fled for her life because somebody asked if their dog could sit next to her. Like, what the fuck? But that was on her YouTube channel under a yeah. playlist for interviews she had done. So it's not like I magicked that up. And then I don't even know what he was talking about. His fucking manager getting getting calls that he's been arrested. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. I, I don't know. I have no idea there about any of that. There was this other video where she's 
in a towel, out, like fresh out of the shower and doing, I don't know. There was a lot of weird videos on there. I only got a couple of them because, I mean, I wasn't really thinking she was going to scrub the whole channel, but uh, that's pretty much what she did. So anyway, I, I don't think that was the right, right way to uh, react to the whole thing. But, uh, uh, well, yeah, no, you don't want to, you don't want to burn everything down because then that just makes people interested in why you're doing it. Yeah, you know, it's like, what are you hiding? Let, let me yeah, well, and the, the thing too is like that, that's what confuses me. Bank should know his audience. He should know where a lot of his viewers are coming from. He should know where that initial push is coming from. So then to be surprised that they would act the way they would act, or they'd be interested in looking into this or laughing at how stupid it is. It shows like a disconnect. Like he's not really is in tune with the people he's pandering to as he would like to present himself as being. By the way, as we speak, uh, Tonka is uh, filling us in. He said, uh, I, I think it might have came back on since then, but he said, they just ended when the two females flipped on each other. This is a genuine dumpster fire. There's crying. Apparently Aaron, I think it was Aaron, tried to sit on his lap and he pushed her off and then she started getting into it with the other female. And uh, Well, yeah, can I, can I just say I like the other girl better? The, the brunette, the dark-haired girl? Yeah. Uh, when she was sitting with Stream and they were shit-talking her and she was just talking back to them, at least she could fucking handle it. Yeah, she seemed a lot more, you know... I don't know. I just don't think Aaron quite realizes what, what she's involved with. Like, um, like no. Aaron, like, we were, we were talking about this earlier, Ralph. Like, she exhibits, like, the way she speaks, the way she expresses herself and emotes. Like, that looks... And again, I'm not a psychologist or anything, but that looks like somebody who's not all there. Mm, yeah, true. This is what the future of America looks like. I I'm think watching she also, the stream, and it's like yeah. it's a bunch of it's a bunch of Mexicans fighting on a live stream. Wasn't that our stream earlier? Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> we do. Too. A fifty-six percent shit show. Yeah, yeah, right. And oh and e bagging at the same time. This is uh, scientists have figured out what America. That'd be the perfect now, way to, to real life blood sports. The girl on the right. Those typical what is this text to speech bullshit? God, that shit is annoying, Everyone Jim. Holy fucking joy. shit. Like, oh, yeah, no, that's what kept in her. It was really hard to keep track of the fucking conversation because, yeah, every every two seconds. So that's why I asked him, can you just turn it off? A robot it? voice starts coming on. It's, wow. I mean, Erin is like a fake. She's like a fake beauty. She's like, you know, not that I know anything about pornography, but she's like one of these people that looks really good in the thumbnail. And then you check it out. It's like, because look at her teeth. Look at the hair. I mean, it's just, she's like a butter face. I don't understand. I guess, you know, Who? you caught up in the LA lifestyle. Aaron, the, uh, oh, oh, the there one, you go. one of the, the one one on the 20K left. for a boob job and hair. And so it's it a LA yeah. lifestyle. Go Did you see that GoFundMe, Jim, where she was? Uh, yeah, get... was it was that actually yeah. real? I, yeah, I that's saw real. that and I thought that's there's real. no way that can be real. Nobody that's really 100% for... real. It was set up in January. Yeah, that's that's real. <laughs> So it, was, it wasn't just a boob job, though. It was a boob job and, and hair. then hair, hair coloring. Yeah, <laughs> <Yes, hair. laughs> She, she said getting her hair colored back was going to be very expensive, which I, I didn't really understand. But um, yeah, that that was that was legit. That's Apparently, she gonna get a weave. some people swear that there are porn videos of her out there as well. I uh, you know I can't say for sure, but uh, that wouldn't exactly shock me. If hey, Ralph, I don't know. Has anybody searched blacked yet? <laughs> I'm going to send a, a five dollars Streamlabs and uh, do it under your nickname. And okay. I'm gonna play Ram. I'm gonna play Ram Ranch on the big screen. Uh, I hope, hopefully that works. I don't know if the media one actually works. We can play. Media. Nobody ever donates to me on Streamlabs. Really, no, I'm, I'm donating to Baked. But I'm gonna play oh, oh, Ram oh, Ranch on Big oh, Stream good. under your nickname. Oh, good. Okay, yes, please do. I mean, he'll, obviously, he's proven. If if you'll send the cash, there's there's nothing this guy won't do. Of course, gonna, you know. The message will say, read out Ram Ranch. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't know. There's there's nothing wrong with, you know, making money, but he just seems to be totally... Yeah, and I, I have no uh, no issue. If you want to make money, if you're good, and you, you produce shit, yeah. people like, fine, whatever. But I just, I hate that attitude of like, oh, you got me this far, now I don't need you anymore. It just, I, it annoys well, me. Earlier, I don't know if you saw it earlier, but he was like, oh, today is a day of free content. You know, I went out and did all this hard work, hard work, and I told you guys it was all for free. But I'm just going to check here and see if there were a few angels here who went ahead and donated anyway, and it was just... Just the the complete the delivery of it was. Just, it's uh, he's gonna you know that that mentality is gonna. Have you ever heard of somebody called Wings of Redemption? Oh <laughs> yes, I know Jordy <laughs> Jordan. Yeah, I mean he's gonna end up like that dude where he's sitting on stream for eight hours, you know, and like I need to make five subs today. If I don't make five <laughs> yeah. subs today, uh, I didn't want him to get this surgery. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. My, my life is over if I don't get five subs. And then if you don't do the sub thing, 
He's like, that's three minutes of commercials. And then when, when people are like, well, you know, why do you, he, he always says, I hate playing this game. I fucking hate this game. This game ruined my yeah. life. I want to kill myself. And they're like, why are you playing it? I need the fucking money. Give me a sub. Oh, it's yeah. Just, if you guys don't know who Wings is, go look up Wings of Redemption. Man, I've been Red following Red this Red guy Red for like six years playing? now. Yeah. <laughs> it's playing. <laughs> <laughs> they're playing it. Holy shit. Hold on. <laughs> Holy shit! They, the Cowboys face. wanted yeah, to staring at the camera. Fuck. Look at their faces the right now. The so lost. <laughs> They're so confused. Oh, oh, my God. God. so mad. Ram Ranch really rocks. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings from the kill stream. <laughs> Holy yeah, shit. Hot hard fuck cowboys. <laughs> Their cocks throbbing hard. <laughs> 18 more wild cowboys <laughs> out in the yard. Big big so hard. <laughs> he's so mad. Orgy in the shower. He stopped it. Now, no, no, he stopped it. Oh, Say Maria, do you don't even really know oh, care man. about baked? Aaron that obviously was... cares about. Oh, James, that was crazy. That was amazing. Uh, <laughs> nice, nicely done. <laughs> <laughs> Who says blood sports don't bring people together? Ah, there you go. Jim, I appreciate you coming on, man. Yeah, well, I mean, like I said, it was an entertaining stream you had going on. I mean, I, I saw uh, Keem popped up to to watch the uh, discussion, and then, uh, yeah, people were saying PewDiePie stopped by too. So I don't know on that one, but Keemstar was here. Yeah, yeah, was definitely I, here. I guess we do know that one. He actually follows me on Twitter, and he'll pop in every once in a while, comment. I, I guess I, everybody was really looking forward to that Fuentes all sub series yeah. discussion. We, we've were. all been waiting for it. <laughs> yeah. Everybody's been up for it. Yep, it's just been a long time coming. Yeah. Great content. It was, uh, that was one of the ones. That was one of the big matchups that was waiting in the wings. Yeah, and, that's, uh, people were just like, Ralph, this completely fell in your lap. People have been trying to book this for months. Ralph's like, let me read some, let me read some super, super <laughs> I only chats. did that I'm once. Like, no, Come shut on. the fuck up. Shut up, Ralph. <laughs> I only did that once, but, uh, there's well, just... yeah, I have to, I have to say too, uh, before I pop out of here, Ralph, yeah, uh, it, it is a bit of a weird meta mind fuck because, uh, when I was on Bake stream, maybe like a month ago, he was asking me what would be some good matchups to have. And I jokingly said, oh, you need to get all set and Fuentes together because that'll be, that'll be entertaining. And now here we are with that actually happening. And we're all talking about Bake's fucking stream. <laughs> Yeah, man, it's uh, it's been a surreal, uh, I would say, evening, but it's almost 5 a.m. here on the East Coast, so... Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's been a surreal morning, how about that? All right, well, I, I enjoyed the stream. It was fun watching uh, yes. you guys. Uh, it was an interesting diversion to pop onto Banks, but, uh, yeah, thanks for the evening's entertainment, guys. Thank you, Jim, for coming on, man. All right, later, Jim. Take it easy, guys. Oh, Hello. Jim, how you doing, man? Hey, buddy, what's up? I, I don't know. I'm trying to recover from the catastrophic <laughs> evening that I had. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you gentlemen have some salve so I can heal these burns, but <laughs> I'll try to fucking survive. Now, they roasted you. Yeah, Never going to recover. Apparently they roasted. Like I said, I haven't really seen... Like, I've seen some reports and... Um, I saw maybe just the tail end of of their. They did a two hour stream on you, right? Like I don't know how much of it you saw either. How much did you see? How about the? Uh, I saw like uh, somebody tweeted it at me, and then I started watching a little bit. I, I don't know when I jumped in exactly, uh, but then I went and kind of watched the beginning again, uh, straight through to see if I missed anything. Like he had to he had to take it down because there were some goatee pictures in there. Yeah, and he had to go in and kind of like readjust it so it didn't get flagged and that kind of shit. And then he re upped it. So I, I think it's probably the same stream. I can't imagine that he would redact anything. But, uh, yeah, I, I watched the majority of it, I think. Uh, just kind of <laughs> sitting back and watching it as it unfolded. Uh, a lot of it's shit I've already talked about. Like, if you used to follow me on Ask FM, or if you've watched my videos, a good majority of the shit's already in there. So, I mean, it seems like they were, they were trying to psychoanalyze you. Like, what, what what's the issue here? Like, I... Like I said at the beginning, I don't really, I won't say like, you know, short photo talker, mirror tight. Like we're not, we're not really, but he's been around for a while. You know, I've ran in the same circles and I mean, he's always been cool with me and, and he made a point of saying on Twitter, yeah, I'm still cool with everybody from back then, except Jim. And so I'm saying, think, what? It's a little bit of hurt feelings in there. Yeah, yeah. It's like, why? Like, I don't understand what it was. I, I, I don't to... know. It's like every once in a while, these fucking uh, former gamer gators pop up with some grievance. 
uh, with him. And I don't want to give away too much. I mean, we're doing that stream on Friday, so mm -hmm. I don't. I you know, you got to be the showman, right? You got to build up a little bit of hype for well, it. So I don't want to. Yeah, yeah got to keep. You got to keep a little bit of it in, but. Yeah. Uh, I, I think partially what it is, is I made fun of people he didn't want me to make fun of, and then I didn't make fun of people he did want me to make fun of. Yeah, and he, he actually mentioned that, I think, like, why aren't you making a video on JF, or why are you so... You oh, know? my God, the amount of fucking liberalists and, you know, Sargonites and, the, the you know, the anti-SJW big thinkers on YouTube, that whatever you want to classify these people as, uh, I have it just constantly bitching. You need to do a video on Jeff. He's such a low-cow, you know, it's, he's such an epic low-cow. You need to do really JF, man. Uh, like, these faggots know the kind of fucking content I make. Like, if, G if Jim wasn't biased, he would totally go after JF. You know, there's a lot of shit I don't cover. I, like, I didn't cover the fucking sysa, or, uh, this up the the owner of Ed and all the shit that went down with that, right? You remember that? And that was, you mean where they took the site away from him? Yeah, and that yeah. that's a that's a great fucking story. That it's is something hilarious. I would cover. Yeah. It's really funny. But yeah. it, I mean, I don't get around to everything I want to do. You know, I, I was going to do a video regarding JF if JF and Destiny went to fucking court. Um, oh. but that that never materialized. That was going to be like I was really looking forward to that because that would have been such a great shit show. Uh, but you know, part of it now is I've got all these faggots screaming, "Make a video on JF," and it makes them so angry that I don't. That I'm just not going to out of spite. Because well, yeah, I know it about. makes them angry. That's what yeah. I was about to say. It's like that's probably not the way to to get you to make a video. Like just and, and he's not the only one that said that. I've seen, you know, other. Oh, know I've I've seen, I've seen yeah. a lot of them say that, and they it's the same shit. They all try to come in with the. They all it's like I did a video a long time ago on Pretender Center where they try to blend in and act like they they get it. Like it, they they will actually say shit like he's such a cow you need to milk him. <laughs> <laughs> like, get the, like get the fuck away from me with that. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, you need to milk him. Just grab his little French titties and <laughs> pour into the fucking cup. Oh yeah, milk JF. That's what you want to do. But uh, you fuck. know, I I don't know. I will say this: if you watch the beginning of the video, I found this personally funny. I think it's a bit telling, but he's got a giant file folder, right? That Latvi yeah. Man gave him. By yeah. the way, I do know Latvi Man. That's that's totally legit. The guy's not like some people are like, oh, maybe he's LARPing. No, he was he was on Medicare. Mm -hmm. Uh, but he's got a giant file folder of all this shit, you know, like all these old screen caps and stuff, some of which are kind of already out there, a few that I think Latvi Man kind of kept on his hard drive. Um, but he <laughs> he's like uh, he kept saying too during the stream, people were like, Are you are you trying to dox Jim? This is the beginning part that I had to go back and watch. They're like, are you trying to dox Jim? He's like, I'm not trying to dox Jim. Here's his picture. I'm not trying to dox Jim. This is his birth date. I'm not trying to dox Jim. Here's a, here's a literal folder set that says Jim's dox, but I'm not going to read what's in that. Perfect. Like, I, 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 it's very transparent. This is, you know, I, I, part of what I think it is is he's looking so desperately for a reason to be socially justified to teach me a lesson. But he's too much of a pussy to pull the fucking trigger. Like, grow a set of balls. If you want to dox me, short fat otaku, do it. I, I don't, it, it comes off like a really, I, I don't know, pussy move. Like, to have Jim's dox, but I don't want to show them. Uh oh, I'm in trouble now. Short fat otaku's got some pictures. <laughs> short fat otaku's got a birth date. There was some other funny shit in there, too. He's like, Jim's 40 years old, but his yep. girlfriend's only 20. Yeah, I'm, so, I'm sorry. I'm wow, fucking, that's that's really something to be upset about. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm fucking younger <laughs> chicks. Uh, you know, uh, I guess so, I got so to, sad. I got to apologize for that. I also liked all the life coach advice that he liked to kind of give out. You know, the uh, I want to be your surrogate dad and teach you to improve. You know, coming from short fat otaku, really looking at his metrics, you can tell that's a success. <laughs> that's that's a guy you want to take fucking pointers from. I, I'm looking. I am so psyched for Friday to sit there and just. Soak up the wisdom of short fat taco on how to run a fucking channel. To take some tips from him, yeah. That's kinda like Baked Alaska was trying to trying to throw you some tips too, right? Like uh it's like, yeah, I don't I don't really think I need I need tips from you guys. Uh also another one of his talking points, at least from what I've told, like I said, I haven't really went through the stream yet. Um Oh, it it is fucking it, it's pretty good. Um he started getting a little I I don't know, flustered at the end there, because they went off on this weird tangent about internet friendship. Yeah. I don't know why that fucking conversation keeps coming up. They're like, Jim doesn't have any internet friends, and that's just, that's really sad. 
<laughs> what are you yeah. fucking <laughs> talking about? <laughs> they have internet friends and you don't, and that makes them feel bad. Oh, you know, Brittany Venti brought this argument up to me, too. She brought it up to me the day before Andy Worski and Baked Alaska threw each other under a train. <laughs> so maybe I'm right on the whole let's not be internet friends thing. I, I don't think that's working out well for everybody in IBS, uh, present company excluded. Yeah, well, I mean, I don't know. I, I, me and Zidane, I would say we're, we're friends. Yeah. But, like. No, no, I, that's why present company. Yeah, yeah I was going to say, like, <laughs> but, but we're actually friends, though. Like, it's yeah. not some fake shit. That, that's the thing. Um, I feel like a lot of times people who are talking about internet friends or, oh, how dare you criticize me? And, oh, I thought we were cool. They, they just want to claim that status in order to. Um, you know, make themselves immune from from you ever, you know, criticizing them. So yeah. that that's what I found. Or, oh, remember, I did this and this. And well, yeah, that that was that was one of the things he brought up. Like, I'm listening to the stream, and he's like, "Oh, Jim can't take criticism. I get criticism all the time. People, there are a lot of fucking videos up sure. there of people going over like content that I do that they don't like or shit that I do that I don't like. Well, you know, I, I fucking watch it. I listen to it." Uh, one guy did like a 20 minute video about what he didn't like about that guy with the glasses. Another chick did a video talking about the Deviant series. Like, I don't respond to everything because if I respond to it publicly, then people are like, oh, he's just trying to rally an army to go shit on them. I watch a lot of that stuff. I listen to a lot of that stuff. I, but you can't, like, he can't sit behind this kind of like weird logic where he's like, well, you just got to sit there and take it, Jim, because I've classified this as criticism now. So you can't, you can't laugh at me for saying that you don't have internet friends. Like, <laughs> I'm going to make okay. jokes about that. <laughs> so wh how would you classify the end? Uh, so so for, from what I was told, um, and, and I did see a little bit of this, uh, you know, there was like, uh, oh, Jim won't come on or this and that, and then all of a sudden... Uh, well, yeah, I'm listening to the stream, and I think they invited me a couple of times from the point that I started listening. So I'm listening to it, and I was like, yeah, okay, you know. I, 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 was, I thought he was going to have, like, something amazing. So I'm sitting there like, okay, uh, I'm, I'm waiting for this to head. I'm waiting hey, for really, yeah. really good shit to come. Like, it, Short Fat Otaku's going to teach me a lesson. Let's <laughs> see what he's got. Uh, and nothing's coming. Nothing's coming. Nothing's coming. Jim, you should come on. Jim, you should come on. So finally, I'm like, yeah, sure. Fuck it. You know, uh, send me a link. And the minute, the fucking second that Scrump said, oh, hey, wait a second. Jim wants to come on. Short Fat Otaku instantly <laughs> says, oh, no, I can't do that. I've got to go. I've got to. There are things that I have to do right now. <laughs> That don't involve talking to Jim. I have to go with my girlfriend for two mysterious hours. I can't tell you what we're doing. And then I've got to come back and play Nintendo or some shit like that. <laughs> he streamed for two hours before that, but he can't say like 20 minutes later. Oh, I, I don't know. And so I, they, they, they decided, they decided without me that this is going to happen now on Friday at three. Whatever. Oh. I'll do that. Uh, you know, with the three yeah, of them. Yeah, I saw that. So, I was like, oh, there's an open invite for Friday. I was like, okay. Um, I, I was like, whatever. Yeah, I'll, I'll do it. Because, you know, I don't have a vague excuse not to show up. Huh? <laughs> sure, <I'm out> <laughs> I don't need to go, you know, practice my Nintendo Labo armor building skill <laughs> on Friday. You might need it when you get there. That's why. By the way, oh. full disclosure, I actually bought it. I bought a Switch the other day. No, stop telling everyone uh, that. A, a lot, a lot of people have bought them. I, I didn't buy the lab. I haven't bought the labo kit though, so do I, will, I will say I will put that out there. But uh... oh, let me ask you one thing: they said something <laughs> on that stream that I found hilarious. They compared you to Rick from Rick and Morty. They called you Mister Mortiker. Oh, those are some hot bands. I don't know. If I'm <laughs> I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to handle the fucking uh, steaming hot memes these faggots are going to shit out on Friday, but I'll try. I'll are give you, it my best. You, you sound a little worried. I mean, like... I'm, I'm terrified. <laughs> I don't know if you've seen Shirt Fatataku's scathing fucking wit, but I'll, I'll have to, you know, I'll just have to bunker down, hunker down, and deal with it. Now, do you do you remember Short Fatataku? Let me ask you that. Uh, yeah, I remember him being, uh, you know, I think... Uh, <laughs> so, I think I'll use the words of other people. Uh, okay. And when they said that he was a wannabe Isolab uh, fucking hanger on from Gamergate that could never make it, oh. that's kind of what I remember, I guess, is how I'd peg that down. Yeah. Oh, I know. It's hurtful. It's hurtful to say <laughs> things like that. Don't worry, Ralph. <laughs> you, you, haven't agreed, you haven't agreed to anything. You're okay. You can be different. I mean, honestly, <laughs> I'm going to be honest. I don't give a fuck. Like, I, I'm not, like, he's nobody that I've ever, like, talked to or anything. Like, okay, a couple messages here and there, but it's more of, 
Well, I, I think should I, should I, I just think... say what I think? Like honestly, I mean, maybe I should, but oh no, don't, don't, don't piss don't, off that large damn, don't say segment what you of think. your that large segment of your audience. You don't want to really alienate them. <laughs> the short fat otaku. I don't know. I try to be nice, Jim. I, I really do a lot of times, and and he's never really, you know, said anything negative to me. But it's also like, oh, I'll just you know, try to stay on Ralph's good side, or at least not publicly talk shit about him. Um. Uh, I don't know. It's just, it's strange. And I asked him earlier, like, I was just like, what is, why do you have an issue with Jim? Like, I, I don't really understand. I mean, to me, and I'm speaking to you face to face, we've talked, like, I talked to you four years ago. Like, we, mm -hmm. we, we had chats. Um, I did an interview with you when you fucking, you know, whatever, uh, bowed out of Gamergate, which Gamergate, uh, and not to get too deep because I don't want to. Yeah, you know, the Turn fucking in, weird yeah. thing is, yeah, yeah, I, I know it was like an aside. I, I can't remember where the fuck it was, but it got brought up again. And I, I think it was with Sargon. Uh, and, and I was, you know, it was like, uh, I was bringing up the reasons that I left again, which were almost exactly yeah, the, the same. same but, yeah. yeah, but but when I brought them up, people thought I was talking about myself. They're like, Jim needs a wheelchair? No, I'm talking about the fucking <laughs> chick that wanted a chairlift that asked for five grand. And chair and, the, and teeth, somebody. Uh, yeah, and teeth, and, teeth. And, and rent. You remember uh, yes. Tom Sawyer? Or what, yes. what the fuck was his name? Where he Steve got kicked Tom up? Sawyer. Steve got kicked Tom up Sawyer. by his two yeah. Asian girlfriends and needed money for rent. Yeah. Yes. It was pathetic. And also, and I mean, I'm not going to relitigate the whole thing, but uh, even at, the, at that time and even now, they're like, Oh, Jim has a problem with with people, you know, trying to make a living. That's never what you said. You told me personally. It's like, no, it's not about that. It's about people, you know, latching on to to Gamergate, latching on to something that's hot or whatever, uh, something that that yeah, might they're, have they're, a bigger purpose. But they're using it for their own personal gain, and they're not doing anything. You know? What yeah, I mean? they're 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 riding the tramp. They're they're hopping yeah. on the hashtag to run the fundraiser to get the money, then to fuck off. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's not like, oh, they're this big, you know, creator or, or they have some ideas and, and they want support for that. No, they're trying to fund their fucking, you know, wheelchair lift. They're trying to get new teeth. They're trying to pay their rent and they're using people to do so. And uh, you've always been very consistent with oh, that. Your chat, your chat has some harsh words for me. Harsh words. Why am I troll shielding Tonka? Yeah, I've heard that too. Do, do you want to address that? Oh, well, I, I don't know what, when, well, one, get your definition right, but two, where am I doing that? Where have I stepped in in the last month of this shit show that's been devolving in real time? Where have I stepped in and said, now, guys, let's everybody be nice. I mean, now, guys, you, you need to, I haven't done anything. I've been doing I mean, my own shit. I would yeah, never expect you to do so either. <laughs> that's the thing, like, what the fuck? And then I, I, I saw, I saw some people too saying, um, Oh, you defended Andy Worski when you you, you cucked to Andy Worski when you were talking to Ice Poseidon. I've seen no, that. I I was bringing up the fucking straight up point because I'm talking to Ice Poseidon about baked Alaska, and then Ice Poseidon says to me, "Let's just blame Andy Worski," which would you know absolve fucking baked Alaska of all the dumb retarded shit he does. And I was like, "No, nah, I can't do that. Baked's the fucking narc." So I, I don't know how that's cucking. That's that's me not letting him shield fucking baked from any, you know, backlash against his retarded shit. Now, I guess I could ask you about about this. I mean, you're here on the kill stream right now, by the way. Thank you. For go go ahead. You're, you're the host. I came on as a I guest. Mean, ask me whatever you like. <laughs> so, I mean, I read the same things you read, right? I mean, mm -hmm. we're, we're, we, you know, we're both in tune. We, we both love fingers. We, we both love Reddit. I yes, know. Go ahead. We, we, yeah. <laughs> we love our subreddits. We both have our fingers on the pulse, right? Mm -hmm. Um. So some of these people, and I have a feeling that it's the same. You know, ten, fifteen people, if that. That might be a generous, uh, generous uh, number there. But they say, Jim's is um, distancing himself from from the Kumite. He won't go on Warski anymore. Um. So, I mean. What do you like? What what is that true? Have you just decided not to, not to fuck with them anymore? Um, Why? Well, yeah, I mean, there there are a couple of reasons for that. I mean, I, I found more interesting shit. Uh, you know, it, funny enough, after the bake shit, I started watching Ice Poseidon, and it's like a it a daytime true. TV yeah. fucking drama, like a soap opera, uh, which is entertaining to me. So I've been watching a lot of that. Uh, I'm also fucking with a furry community at the moment, so I've been kind of busy with that. <laughs> um, <laughs> So, I mean, those two things have kind of occupied me. I've, I, I mean, I've kind of drifted away from watching it. I, I like the Kumite, but I don't know, man. They just It feels like they lost a bit of the spark. 
and uh, there seems to be a fuck ton of infighting going on right now between multiple factions. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I think, you know, the internal drama is fine, and I covered a lot of it. But at a certain point, it's like, all right, time to move on. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, just stop focus on, on the stuff you want to talk about um, and just just stop at that. Of course, you know, I, I like those guys, but I'm just, just at a certain point. Um, I had a uh, had a follow-up, but it kind of... Uh, oh, did you did you see me? What did you think about me getting the strike yesterday for... Uh, well, yeah, didn't you show some fucking horror <laughs> fingering herself on you? Of course you got a fucking strike. What are you talking about? You're going to put some disgusting camp or banging away, and you think nobody's going to take notice now, of wait that. a minute, Jim. Come on. I, I, I cut away at the worst bits. Like, come on. Uh, dude, I, I uh. watched that chick finger her ass, finger her pussy. <laughs> She, she fingered her pussy, pulled her fingers out, rolled something in between them, and started sniffing. And like she at did. that point, I was like, I, I can't fucking do this. My stomach couldn't handle it. I was it like, was this disgusting. bitch is fucking disgusting. So, uh, <sighs> yeah, I made a mistake. Let's face it. I, I yeah, you fu- you fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> you fucked up. Yeah. Uh, well. Whatever. I mean, at least I mean you did get nailed. It sucks, but you got nailed on something fair. At least you didn't get like some bullshit report. You know what I mean? Like That's you true. did show a whore, so you got nailed for showing a whore. That's true. I got I got um I got nailed on it. Um, what what made you come on tonight? So people would be like, well, why did you come on the kill stream? Like, what what made you show up? Just because we were talking about about this stream earlier, or? Well, no, I I have been watching the kill stream. I've I think seen you, you. yeah. I, I've seen yeah you I, I think you've been doing a good job with it. So I mean, uh, at least at least you have an idea what the fuck you're doing, <laughs> you know. So I, I that's why I enjoy it. Yeah. Listen, I I want I, I want a good you know every once in a while a good bottle retard screaming at each other. So good matches, uh, and just covering different shit. And you you got a good way of kind of setting up your flow too. You know, like you know, you work in your super chats. You know what I mean? Uh, and so you got a good play with your audience. So I think that works. Thank you. Thanks. What do you but, uh, oh, go oh, no, go, no, uh, go no, 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 no. Oh, easy. yeah, but the other thing too was, yeah, I was like, oh, well, if he's going to talk about this, I'm going <laughs> to totally well jump on. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to totally jump on. And if Short Fat Otaku shows up, I'm going to be like, I got to go play Nintendo. I'll see you. <laughs> I'll see you on Friday. Uh, what, what Tom is, what Tom is that debate again? I don't fucking know. It's whenever he sets it up. So <laughs> whatever, whatever fucking time on Friday he wants to do it is when we're doing it. What what do you have planned though besides that in terms of like videos and stuff? Oh, I got the school shooter vid with the uh, guy that got uh, yeah. fucked over by yeah. furniture uh, you were coming talking up. Talking about that video for months. Yeah, yeah, because I, I think it's going to be really good. And then I've got uh, the furry shit will eventually come to fruition, and I'll do a video on that. Cool. Uh, it's just just shit like that. Just kind of going through a backlog of fucking videos that's been sitting there. Yeah, I, I got sidetracked a lot by you had all this Kraut and T shit pop up, and then you had mm. all the IBS stuff pop up. And, you know, I got fascinated by the IBS stuff because I like watching people scream at each other. But there is another reason. And I was open with people. I said, I'm not anybody's friends. But there is another reason that I, I, I was kind of pushing behind IBS. Because it pissed off liberalists to such an extent. Every fucking day that IBS would go on, you would hear people bitching and whining about it. This is trash. This is alt-right propaganda. How could you platform J.F. Kierpe? He's a cow that needs to be milked. <laughs> and I loved listening to them get fucking angry about that. So, I mean, part of that was kind of the enjoyment of it for me, but I, I got so sidetracked in this shit that I fell behind on a lot of the stuff that I wanted to work on. Yeah. yeah. That, that can definitely happen. Uh, Emmett, what else was I going to ask you? I mean, I have I have the great privilege to have you on the show. Not oh, that me. sounds gay. Don't say that. <laughs> we're, gonna both, we're gonna both look fucking terrible if you say that. Don't say that. Oh no, they they might. Uh... Just say that now that I have your faggot ass here. What can I ask you? You know what? I've told this story before, uh, but I'll tell it again while you're here. Uh, you, you know, you left or whatever and went away for a while. I used to um, have the internet aristocrat profile, and. Uh... <laughs> I remember I was getting roasted for something. I, I forgot. All this shit runs together. And I was on I was on Twitter and I was still fucking with the Gamergate shit because I was a faggot. And I was like, man, you know, now I'm starting to understand. I'm really starting to understand why Jim said fuck this and, and just left. And then all of a sudden, 
you came like it was right when you came back. I didn't know you were back at the time, and you're just like, "Oh, fucking, quit being a faggot, cry me a river," <laughs> like tweeted at me. And it's still like when I think about it, this, fucking cracks me up. Go. So, uh, short fat tacos in the chat apparently. Oh my god, I have oh, to. No. My girlfriend suddenly just called me, and I need to go play <laughs> Nintendo. Is he? Does he want it? Like, are we gonna do it now? Is that? I'm fine with doing it now if you want to. It doesn't bother me. I guess if he's man enough, short fat taco can up, can come up here. Let's do it. I have his Twitter. So I'll just yeah. go ahead and send him the link proactively. Do it. Let's see if he's man enough. Let's see if he mans up. Or he's going to be a little bitch. I mean, he's, again. he's good enough to be in the chat. Yeah. But hey, you'll you free up my Friday, so <laughs> that works for me. <laughs> we're, here, we're, he we're here to help. That's what we do. All right, let's... Uh... Okay, here he is. Apparently, apparently, Ralph, your mic is a little low. Yeah, I heard that. I'm going to try to turn it up. It's probably, you know, Hangouts doing Hangouts gay shit. Uh, there was a question. Oh, a question from Super Chat. Talk, speaking of working in Super Chats. Uh, Jim, please talk about Amos and your thoughts on him, quote unquote, destroying you. LOL. Uh, Amos who? <laughs> no, I'm not. That's not a joke. What are we talking about? I think it's what Amos Yee, isn't the oh the oh the little Asian dude? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, didn't he do like a stream with um uh Dankula earlier or something? I honestly could not tell you. I I, I don't know. I guess I missed out on this destruction. I'll have to go watch the play by play <laughs> later on. I did a video on him saying that I I thought he was pretty much just trolling because nobody could be this fucking retarded, uh, and that was kind of the end of my interest in him. Um, I I sent uh, Fatataki the link. I guess to get okay, I will get meta here. I th I'm, I believe you talked about this before, uh, but I, I remember a comment that I read, and they were talking about Sargon and you know that that Tom and you guys got on air. I guess it was a couple months ago. Uh, he just seems to be like reaching out for your approval or to try to get you to be something that you've never been really. Um, and somebody made the comment like basically. Jim was just shit posting and fucking around and started one of the biggest, um, you know, whatever cultural firestorms on the in internet history, just fucking around. Uh, do you ever think about that? Like, like the impact that you've had? Not, not well. Like it, every night, uh, yeah. Every <laughs> night, every, every night I get on my knees and I pray to Monday Matt because remember he's told everybody <laughs> that he is the fucking start and beginning of Gamer Game. And I think, thank you, Mundane Matt. Thank you, most red-filled motherfucker on the internet for starting <laughs> the culture war and leading us into the bright, bright, brave future that awaits us. Uh, no, I... No, but it, seriously. No, I mean, seriously. Like, it's, it's, I, I didn't shitpost anything into existing. People were already talking about I it. Mean, I mean, they were talking about it, sure, and it still would have been a thing, but I don't know. I feel, I feel like you kind of blew it up, you know what I mean? Like... It, it, you kind of took it to the next level with with the burgers. And nah, there there were a thousand fucking factors. Uh, right, Baldwin right. Baldwin doesn't retweet the videos. The hashtag doesn't start. Right. Uh, you know, people aren't talking about it. I don't hear about it. So I mean, it it would be arrogant to fucking say, oh well, you know, I I, I just I I'm trying to picture somebody walking into a restaurant. Right, this is how I view it. So I'm trying to think of somebody walking into a restaurant and being like, hey, maybe you don't know this, but uh, I started Gamergate. <laughs> Maybe I should maybe I should get a free meal. The you know? funny thing <laughs> is about you know ninety eight percent or I don't know may, at least ninety five. Most people don't even know what the fuck Gamergate is. Like if you if you talk to a regular person who's is not you know. Oh no, they look at you like you're from Mars. Like, yeah, what? Like or pretty much. or yeah. maybe they heard about it, but they don't. Like, it's like what is that? You know, they really don't know anything about it, like a normal person. So um, yeah, I don't know. I, I but but still, I've like. Uh, it is kind of uh, crazy. All right. I'm trying to turn myself up. I don't fucking know you guys. So. Yeah, you're, you sound fine to me. I, I don't know. But um, with Gamergate, I mean, that was the primary driving force behind it, especially in the beginning, was uh, Anons. It was anonymous people. It was anonymous yeah. users, right? Uh, that really was that's what propelled I it forward. On. Yeah. That's, what pro that's what's propelled everything forward. I mean, if you look at Chinology when it started up, anonymous users, Occupy Wall Street, a lot of anonymous users really fucking pushing it hard. It devolves into faggotry later on when you start, you know, uh, other factors start coming into play. But that initial buildup and that initial push, there's no way you can look at that and be like, that wasn't 4chan. 
that was. It was completely fucking 4chan. But, well, yeah, that's where, and I had only been on 4chan a handful of times before then, I mean, to tell you the truth, uh, but that's where I, like, got hooked, you know what I mean, and and decided to, to go in on it. But uh, I guess... Um, no, um, about wait, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry to interrupt you. No, go ahead. Has another Nintendo Let's Play started? Where Short Fat Attacker? I know. I sent him the link and he was in the chat. And He's still in the chat. Man, get on the show. What are you doing? Seriously. Come on, man. It'll be fair. Just you and, He's trying you to and save Jim. those shekels for his channel, I guess. I'm, I'm not sure, but... We can give him a little... Oh, people, hey, uh, Ralph, if you want to stream snipe... Or, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Stream snipe somebody. Par- people are saying Wings of Redemption is having a major meltdown on <laughs> Twitch right now. <laughs> <laughs> well. Well, I mean... You're the really expert on Wings, too, aren't you? No, not really. But I, I do I do find the whole fucking situation... There, there are channels dedicated to him. Um, in fact, uh-huh. hold on. You know, I want to give this guy a shout-out, because he's got a fucking great archive page. Like, if you want to go watch Wings of Redemption melt the fuck down on a daily basis... Uh, this guy really does fucking put out videos every day about him. Uh, Sean Ranklin, S E A N R A N K L I N, uh, for all the hottest wings content. Every fucking day he puts it up. Uh, so those kind of guys, like that, that kind of dude, uh, is the one that could be the uh, expert on wings lore. All right. Um. By the way, I turn myself up. I don't know if it sounds any better or not. So I apologize. Well, yeah, I'm just I'm I'm hearing you in the hangout. Yeah, yeah, so. you're hearing it differently. So, um, and I can't confirm if Wings is freaking out. I I don't have no, that. I, 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 I see it. I posted it in the uh, sidebar here. I guess I guess we could uh, we could tune in. Time as well, right? Let's let's day, turn up a little bit. Like you saying that. You Let me just open a link here. Game, it's, it's, it doesn't cut anymore. Period. Have I ever got ever have I ever got pissed at you out? Oh, come on. Outside of a video game reference? Yes. What would I do? I don't know if he's freaking out. <laughs> yeah, I'm it's not like sure. I don't down. You told me to fuck off from asking to play on PC. Did you see his, uh, I, I don't know, did you happen to have a chance to see his reaction when the video came out? No, you know, no. I watched I watched your whole video, but I didn't see what, what he said in the reaction. No. Oh, he, he tweeted out, I'm having a really good day. And then the video came out and he said, I'm kind of sad. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. That seems appropriate, though. Like, yeah, just I'm a little. Sad. I'm kind of sad now. I'm a little upset at the moment. <laughs> a little upset. <laughs> Oh, and I, there's a lot of stuff I didn't get to cover with Wings that, that I, I, I redact that I wish I could have gone well, into. I could I could tell that you could have easily made that probably like an hour video. like with all Oh, the there shows. was so yeah. much more. Like, he got fucked on his mortgage. Like, his, yeah. his, his grandmother lied to him and screwed him into a second mortgage. He didn't, oh. save up, he didn't save up any money. He spent it all on trucks. Oh. He had like three brand new trucks at the time instead of putting money in the bank. Just really dumb fucking shit that a lot of these people do when they, they get a little bit of cash in their pocket. Well, see, the best thing to do, and I don't, of course, I mean, you're smart, you already know. Bank that shit. Like, I mean, you know, spend and, and get some stuff that you need, maybe, or, or, you know, a couple of things that you want, but you need to be saving most of that money. I diversify. Because you're uh, well, you know what the, fun- you know what the funniest anymore. thing is, though? Um, about him buying, like, 80 fucking trucks? <laughs> he, he he never leaves his house. He's only left, I think, the state four times and the city like six times. Like, he never goes anywhere. So why would somebody who stays at home all day need three fucking trucks? <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> Rarely leaves a 50-mile radius. Yeah, that doesn't... Uh... He just looks at him then. I don't know what this guy's deal what is. What the hell? <laughs> just waste money at that point. Holy shit. I mean, at a certain point, though, and... and uh at the risk of sounding like a faggot again, but you talked about it in your video. I mean, it is kind of like sad and pathetic. That, like he's whining and crying. It's like, this is the only thing I can do in life. I have to sit here and play this call of duty. Cause that's all, that's all I have. And I hate it. I just hate my existence. I mean, he just kind of boxed himself into that. Like there, there really is nothing else he can do except just sit on and take the abuse. Right. I mean, like, Oh, he's he's trapped. Yeah, he's terrified. He can't find a job. Uh, he's terrified that if he quits doing this, he won't have anything to support himself. And he fucking hates it. He hates doing this. He hates playing video games. He hates Call of Duty. Uh, he loathes it. It makes him cry every day. He throws controllers every day because he can't fucking stand uh, his lot in life. If he had been smart, and I, I'll put this out there. I think it's common sense advice. Anybody will fucking tell anybody, but mm-hmm. 
if you're listening to this and for some reasons at some point later on you become like some big fucking uh, online personality and you're making a shit ton of cash save it put it in the fucking bank so uh, you know two years from then when that popularity is gone you're not bankrupt and 9.9 times out of 10 it's gonna be gone because yep. um, and, and you can hear Hollywood actors will tell you the same thing like there's a prime earning period like when you're hot you, you get all the money you can you take as many roles as you can and you fucking save that money because uh, only the like only the legends are gonna be doing this shit for you know decades and decades only yeah. only the the very top talent are, are gonna have that type of staying power most people aren't so you yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, they're never. Or if you're gonna put it into something, put it into something like land. Yeah, like get exactly. a, get a, get a, get land, get a fucking house. You know, yeah. avoid avoid three trucks, but get something that you can fucking live in for the rest of your fucking yeah, life. Or uh, invest in something. Yeah, yeah, do something with the money other than spend it on retarded shit. Because right. when it's over, it's over. And a lot of people like get a fucking job. Obviously, you're gonna want to get a job. But if you've got like a five year gap on your resume. And they're like, what did you do? And you're like, <laughs> I, was playing video games. <laughs> I, I play video games on the internet. They're going to be like, get the fuck out of my office. Yeah, that's hard to explain to HR and bosses. <sighs> so what, what qualifies you to work at the steel factory? Well, I am very good at uh, Let's Playing Nintendo games. I don't know if you know that or not. That was kind of a big deal about that. <laughs> I, beat a, I, I built a functional suit of armor with my Nintendo Labo. Labo. Keep saying a lot. It's basically just cardboard folded up, right? Like, it, yeah, that's what it is. It's literally that. You're paying, yeah. You're buying cardboard boxes and then making fucking little forts out it, of it. It looked ridiculous to me. I will say, I saw one video of a little girl playing with it, and that did seem cute. But I mean, I'm not, I'm not sick. Well, I, I want to know what happens when it gets wet. Like, I'm really curious <laughs> what happens because kids are gonna go outside and play with that shit. So if they fall down, it's gonna get dented. If they get in the water, is it gonna disintegrate? Like, how sturdy Ooh. is that uh, cardboard? Let me ask you, Jim, are, are you considering uh, purchasing a Switch? Oh, I already own a Switch. Oh, you do? I didn't know oh, that. Oh, bing, bing, wahoo, whip, yippies, too. Oh, oh no, didn't you, didn't you listen to uh, Blackface Kermit? He's told everybody that I have a Switch. I so didn't I, know that. Oh, yeah, fuck. I have one, too. I have Odyssey. I'm, I'm waiting for Smash to come out. We'll see what else. Oh, real? No, I've, I've got all my Labo kits uh, <laughs> <laughs> displayed displayed on the walls. So, you know, I, I know I was all into that PC gaming thing, but I was like, you know what? Fuck it. Why would I want to play games on ultra settings when I can play games at 30 frames per second at, you know, 7, not even 720p, like 698p? <laughs> a weird thing. So, so two things from the chat. One, Nora says, Ralph, no Labo for you. I'm not getting Labo. I refuse. <laughs> and two, um, what somebody said to ask about Queen of Pole. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's fair. Oh, yeah. Oh. Okay. Let me ask you about this. Because, mm -hmm. by the way, Thomas Ellington, I don't have anything against him. Um, he's, I've talked to him, he's, you know, he's a nice guy, but, but he put out some videos and he said, this is the real reason Jim did what he did to King of Paul. This is the real reason. Oh, I'm getting the real reason. Hit me with the real reason. No, I was like, oh, he, he's doing all this stuff behind the scenes and, and this and that. Um, and like that was, it was a response to that. And then of course. I mean, I, I, I've I've been around both of you guys for years, not not necessarily like constantly, um, but especially you know back in the day. Mm -hmm. I mean, you, you kind of ran the same circles, right? I mean, it's not it's not an exaggeration to say that that you guys were um, talking, maybe not like best friends, but well, not not really. You I went mean, on it, streams it, together though, and stuff. Well, like yeah, that. I, I went on yeah. I went on streams with a lot of people, but That's true. I, I went on streams with. Fucking short fat otaku, I think at one point That's I true. went on streams with Sargon. With me, yeah, I was yeah, gonna say with, yeah. with the others. But um, I mean, that, those were mostly streams. It, it, but look, the, look I, yeah. I just want to say, is part of it though, like, and I'm very familiar with uh, with King of Paul, um, and he he seemed to always have a, I don't think it's inaccurate to call it an obsession with you, um. Well, no, here's the, here's the logic behind it. And it really is what I said. I, I don't know why that's so mysterious to people. But there were points on Twitter where he was claiming to be part of Medica, and people called him yeah. out on that. I think Wild Goose did, yeah, if Wild I remember Goose. right. Wild Goose called him out on that. He also called him out on, you know, he claimed a lot of, like, 
um, psychiatric nurse stuff that he didn't actually exist and well yeah there. I see I don't know the background on that yeah, but yeah. yeah he wasn't a part of Medicare but like, he'd always bring my name up in situations for no reason and I, I, oh. I, I fucking had enough I got sick of people constantly saying like oh he's bringing your name up or or is he associated with you are you best of friends I played Street Fighter 5 with him occasionally I'd play a fucking PC fighting game with him occasionally uh, and then I got this audio sent to me and I was like that is some funny fucking shit I mean, it's hilarious yeah so that's really all there was to it. It was funny audio. There's no, there's no mystery to it. There's no, oh, uh, so Ellington is saying that I'm running behind the scenes, or Paul is running behind no, the scenes. No, he was Paul saying is? that, um, because of some of the stuff he was doing behind the scenes, um, with whatever, with some other people, and and trying to uh, to fuck with internet blood sports, and and that was kind of why you went at him. Uh, whereas I, how would I just, how wait how would going after Pole have any effect on internet blood sports? He wasn't really even a part of it. Did he have his own show? No, he didn't. I mean, from what I understood, like at the time, there was uh, Worski, there was the Kumite. You were doing the kill streams, and then you had bi or backyard blood sports, right? That was the four. Yeah, and I don't remember him being associated with really any of them. No. I think I had him on once or twice, and he was on the committee a couple times. Well, yeah, I mean, people have fucking guests on all the time, but what, what yeah. I'm saying is he wasn't like a uh, a fucking co-host on any of those shows. No, no. He... But, I I mean, I guess just in general, I thought he was he was looking a little too deep when when the answer's right there on the face of it. First off, the audio itself is just fucking hilarious. And then he's been tagging... He, he's been tagging for years and stuff, and, and claiming stuff, or I'm tight with Jim, and... And this and that, and you know we're we're friends, and um, just just claiming stuff that doesn't exist, and I, I don't know. It just it just seems. I funny. I legit thought the audio was funny. That that's all yeah, that appeals to me. Yeah. You know, and the fact that the person who sent it to me was the one that sent it to me made it even fucking more bizarre. Um, Grant, by the way, I know I know Grant a little bit. Yeah. It's invisible crane. Yeah. Like that, yeah. the guy has been fucked with so much, and so I just to get that sent to you. He's like, "Fuck you, Brian." <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "All right, man, that's funny shit." And at one point in the fucking audio, he's like, "God, I hope Jim doesn't hear this." And I was like, "I have to play this now." Now we've actually tried to get him on the show uh, a couple times since, but uh, uh, King of Pole or Grant? No, King of Pole. Yeah, I, I don't have a. I, I don't know how to contact Grant. I think he's I, probably drunk in Scotland somewhere. Yeah, at this point. I used to have him on Skype. I don't know. Maybe I still do somewhere. I don't even use Skype that much anymore. But uh, he, he is quite the character. But yeah, I tried to get King Paul to come on. I, I don't know if you saw. Actually, I know you saw because I saw in the chat. Uh, oh that fuck! Uh, that's a, that's another thing I forgot. I'm I'm reading your chat right now as it's going by. Um, did you know that I dox Chaget on a three-hour stream with him? Oh no! Yeah, yeah. That was short, short, talking point, short fat otaku. Yeah, told everybody that I no doxed. No way! Him. Yeah, yeah. On a three-hour stream, that was me, all me doing that. Well, by that logic, I doxed him too. Then, I mean, uh, it's it's quite it's amazing. Not like, it's not like he said he everything. Doxed on himself. Stream. Yeah, I was about to say. Uh, he he <laughs> put all that guy. out there on on stream, and he he, he, on, he on literally stream went on stream, told people his name, told people where he worked, made outrageous statements, and then dared the chat to fuck with him. And then the chat did fuck with him. Yep. We were all passive observers of this shit. He did that to himself. Like, well, he wrote you an email saying, yes. can you take down the stream where I doxed myself? First, he offered me $100, and then he raised it eventually to $500, and I still didn't take it. Uh, but but I kept playing him along because I just want to see like how much he would actually offer. Uh, and it got up to $500, and then I just stopped responding. And... Uh, then he, uh, eventually, I guess it was you know a few weeks later. I mean, he was just on this show. Was it was it just last week, Zidane, that he was on this show? Uh, yeah. All these fucking days. I liked later. how awkward that was, by the way, because that yeah, guy had no rapport with you people. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, he was. Ch Chaggett was. Yeah, yeah, because he was here last week. Yeah, it was just last. And then week. he came on. He came on the after show, and we tried to uh, give him an intervention. He, he kept saying how how not gay he was. It was really weird, and uh, but, and he kept but, doing but he gay wants to too. hang around with all gay gay men. Uh, he's not gay, uh, not of course not. He's not gay, definitely one hundred percent. But but he wants to hang around with gay men, and uh, 
talk about gay things, but other than that, he's, he's... well, that explains what his attraction to Bake Alaska was, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, that leads me to something. Uh, mm-hmm. Baked Alaska, did, I, I don't know if you've been, you know, watching the Kumite and following some of this stuff, but uh, after the day after he got disowned by by Ice Poseidon, he he sent uh, he sent Mister Worski an email. And it was like, I'm, I'm, I'm oh, really did he? Sorry. Yeah, oh. he did. I'm, I'm what, what was the What was the? Oh, uh, he said he was sorry. Yeah, he said he was sorry, and I still love you, bro. And and today, uh, I was actually on there for a few minutes earlier today. Andy, like I don't know, he went to the store and you know took a took a moment. He had to go run an errand, and he ended up getting a couple traffic tickets. And then, <laughs> and then after he announced that on the stream, Baked Alaska got on there and gave gave him ten dollars and put like a little like peace dove in the in the thing and said, "Here's to help you with your ticket," uh, and and gave him a super chat uh, in the stream. Well, I, I will tell you what I've noticed on okay. Ice Poseidon. You know, he has all these like um, people around him, like leeches and just people he associates sure. with that do streams of their own. And there have been a lot of fucking baked Alaska jokes. I was kind of surprised by that. Like I watched, uh, uh, what the fuck is his name? Brandon something. And then uh, Burger Andy. And they were, they were talking outside like a joint and just out of the blue. They're like, hey, man, what are you doing? He starts sniffling, and he goes, oh, you know, Baked Alaska just dropped off a shitload of Coke. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck. He's a punching bag wherever he goes. Oh, and That's did you hear, did you hear, uh, yeah, Ice Poseidon, too. Uh, yeah. Like, Aaron was saying something in the RV, and Ice Poseidon's like, are you talking about that? <laughs> I think he said faggot, Baked Alaska. <laughs> He's like, that guy's a cuck. He's a giant fucking cuck. <laughs> <laughs> That's, he's trying to be good with the ending, and that's why. Poor ba- L- let me ask you: um, if you had some advice to give to Baked Alaska, what what would be your advice? I have no me? fucking advice for Baked Alaska. <laughs> good luck. <laughs> <sighs> All right. Remember, I, I mean, I, I was trying to write off his name, according to him. Oh, so what, what what advice could I give Baked Alaska? True. Yeah, that's true. He's he's the master. I, I can't imagine Alaska. what Look advice you give. Oh yeah, no, he's he's a real fucking smashing success. Aaron has more subs than he does right now. Uh, he more money than him too. By the way, let me let me see. Um, oh, we have we have short uh, Fedotaku in the DMs. He said, "Thanks for the offer, but I'm sitting down to eat dinner with the girlfriend." Oh, that's so weird because you know, uh, uh, you know, he had to delay his stream because he was eating. It's true. It's, hey, every every time, time, every time something comes up, he's got to eat a little bit. And he says, it's okay, though. I stand by pretty much everything I said, so I don't mind you guys doing whatever with it. But that's, uh... No, I guess, I, I guess we're going to have to wait till Friday to hear that great life coach advice from him. Shockingly enough, he wants to uh, wait till Friday. But but he had time to, to post in the chat, though, and to... To keep, I mean, he's he's one hundred percent listening to us right now. I mean, there's no doubt. Hey guys, I can totally type in the chat and <laughs> respond to DMs, but I'm eating right now, which makes it difficult to put a headset on my fat fucking face. Okay, then, buddy. All right. How, how seriously? How long does it take to eat? Like, I mean, what are you at a you know five star restaurant? I mean, just eat and then and then come on. Like, I don't know. I I don't I don't know. <laughs> I, don't. I mean, it's like okay, well we can sit here and wait. I mean, just just fucking eat and then and then get on. Well, hey, you know, I'm. I, it'll make Friday all the more fun. I, I don't mind going to his channel, uh, and having a, a loving conversation. I, I, I don't know what he's gonna bring up. I, I don't like the direction your channel's going, Jim. Okay, I don't like your content. Uh, okay, <laughs> like, is that is that the end of the conversation? Like, where do we go from there? I don't know. To me, like one of the reasons. Um... I've always respected you and liked you. It's, I mean, you're pretty much the same, dude. You've always been. Like, I mean, it's it's not really yeah, any different except, from day one. They called like, him out on that, that he was exactly the same. That was one of the points they made, that he never changed, that he was the same guy from the beginning. That's a now. great fucking thing to me. They, like, he's always been one. the same dude. He's always been laughing at, at Spurgs. He's always been just about having yeah. fun. And, yeah. and one of the reasons, in my opinion, uh, that you got away from, from the uh, movement I won't name again, uh, movement, whatever you fuck you want to call it, it was because it got away from being fun. It's it just been uh, serious, and you can't do this. You're making us look bad, you know. Um, so I don't know. It's, no, 
It was exactly one of their points. He maintained the old status quo and hasn't progressed as a content creator. What what is that? I don't understand what that means. <laughs> what they said it. What, what do you mean by progress as a content creator? The quartering says confirm the Ralph retort is fagging for Mr. Medicare. Wow. Oh. Well, the quartering is one of those boys that didn't she, like uh, IBS very much. Uh, well, he does like it, but he likes to bitch about it a lot. Just throwing that out there. By the way, quartering, uh, I, I think this is a funny aside to the whole short fat otaku uh, stream that he did. I, I think it was a quartering. Was the one that DM me and said, "Hey, somebody's trying to shop around your docs. They got all this information." He sent me a screen grab, <laughs> uh, a screen grab of like the Jim sucks big time blog, and at the very top, it's it, you know it, the language is Latvian, so I know it's Latvian man, right? Lati man, Latvian man. That's that's why he's called that is because he's Latvian. <laughs> uh, and so I was like, "Oh, that's that's funny." He's like, I, "I'm not going to do it." He, you know, he was like, "I'm not going to do anything. I just wanted you to know." So it makes me wonder if Latvi Man went around to all these people saying, hey, I've got all this information, and nobody took it up except for Short Fat Otaku. Because that was, that was like a week and a half or two weeks ago. There's something Possible. about, there's something about the, the aforementioned uh, phenomenon that just has people... I don't know. They just don't want to let it go. Oh yeah, no, that that's fine. Quartering. Sorry, I didn't know when I looked out for you. No, that that's fine. Well, all I'm saying is, it seems like it was he was trying to get that information out, and nobody was interested in taking it. Uh and for what? Short Fat Otaku must have some gripe with me that runs deeper than what he's trying to that's present. What I'm, that's what I'm getting at. Like it's something about, and you know, I was being you know snarky or whatever. I mean, it's something about Gamergate that like. That's really, what it always revolves it really back is. to. Yeah. Like it's it's something about that, and certain people just cannot get over it, and they just want to keep talking about it, and they still have they still hold that grudge even now. Like it's literally been, Jim. It's almost been four fucking yeah, yeah. years. Yeah, uh, there, yeah. There's quartering saying. I'm pretty certain that person sent it to multiple people. Yes. Yeah. No. I, I'd imagine it was getting shopped around, and I, I'm I'm fine with it, man. Luffy man can do whatever he likes. We used to do funny shit together on Medicare, but. It's just, again, interesting to me that Short Fat Otaku is the one that, that jumped on it. Now, let me ask you this. Um, you know, of course, there's a lot of people that, that uh, you know, they resent your, your anonymity or they show your face. Baked Alaska said that. Other people have said that to you. Yeah, everybody hates anonymity. They hate it. Yeah, but they hate it because they've turned their face into a brand. Yeah. Sargon was pro-anonymity until he got doxxed. Sure. And then suddenly he became Carl. And then everything <laughs> revolved around him, and now anonymity is bad. Everybody talks about anonymity, how it's so terrible. It's been a fucking common three or a common theme even before the internet. The Federalist Papers were signed with fucking fake names. You had the fucking uh, uh, what is it? The Rosicrucianists in 16th century Europe, fucking, fucking. They they were literally trolling people with a fake philosophy for laughs, doing it under fake names. Like that mentality's always been there to fuck with people and just to. Do it under the guise of anonymity, but for some reason, man, when it gets flipped around, suddenly anonymity becomes a bad thing when you become a brand. I, I don't understand that. I don't understand that mindset. Half the fun of the internet is being anonymous. Even Monday, Matt just came in the chat and said it's time to let let Gamergate go. That's that's what Monday, Matt just said. Yeah, it, it's been four years. How long, <laughs> How is, long, it? How long is it? it? Fucking, it's like a half a decade now at this point. <laughs> it's yeah. seriously getting into like scary territory like why are you even still caring about this like i, I don't understand well it, it reminds me like uh, you know every once in a blue moon you'd come across like chinology people yelling at each other <laughs> and you'd be like are you guys still fucking going on about this shit like the thunderdome has been closed you know <laughs> nobody's in the streets uh baking cakes for l ron hubbard anymore what are we doing L let me ask you though if if for some reason someone muted monday matt look i don't have control of this channel unfortunately this is not um, I mean, I have my my space, you know, I'm branched and stuff, but I can't. My wife just messaged me and said, somebody muted my name, Matt. Matt, I can't help you, dude. Um, so I apologize if you wanted to say more. But uh, I guess what would you do, though, if if somebody actually did, like, um you know, have all your info, have, have, you know, your private pictures and, and out you like, would that change anything that you do online? 
like would would you decide to just hang it up or Well, I mean, if they found my amateur gay porn, I'd probably be <laughs> I'd probably be slightly bothered by that. No, I, I don't think much would change, to be honest. I I, I still would be pro anonymity. I don't understand why that switches. I don't understand why that suddenly no, changes. Either. You can call somebody with a name or without a name a faggot equally. You know what I mean? So it's not like you're more empowered to shit on them if they have a name. Um, I, 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 it's just, it's a really weird thing to me. I, maybe it's because I, I really liked, you know, 4chan since its inception. I got really used to using a fucking image board as opposed to a forum. And you get used to just being around whatever the fucking post is rather than who the person is. Right. Um, but social media has changed. Everybody's changed. Every fucking little kid now has a Facebook and a fucking uh, Instagram and all that shit, and they throw their address up and their phone number and their name and their face, and they just don't give a shit. They they think it's totally cool. It's fine. There's there's nothing wrong with just self doxing at the age of fucking ten uh, because they don't understand what's coming around the corner when they get a little older. What do you uh, what do you think the future is? And uh, and you've talked about this before. Uh, but uh, in terms of, of, you know, live streaming and putting your opinions out there, doing videos, um, is it going to continue uh, on YouTube or do you see another competitor coming? I mean, to be honest with you, I really don't because it would take such a massive capital injection. Like, I, I, th it, I think it's going to be a shift. I, I, I don't know about – I don't know how it will be in regards to a competitor, but YouTube itself, I think it will shift from video creation to streaming. If you want to make money, you can it's make... It's already doing that now. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and I've been watching that happen. But if you want to make money, you can make so much stupid amounts of money streaming. Even with a small audience, you can make more money streaming with Super Chats and Streamlabs mm -hmm. than you could ever make on advertising revenue. Um, and I think that a lot of people are seeing that, and they're thinking, okay, I could put out a 30-minute video, and I could work my ass off for it, put it up, monetize it, and then have the monetization stripped away, and maybe have a Patreon or a Maker's support or whatever the fucking service is, and maybe make a couple bucks off it, or I could do a stream every couple of days, have a bunch of people watch it, get a, a shit ton of super chats or stream labs, and you know, text to speech, TTS, all that shit, uh, and make quadruple that amount with less effort. I mean, fuck, you, people like to shit on Ice Poseidon, but the guy's pulling in streams from twenty to forty thousand fucking people. The amount of money he makes in a few hours is ridiculous. He, he could set a camera up in a fucking empty room and pull in a thousand dollars. And so I think people are going to start to look at that and they're going to be like, yeah, that's where we want to do it. And I think it really is going to take place on YouTube for about a year or two before they tighten down on it. Cause Twitch is way too oppressive. You try to do anything. You can't even think about it on Twitch. Twitch's yeah. TOS is insane. No, that they hit you for offsite stuff too. So you yep. can get banned on Twitch for not even doing the shit on Twitch. Your tweets. Um, it's fucking crazy, and and you know, Ice Poseidon. I'm not necessarily a huge fan of his. Well, even I can't, I can't Asian hate the hustle though, like I can't. Hate the right. Well, even Asian Andy. Okay, somebody threw that up as an example. I yeah, like his Asian three Andy. his three day stream in isolation. They said made about thirty thousand oh. dollars. Three three days, thirty thousand dollars. I mean, that's that's for some people that's a fucking yearly salary. Yeah, he made it in three days, sitting on his ass, letting people scream at him. <laughs> That's that's incredible. I mean, there's real fucking money potential there. So I think that's where it's going to go. I mean, I used to think it was like list videos and shit. And those still make money. Compilation videos still make money. But I think streaming on this site is the future. And I think everybody's going to fucking do it. And you don't need to worry about Super Chats because everybody fucking uses Streamlabs. Yeah, I would have to. I mean, just look. I mean, I've been on YouTube for a while. And, uh. You know, my main thing was always writing and stuff, but, you know, <laughs> once the streams take off, when, once you get, you know, a decent audience, it, it's something, it's something all together. Uh, and, I mean, well, and I, I don't think YouTube's going to fuck with the formula just yet. I think they're going to let it slide, if you want my honest answer, for about a year. Unless Maybe. you're a dumbass and, and show somebody finger in their pussy. Oh, I'm like not it. even talking about that. Like, yeah. egregious open violation. <laughs> but, I mean, like, if you, they'll let it slide for a year or two to build it up. And then yeah. you're going to see the hammer come down, and it'll become more Twitch-like. But you see people saying nigger, people saying faggot. I mean, yeah, well, that, that's what I'm saying. So anybody listening that wants to make money off this, while you still can you make money off this, yeah. you better fucking do it now. You got two years tops to really fucking nail the numbers on that shit. Because when I, you know, I had to go away for a little while. You already know, but 
Uh, and when I came back and people were doing these streams, and I talked about this with, with Wild Goose as well, like, me and him both were just astonished that these things were being allowed to be set on YouTube. Uh, and it seems to be a different uh, rule set for live streams versus, like, set videos. You know what I mean? Uh, I, I don't know if, if you agree with that, but... Uh, it seems like you can get away with more. Oh no! Yeah, you 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 absolutely can because, um, I I don't I I I don't want to say it and jinx it, but mm -hmm. I think YouTube wants to make it the premier streaming site. Yeah. And because they want to compete, they'll be lax on the approach for a while. But when they notice the tilt, when they notice it becomes more popular on YouTube, that's when they're gonna fucking hammer you. When they think they have it, and they're just like, okay, yeah. When the, when there's some faggot yeah. streaming Minecraft with eighty thousand people watching <laughs> on YouTube rather than on Twitch, is when they're going to be like, okay, it's time to fucking tighten the tighten the leash a little bit. And I wonder if Facebook has kind of uh, changed their mindset too, because Facebook has a huge. Uh, oh well, fa Facebook is great if you want to watch people get executed. <laughs> yeah, no, I was going to say, Jeez. I was hoping you'd bring yeah. that up. Uh, I myself have seen two or three executions on there. Just straight up executions. Like. Oh, I, I've seen fucking beatings, executions, uh, people shooting guns off at uh, houses and shit. Like, I, I've seen crazy shit on Facebook. They they don't give a fuck about live streaming. But you put a video up or post up that says, hey, well, let's talk about the Jews. You're fucking gone. You shoot somebody <laughs> in the head and they're like, that's fine. That's okay. We'll get around to it. Uh, I'm looking at Wings of Redemption here. Should, should I turn him back up for a sec? Let me see. I had a He's not doing anything. In my heart. They He's really not. He's just sitting there. And they're like, we need to do a I, mean, I don't know that this I'm just, I'm just waiting for chat to be like, uh, stop sniffing your fingers. Because the more they bring that up, the more he's going to do it. Let me, let me message uh, Short Fat Otaku one more time. You don't understand, Ralph. He's eating a four-hour dinner. He just can't make it. He's only on course it's ridiculous. two. Ridiculous course meal. It's completely ridiculous. How many people do you have watching the stream earlier? I I wasn't watching it live until the very end. I I didn't really pay attention. I was on my phone. So uh, I I think uh, once the person okay so <clears throat> sorry they sent me the link and I think it was like three or four hundred watching. Oh, okay. And then when I responded to it, it jumped up to like nine hundred. Sure. So you're welcome, short fat otaku. That's probably the most people <laughs> watching your shit you've ever had. Um. But yeah, it's really, I don't know what his normal stream numbers are. I mean, he's got 33,000 subs, so I would expect they'd be high. I mean, I've seen him do streams with like 20 people watching, but those were game streams, so um, I don't really know what he averages on his non-gaming Oh, stream. no, I went I went and looked at his Twitch stream because I was curious after watching this yeah. two-hour debacle. I was like, all right, let me, let me get a feel for the guy because I really don't know much about him. Sure. sure. Uh, and it's... Uh, is it best friend plays? Who are the guys that do the let's plays where they sit on a couch? It's like three or four of them. Yeah, I saw uh, him doing one of those. Uh, yesterday. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like he's copying that. Yeah. yeah. Like, and it shows the camera, and it's him and his friend, like sitting there on the couch. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, with like seventeen people watching, that kind of shit. It didn't seem uh, majorly compelling. Let's put it that way. But hey, I mean, he is going to give me that the, the hot strategies to to maximize my potential as a surrogate. You know, he's going to be my surrogate father. He's going to be like, "Are you winning, son?" And I'll be like, "Teach me, dad." <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh, I do have a super chat, and the reason I'm going to go ahead and break in and read it is because uh, I mean, I guess they're dicking at me. They said Ralph just realized Jim doesn't care about anyone. Uh, I think I've known that for a while. Jim Jim cares about. The laughs. I mean, you've said that openly. Like, it's not really a secret. Well, it was like a mind fuck on Kumite when I, I, I told them point blank, I'm not <laughs> anybody's friend here. Does that fucking clear? It was like, a, it felt like I just landed on the moon or something. I like, met an alien who's looking at me like, who the fuck are you? What, what are you saying? I mean, you've openly said that for years. Like, and, you know, I'm about having fun. I'm about laughing, preferably at other people. Yeah, I just I want some entertainment. That's that's all it is. It's really fucking yeah. simple. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's plenty of other people like and I'm short fat attack has talked about this too. And he just doesn't want to take it seriously. Sargon talked about this. Oh, you could be so much if you take it seriously. Dude, there are plenty of other people who take all this shit super seriously. Like you can find that there's there's no problem if you want to go that route. You've never claimed to be that person. Like I, I don't know why they're so upset. That's why when I responded to him earlier, I was genuinely like, "Why are you so upset?" Like, 
I, I, I again, I, I think the yeah, the funniest thing out of the whole stream for me was the internet friendship shit. I don't know why that keeps getting brought up by so many different sources. I don't. You need internet friends, Jim. I don't know why Short Fat Attack thought that was a really important point or important point to hammer home, uh, but he did. <sighs> what? What are you? It, it, it's fucking Facebook generation, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> And you give us, by the way, you're very kind to join us for this long, but uh, what what are your plans for... Uh, oh, are you playing uh, me off? Is that is that your nice way of playing I, my ass I off? I want you to stay for... <laughs> I, no, I was being generous. I didn't I didn't want to keep you past your... So, uh, yeah. thanks for joining us, Megan. Get the fuck out of here now. No, no. <laughs> I, I, wanted, I didn't want you to get sick of me first. That that, that was the, the thing. Um, what are your plans for, for Friday? If you don't, don't reveal everything. Just, well, I, whatever. Uh, what? What? Uh, do you guys know what time it was? Did he say three? I think, I think yeah. he said three, and I'm assuming that's United States time, you know, Eastern. But I, I, I couldn't say. Well, there you go. So at three o'clock, I'll show up on uh, on Friday, and um, I get some managerial pointers from the uh, the hottest station on YouTube, Short Fat Otaku. And then I, I don't know. Like I said, I don't. I don't know how the conversation's expected to go. I don't like your content. Okay. I don't like your direction. Okay, you're you're wasting your potential. Okay, just, <laughs> okay. just stop watching. That that's that would be my my thing. Oh, Thomas Ellington actually responded to me. He said uh, my theory was that he went after King of Paul because he was hanging around doxers and flaggers, some who were trying to dox Medicare. That would be you, of course, uh, as well. It wasn't because Jim was protecting IBS. No, I didn't. I, I didn't necessarily mean it like that. That that. Uh, you were trying to protect internet blood sports. Uh, but I, I just thought he was looking for a deeper meaning than, than what actually existed. That that was kind of my point. But that that's what he just said to me. Uh, yeah, no, I, I'm unaware of that. So if, if Paul was doing that, uh, I, <laughs> I didn't know. I don't, I don't know if he was doing that. Is he doing that? Does Ellington like have some big expose video? Uh, he's done a few videos. Yeah. I mean, I'm going to be honest. Um, after you did your video and after we made fun of him, I kind of stopped paying attention to him because it's like, what else, like, what else can you say at that point? I did try to get him on the show a few days ago. I was like, Hey man, you should come on and give your side. Mostly just cause I thought it'd be funny. And, uh, I, I would like to see him come on just to, just to have fun. But, uh, he, you know what? Shockingly enough, he, he hasn't done that. I'm sure he will eventually, but, um. Uh, but he, 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 he said he didn't want to come on. He said he didn't want to be a part of e-drama. He's not that person. Which Don't. Was, All right. Kind of, surpri kind of surprised me since that's, uh, since I've ever known him, that that's basically his, his main point in life is to be involved with e-drama. But, but he said that wasn't, that wasn't something he wanted to do. Yeah, well, I'm sorry if that shoots down uh, a theory of his. I, I, again, the audio got sent to me. I genuinely thought it was funny. Uh, and so that's, that's why I played it. Yeah. And it was pretty fun. By the way, I don't know, you, you, you were watching the stream. Danny himself came on, uh, the kill stream. Poor abused Danny. Man of many outlines. Yep. And, and you know what? He was mad that, you know, I had Brian's, you know, ex-girlfriend on the show. Oh, excuse me. Oh, I shouldn't say Brian. That'll be considered a dox, even though he's... He spread his name all over the internet himself. I apologize. Uh, King of Paul. Uh, he came on the show and he was mad that uh, that I had her on the program. And he seemed to be more mad about that <laughs> than, the, than the recording in general. I don't know. The whole thing was just... Yeah, I, 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 yeah I don't really know much about him and his ex. I couldn't really comment on it. Ah. Oh, <sighs> All right. Okay, I'll take I'll take my cue. I'll take my cue. No, I mean, I'm that. just running out of questions. Like, if if I'd have known you would be on here, like I would have had a, like a set prepared list of questions. No, no, that, that, that's fine. Let me let me just uh, throw this out there though for the people watching. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, you know, if I've got a, a fantastic life coach that's going to be giving me great <laughs> great advice this Friday at 3 p.m. on his channel, Short Fat Otaku. Oh shit. So uh, be sure to tune in. Uh, we can all learn a lesson about how to maximize our potential. So I think that's going to be, I think that's going to be pretty important for anybody that wants to be a YouTube, uh, a YouTube sensation. I don't know if that's downplaying it too much. I mean, short fat otaku is 
a YouTube sensation. Maybe we can achieve that if we try really hard. I don't know. Awesome. But Friday awesome. at three. Yeah. Now, let, let me one second. Zidane, do you have do you have anything before before we let uh, before we let Jim escape this? I would just tell him to watch out for Rick and Morty level bands. <laughs> I know, I know. They spit the fire that's scalding hot. I'll try to fucking survive it. Uh, you know, somebody. I think he put up like a. I, I don't even know. You know what? I don't want to give away too much. No, don't, don't, don't. You know, I, I've, I've got to. I'm gonna have to go and meditate a while on how to deal with Mister. What was it, Mortiker? Medi- yeah, Mortiker. Mortiker. Yeah. Uh, so I will try to come up with an amazing comeback to try that. To but meditate, I don't know and you should feel bad for for being uh, allegedly being. By the way, there's no proof of this, but a 40 year old that that's uh, fucking a 20 year old. You should you should, you should uh, like some, wor- you should do some penance for that, and and really think about where your life is. Um, that that you're. I I know it's shameful. It's yes. shameful, fucking prime pussy. It's, it's a, really it's a terrible thing to do. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I will do a few Hail Marys and beat myself uh, in submission. Self-flagellation, please. Yes, go ahead and uh, do, I, do I'm going to flagellate the shit out of myself. <laughs> <laughs> Just going hog wild with that. But uh, yeah, th- thanks for having me on. Uh, have a good uh, rest of your stream. Yeah, man. And I, I, I'm going to laugh if I leave this thing and then Short Fat Otaku suddenly doesn't need to eat oh, anymore. Uh, oh. oh, Mysterious, yes. Mysterious mysteries. All right, take it easy. <laughs> Thank Later, you. Later, buddy. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Miniker. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing good. Why are you mispronouncing my fucking name? Oh, I apologize. I, I, you know. it's, it's not it's not Miniker. I don't know where you guys are getting that. It's Minotaur. You <laughs> fuck with the bulls, you get the horns. You hear what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, you know, running Kiwi Farms ain't pussy business here, Ralph. So what's uh, I've got ops I'm running. What do you need? Well, I mean, I, I thought this was the peace summit. I thought we were... Uh, I don't know. I heard some dried up fucking thought wanted to talk to me, so here I am. What's well, so Corinne? Are you here? are you still here? By the way, we can still hear this in the background, so just kind of kind of turn. I can it barely hear you guys. Tell Grandma to turn her hearing aids up <laughs> and turn her fucking stream down. All right, to get this shit rolling. <laughs> okay, if he says any more bad words, I'm gonna hang up on him. He doesn't own Kiwi Farm, and you guys lied to me. A kid, a little kid named Moon owns Kiwi Farm. No. So a, l- a little kid named Kiwi Moon, boy, you're a dumb <laughs> cunt, aren't you? Aren't you? You're a dumb motherfucker. Okay, no more bad words. All right, I right, just. Corinne, Corinne just, tell me on. which of the following is a bad. T- tell America. me which of the following is a bad word. You're a fucking whore. Is that a bad word, Corinne? Listen to that. Are you a fucking whore. Is that is that a bad this word? Is... Would you list that on your bad word list? This is why he's an internet oh, supervillain. He's an you internet supervillain. Um... Corinne, I'm curious. Did you use your super chat money to hire a maid to clean up the cobwebs in your pussy? I've never had a super chat money, so you're a liar and you're a shitty reporter. It was a it was a, qu- it was a question. Corinne. I've never had any it was super a question, money, Corinne, so not a, a statement. It's called a yeah. question, not a statement. I don't know who Medicare, Moon is. I don't, what, I don't know. I don't know what Moon is. I don't know what you're talking about. You're a confused old woman. You never say bad words to women. You're ever, you're a confused ever. old woman, Corinne. And I'm an American blonde. And my family found it. I don't know if that's a natural hair color. At the age of 60, never, doesn't it start to go gray? Ever. I'm nowhere near 60. Oh, yeah, 64, 63, I think, somewhere no. up there. I'm pretty sure you are. No. You look like you, you have more plastic on you God, than a Barbie doll. I lost you. You have more plastic on you than a Barbie doll, Corinne. I have never had any plastic surgery ever to anything on my body. Well, how do you leave the house, liar, then? Medicare, how do you, how do you leave the house, then? Do you put a, a paper liar. bag over your head? No one is should that, watch him. Is that what you do? You total trash liar, and he's just trying to make money off of you guys. Oh, that's what I'm doing. I'm here to make the big bucks so Who I can run the hot, though? packed site Kiwi Farms. That's what we do, Corinne. <laughs> that's how we do. Okay. My chat is telling me to hang up on you because that's not really Mr. Medicare. No, that's... It that's it's that's, him. That's really Mr. Medicare. 100%. I don't know. I told you, Corinne, it's... It's Mr. Minotaur, because no you fuck with the bull, you get the horns. C- Corinne. No it's, one Corinne, no, it's, it's 100% him. Yeah, Trust me. Oh, I want verification. I t- Everyone's Cor- saying that. Corinne, I talked to you. We talked to you before the stream. I talked to you before the stream. I know, stream. but you lied to me. He's not I didn't, I didn't lie to you. They all lie to you, Corinne. They all lie to you. They all work for Kiwi Farms. We're well, all 24 op and up here. It's all 24-hour ops up in here, Corinne. 
Jihadi Jarbo is is that. one of his accolades. Who is Matt? She's yeah. asking who who is Matt Jarbo, Jim? Can you, can you? Matt Jarbo is an administrator. Matt Jarbo is an administrator on Kiwi Farms. Jihadi Jarbo is the one that ran the GamerGate op, Corinne, to get How whores out of video games. Said. Well, I'm maybe maybe read a book, Corinne. I don't know. Zoe Quinn wrote a book. Go read it. Ooh, can you read? Keep on jabbing me. Are, can you read? Are you, you able to? Or are your old eyes women? make it difficult Does to it make, make out figures like on a, a piece of paper? Person when you're rude to women. Does it make you feel better about yourself when you're rude I, I don't to think women? you're really what could be considered a woman when you've had yeah, that many parts of your body like replaced by plastic surgery, Corinne. To women. Yep, keep on zero plastic surgery. I, oh, and I you think know what? What is your real that. name, sir? Because you know my real name. What is your real name? And you hide behind a fake, tacky name. Do you want my real name? Yeah, what's your real name? Is it James? It's, uh, it's Andy. It's Andy Worski. That's W A R S K I. And that's a W for a winner, Corinne, something you're never going to be. I want Andy Worski. Where is Andy? Andy Worski, I'm He's, ready to do your show. I'm sick Andy, of getting Andy tortured Worski by idiots. Andy Worski doesn't want to Andy talk to Worski's a used up plastic though. thought, Corinne. He's not Andy interested. Andy Worski has the best though. I'm Andy totally Worski's interested not going to let Andy you Worski. in his house to steal his iPads, Corinne. He's not going to let you do uh, it. Andy's God, busy announcing the cancellation of his show. <laughs> Excuse me, whoever's talking on the phone's an idiot. I did not steal anyone's iPad. My iPad was stolen. We all know that you're an iPad thief, Corinne. Watch this. Because I've got video You want to see the videotape of them? I saw the video. You held up an iPad and said, I stole this from I stole this from Paul Danino. You held up an iPad and said, I stole this from Paul Danino. I'm not even listening to anything he's saying. It's so stupid. Yeah, so, this is like getting dumb. What about the iPad, Karen? The technology isn't working, you guys, to do this show. I'm so sorry. It's not oh, working, God, yeah, it's hard for people to make technology work, isn't it? it just, you have I to can't do you, Corinne, do you, Corinne, do you have a granddaughter that can help you work it? Maybe go get one of your great grandchildren to make the stream work for you. Corinne, tur turn, off, turn off the stream in the background. It, the the, the really backlash. The backlash is, is making it so you can't hear us. No, wait, say it, say it again. Really want to know who owns Kiwi Farms. Corinne, I can't understand you. Put the dentures in deeper so we I can pick up the words you're saying. Your technology is not Put work. a little more glue on your dentures so we can understand you, Corinne. What are you saying? I have no idea what they're saying. Corinne, I can't understand you. I can't even hear. Oh, I heard someone just say they didn't understand me. I don't understand that. Corinne, we can hear you. I know you can hear us, so... <laughs> Okay, it's the stream in the background that's messing it up. I have no idea who I'm talking to. This is like listen, this is like watching somebody's confused grandpa wandering home. home. All my phone calls are out of control. I'm getting out of control phone calls. Corinne, yeah. Corinne, you asked me here. Okay, you want to know yourself. about how Since Kiwi Farms there. is run? I've got Who's talking to, do. to me? I've got things to do, Corinne. What do you want to know about Kiwi Farms? I'm on this ridiculous. I don't know who I'm talking to, but it's called the Kill Stream with Ralph. I thought Ralph was a cool cat. Yeah, it's a suggestion. He no named it as a suggestion. Brent, take that suggestion. Anyway, my phone's ringing off the hook. Um, okay, so Ralph, if you want to organize this in an organized way, I thought I'd talk about what Ice Poseidon said today. I said Nobody, I'd cares, Nobody cares, Corinne. Nobody cares. Nobody cares, Corinne. Not I a single say, person on earth cares about people care, people 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 thoughts on you. People on live stream. He oh my God, that's so tragic. It's so tragic, Corinne. We're all playing a small violin over there. He's been super hacked, guys. Admitted to hack to PayPal He's and admitted to hack to YouTube. He's been super hacked by the police. Yeah. And um, I never did anything with Justin Carey, no. with Gus Jim Carey, nothing. He claimed Zero. you sucked his dick and in, I don't in know a bush. Who was on the <laughs> He said I, he's, my viewers are telling me that it's not really this Mr. Medical. <laughs> no, it is. It is. So Re Corinne, now, Ralph, to be fair, she couldn't suck a dick. Her dentures were pulled out. I want you to out. promote my channel. So I don't now. think that's a true story. Someone saying bad words. Corinne forever. Promote my channel. Is that how long you've been alive forever? Because <laughs> you look like you're 128 years Corinne old. Corinne forever. Everyone. When, when you when you spread your legs, do bats fly out, Corinne? <laughs> That's just a question I'm curious I, about. Do bats come out of there? Do they dwell there it. in the daylight? I don't. Anything else exciting you guys want to say? I don't even know who I'm talking to. Honestly, I can't even verify, verify who is. You can't on this verify channel. it. Is that what Valley Girls I do in California? I cannot verify who is on this channel, Ralph. So be Val Valley Girls. Girl. We, we've um, had we've had Mr. Minotaur on here several times. It's definitely him. Okay, what is his real name? I'm not calling someone by their alias name. I want to talk to a real person with a real name. Jim is his name. Carl Benjamin. It's, it's 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 Carl Jim, Benjamin. It's, it's Jim Minotaur. 
Carl That's Benjamin. They call is me. Mr. Manfred's real name. Well, so my friends name, call Jim. me that, Corinne. My friends call me Carl I'm gonna Jim my chat Benjamin. Says. Wait, someone gave me your name. It's Jim something. I'm going to tell you in a second. All right. Jim something? Is that what a capital is? Um, I want to know who is on my chat. Um, I want to know see. who is on my chat. Yeah, no, they're saying that. they. Okay, what is Mr. Minicor's real name? It's Jim Minotaur, you dumb to- cunt. I'm not even gonna think so low as to call someone a bad word. It shows how tacky and trash. Well, that's because you, you have a limited You're vocabulary. Trash. The Botox makes it hard Good to open your mouth to come up with intricate say. words. Oh, his name with is Jim syllables. Benjamin. Yeah, what is a Mr. Minicru's real name? James yeah. Benjamin. Yes, it's yeah, James now my chat's Benjamin. Getting good. I, I love the chat. My little chatty chat. Corinne yeah, forever. Yeah, it's S-R-E-V-E James. M-I-L-L-E-V-E. It's James Patty Benjamin. Patty. Nobody cares what your channel is, Corinne. Nobody wants to watch an uh, old. Oh, then, then why are you talking to me if I'm still an important? Because you begged Don't me to come me. on. You just... begged me to come on. You're thirsty for attention. Who so are you? Remind I'm me the who guy you that are? you begged to come on, Corinne. That's who I am. I want to talk to Andy Worski. You're lame. No, like Andy, Andy Worski doesn't want Where to you. Nobody does. Shout That's out to Andy put a Worski. bag on your head. He's way better than house. this guy, Jim. Jim is boring. And Jim's facts are wrong. He thinks I stole an iPad. He obviously has no facts. Obviously, you did. The iPad was no stolen one is from me. I have a police report California. on it. <laughs> and you, all your all Jim, facts. I'm Mr. Miniker, Jim Benjamin's facts are stupid. And he's like, really on the Monday to be taken off YouTube for his sexist remarks. He uses too many bad words. I don't know how you guys watch this trash. Honestly, this would never be allowed on a major television. You're still network. here, aren't you? You're still no here, Corinne. You're still here begging it. for attention, aren't you? I mean, you nobody would it. even do this. Like, this is actually entertainment to me to hear some idiot call so many bad words. Ralph, ridiculous. do you have an off button for this robot? Is there a- <laughs> oh, <laughs> my gosh. Um, so hit, hit the Stanley back. East Side, what is that? I She's so very email. confused. The Stanley East Side. Aw. Yeah, everyone's worried about me. Are they? Be. This shows you how much bullies these guys are. Well, we're known as bully jerks <laughs> at Kiwi Farms. Farms. <laughs> That's the nickname we go by. <laughs> Kiwi Farms, the bully jerks. Okay, Ralph, well, do you want to chill and start over? Do you have anything no, else nobody no, wants no, to chill no, with you no, unless you're no. put in a freezer where you belong. <laughs> Oh my God, this is the stupidest conversation. I think this is the dumbest conversation I've ever had with a man in my life. So you should life. fit right in because you're an idiot. And he's honestly not even allowed to be on YouTube. He's so trashy. So I can't even hear half the stuff he's saying, but it's just. That's probably because you're old and your hearing aids aren't working. Put a new battery in. Oh, keep on saying stupid things. Oh, you heard that though, didn't <laughs> you, man? You heard that, I'm didn't so you? Old. Pick that up clearly, did you, Corinne? Talking about them getting blowjobs on Ice Poseidon's channel today is ridiculous. Yeah, I'm nobody cares whose dick you suck, Corinne. Um, but wait, last uh, night yes, you said that you fucked. Want- wait, wait. No one cares about you. Corinne, to be fair, last trash. night, excuse me, last night yeah. you said you didn't fuck celebrities, you fucked IRL streamers. I can't That's hear you. I'm sorry, Ralph. I can't hear you. Think of it. I think you probably could hear me, but... Ralph, you got, got to moderate this better because this guy is really, really, really rude. If he, I don't even know if it's really who he says he is, but is. you got to moderate this. Uh, awesome. Corinne, did they name you after <laughs> chlorine because that's what people want to drink after they listen to you? What is his real name? Oh my James God, Benjamin. Benjamin. It's James Benjamin. Okay, James Benjamin. That's right. Do you okay, want to talk James to my... Or do you want to talk to my stepfather, Corinne? Know. He's a big man. He's an important man. <laughs> Uh, I'm Kiwi Farms, and that's how it all started. And you, so I guess you don't own Kiwi Farms, or you do own Kiwi Farms? Why would I be here? Why would I? Why would I be here if I were not? Why would I be here if I was not the owner of Kiwi Farms, Corinne? I don't know, dude. You're probably a game player like everyone else. Okay, a, so a game player. <laughs> God, what are you, 80 years old? Kiwi Farms. When you used to play with uh, hoops and sticks, was that what you call each Benjamin, other? Game players? And what was, state are you, that the what state are you in, Carl? Jim Benjamin? What state am I in? I live in Tennessee. I, I live in, I, I live in Tennessee, Corinne. Yeah, I live in Tennessee. Tennessee, that's awesome. Yeah, that's right. Nashville, Tennessee, Chlorine. That's where I live. Why is someone trying to ring me on the phone from a, a 508 number who says that they're your 35% investor? Someone's calling me saying they're your 35% investor. And I'm going to guess that's, I'm, that's, that's, that's Matt Charbo. My, <laughs> this is really right funny. I'm getting bad phone calls about this guy. That's, yeah, that's my right Anyway. 
I'm not trying to tell me and all that then, but everything Mr. Minoka ever said about me was bullshit and a lie. My iPad was stolen at Isis Biden's house with the LAPD. Green, I stop stealing iPads. I have a video. We'll play evidence. the video on We've Adventures with Everybody Corinne, which is my Instagram videos. account. You can follow my YouTube, Corinne Forever. It's not okay to bully people on the internet. I don't know why anybody watches Mr. Minoka if he's going to say bad words. Do so you want to start over, Ralph, and, and play the role? And we're, li- we're live here on the air now. Karen, well, I mean, yeah. So do why don't you start the role to be a better moderator? Because I expected you to be a good. Okay, moderator, you had a so quest. You had questions you wanted to ask, Mr. Medicare. Minotaur. Minotaur. The only reason Excuse why me, I want Minotaur. to talk to him Minotaur. is, does he own Kiwi Farm? Who owns this Kiwi Farm thing, and what state is it based out of? James Benjamin owns Kiwi Farms, and it's based in Nashville, Tennessee. Chlorine. Oh, interesting. Okay, thank you for being a gentleman. Look. Darth Vader may come to the light side. Why well, they always okay told me to, to respect my women? elders. Why is it ever okay to post your party ice conspiracy that's happening to hurt women? Why do you think it's ever okay to say a bad word to a woman? I'm just curious. Uh, because Why is it ever? It's a me too. It's me too. Now everyone on social oh, media she keeps talking. is totally uh. You gotta let it. You yeah. gotta let him answer, Corinne. You... Everyone who's on social media, it's time to be respectful to women and give us a fair chance. Corinne, you we, gotta. We honestly care about you guys. You know what? I care about people. I would okay. never name. I would never think the level of name calling anyone. Okay. Stupid and thin. <laughs> she, she just and sinks, sinks to the level of stealing like iPads. I Poseidon stole my iPad, you complete idiot. Did you, you not stole watch his, the footage? You, you stole Paul Danino's no, iPad. We've oh all seen God, the footage. Oh, my lying. Um, do you want to see the footage? On, it's on my Instagram, Adventures with Corinne. Paul Danino I, I can't look at iPad. nudity, Corinne. I and don't want to look at you LAC. naked on Instagram. <laughs> no. You're not allowed to have nudity on Instagram, you idiot. My God, yeah, because nobody really wants stupid. to see it. Nobody wants to see you naked. Bobby? That's why. That's the rule. That's why they came up with it. You were really dumb. Gosh. I mean, did you go to college? Was there a question in this? Corey? Yeah. Did yeah. Did you have another? Oh okay. Oh my God. So I'm yeah. Show you guys my Instagram right now, and I'm going to show you Paul stealing my. Uh, I can't see anything right in the now. Skype call, you old baddie. Cunt. I'm going to show you all Paul stealing my. No, stealing my. Uh, all right. So, uh, Corinne, did you did you have another question? He answered the question about. Uh, I can't hear anything you guys are saying. The then how did you know to respond to that? I'm not responding to anything you said. I'm talking on my stream. But you just responded again. I'm showing the videotape oh, on God. my stream. I can't hear anything you guys are saying. <sighs> yeah, I'm showing the videotape on my stream. Okay. Did Did you have another question? I'm, you told me to moderate, so I'm trying to. You're not really being a respectful moderator. I can't even hear you. You just heard me. I'm showing right now on my stream where he says it's my iPad and I'm stealing it from her. But how are you so, able to converse with me if you can't hear me? That's what I don't understand. I can barely hear you. Oh, no. Okay, what, do you want to play right now where he says he's stealing no. my iPad? No. Nobody really. does. Not no, really. not really. No, not interested. Sorry. Yeah, it's right on my Instagram, Adventures with Corinne. No. Nobody wants to look at Grandma's <laughs> Instagram, Corinne. <laughs> By the way, uh, for the record, Corinne, yeah, we, we played we played this we played this Corinne we played this weeks ago. Is she just literally holding the phone up to her computer right now? Corinne, what are you doing? I think you really triggered her with the iPad remark. Okay, Corinne. Well, Ralph, I'd love to stick around, but yeah. I have lives to ruin and women to harass on Kiwi Farms, of which hold I am on, the owner. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me just, let me just hang up on her for a sec, because I had a couple other questions I wanted to ask you besides the... Go since ahead. I, since I have you here. What did Maybe you think? MLK was wrong. Yeah. <laughs> that, was a, that was the soundboard. <laughs> um, what did you think about... Uh, well, we might, may or may not get her back on later, but I think we, we had enough of that. Um, what did you think about Sargon's... Uh, you know, alt right letter, and then the video he did yesterday, and and all that his his uh, seeming obsession with the with the alt right. Uh, I, I I don't know. That's like the third letter he's written. I'm yeah. gonna guess. Uh, I don't know. It's the third letter he's written in like the 18th video he's made. Yeah, uh, and he made it's a big... like you know you know you know how people say H bomber guy has an obsession with Sargon. Well, Sargon's made more videos and fucking posts on the alt right than H bomber guy's made on Sargon. <laughs> it is a little uh, 
a little hilarious. Oh, also, uh, I don't know if you saw Worski's stream, but the Kumite is is apparently done. Did you uh, did you have any thoughts on that? Since we have you here on the breaking news story. No, I missed that. What's going on? Um, they're saying the Kumite is done. Uh, they they're quitting. Apparently, it's not a a comedy bit. They're actually going to quit the Kumite. So. All right, now are we sure, or is this going to be a tomorrow? Hey, 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 we uh, we got you guys. It's a zinger. No, nope. Andy said it's not going to be on his channel anymore. Tonka doesn't want to do it, so um, I think Failure was talking about doing a morning show, um, like on his own. So I I don't know. Whatever. Hey, if they don't like doing it, they don't like doing it. I guess is that why? Why are they quitting? I guess I, I should probably ask. Um, I think. Well, uh, they did cite the stream on Sunday, and I think um, I think Tonka maybe just getting getting fed up. People have been going at him pretty hard the last couple of weeks, so it seems like uh, seems like that's kind of gotten to him a little bit. So, no, no, okay. I, I you know, and listen, I've been preparing for the uh, <laughs> the the super secret lawsuit that uh, Kraut and the Op yeah, gang. Yeah, that's another thing with. I was just about to ask you about. What what did you think about that? I, I, I saw it on Twitter, and apparently they're going to try to sue you to get your real name. And, and uh, Oh, I have no idea. I, I Well, here's my thoughts on that. I have no idea if it's real. I, you know, as Braving Roan was saying afterwards, yeah. oh, they were claiming it was a troll. Well, I don't know. I mean, if you're running a gay Discord group that does 24-hour ops that got, you know, fucking busted for doing shit like that in the first place, and then your idea of trolling afterwards is to do more of it, but only pretend to do it. You, you're gonna, nobody's going to believe that it was a joke. They're going to think you're all fucking idiots. I was only pretending to be a trout. Yeah, yeah plus I saw uh, some people, I guess it was Braving Ruin or whoever he was talking to, maybe said that uh, they changed it to that because they knew that you know some of their messages, messages had been leaked, and so now they were going to try to act like it was a joke. Um, but uh, I don't know. Didn't didn't really seem like a joke to me. I saw you. Well, mentioned... no, I mean, if if he sues me, I, I'm gonna live stream the court case. <laughs> yeah, I'm, sorry. Uh, I, I'm not kidding. And then the first day, I'm gonna dress up like that fucking soy picture of uh, Nintendo Lobo. You know, the Wojak one where he's got the fucking robot suit on. Because <laughs> 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 oh, you know, you know, at that at that point, why would I give a shit? So, uh, and then I'll probably counter sue uh, for fun and uh, just so I can read off his forum posts in a court of law, so they're they're on record where he's talking about killing Muslims and other shit skins. Just to get that on record for his, you know. I don't think that goes over too about. well in the EU where he lives. I don't. I think that might be. Uh, I I don't know. I don't know. That might be a bit of an issue. But uh, <laughs> I, no, I have no idea. Yeah, I'll live stream it if he does. It'll be fun. <laughs> All right, man. Thank you for coming on. Man. I appreciate it. Yeah, I would. I would have had a conversation with her, but God, is she so fucking annoying? It's tough, like, yeah. you know. I tried to rot it really out, hard. and uh, she just wasn't. She wasn't cooperating. Also, one of the main problems was she had. Her stream on in the background, which was totally unneeded, it's totally superfluous. That was not needed, uh, and she just. But she I, has... I'm, I'm I'm amazed she's still around doing shit. Like I'm I'm actually <laughs> amazed that she's still around because I mean yeah she she's had like four accounts that got struck down and then multiple social media accounts that got struck down, and I don't know what she's doing. Didn't she? Didn't you know what I wish you would have asked or if you get a chance to? Didn't she file a police report for the stolen iPad? And didn't she file a yeah. police report for the assault with the handcuffs? So what's well, the follow? So I know you covered it. You did your own stream on it like that night. I mean, the cops showed up. It was live on camera. And uh, she kept talking. Now she's talking about she's in discussions with the FBI. And uh, earlier tonight, uh, I don't know who that fat dude's name was, but he said something about, I can make them both go away if you DJ. want. I, yeah, DJ. I think he just meant, you know, they don't have to be around anymore. And she took that, she tried to say that was a death threat, so she was on here saying, claiming they threatened to kill her and stuff. and yeah, Put a hit um, on her. She's like a parody of a real human being. I love how, <laughs> it's like every other sentence she says, me too, it's a woman's generation. And then after that, like within two or three sentences, she'll say, chlorine forever. And then she'll spell out her fucking shitty channel name so you can come watch it. Yeah, uh, I mean, she doesn't give up easily. Oh, also, you mentioned last night, and I'd seen a couple posts about this. Is doesn't she like come for money? Isn't isn't her family per, per fairly? That wealthy? was that was a claim. She said that they basically funded the LAPD, and that her father was a millionaire, and that she knew all these politicians and movie stars and musicians, and uh, lived in Beverly Hills, and was living an affluent lifestyle. But yet, she needs to worry about replacing a fucking iPad, right? 
Uh, and she she seems to be interested in how to get how do I get that text to speech? Well, if you're a fucking millionaire's daughter, why are you worried about five bucks on text to speech, Chlorine? Yeah, like, what, I, what's the story with that? And I, maybe I could reveal this. Uh, she'll probably be mad at me for revealing this, but about an hour before we're about to go off the air, <clears throat> she sent me a message, and I guess somebody else had sent it to her, and they said, "Ralph's making all this money off you. You ought to make sure you get." You get she wanted a cut. Dude. Yeah, she, she wanted twenty five percent, and then about fifteen minutes before we went on the air, she says, "I want fifty percent." So she was trying to hold me up, uh, Ultimate Warrior style, to drop a <laughs> to drop a wrestling reference. Well, uh, Ralph, she's so fucking stupid. Uh, send it to her in Bitcoin because I don't <laughs> think she can ever work out how to get the money out of Bitcoin. <laughs> it's like. It, it, it's like you know, she's just sit there staring at the computer. How do I get the numbers out? It's me to me too, girls. How do we get the bitcoins out of the <laughs> she computer? Legit, I like, get a lot to she went from twenty five to 50, 50 right before we go on the air. She's like, I want fifty. She she looks like a human sized Barbie doll that had. You gotta type your uh, you gotta to type your credit face. card number and your expiration date in the chat. That's how you get the bitcoins out. <laughs> no, wait, what did you say, Jim? I said that she looks like a human-sized Barbie doll that had somebody put a fucking blowtorch to its face. Like, she's telling me she's had no plastic surgery. I don't know who she's trying to get with that. That is an old <sighs> That's lady. a 100% lie. There's no way she has none. She's also, an old, old also lady. Also, it was, it was difficult. By the way, thanks for the suggestion on how to get her on because uh, she did No, sign... no, Skype is Skype is great. We used to do prank calls on Skype all the fucking time. Like, yeah, uh, it it's, right. it's, it's, oh, it's wonderful using Skype to she do She actually that. did create a regular Skype account, but of course that was too... Too she confusing. Could, yeah, right. it's too confusing, so uh, I just... Back, back in the day. Yeah. Well, yeah, I, I don't know much about your guys' families, but maybe you have, like, that elderly relative yeah. that gets confused at Thanksgiving dinner. That's kind of what she reminds me of, is like, you know, how do I get the VCR to work? How do I get the TV to work? <laughs> My aunt, she used to think, she used to see a show and it would be a replay of a program, and she would... She would think like it was a new show, you know what I mean? Like, like this is a new one coming out. It's like, no, it's syndication. They they show these on this channel. Well, know, yeah, that's the great thing about dementia. <laughs> They're always entertained. It's always new. Yeah, it's like... It could be the fiftieth rerun of that Magnum <laughs> PI episode, and that's a fucking mystery for them. <laughs> Fat Andy Griffith, how does he stay so young? <laughs> no, seriously, like it's uh, it was anyway. Uh... Yeah, I guess. I mean, what else? What else is going on? Oh, I guess? oh you're you're struggling for a topic. I'm struggling. It's time I'm struggling. To play, it's, time, <laughs> it's time to play uh, <laughs> uh, Viva La Rasa, uh, Ralph. That's no. how we feel oh, better. Oh no! No. <laughs> uh, yeah. So they they're what is Andy killing his show then too, or is it just no? He's going. No, he said he's going. he's going to continue doing his show, but uh, he the Kumites he said is run out of steam and they're just not feeling it anymore. And uh, the last I checked, Tonka was on there arguing with Zoom. And then I turned it off because I had to do my own show. So, yeah, the worst case show is going three nights a week. I think it's Monday, Wednesday, Friday. JF was gloating. Uh, pretty much what you said was going to happen happened, though. You said if JF and Andy split up, th that uh, they're going to split their audiences. And if you look at, like, you can just see it. Well, exactly yeah, I mean, you, you can't have a scheduled show, right? Where you're doing it like three, four times a week and you've got two guys hosting it and then you split and one guy continues doing a scheduled program and then the other guy is kind of like, well, I'll do one one night a week, and then I'm going to do like a morning gaming show, and then I'm going to do another morning show with two other guys. Because then your audience is like, well, what fucking time do I tune in? At least with JF, you know, people knew when it was, where it was, yep. and when to expect it. So he was able to, you know, they split the audience, but he was able to retain the people that went with him. I think Andy's problem was he split the audience, but then he was kind of hopping all over the place. And so people didn't know, like, what, what am I tuning into? What show am I supposed to watch? Because you have three of them. Yeah, and he didn't hit the ground running, so JF just, you know, immediately, you know, started streaming every day, pretty much like 7 p.m. Eastern every single night he's on, and you know... J JF is the quintessential Frenchman. He used <laughs> his show to hit on every bitch he could get on that fucking program. <laughs> he's like, today we're going to have, uh, what is it, Emily Yukis? Yeah. And then uh, the next day we're going to have this blonde chick, and then the next day we're going to have this other... <laughs> it was almost like he was using it as a dating service for Faith the fucking... Goldie. Faith Goldie was on there last night. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah he knows. He is the most French Frenchman I've ever seen. <laughs> He's looking for that pussy when he can get it. But I can't yeah. even fucking hate on it because it's genius. Yeah, I mean. No, no, he knew what he was doing. Yeah, he's, he knew he's exactly like, what he was doing. You, you have to give it to JF. He's actually getting paid money to hit on chicks. Like, he's, he's sitting there with his best game. Like, he's at the bar. Like, hey, baby, you know, you want some D? And then he's like, hold on a second. Uh, you know, 1488 wants me to say the 14 words here for $5. <laughs> okay, so 
bitch, where you live? <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it's got that shit down. Speaking of uh, JF, we are issue. in the public space, but I can take you back to the private space. You you talked <laughs> you talked about this a couple times. I mean, several times actually. How how I guess the crowd crowd and also um, you know other people were like, why don't you make this video on JF? He's such a lol cow, and why don't you just make it up? Uh, is there any better way to ensure that you don't make a video than to try to pressure you into making a video? No, that was the thing. Like it was nonstop, right? Uh, and it was like three distinct groups doing it, but they're kind of all interconnected in a weird fucking way. Right. Uh, but it was like, yeah. First, it was you should do a video on JF. And the thing I was waiting for was the uh, you remember the Destiny JF court case? Yeah, I do. How that yeah. was? Yeah, yeah. like uh, I was. It never happened. Uh, yeah. 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 I, I if that had happened, I was going to cover it because that would have been funny as shit for a thousand different fucking reasons. Oh, God. Uh, so I'm kind of like, okay, I'm going to wait for this and see where this plays out. Cause he was like, I'm going to file a lawsuit and Destiny's like, Oh, take me to court. So I was like, great. This is going to be like five videos worth of fucking shit to, to talk about with these two guys in court with each other. It was a funny thought, but it didn't happen. And then, and then I started getting all these fucking messages from people that were associated with crowds discord or associated with, uh, the liberalist movement all saying, JF's an epic low cow. You got to milk those nipples and all this kind of, they're trying to like use the lingo, but it use doesn't really fucking fit. Yeah. Uh, and I was like, yeah, I'm not really interested. And then they got angry and then it was, you're biased, Jim. Why don't you just say that you're a neo-Nazi? That's why you won't cover JF. Cause JF is of course the poster boy for neo-Nazis apparently right. in their mind. Yes. Um, and then it got, they got, they just kept getting angry and angry. And I reached the point where I was like, you know, I, I don't, there's no other community that I would let do that. I don't have a bunch of fucking furries come up and say, you need to make a video on this guy, Jim, or else you're you're an other kin. Like, fuck off. What do I care what a bunch of fucking furries want me to make a video on? It's like, oh, uh -huh. people that already don't like me are going to say bad things about me because I didn't make the video they want? Yeah, I mean, it's like, what? Yeah, so it, it reached the point where it was like, it's funnier to watch you get angry about me not making the video than actually making a video on it. And besides, the other thing I noticed is all these fucking people that keep bringing up make a video haven't made a fucking video of their own. Where are all their hot takes on JF? Where are those super funny fucking videos these guys put out? Because I haven't seen one. Yeah, I mean, you don't have a monopoly on, on everybody else creating videos. It's not like you can stop them. And that's another thing with the shows. Somebody was like, um, this show, I, I really, I'm sad it's going away, and I wish I had something to watch. Or, you know, go do your own show. Like, I mean, I don't know. Um, a couple, couple more things now. Um, Jeff Holiday on Dr. Phil, did you see that? Yeah, he was dealing with a crazy bitch. I just like the diarrhea quotes. You talk about shitting good. yourself a lot. Yeah. Yeah, that was pretty crazy. It can oh. cure the gay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Best clip. Yeah, people in your chat are asking what happened to Bering. From what I understand, yeah. somebody said it was uh, something to do with him advertising or advertising some kind of a, a dating site or something. No, at oh. the beginning of his videos, he has a thing for like some CBD oil. And, uh,. Like, I didn't even think about it, so I was watching... Uh, actually, I know your good friend, The Quartering. Uh, I was watching. He did a he did a video on it. And uh, I was in a parking lot earlier because I was driving around, so I just turned it on. And I was I was thinking, oh, spam reporting. Maybe this is bullshit. And then he just happened to mention the <clears throat> the CBD oil ad that plays at the beginning. And I hadn't even thought of that. And uh, I think that might actually be it. Uh Maybe maybe there's some false claims in there. I don't well, really know. Well, you know, you know. Speaking of my great friend, the quartering. <laughs> um, I, I, yeah, I saw that conversation. All right, wait a minute. Are we live right now? Are yes. we on the air? Are yes. we, oh, we are? Okay. Yeah, that uh, was <laughs> that. That conversation was great. I love listening to two dudes talk about who's richer. I, I have seven figures in my bank account. Well, I've got more than you do. I've got a master's degree. I almost went to Princeton. Well, you know, it's yeah. like, it literally it was, was that. It was surreal that night. It was after I, I, the after show. And the Coach Red Pill like, says he has three different. What did he say? He has three kids, three kids from four women. Something. Yeah. Which doesn't. I don't even. How know does how that math work? That's, out. That's why, would what I was say, why would you say you have three kids from three women? It's the fourth <laughs> one carrying you I off. I don't know. Because that's what, that's what he said. <sighs> I'm not sure. That's some next level shit. That uh... <laughs> that's some Steiner math right there. <laughs> yeah, maybe the fourth woman was alone in the third one or uterus or something. I don't know. <laughs> that's some kind of weird thing. But uh, no, watching those two go at it was funny. Uh, as they kind of went back and forth. I wish you had webcams on because I'm pretty sure they would have whipped their dicks out and had a measuring. I actually said that. that at one point. I was like, oh, I, I, I didn't want to interrupt because I thought you guys were about to start measuring your dicks. But... Okay, a couple more. I do have topics. It, it helps to just go down your feed and, and read about the shit you've been talking about already. 
Um, Monday Matt, <laughs> <laughs> Monday Matt and his recordings. I don't know if you saw his tweet. I guess it was yesterday, where he said, "Oh, he's been drunk and he's been tired and he doesn't like he doesn't like the person he's become." And uh, he he's sorry and he's gonna. Oh well, there there was up. a new one, and I I really wanted. I heard to he was it, shit so. talking you actually. I haven't. Yeah, heard I know. No, yeah. There's one where he's like, and seventy percent of Jim's contents are are lies, and then he brings up Sargon, and I wanted to take it. He's like, because he doesn't show context, right? And I really wanted to take that clip and change it so he said, and seventy percent of Sargon's content is lies, <laughs> <laughs> and then put it up for laughs. Yeah, no, I had a bunch of dumb fucks like from the crowd server, like Dralasta and all these other YouTube academic retards. Uh, bitching me out saying you secretly recorded him. I'm not the one that recorded that, and I'm not the one that released it. Like, I'm not in control of these secret recordings, so I don't know what the fuck these reads are. Yeah, I think are. that was your, your last I uh, saw on your Tom. I was like, oh, Jim's releasing shit or whatever. Clearly having no awareness that that was released, you know, end of Oh, do you know, do you know what he was bothered about, too, in that clip yeah. where he was talking? He was mad about the Kilroy thing. Oh. I thought, you, dude, I watched that little stream you did with him, and you were like, you weren't even that mean. I mean, you were making jokes because it was obviously a retarded event, but it could have been a lot nastier. Let's just put it that way. Uh, I don't think he has any right to be <laughs> to be upset about that. No, he can say whatever he wants. I, the funny thing is with the recordings and shit, um, with all three of them, really, people are like, if he said this shit in his yep. videos, I'd sub. I'd watch his stuff. Yep. I can't tell you he, how many people on Twitter are just like, wow, Matt, like, I, I hope he sticks with this because, like, he's actually, you know, I like him now if he talks like he, that. It's not so mundane anymore, right? Yeah. And, yeah, people wanted, like, people were liking it, but he's, like, apologizing for it. And I was like, why are you ruining your redemption arc? <laughs> no, or, that's know, what arc, I'm Matt, What are you doing? Like, this is the best I've seen Monday Matt probably ever. And the funny thing is, that's the shit he actually believes, but he kind of sanitizes it uh, for his videos and stuff. If he just, you know, shot from the hip like that. Um, you know, he could be the be. most red-pilled motherfucker on the <laughs> internet again. Yeah, he could. Well, I mean, I know his audience is kind of, his numbers are kind of dropping. Um, so I, I don't, like, what does he have to lose, right? Why yeah. be the nice guy with milk right. toast opinions? What You're not gaining anything from that. No, I think it'd be better if he was a little meaner. I, I really liked what he said about uh, Greg, uh, Sean Head's boyfriend, and he, like, sort of walked it back on our, on our stream a couple days ago or whatever. Are you talking about the, uh, he'd cry if he saw a pussy? Yeah, <laughs> I thought that was fucking fantastic. I was like, damn, dude, that's good. If he was more like that in, on, his, on his streams and his videos, I think you get, you know, a better audience and more people would engage with him. Now, I, I, I'm sure all you guys understand that diversity is our strength, of course. What that's are your true. thoughts on Battlefield 5's new hot trailer? Oh, my God. Oh. Um, Maybe MLK was wrong. <laughs> yeah, I'm not thrilled. I actually love Battlefield 4. I'm not gonna lie. I played so many hours of that. Um, it just I don't know what it's fantasy at this point. So, of course, they had at least with the War of One uh, Battlefield 1, which I also have that. I didn't play it as much though because. I don't know the vehicles. Just the World War One vehicles. Did, just did you see sucked. the copy pasta that people are spamming in the fucking uh, comment section underneath the video? Uh, I posted a, a cap of it. Yeah, yeah I was about to say I saw the one you put on Twitter here. Yeah, no, me. everybody's been spamming that. Yeah, they're like there are no there are no disabled trannies in World War Two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it says trash. EA keeps deleting. I keep posting. Handicapped transgender females did not fight in World War Two. Yeah, I'll pull that. Which up is once, it's completely factually correct. <laughs> yes. I don't think. It's <laughs> War records of disabled trannies running around the battlefields of it's World kinda, War II. It's kind of hard to dispute that, yeah. I don't At the very least, in Battlefield Five, uh, when the disabled tranny uh, person steals the fucking helicopter and crashes into a mountain, it'll actually be somewhat accurate. Well, did you see the amount of women they had in it? Like, in the very yeah. opening five seconds, there's a black chick, like, diving over a tank. Then you got disabled <laughs> tranny. You got another... You got another bitch in the background, like, shooting walls and shit. The, and I was like, what the fuck am I watching? What is yeah. this? The first woman that they have that jumps out of the tank, she's got, like, a missing arm. It's like a prosthet prosthetic, like, limb. I didn't even didn't even look like that back then. Well, yeah, like, no, it's, it's just... Well, the it's funny just, thing is, women were very much involved with World War II, just not on the battlefield. So yeah. There was, you know, a lot of nurses. There were a lot of women. My, my own grandmother, mm -hmm. uh, you know, like, 
help put together planes and shit uh, in Tennessee. They're gonna have stuff. a factory simulator in Battlefield Five to accurately simulate but it's just what like, women were you really doing. You always gotta stretch. Like you don't have to make up shit. Women were actually very much involved in World War Two. Yeah. Like you don't have to. But they weren't in combat units. No, they weren't well, out on the front lines. Do you think there's gonna be like a scene where they take the beaches in Normandy and then <laughs> a soldier's gonna run up to a commanding transgendered <laughs> officer and he's gonna be like reporting for duty, sir? Like are they gonna put <laughs> pronouns and shit in there? <laughs> I mean, they might as well go all the you, way. You, you guys are laughing, but you wait for Battlefield Six and it's see where it's gonna we are. happen. Yeah, uh-huh. the main character of this, the main character is gonna be like this this black chick with this huge fucking afro. She's gonna walk out on the beaches of Normandy and solo fifty v one everybody on the beach. Yeah, it's gonna be like black exploitation. Foxy fucking Brown's gonna walk <laughs> into a bunker and she's gonna be like, "Uh uh-uh, uh, honey child," and she's gonna start cutting <laughs> white dudes' dicks off. Yeah. <laughs> Um, oh, okay. There was there was another topic. By the way, we we are in discussions to get both of these people on the program, although not at the same time, of course. But uh, the Maddox and uh, uh, Dick. Thing. If you if you ever Masterson. got Dick Masterson and Maddox in the same stream, that would be the most amazing shit. Well, on the Earth, we we're in talks to get them both on the show. I I, I mean that might oh. be asking too much to get them both. Did on you know the same that time. Maddox? Uh, I, I'm fairly certain it was Maddox reported me on Twitter. Did he what? really? Yeah, I made a video making fun of him where I took his cuck video saying that cuck is a beautiful thing and there's nothing wrong with being a cuck. And then I took his, I took his lawyer's statement where he said, being a cuck is beyond a fool. It's the greatest insult. And I overlaid it on his video. And then I, I said, can somebody pass this to Maddox for me? And after like three like three or 400 likes and a, like 100 retweets, all of a sudden Twitter's like, stop bullying people. You need to take a time out. Wow. Yeah, we're, we're trying to get him. We're trying to get him on. Actually, Matt weighed in on that too. I, I just played a clip, and of course, I was on my little vacation uh, when this. Well, clip how, uh, that's. I, I guess I'm confused. How are you going to get Maddox on? Because I'm pretty certain he's going to be pretty destitute after wasting money on a three hundred million dollar well, lawsuit we, he just lost. We're in talks to get him on. That's that's yeah. all I can say. How is he paying say. that internet? Yeah, and then he may or may not he's, come on, but we 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 have talked to him um, through our emissaries, and uh, we're we're uh, we're planning to have him on. So. If it falls through, it falls through. But we, we've definitely made. Well, I, I'm sure you can. Uh, yeah, I'm sure you can get Masterson because he's pretty laid back and he likes to laugh. Uh, Maddox, though, I'd be really surprised because he's kind of uh, uptight little uh, bitch. Now, I mean, you know, if if everything falls in place, of course, we'd love to have him on at the same well, time. Well, no, that... I know you have to be diplomatic about it. I don't. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can say whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're like, no, no, no. Well, you know, all our guests we respect greatly. Well, no, fuck him. I'm not. I'm not a host. Fuck Maddox. What did you think? I guess I don't have to ask you too much, but uh, what did you think about the the lawsuit itself? Uh, um, I'll just I won't comment. I won't. What, what do I? Okay, I'll give you my thoughts on this. So okay. you're going to go to court, and you're going to say I'm going to sue these people. I, I'm, I'm not just these people, but like Patreon and everybody else. I'm going to sue fucking everybody because somebody fucked my girlfriend. That's what the lawsuit was. Pretty much. They're calling me a cuck because some dude fucked my girlfriend, and I need three hundred million dollars to feel better about this. I, I I almost wish it had gone through. I mean, I understand that it's going to be dismissed with prejudice and that they're going to make them refile if they want to do it in another state and shit like that. But I almost wish it went through because I would have loved to have heard the witness testimony. I would have loved to have heard a dude sitting on the stand saying, I totally fucked his girlfriend. <laughs> I, t- I banged the shit out of that bitch. She was screaming my names like a fucking howler monkey. I just, I wanted like, you know, how they have the court appointed artists. To get like yeah, a sketch yeah, they, they, he's crying yes. <laughs> as he's hearing the story of his girlfriend coming to some other guy's dick in her. That's what I wanted, but uh, it, it was ridiculous. It's a fucking internet lawsuits are dumb to begin with, and this is a guy that was didn't he write like what was it the alphabet of manliness and all this other yeah, shit? I think that and, was his book, yeah. And here he is suing because somebody fucked his girlfriend. Like, how well, I guess sh- we know what C is. Yeah, how do you bookend that? Right, like you start off in one place and you're all the way over here at the end. I, I don't know. Does, well, I wonder what his co-host thought on that is, because doesn't he do a show with Rucka Rucka Ali? Like, what what does he think of this shit? It's best to just, man, just let that shit slide. What what can you, I don't know, just by blowing it up. And I've said this to, to other people. I won't, uh, <clears throat> maybe I won't name them publicly, but uh, some people uh, that you might know of, audience. Uh, but, like, at a certain point, people say all kinds of shit about me every single day. Um, by shining a spotlight on it yourself... You're making it way bigger than it would ever be otherwise. So, um, it's... well, yeah, I mean, Master, I'm pretty sure it was Masterson's or maybe it was Astros or one of the other guys, but one of their lawyers, when they filed their brief, you know, at the very beginning, like, I don't know what the fuck it's called, I'm not a legal guy, but like the, 
uh, their answer to the charges that were being brought on them mm -hmm. in the civil case, right? Um, like the first letter of every line ended up saying something like, you are a cuck. Like, imagine that. A lawyer put in a coded <laughs> message calling Maddox a cuck in his fucking legal paperwork. <laughs> you mean, like, so if you take the first letter of every one, it spells that out? Is that what you're talking about? Of every about? sentence, yeah. It was like, <laughs> it was calling him a cuck, yeah. Oh, dude, that is, uh, it's pretty harsh, I have to say. <sighs> oh, it got silent there for a second. Is it a Viva, Viva La Rosa time? No, Viva La Rosa. <laughs> no. <laughs> We don't have one of those. Maybe maybe I should maybe I should think up one just to play anytime there's dead air, we'll just let's hit that. The <laughs> hit. The there you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh all right. Gator, you have the best soundboard in the business, I have to say. I swear to God, it's so good. Um, speaking of uh Viva, I do what I can. Speaking of Viva La Rasa and uh, Internet Blood Sports or whatever. I mean, we're just doing a show here. I don't know if we want to call it Internet Blood Sports, but... You don't have to call it anything. Just do your fucking yeah, show. Yeah, that's kind of how I feel, exactly. too. That's yeah. kind of how I feel. I mean, we were doing this show way before anyway, so... Um, what did you think of... Uh, by the way, I was on the stream Sunday, obviously. You already know. Most of the people watching this know. Uh, at the first opportunity that I was uh, given to, to leave, <laughs> I took it. It's like when you gave everybody their final statements. I was like, uh, yeah, let me go ahead and get my final statement and leave. Yeah, you uh, wanted to get the fuck out of there. Yeah, yeah I I, it was like six and a half hours long. I, I kind of, it, it got tedious at the end there. It got, it got really tedious. Uh, and, I, and I'm going to be honest with you. I, there's like another hour or so or 45 minutes after I left. I, I, n I don't know what you said. Like, I don't know what happened. On that hour, but but what are your thoughts on on that? Well, that, 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 yeah, that was like the second longest stream I did. I mean, uh, the longest would have been election night, which was like eight hours. Uh, but I was more kind of invested in that. I mean, this was I, I was mostly taking a back seat. I mean, uh, you and Worski spoke the least, but after yeah. you guys, it would probably have been me. Uh, and that was kind of the premise that was agreed to. Like people were saying, we want to come on and we want to say uh, you know, the problems we fucking have and uh, present the evidence we have. And I was like, all right, fine. You know, I'll, I'll take a back seat. I tried to explain a little in the beginning for like 10 minutes. Like, this is kind of the setup. These are the people involved, and, and this is what they're going to be talking about. And then it was kind of like, okay, I'm just going to take a, a seat back and let uh, people talk about whatever the fuck they want to talk about. So uh, it, it, it was just, it was a, like a screaming match for six hours. Now, what made you want to do it in the first place, I guess? Uh, well, yeah, so I can't remember who it was initially that started saying shit on Twitter, but Zoom eventually jumped in and he's like, well, what about this and what about this? And then I DM'd him and gave him my perspective on a few things. And he's like, well, you know, this is the issue I have. This is the issue I have. And I knew the uh, backyard radio guys, uh, yeah. Yeah. Jeffsony and Diogenes, I think, mm -hmm. uh, had an issue with uh, Joachim. So it's like, oh, I don't fucking care. I mean, if people are saying like, if it's the Kumite, if it's blood sports, if it's that kind of a premise where everybody can come on and shit talk each other, and then you got a group of people saying, we can't ever get on to shit talk. I was like, fuck it, whatever. I'll set it up if that's what you guys want to do. That, oh. that was my thought going into it. Like, if you've got mm -hmm. grievances, fine. I'll let you blast away at each other for five hours, whatever. And also, this is one of the talking points. I think you might have addressed it. I think I might have saw a post about it uh, later on. Like I said, I haven't heard the audio because um, I'm still suffering PTSD. Uh, from actually sitting there and listening to people scream about shit I just absolutely do not care about. You dox so and so, you know, I'm, so, okay, I don't care. Uh, but uh, I think one of the, the anti-talking -talk points was that they were selling merchandise with your, with your figure. Yeah, Zoom, Zoom had said that, and I was, you know, when I talked to him in DMs, I was like, yeah, that's kind of faggy, because I don't sell merchandise, right? Right. And then on the stream, Tonka said, well, you said we could. And I was like, oh, well, I, I don't know then. Uh, maybe he did bring it up, and I was like, fine, whatever, because it was just a blood of a thing, but I, I don't remember it. I don't think okay. Taco would have a reason to lie on that. I, I probably He probably asked me on stream. I just don't remember it. But, yeah, I mean, I, I've had the Medicare channel for, like, what is it, four years now? Yes. Uh, I, yeah, and I don't sell T-shirts and hats and mugs and shit. So why, why don't you do that, let me ask I, I I have, like, flashbacks. Do you remember? Well, you, I don't know if you know who this was, but Helsing? Uh, I was this YouTuber back in like 06 and 07. And he was like one of the first people I ever knew to make, like open up a merchandising shop. Mm -hmm. And 
he was so full of himself and we'd always make so much fun of him because he would sell fucking clocks with his face on it <laughs> and calendars with his face on it and journals with his everything had his fucking face on it this big fat face staring at you from a fucking clock on the wall <laughs> and like i can't i can't get that fucking image out of my head so i was like i'm never gonna do that i can't ever fucking do that it is a little cringe we i actually you know full disclosure i do have a shop i put a few things on there like two years ago i really haven't updated it uh Oh, well, but, yeah. I, I think too. It's like, what what are you gonna sell? I, if you're yeah. selling something that's not specifically branded, right? It, it has to be something some motherfucker is gonna be like, oh yeah, whatever. I need a t-shirt, I can wear that, or whatever. I need a hat, I can wear that. Fine. If it, but if it's something fucking obnoxious, you know, like uh, Quick Killer '94's LP channel, and it says that in big fucking letters <laughs> with pink unicorns and shit jumping around, you're gonna look like a fucking retard walking out into the street. Um, so I, I think, I guess some channels do better at merchandising than sure. others, but I, I don't want to fucking navigate that ma- or minefield. Well, plus it's Again, just it another, just flashes me back to Helsing's clocks. And it's also just another thing you have to deal with. Um, and, and it's like, oh, now I got to worry about my store. Think about what products. Yeah. It's just, I don't know. It's just another Tom sink. So. Well, That's- can anybody explain to me, uh, this is always what floored my ass, right? They go to, what is it? Teespring and shit. Yeah, uh, to yeah, sell their, their to sell their fucking merchandise. So you're you're selling a shirt for like thirty bucks, right? This is how lazy YouTubers are. So they'll sell their <laughs> fucking shirt for thirty bucks, and then they're getting like a ten to fifteen dollar profit on it. And then right. Teespring takes the rest, and the and then they're you know they give a portion out for the shipping. You could go to fucking Alibaba or some fucking Chinese site, right? And you could buy that same fucking shirt with the same fucking design for pennies. You can and sell it for half the price that Teespring does, and make all the fucking profit from it. Yeah, but they don't want to, they, they don't want to actually put the business in place. They could they could operate a you know uh, they have I can't remember what the name of it is, but it's like a storefront thing that you can run the supplier through that the people that buy it don't see who the supplier is, but it looks like a normal store. But yep. they're so lazy they don't do it. So that always kind of floored me. Like you could be making more money off your dumb gimmicky merchandise if you didn't go through the laziest fucking method possible. Yeah, but that takes work. You have to you have to get the suppliers <laughs> you have to do this. I, I I actually have a little experience in doing that to be honest. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. That yep. like the prices 100%. are fucking ridiculous. Yeah, you, you can get the the shirts that you that most people have on Teespring. You can buy it for about a quarter, if that. And if you buy them in bulk, it's even less. Uh, especially if you get it shipped overseas from overseas, it's about what, fifteen cents a shirt. And to get it screen printed is about a buck. And shipping is about a shirt weighs what a twelve ounces, so three or four dollars. Wow. Yeah. I, I, no, I mean, somebody in chat saying they don't want to take the risk on the inventory, but. Wait, it's not like you're gonna order a million fucking shirts, and even if you did, they're a penny a piece. Yeah, but you the thing is you don't you don't screen print all the shirts at the same time. You can you hold the shirts as blanks, so you can always just sell them back. Hey, hey, you know the other thing too is people have always said, Why don't you sell a Medicare hat? Well, dude, go to the fucking store, buy a black hat and get a white marker. Like you can make that <laughs> shit yourself, right? Like you don't need me to sell it to you. A DIY, yeah, do it yourself kit. Plus, there's places yeah. in it's, malls it's and five and, fucking stars on a black yeah. background. I'm pretty sure you can handle that if you got through finger painting in kindergarten. You don't need me to sell you that fucking hat. Plus, there's yeah. booth, there's booth booths and malls and you know sites where you can just like send the design and put that on your hat anyway. So it's not really that tough, yeah. You know? Uh, what else? Oh yeah, I saw you, and I'm only mentioning this because I actually set up with my wife. She, she's in London. She's coming in this weekend, but. Uh, she lives in London, obviously, as I said, and I watched the royal wedding. Uh, Did you not love the face <laughs> of the royals as that wedding was going on? Oh, Every man. single Dude, one of them looked like they was, wanted to shoot themselves. That was something else, man. I, and they were looking like we know the cameras are on us, so we can't like laugh as much as we really want to, and like look as disgusted as we as we actually want to. Although the queen did look. Pretty disgusted, but uh, well, the queen looked like she wanted to give them a, a honeymoon in Paris. <laughs> if you get what I'm saying, <laughs> <laughs> that's the look she had on her fucking face when that wedding was going on. It was ba- like it was bad, like, and I'm not even hating on Mark or anything like that, but just the actual ceremony was just kind of like clownish. I don't, I don't know. It was. Well, what did you think of? Uh, it's Margot, right? Or what the fuck's her last name? Markle. Markle. Merkel. Mark. Megan. Not- Mar- Merkel. Markle. 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 It sounds, like, are you, it fuck, sounds, like, sounds like you're making so, Sesame Street noises. So, in the, I don't know what the fuck you're doing. Mark, uh, Mark, M A R K L E. Sorry, I have, my, I have my accent too. So, so my, Markle. Okay, so yes, Markle. it's like uh, her husband is a Mark that fell for a. Okay. 
Uh, did you see the thing with her cousin where he brought a knife to a nightclub and ran from the police? <laughs> no, I didn't no. see that. Actually. Yeah, he showed up for the wedding, right? Uh, it's one of the, you know, like how everybody has that fucking relative nobody invites, but he shows up anyway. So this guy shows up, goes to a London club at night <laughs> after the wedding with a fucking knife on him, walks up to the bouncer, probably coked out of his mind, and is like, I've got a blade on me. Here you go. And then the bouncer's <laughs> like, oi, you can't have butter knives in this country and calls the police. And then people are like, oh, he called the police. And this dude just, he runs away, and I think he hid in a trash can. <laughs> uh, I, I missed that story. I, just, I don't know. Just the actual ceremony itself, though, that, that uh, I oh, forgot. No, you're, missing, you're missing the best part. Do you know why he brought a knife? Do you no. know what the explanation was for why he decided he needed to be armed in London? No. He actually said, Donald Trump, President Donald Trump told me it was dangerous over here. <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't feel safe without a knife because of all the darkies. Wow. <laughs> I see a story here uh, on the Express. What day is this? This is on April 16th. Meghan Markle's cousin writes to Prince Harry demanding invite to royal wedding. Uh, Thomas Markle. I'm not sure if that's the same one. but uh... Oh, God, it reminds me of what was the... Uh... There was a movie from the 90s about uh, John Goodman starred in it, where he Oh, King is... Ralph. King Ralph, yes. Yeah, yeah, it, it, yeah. This is King Ralph. This fucking yes. woman's family is King Ralph. Like, these people don't... They're royals now. It's so weird. It is like, exactly like that. We oh. was kings! I may, or when... may not, I may or may not have an affinity for that movie because it has my name in it, but yes. Well, yeah, it's blue blood meets bluegrass. You <laughs> yes. get me? I, yes. It's a, a fusion of two different fucking things coming together. And <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Uh, there was there was another topic, and uh, I'll swear I'll stop scrolling your Twitter feed, but the, it's reminding me of some things to ask you, so I do appreciate uh, you. I have one thing about the world wedding left. Okay, go do ahead. You think, go ahead. All right, do, do you think they were more mad that she was bl half black or because she was American? I think they were more mad that she was stealing cutlery. <laughs> <laughs> but she told them it's a custom of my people so they couldn't they couldn't say no that's why the queen was holding she wasn't mad she was just holding her purse very tightly while the wedding was proceeding it's a little racial humor for the audience i hope they enjoyed that oh, i i don't know i watched it and just i just couldn't believe this guy i mean it was he was you know like histrionics, there was enough histrionics, but he just kept going and going. The the whatever the black preacher's name was. He just oh my going. god, yeah, it was uh, it was like the coming to America scene with the fucking black preacher. It was great. Yeah, he just wouldn't shut the fuck up. It just <laughs> like it was like, gonna be bad no matter what, especially in that audience. But he just kept going and going. It's like, are you gonna are you gonna finish? Like you know, this is not about you, right? And then they had the they had the black choir, and I was like, "What the fuck is this? Is this a wedding in Harlem? Is this is this the royal family wedding or what?" Like, I, I couldn't. Did I they serve? Uh, did they serve uh, collard greens and yeah. fried chicken after? Actually, there's. Well, a, they they sung a fucking spiritual. Like when they left they the wedding, they sung a fucking <laughs> spiritual. <laughs> they the Holy show, hallelujah! They, le they legit did. By the way, there's this reporter. He works for. Let me see if I can find the tweet, but he works for ABC, and uh, he used to work for CNN. His name is uh, his name's TJ Holmes, and the reason I know him is because he's from West Memphis, and although I was born in Memphis, I lived the first 20 years of my life in West Memphis, and he tweeted out on that day, I'm from West Memphis, which is, there's a lot of black people in this area. It's Mississippi Delta. He says, I'm from West Memphis, and my wedding wasn't even this black. <laughs> that's, what, that's what he tweeted out. Uh, so yeah, it was, uh, it was really, it, it was, it was the greatest shit to watch <laughs> that just, and then they're on the horse drawn carriage and they go to their the little fucking castle and all that shit. But yeah. it, it, it was just, you know, if you ever watch something where you can, you feel uncomfortable because you can see people are uncomfortable. Uh, yeah. and like, that's how I felt. I'm, I'm watching all the Royals horse and they look like they just want to die. Like, <laughs> I was like, this is the greatest shit ever. It yeah, was... secondhand cringe. Second, <laughs> <laughs> you know they're hating it, but they don't want to. Like they can't leave. And they can't show too much emotion because they'll be like, "Oh, look at this racist." You know what I mean? Uh, so, oh, I just saw a message. You just know the. Uh, guess you've seen the Kumite is pretty much dead. Yes, I did see that. Uh, on air, you just know the no. queen's just sitting there, just looking back, it's like that damn ginger. 
Well, uh, yeah. Didn't like what happened with him? By the way, didn't he go to costume parties dresses as a Nazi? Yeah, he like, did. how did yeah. we end up here? He actually did. Yeah, which is why uh, him marrying half black chick now makes perfect sense. Yeah, he. Ah, he he's he was kind of like it. he was kind of like the wild child, I think, of the of the royal family. Well, yeah, I, I still think of him and his brothers like kids because I, I was used to seeing them with Diana all the fucking time. Uh, and then, like, seeing him, uh, his By fucking way, brother bald as shit in the church, I was like, holy <laughs> fuck, he's old. And it made me think that I'm old, too, yeah. I, I still remember being kids. I guess they were a few years younger than me, maybe a couple years. Right around my age, though. I still remember when Diana died. It was a big deal, of course. And, uh... <laughs> well, yeah, they pretty much assassinated yeah. So, yeah, it's just, uh, people were talking about that a little bit. <laughs> no, but I remember being in the seventh grade, and I think it was seventh or eighth grade, and I came to homeroom, and all the little girls are crying, and they're like, oh, Diana's dead. And I was just sitting there like, oh, that sucks. <laughs> Corinne just called me again. So. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, I took up probably too much of your time. Yeah, you can go back. No, 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 no. Wait, one more, one more. (laughs) Okay, all right. One more. more. Uh, There's another rumor that uh, you're actually the the man behind the Murdoch Murdoch series. Can you you confirm that or? No, I probably shouldn't confirm that. I don't (laughs) want to let the secret out of the bag, you know. Um, (laughs) Running all these alternate channels with really heavy, because I'm known for my high production skills. I don't know if you can tell or not. (laughs) Uh, really great editing, good sound quality. That's specifically what I'm known for is the amazing sound quality of my fucking videos. Uh, so I don't, I, I, you know, I don't want to give any of the, uh, the truth seekers out there any hints as to the, uh, the validity of this claim. All right. We, we won't. Let's we won't. just say you'll have to investigate the wheat fields. <laughs> uh, we're not saying that properly. It's the wheat fields. <laughs> the wheat fields, right. <laughs> See, that's how I know you're an imposter. That's how we check each other. <laughs> we ask we ask you to pronounce something that's white or it's got the what sound in it. <laughs> uh, all right, Jim. Thank you. By the way, uh, Corinne wants back on. I don't. I think you're pretty much done with her, though. So. Um, no, I I don't care about that bad old shit. Yeah, no, I <laughs> I, I I came on uh, because she wanted to know the secrets of the the dark net, and so I explained. <laughs> But she wasn't interested in hearing about how uh, Jihadi Jarbo is a wanted international criminal. So I'm, I'm just going to let that one go, I think. She, she just wouldn't listen. I mean, you can't talk to people that won't listen. So um, thank you, man, for coming on. I appreciate it. Yeah, take it easy. Thank you very much. And when Baked Alaska said to Jim, like, why don't you show your face? He snapped. It's the only thing that gets to Jim. So I guess. Uh... You know, V, I, I got to ask you, because I'm really curious. How is it all these ex Gamergate people that would go on and on about the importance of anonymity and fighting against those evil SJWs and those journalists are so prone to saying, dox yourself and show me your face? Because you sound <laughs> like Ben, you sound like Ben Kachera. You remember that? Well, it's, just, it's just a meme, bro. Like no one really wants to see your face. I personally don't want to see. I, your I don't. Face. I don't know, man. I mean, it seems like every time I'm running into a liberalist, they want my docs. They want my face. Sargon, <laughs> I'm sure Sar- 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 Sargon does shows with what? I mean, Karen. He's he's done speech engagements with her. She says, "Show your face." Short Fat oh. Otaku does a stream. He hangs out with Sargon. He's got a a docs folder. Maybe it's really, it's, it's it. really weird it, it, for ex gamer gators to keep on harping on that. I, I think you forget the fact that he said the dox is fake, that that was said on the stream. And second of all, if you wouldn't react the way you did to Bake Alaska when he asked what your face looks like, then no one would bring it up. But people notice you're getting upset. I mean, you're the troll expert, Jim. You know, you, you, if you show a little bit of blood, you show a little bit of... Oh, uh, no, no, I, I get that, V. But I mean, I, I thought I was dealing with principled liberalists who, who stood for something. I didn't know you guys changed your tune to suit yourselves. We, we still joke, Jim. It's, it's okay. Do, do it's you? Not... I, I don't know. I've been looking at the last two days of Fallout here, V. It doesn't look like a lot of bands to me. Well, so, so you legitimately think that people want to see your face? No, what I'm saying is based on his reactions of using you like a Romanian carrier pigeon, <laughs> <laughs> I, would, I would say that uh, he seems to be a bit perturbed. I thought he wasn't going to address me or the, or the alt-right either, but it's been... Oh. I, I, v, just in the last 24 hours, I've had him talk about me in multiple videos, write Facebook essays about me, <laughs> use you as a carrier service, say he's going to sell my merchandise, ask me to come fly out to meet him in person. Like, does this guy want my dick? Like, what's going on? Because this seems like... This well, seems I, like I, I don't know if you know this. 
I, I think you are trying to join the hangout because I said right before you joined that uh, I was edging him on. I was like, look what Jim's saying, look what Jim's talking about, you know, trying to get a response out of him. Because I, I really enjoyed the banter between you two. It was quite hilarious. Oh, I, I've enjoyed it too. I've been having quite the fun, quite a bit of fun on uh, Twitter. I've, I've been I've been enjoying myself with this. But I, I don't know. It's just, it is weird to me though to hear, you know, Anti SJWs, gamer gators, go on and on about dox yourself, show your face, or you're a coward. And that's not him joking around me. I mean, he said that way before fucking baked Alaska. I think he said it after Karen, uh, where you also expose yourself to to hate the fact when people go after your anonymity. Well, yeah, I mean, I just I, again, because I, I'm used to watching SJWs do it. I didn't know I was dealing with the Zoe Quinn crowd. No. Uh, yeah, but wait, if if you're going to show that something bothers you and people want to get out of your skin, they're going to do that over and over. Like, do you have me lecture you how to deal with trolls online? Uh, no, no, no. But I mean, I, again, V, it just is very mysterious to me that, you know, it's all these people around Sargon are doing the same thing or asking the same thing. We're talking doxing and uh, wanting to see faces. I mean, first it was Kraut, then it was Short Fat Otaku. You got Karen doing it. Now, now Sargon saying it, it, it looks bad. Okay, but show me your face is not power word reveal, Jim. Like, if enough people are going to ask you to show your face, I don't think they will have the mind control ability for you to do the face reveal. I think you're missing my point, B. It, it's like once it's a coincidence, twice maybe, um, but like three or four times. What's going on at the What's going on at the the Don's house here? Mate, mate, if, if you play Xbox and people say they want to fuck your mom, do you honestly think that they legitimately want to fuck your mom or are they saying it because it upsets you? Like, if, if people notice that whatever they ask you to reveal your face, you're getting upset, they're going to do it more. Yeah, again, V, there's a difference between, you know, somebody on Xbox talking shit and Short Fat Otaku having a docs folder. And I, I know you said, oh, you said it's fake. Well, how the fuck does he know? How is he verifying what's real or not? Why would he have a dox folder? Why would Kraut go around doxing people? Why are all these people associated with Sargon into this shit? Well, as I recall, it wasn't his folder. It was the friend. Uh, no, the he explicitly friend. stated, and I think Ralph can back me up on this. Did he not say on your stream that it wasn't from Latvi Man, that that was his own folder? Uh, believe oh, yeah, he oh, did hold on. That. I know the folder. It's from a board we both frequent, Jim. And, and I'm pretty sure you saw the pictures over there as well. I can neither confirm nor deny, V, where I spend my time. By the way, some people in oh, chat are saying Sargon is coming. Is that true? Is he actually going to show up? Or I don't know. I, I gave him a message. I told him not to come, though. So it's up to him, I guess. Why, wait, why would you tell him not to come? Uh, why? So he can go into the white niggers rant again? I mean, Jim is the... <laughs> <laughs> Jim I mean, is the Nathan Newman of Twitter. Like last night, he said, So what you're saying is that Martin Luther King is a nigger. It's like, okay. Well, no, somebody, somebody, somebody had asked me, <laughs> you, you can't do activism because think of your family and your children. Uh, you know, only a coward would do that. And I said, So MLK Jr. was a coward because he had a family when he was out there risking his ass. And then your response to that was, So are you saying people are niggers? So I just was asking for clarification. Are, no, are you I, asking I, me? I, I, maybe MLK, MLK Jr.? was wrong. <laughs> Perfect. I mean, look, I, I just find it hard to, you know, for him to say Jim's a coward. Jim's a coward. He's not a man. And then, like the, you know, the challenge has kind of been made here. Um, well, the the thing that I said though is that I just saying that the British government is treating the citizens like niggers. That you would compare Sargon to Martin Luther King. I never compared Sargon to Martin Luther King Jr. I said that there are <laughs> activists out there doing shit. No way, you did that risk their family. No, you why would I ever compare him just to just compare. fucking Martin Luther King Jr.? Are you kidding me? You heavily implied, okay, that he doesn't live up to Martin Luther King's Jr. expectations. Uh, <laughs> are, are they putting lead <laughs> paint in the water? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I can't look at that and not make the nigger argument. <laughs> Oh, so you can't look at Martin Luther King Jr. and not think nigger. Nice liberalist. <laughs> no, you're, <laughs> I said that the British government isn't treating its own citizens like niggers. That's what I said. Oh, this is some, these are some harsh words from the liberalists. I don't know if I can... I don't know if I... This is a little too hot. I've got a family to think about. I don't know if I can associate with this dream, right? Eh? Well, I, I'm sorry if you're from the Reddit part of the internet that can't handle harsh words, but... Uh... I mean, no, you know, I, I got to draw a line at blatant racism. I believe people should be judged as individuals, not as a collective, V. 
Sargon Luther King. I saw that go by in the chat. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, the, the thing, uh, it's like, what, what, the challenge uh, between Jim and Sargon? Well, Jim, you say you're a troll. Why should Sargon engage you? Like, you don't engage trolls. They're, they're not there to have an honest well, conversation. Well, that's, that's probably a question you should be asking him because he's engaged me for the last 24 hours. <laughs> You know, like he he gave you a couple of posts, right? By the way, and, I heard your Skype. That, I heard your Skype go off there, V. Was that Sargon messaging you? Uh, let me check. Yeah, you. very. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god! Holy oh, shit! Wow. The stream. Hold on, hold on. Holy shit! You <laughs> fucking really? called it. I heard it. I knew it. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, give give me a link to the stream, mate. Okay. All right, you gotta you gotta turn off your uh, you gotta turn off your super chats. You promised. <laughs> I mean, if that's what he, yeah, I don't have a problem with that. Well, hold on, he doesn't even know what this is about. Like he, he's not aware that the stream is even going on. Well, you have the hangout link. Do you, you don't need that? You want the actual stream link? Is that what? Is that what yeah, the actual stream link. So I can do it. Okay, here's the stream that's, link. That's, I'll, that's, I'll DM that can, to you. Uh, it's but, about so, so we can hear Martin Luther King and the word nigger in the same phrase. Indicator. Is is that on the liberalist talking points list? I, I haven't checked the site, so I couldn't say. But... Oh, they have talking points now. No, there is a site. I, I saw somebody read it out on the stream. I is that even is that even still up, or is that defunct now? That I'm was not like sure. Five months ago. Yeah, I forget which stream I was watching where they went through and read it, but I'm not sure if that was was that official. V, did you guys get together and do that, or was that just somebody else that put that up, or <clears throat> do what? No, there's another one. The liberalist website. Yeah, I hear Scott. Going. <laughs> <laughs> he literally, he literally has you on a leash fee. This is the most amazing thing. Jeez. Uh, apparently, he's waiting for a plate to speak at a university. He's what? He's waiting for a plane to speak in a university. Oh, so he's at an airport, is what you're saying? Yes. I mean, his Skype works, though. Well, no, no, see. wait a minute, wait a minute. Now, that's even funnier. So you're telling me his ass is waiting for a fucking plane, but he has enough time to keep tabs on you coming on to talk about this shit? <laughs> no, but I messaged him because Ralph told me he wants him on. Actually, I said uh, the challenge... What did I say? I think the tweet's still up here somewhere. Uh, I believe the word man was used. I, I said the challenge has been made. Oh, so you were watching the stream. Was, no, I, I have people relaying me what's oh, going on. Okay. Oh, your, people. Your, your spies were... Yeah, I, I said when I, I mean, just... I said uh, it, was, it was pretty I, lame for you to, to relay his Skype messages, and now he's Skyping you live on air rather than just getting on the stream himself. And he obviously has the time. I mean, he's sitting in an airport. Okay, maybe not the best because setting. You make a stream that's one hour long talking about me, right? And, and I have 80,000 subscribers, out of which some of whom... I really like to be Ralph is talking about hey, you. The discussion about the discussion about you was a very small part of the program. It was actually mostly about it, Sargon. It was enough was. for people to say Ralph wants you, the manservant, to get Sargon on. And I'm I not sure Sargon. I used the term manservant. That might have been. Uh, well, to be to be fair to Ralph, I don't know if that's necessarily you know inaccurate, <laughs> considering you're getting <laughs> Skype pinged as we're talking yeah. Yeah. <laughs> from a guy sitting at a fucking airport. <laughs> Eesh. I didn't even know he was sitting in an airport, but for me, all of this is amusing. Like, I, I really enjoyed the banter between you two last night. Uh, yeah, I, well, I was, ha I was, I was having fun, but I, I, again, I don't know how he's taking it since he's writing essays on Facebook. I, I suppose you could say he gave you attention. And not only that, he went on his stream earlier and called, called me daddy. Called Jim. <laughs> <laughs> he called Jim a coward, a failure at life, basically. Um, everything he touches goes to shit. What else did he say, Jim? I, I think you saw the clip too, but, uh, uh oh, he, he was a boy. Oh, no, and a the, man. the only, the, the only <laughs> thing I found funny was the fight me in real life thing. Cause like I, I had flashbacks to Eric Kane and Ben Kuchera. Like, say it to my face. <laughs> yeah. Like, how can you not immediately default to say it to my face? That, that is amusing to me. Hold on. There was another one, like, bring back bullying. What was his name? Sam Biddle. Sam Biddle, I think, also asked you to fight him in real life. Yeah, that's not a good comparison. <laughs> it's like that's not the guy you want to be compared to. Uh. I, I just don't understand why the Joker of the internet doesn't get jokes. Like you, you Dude, think he was absolutely people. not joking with that comment. Serious. Like he. Was... How can you tell from a Facebook post? No, I'm talking about from the stream. Did you not see the clip earlier from his own stream? 
I mean, I have it time stamped here. You know what? Maybe we should play it again. I mean, if you if you haven't seen it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but, we, we do have a much bigger audience oh, now. Oh, wait, wait. I, I, I want to actually confirm something. V, you told me once that you'll know if Sargon's mad or taking something seriously because he'll talk about it on his main channel. Yeah. Great. This is from his main channel. This is from his uh, Weak and Stupid. So, okay, go ahead, Ralph. Play it. All right, let's, let's, let's play it here. Uh, okay, that's just a little short clip. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and play it uh, right now. Um, it's underreported, but Australia is going down the same path as the UK. Keep doing what you're doing. Fuck Jim and the other spineless weasels, and hopefully you head down under one day. It's, like Jim's just wasting his life because he hates himself. He's he wishes he could achieve something, but he doesn't have the self confidence to do it. Like I I don't hate Jim or anything like that. It I feel bad for him. I feel bad that he's <laughs> wallowing in nonsense and he's ruining everything around him. That's not what a man does, in my opinion. That's what a boy does. That's what a coward does, you know. And if you've got a problem with anything I'm saying, Jim, why don't you come to one of my live shows? Give you. I don't see it, by the way, for playing live chat. Well, you can't. Um, I, I played it. To, uh, <laughs> I'm just playing it for my own amusement. Fuck I, you. <laughs> I mean, I, I sent it to you in DMs. Uh, I guess I could see. I use OBS, so I don't, I don't really use. I mean, we're using Hangouts to talk, but that's not what I use to broadcast. Um, but uh, it's only okay. a minute clip. Well, if, if, well, if you would well, like well, to well, pause while you watch it, I mean, if you'd like to just mute for a second and watch it, it's only about, what, 45 seconds to a minute. Fucking Christ, two hours. Oh, fuck. Uh, all right. No, no, where... it's Tom. V, it's Tom Stamp. You, you yeah, really I, I just no want to ask, like, where's the time stamp at? Uh, well, I sent it to you in Twitter. Two, minutes and, uh, two hours and three minutes. Okay. Yes, it's right there. Yeah, it's right there, buddy. Keep going. Oh, I guess in this in this little break, uh, there was a tweet from Chelsea Manning. She didn't jump off the, the building. Okay. So that's the Chelsea Manning update. <laughs> he's back. responding to a comment, and I see his lips are next to his ears as he's smiling while responding. Are you telling me that this is a serious he's match? Not, being... Dude, he's not even smiling at the beginning of the like at the end. Okay, he does crack a smile there at the end. Uh, but he's calling Jim a you know failure and a coward, and I mean these are very personalized insults. Uh, yeah, and he, I I guess if Jim feels insulted, then you know it's a subjective matter for I Jim. Mean, hey, my my hot take on this was again I just was interested in the Ben Kachera comment. That's that's what I zoned in on. Mm -hmm. But I don't think you've ever talked about Sargon like that, Jim. Have you? I mean, not not in those stronger terms. I mean, you made fun of some of his you know. Uh, oh yeah, I've, I've cracked. I, I have no idea. I mean, you could go look back. I guess I, I don't know what I've. I don't know what I've called him. Aside, I think called I've, him a failure. Said he's not a man. At least I don't think. Well, no, I, 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 I I've called him stepfather a few times. Yes, yes, I think yes, the, yes. the meme is funny, and I, I've said that liberalists are cringy as fuck. Uh, but I, I I don't recall calling him a coward or a failure or anything like that. I I don't. That doesn't bother me. Again, the thing that I find funny about it is the Ben Kuchera shit. But it's just hard to say. Oh, he's just joking around when he says it, when he well, says. Well, no. Like that. Here's the thing, Jim. You you put out a lot of videos online, and mm -hmm. someone who watches your content kind of know what would piss you off. And I, I'm telling you, as a person who knows the man, he did it to upset you, to rile you up. And here I am the next day. See, well, see, now you're you. making it look worse, though. You're like he's just doing it as a joke, but now you're saying he's doing it to make you mad. So he must be upset. He's yeah, trolling you. Like, uh, you again, didn't say you no. You didn't. You didn't say it was trolling. You said he wanted to rile me up. So I make fun of him, and now he's mad, and he wants his revenge through bants. Which yeah, and is a troll point. is the person who says something they don't believe in order to. I, I'm sorry. I thought I thought Sargon pitched himself as the leader of the liberalist movement. We've got to be smart and responsible and change politics. And I can't associate with bad things. Well, when did I, he? I when did he declare himself a troll? Because I must have missed that. Well, I, I suppose when he is talking with the Polish MP like he did yesterday, you can bring up the fact that he trolled Jim, and that will definitely ruin his reputation. Is, it, is talking to a Polish MP supposed to be a big deal? Uh, uh, MEP. Oh, I, I don't know. Get get the Polish MP as well and talk to him. See if it's a big deal. Uh, who gives a fuck about talking to a Polish MP? I, I don't know what that has to do with yeah. anything I just said. If you talk to the Polish Prime Minister, maybe I would give a fuck, or, or like an actual minister, a member of, par a, a member of the European Parliament. Yeah, V, I That's gotta say, nothing. too, on Twitter, you sold it as he was going out there to protest for Tommy Robinson, but he wasn't. He was going to talk to something uh, to somebody at an event that was already set up. He, he did both things. Like, no, no, he was but you to tweeted it out. You tweeted it out with the, giving the impression that he was going out 
you know, for solely for the reason of Tommy Robinson. I mean, no, I, I tweeted out stuff. that he was going to the uh, Hyde Park speaker corner in order to protest and address the Tommy Robinson issue. Yeah. And after that, right? No, there was no, there's no after, there's no after no, that. I, I'm telling you after, you know, regardless of my tweet, after he finished the protest, he went and spoke with the uh, Polish prime minister. Well, that's that's great, but again, you pitched it when I was giving him shit for not doing anything about the Tommy Robinson thing. No, as oh, he's going out to do something about the Tommy Robinson thing. No, he's just showing up where he was planning on going in the first place. Also, I heard your Skype go off again, V. I don't know what the. What yeah, the... this is not Sargon. I I, oh. I don't have a list of Sargons. In <laughs> 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 well, Jim, you could have asked. Like, not, nothing would have stopped you from asking me to clarify the issue further. I didn't think of it at the time. You asked me if he protested. Well, it, was a, it, was a, and it, it was a pretty definitive statement, V. You were selling me a, a bag of goods. It was, uh, it's a little tainted there. Well, I'm not responsible for what you understand. I'm only responsible for what I write. And what I wrote was... Well, and what you wrote it. gave the impression that it was one thing when it was something else entirely. No, he, he legitimately was. When I tweeted out at Hyde Park Corner talking about Tommy Robinson. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I don't think I lied or uh, did anything uh, unethical. Yeah, I'm just going to let the silence hang there. <laughs> well, I, I don't know what else I need to say. It's, it, it, it's okay, great. so how about this, V? Sargon, he's at an airport. He's a busy man. He's going to give a college lecture. Why don't we try to set up something now to, to have a conversation here on the kill stream? I, I told them not to go. So if you want to set something up, get a person. I mean, he doesn't want to answer my messages, V. No, wait wait what. a minute. No, I mean, Wait a minute, V. That's a bit dickish to Ralph. You said you were trying to goad him into having a little back and forth with me yeah. yesterday. But now you don't want to set up a future back and forth with me. So what, how did that change in 24 hours? <laughs> Because no one gives a shit about Twitter, right? But if he goes on a live stream that says white niggers again, I think that might be a problem. That's already out there, V. Yeah. You think that's going to disappear? I, I don't want another one. And it, if he has that much know, lack of self-control, what's he doing trying to be a fucking political figure in the first place? Well, that's his business. You don't have very but... much confidence in Sargon, then, it doesn't sound like. No, I don't, because I see him on live streams. Wow! Isn't that, isn't that a pretty what? pathetic statement about him? I mean, I don't, I don't know. Well, I suppose it's up to him if it's pathetic or not. But I think we both. Well, I'm know. saying it's pathetic, I, I, and I'm I, saying I, I, it's lame as knows. fuck. It's lame as fuck and bitch made pussy move to call somebody else a coward, and then you won't show your fucking face here on live stream, well, or, not, face, or not even Ralph show your face. face. Just, just show Ralph, up. Ralph. It's bitch made, Ralph, dude. If you want Sargon on your channel, let, let, let's be honest. If Sargon wanted to talk to Jim, he would use his platform. V, here's the, here's the thing. The the one time that Jim and Sargon talked was on Louis' channel, correct? Is Sargon just afraid to go on neutral channels or other channels? Does he have to go on a yeah, liberal channel? Louis' channel is not a neutral channel. Jesus Christ, that dude sucks his I know. Dick. I'm, I'm, I'm saying. That's like, what I'm saying. It's a liberalist channel. That's why. Is he only going to go on channels that are Sargon leaning? Is that what he's doing now? Is he afraid to like you know engage with anything? How how is he going to change anything if he's afraid to engage with anyone? So you well, had your Jim want to do on his channel. You, you, well, you, you guys gotta let him answer. answer. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> you were looking after Sargon. You wanted him to change the world, and now you're disappointed. Is this what you're going with? Talking to me? Uh, no, to Gator. You're talking to Dan. That was Dan. I'm Gator. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. So, so I don't think anybody in this call was looking for Sargon to change no. the world, but all that's <laughs> No, I'm saying <laughs> that, 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 why, I'm why saying, are you making that argument that why are you worried and are concerned trolling he, right now? He or, said or what it. Sargon is supposed to do and what he is doing. Sargon said it himself. That's what he wants to do. The twenty year plan. That's his thing, isn't it? Yeah. He's yeah, the you're one concerned said. trolling right now, Zidane. I'm not concerned trolling. I'm just Look at the definition of concerned trolling and I'm tell me how you are not fitting it. I'm, I'm saying a fact. Is he just going to do it on Liberalist, right? Like, you know, his channel. And I am like telling you that you are concerned trolling. You're not interested in the Liberalist movement. No, I, he, I don't see you personally invested in it. And you're worried, how is Sargon going to do this issue? No, it's not. It's not even concern trolling. He's saying he's a bitch because he'll only do it on channels that are favorable towards him. And he's scared to show up after he just called somebody else a coward. Well, I guess that's, that's between him and Sargon to dish it out. So here, come on here and dish it out. There you go. You literally just said it. Well, uh, was it, is it, Ann? I don't think you're going to probably sway him on this. I mean, when he went on to the morning kumite with uh, Tonkasa, he had like 14 special stipulations for even showing up. Yeah, that's true. 
No. Oh. Oh. I, I mean, if that's if, what he needs now. If we pay know. him the $125 that he's charging people to see him in Manhattan, <laughs> will he show up? Hell, if I go there, what if I show up there? I can go to New York. We could just be streaming live on the kill stream and just feed the audio through. Yeah. I can I can drive over there. Does he want me to do that? Well, we can get this done. Did did V drop out? Is he still here? No, I'm I'm still here, but <laughs> you didn't ask me a question. I just did. I can go to New York. He's having a speech in New York, right? I'm not asking you. Is would you be okay with that if somebody drives over there? I know if you will be okay. You're his messenger boy. Well, turns out I'm not. Ask him. So if you will be okay or not, just get get that schedule on Facebook like everyone else. I was invited here. In order to uh, try to get Sargon on, and I came you, here because... Actually, you weren't invited. You messaged me and said, want me to join, and I sent you Oh, well, yeah, I mean, I, I can share the screen. You, you pretty much invited yourself. Yeah. Go ahead and share it. That's fine. Yeah, man. I mean, you, you could have said no, Ralph. I, I didn't yeah, force... Yeah, but, but you're misrepresenting this, the fact. I didn't invite you on. You invited yourself. Yeah, so, uh, okay. Matter, I'll fact, I, matter of fact, V, I have invited you on this program plenty of times, and you never showed up until we were sitting here making fun of Sargon, and then all of a sudden, you jump out of nowhere and said, want me to come on? That's exactly what did you invite me, Ralph? Show me the logs where you invited me, and you set up a date, and I, I didn't want to come. Okay, I will, if you would like. Uh, message me if you get up early doing a kill stream in an hour or so. JF just quit the uh, Warski show. Was gonna get you on here. Hold on, I'll pull. It, I'll pull it up on screen if that's what you really want me to do. Yeah, on, let me watch as well. Cause, uh... Okay. Every okay. time someone invited me, I usually said yes unless I'm busy or something like that. So okay, let's just. I, I know you came on my channel a couple of times, and if you invited me and, and I was available, okay. I would have came here as a common courtesy. Okay, V. Can I? I'm just gonna ask you one question. Why did you tell Sarkar not to come on here? Why would he come here? Like, what, what, what would, would his advantage that? be? Like, what would he gain if but he comes? Why would you say that? Well, okay, so Jim is a troll. He he claimed himself that he is a troll. Why on earth would he engage with the trolls? Because he already did on a, on a Facebook message. Oh, on, uh, on no, a wait, stream. let me read this. Let me read this out. Uh, up for a stream. By the way, I've been on your streams plenty of times. Up for a stream regarding the Baked Alaska thing. I said, sure, what time? We could even do it now if you're up for it. I said, send the link. We did the stream. Uh, hey man, featured your website in my video today. Uh, oh sweet, I'll check it out. By the way, I was gonna see if you were down to come on my stream one day. Kind of blew up in the last week. Been at a thousand plus viewers most of the time, two thousand plus once. Now I actually have to put in work and book guests though. LOL. It's at eleven p.m. Eastern, so not sure if you could do it one night. And you did a smiley face at it, and uh, you didn't say anything. Uh, and then I said, oh cool, it was on Count Danko. I love that dude. Um, then you didn't say anything. You said, oh, actually you said, by the way, I'm having failure to talk about the recent drama. Uh, want to join as well. Yeah, I heard him mention he was coming on early on the Kumite. Yeah, sure, I think I could make that. What time does it start? Then you send the Hangout link. Then I jumped on that stream. Actually, failure no-showed you, so it was just me and you talking. Uh, then I messaged you. Message me if you're if you're up early doing a kill stream in an hour or so. JF just quit the Worski show. was going to get you on. Then you said, ha ha, just saw this. I was asleep when you sent it. So you could say you're asleep on that one, but... Uh, yeah. So then I said, uh, I'm trying to get Sargon on tonight to talk with Alsop. I don't know if he would do it, but maybe you could fill in if he won't. And he said, nah, he won't. Uh, and this, you were definitely up. This was, you know, con you know, contemporaneous with me sending the messages. Uh, he said, if Alsop hey, apologizes you're, you're, for the way, I mean, let me yeah, finish, V. You're usually said, messaging me at 3 a.m., mate. Yeah, but you're awake. I mean, you're saying you, you usually come on if you, if you get the message, you, and you said you didn't, and that I didn't even invite you. So yeah, sometimes like, I do, sometimes I'm not, but you're messaging me in okay, the middle well, of the night. Well, the point is, you're full of shit with what you were saying. No, the point is, now it's 7 a.m. Like, well, you're, you're up, you're here now. With the last so, time. So, okay, right? so you got on now, but all the other times I asked you to come on, you didn't come on. Okay, you can have your conspiracy theory that the only reason I came on now is because it's you're talking about It's not even a conspiracy. Time. Like, I, I don't know, man. It's just... Well, it's your interpretation of it, and I'm telling you it's not the case. Now you can believe me or not. Okay. But we saw for the record that I have invited you on the show. <laughs> I, I never denied you didn't invite me on the show. The thing that I pointed out is that I didn't came before because I couldn't. And I, I, as you pointed in one message, I was asleep. Yeah, on one of them you were asleep, true. But on the other two, you weren't. As a matter of fact, this, yeah. this the other uh, one you, you were the one with way. JF, the one with JF, I didn't want to come because I don't want to get involved in that drama again. Um, I, I made it a public statement that I'm not going to get involved about JF, and I'm trying not to. 
Um, and and the other one, I was asleep. So I, I'm willing to come on in the future if you want. Okay. Yeah. But let me put. Uh, you said Zidane was concern trolling. Let me translate what he was trying to say in a more in a more conducive format for your understanding. So. A long time we've criticized we've been criticizing social justice warriors because they will only interact with each other in their own special little hug box. They don't want to engage with us. They don't want to talk to, talk to the all right or they don't want to talk to liberalists or anti SJWs. They just want to live in their own little perfect bubble world. Isn't that a lot of what Sargon is doing right now? Is he has a hug box of liberalists and he just wants to engage within that sphere? Of discussion and doesn't really want to branch out to challenge his ideas against the ideas of people who will likely be his political competitors. Name me a single alt right talking head that Sargon of Akkad hasn't engaged with. I mean, that is true. He has engaged with several. Okay. I, I can tell you communists he has engaged with, I can tell you feminists he has engaged with. I don't but think why that now is, is the question. Tell, tell me how many people from the alt right has Brianna Wu engaged with, or tell me how many people has Anita Sarkeesian engaged with. Well, Brianna Wu did actually engage with uh, Ralph as uh, <laughs> Ralph was thrown out of that convention. I, I don't consider that an actual engagement. Well, then how are you considering Anita Sarkeesian? She called him a garbage human. Brianna Wu wanted Ralph thrown out for being a stalker. I mean, it's the same fucking thing, right? I, I don't consider uh, Anita Sarkeesian calling Sargon of Akkad the garbage human the type of engagement we're talking about right now. Yeah, he also he didn't engage with uh, with uh, James Alsop. I mean, there, there Wait, are some I, people. Some I, people okay. say he's scared of, of I, Enoch as well. Yeah. yeah, go ahead, Jim. I, I I feel like we're getting lost in the thickets here. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. This conversation's taking a weird turn. Yeah, well, I wouldn't disagree with that. No, I, I don't think the criticism is accurate. If you can name me how many people uh, Anita... Like, you name me a person, Anita Sarkisian or Biana will engage outside of her circle. I name you a person that Sargon of Akkad engaged out of his circle. And we can see who runs out of names first. V, you're comparing Sargon to Anita. How shitty is that already? Well, you are m making the conversation <laughs> that oh, Sargon of Akkad is like an SJW. So I'm comparing an SJW to see if the comparison is accurate or That's not. That's not what I was saying. What I was saying is that Sargon has pulled into his ideological bubble and refu is refusing now to come out of it when he had a clear history of doing so in the past. It's a contrast. A lot of people but pre-SJW would engage with people of other viewpoints too, but they hit a point at which they decided that protecting their own ideology, their own sh belief structure was more important than engaging other ideas that run counter to their own. That's the whole point of talking to people that are communists or alt-right, is you want to see your intellectual rigor versus theirs, and that's why Ralph wanted to invite Sargon to talk to Alsip. Because you have two people that are, you know, no, kind of, no, and not even Gator, not wanted to. I did, and he didn't respond yeah, to the you message. Did, and, and by the way, we talked plenty of times in years past, and like I don't even know, like he doesn't even respond now. It's just, it's just yeah, shady. My, it's my shady other argument to that is that he actually engaged with pretty much all of the alt right talking heads. I guess, say for also. I don't okay, know if there's any. Does he consider me all right? Like, what's the excuse for not even just saying "fuck off, Ralph"? Fuck, "Fuck off, Ralph"? I'm not coming on your show. Fuck you. Like, why couldn't he say that? Like, I don't understand. You're, you're inviting him on your show not to talk with you, to talk with also. No, actually, I first invited him just to come on the show regularly, just as oh, a regular. I, I don't know if you noticed, but he doesn't come on my streams either, and and it's not because uh, he's being a dick. It's because he's legitimately busy. Mm. Like yeah, right Ralph, now he's in the Ralph, airport. Ralph Ark isn't gonna play itself. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta gotta look after your wife's dinosaur. I don't know. I, I just think it's a little shady, uh, especially since we have a history. You know, like I always, you know, I won't say we're friends, but you know, kind of defended him and said, you know, I like Sargon and. He's been I, on don't this know, show like, I, like, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's just it's just kind of shady. Jim, give, give him the talk about friends on the internet. I said we're not friends, but like we have, we had a relationship. Like we had a you know, dialogue. He's been on this channel before. I've been on his channel. Like I don't know. It's just, it's yeah. Just... I mean, I don't think he ever said anything negatively about you. 
I, I never heard him say anything wrong about you, but that doesn't mean that he has an obligation to come on no, your street. No, he definitely, he dude, he has street. no obligation to show up. I'm just saying, why not even uh, message, fuck off, Ralph, like... I'm he doesn't kidding. respond to my messages either. Well, all he was responding time. earlier, though. I mean, Buddha? yeah, I mean, he's watching this right now. There's I'm zero doubt he's too. watching the stream right now. I mean, if you would wait for all of my words to leave my mouth, you would understand that I said doesn't respond to all of my message all the time. Like, if you, if you'd bother him about it, which is what I do, but I, I, I guess you did a little bit of Eastern European assholishness in order to just keep insisting eventually he does respond chat said we had an emotional connection no i mean it's not even that i just i don't know i just thought it was a little like bush league but maybe that's just me maybe i'm wrong about it but Look, trust me, I, I, I never heard him say anything remotely negative about you. <clears throat> well, what, what? Oh, the stream got so gay, so it fucking did. fast. It really did. Uh, it's, it's, so, so what do you think about him sure. coming? Is he ever going to come on and, and talk to Jim since he called him a coward earlier? Or is that... You well, I'm telling him. him not to talk. I know to you him. said that a hundred so times. You can get now. someone else that's not involved into this. Like my my whole thing was just poke at Jim a little, and you'll see him react. Going to blow off all Twitter. There's going to be streams about it. Going to last for a week, and it's yeah. going to be funny. A stream by Sargon. He mentioned him in his in his stream. Yeah. Do you think we'd even be talking about this if he hadn't said? Well, we were gonna laugh at it a little bit because Jim was, you know, pretty funny with some of the stuff he said on Twitter, but. We I was actually... on. I was on fire. What the fuck are you talking yeah, about? Yeah. <laughs> but if you like look the at the stream on... title, the main topic was Elon Musk, and then we yeah. were gonna, you know, mainly talk about that. But then Sargon did his his stream right before this, where he, you know, he just goes off and it really yeah. personalized attacks. It what wasn't you, just you know what you're and, and and you refuse to point out is that it was a super chat that got him to talk about Jim. Yeah, it's but not he that didn't people... have to say all the things he said. <laughs> the super chat didn't <laughs> ask him to invite me to fly out and kiss him, did it? Yeah. There's nothing in that super chat about us having a gangbang in a hotel room, there, <laughs> was there? But <laughs> well, he wanted to piss you off, and apparently he did. Got you to react. I, I, I don't know, V. I mean, I know you're trying to, to trying to kind of paint this like, oh, he he got me. But I sent out tweets. This nigger has been writing essays on Facebook, doing live streams, sending you secret Skype messages to relay to me. Not not you deciding to relay them to me. He's telling you, show this to Jim. Seems like he's pretty fucking invested for a guy that doesn't care and isn't angry. Well, what, what you're refusing to point out is that there are at least a dozen of people of day asking him to talk about Jim, you know? And, and oh, I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't know Sargon gave in to peer pressure so easily. Well, I'm sure you would give it to peer pressure if you had a dozen of people asking you to reveal your identity each day. Eventually, you'd snap and make an essay about why you're not revealing your identity. How many v, people? I, v, I have people ask me to do shit all the time that I don't fucking do. Yeah. yeah, but sometimes you respond on it on Twitter. That doesn't mean you have a deep emotional connection. Yeah, like but Ralph and the, Sargon there, does, there, yeah? there's a difference between shit posting on one platform and taking that to fucking 19 different platforms to talk about it. Isn't there? I, I mean, we're talking about scope here, aren't we? You're comparing Twitter shit posts to essays, videos, and secret Skype messages being relayed to me by a fucking Romanian uh, carrier pigeon. <laughs> I'm not going to talk about the alt right anymore. Thread one out of forty seven. Well, hold on, Jim isn't alt right. No, yeah, this is this is well, I mean it is kind of similar though. I mean he he has said a lot. He's not gonna talk about the alt right, and then he talks about the alt right. Well you know it's I'm like, not going to talk about you, Jim. You, set your no, goal. About you know, you, you you can have a goal and not be able to fulfill it. That doesn't mean that when you set the goal you're not honest about it. He actually said on on Facebook earlier, "Do let him know I posted this on Facebook and that his opinion yeah, doesn't do, mean do shit." Do let him know. Do let him know. Be sure to send this to Jim. Be sure to send this to Jim. I need Jim to know. I also like you. Remember the Louis stream where uh, I was like, "So you have people giving you information about me?" And he's like, "That's not true, Jim. That's a conspiracy." Yet, literally in his video, he says, "Louis sending me messages saying Medicare's saying this," and then you're saying, "I'm telling Sargon what you're saying." So does he have like little? little liberalist agents out there keeping tabs when people make jokes about him because that comes off as fucking paranoid 
Come on, Jimmy. You have a big subscriber base as well. You know that when people talk shit about you, people will point out, look what this guy said. Well, yeah, but again, you're, you're comparing a subscriber base to people that fucking hang out with him. Uh, you know, or a part of his liberalist movement, right? There's yeah, a kind of a difference, a difference there, there between yeah. random YouTube subscribers and, you know, my my liberalist agents. Yeah, and there, there are people <laughs> that give me messages as well. Uh, Ralph wants to talk to Sargon, make it happen. You know, that, that type of shit. You know, and of course, you know, if I relate to Sargon, then you'll say, oh, it's it's a conspiracy. They're just like, I'm the little carrier pigeon and shit. It, you know that when you have a big subscriber base, this happens. Like, people will tell you if there's other people on the internet talking about you. It's not, it's not that you need to hire an army of spy. You're not, you're not the spider from Game of Thrones that has an army of children going around the internet trying to figure out well, what's yeah, going and you, you could be totally right. Maybe I shouldn't be, uh, maybe I shouldn't be painting this on Sargon. Maybe Louis LeVay is just a ball-riding little bitch, and the moment he sees me say something about Sargon, he scuttles off to bring the message. Well, I, I don't know about that. Uh, but I have a question, right? Because I wanted to ask you this. Um, yeah, go ahead. You talked about Sargon being a coward because, you know, he, he's not doing activism. He's afraid of being arrested and shit. Um, he, he, he's afraid of the man, basically. Um, did, I call, did I call him a coward? I don't recall calling him a coward on my Twitter. Okay, well, that's what I got. That, that, that is the implication I got. If you, if you didn't do it, then that's fine. You know, it's on me. No, I'm legit uh, asking you because uh, I should post a lot, man. So you got you to gotta point me into it. I don't remember because I was last night. I was just laughing and it was like I, I was in a good mood. I, I oh, maybe, this is, maybe this is what you're referring to. Um, uh, somebody was bringing up the Sargon thing. And I said, because uh, they were like, Sargon, they're trying to, uh, you know, to one up me. So they're like, Sargon's a coward for not endangering himself and risking being thrown in jail, you know, and then signed American protected by the First Amendment. And I responded to that saying, anonymity is cowardice. Now let me show you my bravery by not discussing things that might get me in trouble. Sincerely, Paul. Yeah, okay, so, so, so you're basically saying, you know, that he's afraid of the man. And uh, I, I noticed you on the Kumate once, you basically talked about how you would want to talk more interesting stuff on your YouTube channel, like the case of Wolfie. With the guy who had the clothes hanger that was uh, off his box, and then yeah, set fuck to himself his... on the coat hanger. Yep. Yeah, and, and he wouldn't talk about it because you know YouTube wouldn't like it. Like it would be against the community guidelines. So you know, isn't that a comparison where you're afraid of the man as well? Like you know you're not supposed to do it. You want to do it, but you're not going to do it. Well, th this is where we get into a, a differentiation between publicity and principles, which I think is a big fault with liberalists. <laughs> It seems to me like you guys are all for low risk, high reward, but not for high risk, low reward. Oh my God, Dankula is getting an eight hundred dollar fine. Let's go protest in the streets. And by the way, I think what happened to Dankula was bullshit. But you're all fine for that. And you know Sargon's reasoning of well, he broke the law. You know, for Tommy Robinson applies to fucking Dankula too. Yeah, but but you know, here's here's Tommy Robinson. You're not going to get a fucking two hundred fifty thousand dollar GoFundMe to overturn Tommy Robinson's shit. Tommy Robinson has yeah a reputation attached to him. So that's too hot to handle. So fuck principles. We'll go with PR and optics. Yeah, and you know what's the difference? There were actually thousands of people protesting for Tommy Robinson as well. Yeah, and... people that had balls. Yeah, I got you. Yeah. Yeah, Sargon was there as well in Hyde Park Corner. Mm -hmm, but yeah, I, I he, can't, he, can't, he, can't, he can't talk about it, though, because he has a family to think about. Well, no, it's because it's illegal to talk about it. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, I, 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 I get it. Yeah, yeah it's, 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 it's illegal. These laws are stupid, but let's not, let's not protest them. Yeah, the, the tyrannical government uh, has a law in place saying we can't call them tyrannical. So no, I guess he, he is the law, protesting the laws. Like, like he, he raised awareness on the issue that it's illegal to talk about. Like, what, what exactly more would you expect? Uh, maybe not be a coward. Uh, maybe not yeah, be a but, bitch but, about like, it. Maybe, maybe not sing me the song of. What, maybe not sing me the song of. I'm going to be a political leader, but then be afraid of taking political risks. He and then try to say shit like, oh, oh, my, my family. Think of my family. The motherfucker raised one hundred twenty-five thousand dollars. Because he doesn't understand copyright law. So, I mean, I think, fi you know, financially, he'll be okay. I, I don't think the risk he would be facing is as enormous as it's being painted. I think the Tommy Robinson case was talked about by other people. I don't think what Tommy Robinson did actually violates the law in the way they were trying to make it seem like it did. And I think the media blackout's bullshit. I mean, how can you guys bitch about Muslims committing rape crimes all over Europe and how the fucking press won't talk about it, but then you bow down and suck dick when they tell you, you can't talk about what happened to Tommy Robinson. That's against the law. Well, okay. First of all, he's not a political leader. He made that clear plenty of times. I think he I said, said I'm starting a political movement because I know the responsibility. And all, he made a fucking video on it, V. It's an advocacy group, man. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, it fits your definition when it, it's, it's an activist. It, it, no, it, no. 
Uh, okay, what, whatever. Secondly, what exactly more would you have him do? Like he went there, he protested, he raised awareness on the issue. He he spoke with uh, Polish prime uh, Polish PMs about it. Hey, he's, he's planning to talk with the guy from UKIP about it. Like, what exactly more that he isn't doing right now would you have him do? Uh, maybe not make statements like I I you know, I can't talk about this. I have a family. That it just comes across oh, as just so fucking wishy washy. Raising awareness on the issue. Raise that, awareness uh, about what if you can't fucking talk about it, me? Yeah, the fact that the government is so Orwellian that it's make people afraid of talking about it. Like that that is concerning. That would get people. Uh, yeah, you know you know what else also kind of stuns me, and this goes beyond Sargon, by the way. But I, I think as an American, and maybe other Americans are feeling similar to this. But I am so fucking tired of listening to Europeans bitch about the Orwellian states they suffer under, and then be complete little bitches about doing anything about it. And then get upset with us because we're not going to march down the streets with you. Like, you well, know, nut up, not, not up or shut up when it comes to this shit. Like, well, you guys well, bitch all the time about how oppressive it is over there and how terrible it is over there. But then when a little law gets in your way about you can't talk about this or you can't do this, you are like, well, we can't do that. We need to follow the law. We need to queue up and be good little lemmings. I mean, it's well, just well, well, it's did ridiculous. Why did you go when the Patriot Act was enacted? Bitched about it, B. Bitched about it. Didn't vote for fucking Bush after that went through. We've had about five of those come through after that. I mean, you're not even talking about the National Defense uh, Authorization Act of like 2012. I mean, there have been a ton of those that have gone through. Well, I can also point out during World War One, your freedom of speech was revoked. You couldn't criticize the government, and you couldn't talk against. Or the are, are you at so war? People didn't rise up. Hey, are yeah. you at war right now? No, but what I'm saying is that when uh, American rights are taken away, I don't see the revolution. I, I don't see people on the streets, you know, trying to take their rights back. V, is Europe thing. is in such a chaotic, shitty state, from Sweden to England to everywhere else. And your rights are getting taken away from you left and right. And you're you're you just sit there and you take it. And then you have snide remarks for Americans when we make fun of you for it, for not standing up for yourselves. And I think as an American, I'm just fucking tired of listening to it. Well, no, what, what I'm saying is that if you're not in that particular country, it's very easy to talk shit and, and act all bravado and macho and stuff. I'm from Romania, you know, the things that are going in Britain don't affect me. And I can say, oh, look, all these British people, they're so afraid to talk about it. Yak, yak, yak. If I talk about it, nothing happens to me. If I call Martin Luther King Jr. a nigger, I'm not going to get fired for it because I'm in Romania and we haven't enslaved black people here yet. And, and basically, me being able to do all of these things, I kind of understand that, yeah, I'm able to do it because I'm not over there. And it wouldn't be fair to just go on and, and online and say, oh, yeah, I'm so tired of these little people over there that have their own little problems and their own little shit. Uh -huh. let, let me, let, I just, I, maybe I'm alone in this. Let me do a poll of the room. Everybody here is an American, I'm assuming. I mean, Ralph, I know you are. I don't know about Zidane or Gator. Yeah, yeah. The, we're all Americans. Yep. Am, I, am I alone on this, or is, is this annoy you too? No, when no it comes I'm to tired that, of hearing about issue. Iwana, and then they don't uh, ever really do anything. <laughs> like, they'll like, never do you anything. You know, like, you, you, you guys have your own problems. You have people who are hopping the sure, board. Sure, we have our own yeah, problems. We do. So why do we have to act for you guys? Like, why are you... No, oh, but, but hold on, hold on, right? You have people that are hopping the border. They're illegals. People know they're illegals, and they manage to uh, appear on national television as a lawyer, sometimes even uh, in places like po uh, politics and stuff like yeah. that. And, and you know, I'm looking at that, and I'm don't I, I'm not understanding how is it possible for that to happen in the nation. Right. I wouldn't criticize you. You know, it's it's just it's the way it is. It's yeah, but Avi, I think the key difference is you don't see a majority of Americans when they're facing those kind of issues. When you brought up like the Patriot Act, when you're bringing up border jumping, when you're bringing up all these different things that America has to deal with, Americans aren't running to fucking Europeans and saying solve it for us, support us in it. Aren't we so sad? No, but, Help but, but, us. You know what's the problem, Jim? We live in the age of the internet, and culture and ideas can jump from one nation to another like wildfire. You're laughing at the well, British... Well, I mean, I hope American Backbone jumps on over across the fucking <laughs> pond to you lot, because you could use it. I, I, I don't know. You, you have people in power that have dual citizenship, usually Israeli and American at the same time. How can they be loyal to two countries and be in positions of power? Yeah, we agree that's a problem. No one's, yeah. no one's agreed to said press one to tell to tell Euro cucks to to stop whining and do something for themselves. No, but, but here's but, the thing about no, whining, right? The, the firewall that Britain wants to have against porn. I personally don't think it's going to remain to porn. I think it's going to be extended to other things like, you know, hateful content, hate websites. 
you know, things like 4chan are definitely going to require a license in order for you to be able to access. And, and I don't think it's going to stay in Britain. Can I, I, I don't think it's going call to call your 4chan license. V, v, let me ask you one thing. Uh, tell Sargon to make a Twitter and tell him to tweet out Jews are responsible for 9 11 and they're, they're, <laughs> and they're, they're the cause of all the evil in the world. Let's see how quickly he gets arrested. I, I don't understand your point. Like for two years, he's saying he's not living in a free country. And you're like, oh, so, so I will show him that I can he's not living in a free country. I think he knows. I can tweet that out right now. Put my local PD, put the FBI, put everything. No one's going to knock on my fucking door. Him, they'll be on his door arresting his ass. Well, I don't know. Then tweet Martin Luther King. I, I can. I can. What's it going to do to me? It's going to do nothing. I can tell my boss that too. He's not going to fire yeah, me for you, it. You know what's the difference, right? It, it, they, it, of course, it's not going to happen. And, and you're comparing, you and you're comparing, illegal, you're comparing oh, illegal listen, breaking listen, the wait. law over Sweden and Europe, all of them bringing in refugees. Different story. Illegal if I go, if, if I go in Britain yourself. and I tweet that out, nothing will happen to me. But the only when you get a large following, only when Are people you... start listening to you, then it's going to happen to you. Nothing no. happened to Milo Yiannopoulos when he had a small subscribing base. No one gave a shit about him, right? Only when you start growing big and you're getting a huge audience. Same with Jordan Pearson. When, when he was small, no one gave a shit about him and his opinions. Only when you start gathering people and you have a following, does the government care. And it's not just the government. It's it's usually, you know, the, the journalists that are going to slander you as, as a racist. And the moment you're labeled as a racist, it's almost like in Japan where you're considered to be without honor. No one is going to hire you. No one wants to associate with you. Uh, you're going to be treated like a piece of shit. And if people come and break shit in your house, well, no one cares because you're a bad person. Who the fuck cares when bad things happen to bad people? V, this is an article from 2016. It said, uh, according to the register, a total of 2,500 Londoners have been arrested over the past five years for allegedly sending offensive messages via, via social media. They're not all famous. They don't have any reach. They're getting arrested still. Yeah, the so, absolute state of Britain. I mean, you guys, yeah, not you guys because you're not from there, V, but I mean, fuck, they need a license to jack off now, right? They need a fucking porn license over there. You can't own fucking knives. They want to bend the knives. You can't, they, they're up your ass about yeah, guns. No, no, you can't no, say no, offensive no. shit. You can't talk about... Uh, this could this kind of press shit where somebody gets wrapped up through a kangaroo court in the span of 12 hours and thrown in for 13 months but you can't talk about it because there's a, a blackout and you've got to you know queue up and just follow the fucking status quo like yeah, how, is that gonna, fucking Sharia courts. Uh, how, how long is that going to continue when is that going to be enough like what's the line for people in britain to say you know what no more i mean do they have to start fucking your babies in front of you English people no. like what? What is what needs to happen I for mean, English I mean, people to have personal, enough? From my personal experience, it's usually when it affects people's lives. Like it, the the moment that porn law is going to hit, you will have people on the streets. I'm not even joking about it. But the thing that I'm worried about is that you, it's going to spread, right? Like the system they're having in place in order to block porn sites and stuff like that. It's going to be purchased by other countries. I'm, I'm pretty sure Germany is very interested in blocking so all like the porn's going to get them activated, but but uh, yeah, you know, it's, the it's kids getting it's, raped and the free speech. Well, being taken if, if away. your daughter isn't getting raped, most people don't care because most people don't even read the news. They go to work, they they stay there for eight hours, they come home tired, they watch a movie or some shit, and they go to bed. That's what the majority of people do. They don't read the news. They don't know what's happening. Not to mention, like most mainstream journalists don't even report about. It. I mean, I think I can end this conversation here. I mean, yeah. I think two times is enough. How many times does America have to fix your fucking shit? Like, can't your continent get its crap together? Like, we bailed your ass out in two world wars. I think we've done enough. Well, I, I just hope it's not going to, to spread in other borders, mate. Um, and That's what we have nuclear stuff. weapons for. an example, right? Like, Germany's new law to... Uh, ban hateful content from social media within 24 hours. If someone from Germany reports your videos, Jim, they're going to be placed uh, on a priority list. And YouTube is not going to fuck around and look, hmm, is this hateful or is it hateful? They're going to err on the side that it's hateful. Just not to, to get a, a fine from Germany because people from Germany can see your videos. right? So, so shit that happens in Europe is going to affect you in some way. Oh, so you're, what you're telling me is People in Germany can't watch my videos because they let the government put in policies that prohibit them from watching my videos. And that's my fucking problem. How? I'm not saying it in such a funny way, but basically, yes. And it's your fucking problem because you're trying to run a business on YouTube.
Oh, you, all those Merkel viewers. What am I going to do? What am, a mom <laughs> yes, Merkel viewers are going to be watching my Listen, furry videos. I, I like your shit, Jim. <laughs> Believe it or not, I enjoy watching your shit. And, and I want to watch it, despite the fact that Merkel uh, idiots don't want to watch it. Right? So because a Merkel plat can flag your video, I'm not going to be able to watch your content. That sounds like a you problem, not a me problem. <laughs> You don't you, want you, your, you can't you keep asking you can't to watch your videos, Jim. You, like, you, you can't you keep asking me. Big Brother America to save you. But I'm not I'm not asking to save me. What I'm asking is for understanding. Oh, I you understand. Your, I understand no. you guys can't fix your shit. No, I understand it perfectly well. I understand <laughs> I got, your gotcha. cups. It's fine. All I understand <laughs> we had problems with the way the government was running. We had problems with unfettered illegal immigration. And guess what we did? We elected Trump. Now, whether or not the wall is going to be built, you know, we did something about it. The difference here is that Theresa May is still in power. Angela Merkel is still in power. Europeans yeah, have I, absolutely I no desire to upset the status quo. They're too busy being no, 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 that, overrun that's with the refugees. So, so, so in Britain, they had UKIP, uh, which was a one-issue party voter. It's the United Kingdom Independence Party. And the, the only thing they were campaigning for was Brexit. And when they won... The Tories told their platform, because you keep was pointless. Like everyone was thinking that the Tories are going to push for Brexit because Theresa May, before the election, she was really hard on it. Everyone was admiring it. And the moment she got elected, she just changed stances. She immediately started cocking. And basically, Britain is going to live the, United, the Euro European Union, but they're still going to be under the same laws as if they're inside the European Union. Which basically so not, illustrates not, my not point. People didn't vote, okay? It's not. It's not that people didn't vote for the the party that was pro Brexit. It's not that they didn't vote for the party that was against political correctness theoretically because they're conservatives. They they actually did vote for the proper party. It's just that they got fucked. And, and this is how it goes in is, Europe. Is that, the, is that the motto of Europe now? <laughs> we got <laughs> fucked because that seems like a story every day from you guys. Well, I mean, I think there is hope because there is an alliance of Eastern uh, European nations like Poland, Hungary. Uh, I don't think I don't think those guys are going to save you. I'm sorry, bro, but I, I think if you're <laughs> expecting them to rush in and save France and England and Sweden, it's a pipe dream. I don't know France. I don't think it's that bad, like it is in uh, Sweden. Uh, take a walk down the streets of Paris and tell me what you think. Yeah, that's the capital city. You know, that's a tourist trap. Go to Sweden. Anywhere. Yeah, no, Sweden is fun. Go to London. Certain uh, parts London of London is a matter capital city. Like, like capital cities, at Rotterdam. least in Europe, they're, they're tourist. Go to Rotterdam. Rotterdam. That's not a major city. Didn't they have no, like, like two rape gangs? Or like 2,000 girls got raped by Muslims? Didn't that happen? No, it's uh, I, I, I'm not denying the fact that there is a problem in the United Kingdom, but I'm just saying like capital cities are made to attract tourists, so they spend money. So it's not it's not usually like the place that we're, we're no, we're talking about there. populations. I mean, we're not talking about tourists that are coming by your capital cities. I mean, you can see a very definite change in the population of fucking uh, major major Britain, uh, British cities. I mean, you you can't deny that, can you? You're not going to actually try to tell me that walking down the streets of a uh, a popular, uh, you know, large city in Britain is going to be like it was if you walked down the streets 30 years ago. No, I, I would uh, have a few policies to change that shit if uh, I would manage to advise someone that's in power. Yeah, by the way, somebody in the chat pointed out Theresa May was actually a Remainer. Um, now she, after, you know, the other side won, they leave won, she kind of changed her tone, but uh, I mean, it's kind of yeah. silly to think she was going to be like the uh, <laughs> savior. Of yeah, the you know what? And I actually, I actually want to follow up on one point because I think this is something, and I'm talking to the Americans here that we're going to have to deal with in 30 years, 40 years. See, we're so focused on the Middle East with countries like Iran and the others getting nuclear weapons, and we're worried about what uh, a Muslim majority country might do with that, right? Because we're we're scared. Uh, we're going to have a bigger issue because these fucking Europeans keep importing people from fucking North Africa and the Middle East, and they're replacing their own population with them. So maybe rather than focusing on, you know, Muslim countries that are trying to develop nuclear weapons, we should start focusing on contingency plans to deal with the, you know, the English or the French or the Swedish or the others when their country is completely blacked and they already have <laughs> nuclear weapons. <laughs> oh, I, I keep pointing it's this true. out, right? Because it's the, the Jewish conspiracy that the Jews are so smart, you know, they bring brown people here that despise Jews so that more Jews go to Israel. It's like, okay... 
But what about the the uh, more far into the future, right? All, all these brown people, quote unquote, that, that are coming here, they're going to have nuclear weapons. How is this not a problem? You know, like, is, uh, why isn't the, the, the uh, su superhuman Jewish people that are so smart and not figuring this shit out? It's like, okay, if we're giving them these comments. I, I just want you to know to build a fallout shelter because when the caliphate of Europe happens, we're not saving you. We're going to nuke the fuck out of you and be done with it. <laughs> <laughs> there's no there's no salvation the third time around when you guys give up control of your nuclear weapons to a new uh you know majority population that wants to start shit with us we're gonna glass the fucking earth and then we're gonna go high five russia and china and go into space together that's the fucking future plan for us yeah that's basically what's gonna happen now, also, here's a super chat. By the way, there's a lot of super chats. I'm, I'm going to read them all eventually, but uh, I just kind of let the conversation go. But this one was a good one. Uh, Barry Schaff says, Americans don't just let illegals cross the borders or just vote. We form fucking armed patrols to deport our border jumpers and drug ru runners often. Yeah, I mean, it, it's... Yeah, it's well, how is it going for California? Well, he didn't say that it completely <laughs> stamped it out, but we do, we're not really seeing a... A response like that. Well, like, like for me in Europe, it's bewildering that there's even a conversation about building a wall. It's like it's a fence. Obviously, you need to build some shit over there. You know, I, I, and people, it's like, well, it's racist to build a fence. It's like, what? It, it, it just can't compute. You know, I, I, I can't understand the mentality of yeah. being against marking your property. Yeah, we like, agree. Okay, with if, you on if that. there is no border, then can we park our tanks into Mexico? If I was an American, that's the question I would ask. <laughs> no, we agree with you there. The The only thing Trump, Trump has done recently is he sent the National Guard to the border. I, I guess he's being blocked on uh, the funding for the wall. Of course, 100%. But, yeah, I, I think the, the, the problem with Trump's foreign policy when it comes to dealing with Mexico is he's not, you know... Take, he let go of his advisor, Steve Bunnell, who had a really ingenious plan of dealing with them, which was to, <laughs> to carpet bomb them. Um, <laughs> well, maybe the there, that yeah, back. I would put mines on, on the border, right? And, and if anyone wants to risk their lives and they make it through the minefield, then Jesus wants them. I'm pretty sure mines are against the Geneva Convention, V. I think plastic yeah, are. mines are. <laughs> I, I, I need to check it out. But, and since when did the United States care about the Geneva Convention anyway? Oh, we, we don't, but there it's going to be on like our property. Yeah, no one on the border. No, 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 it's going to be on the border. It's neutral property, right? Just, and if someone manages <laughs> to, to somehow sneak past all of the mines, then Jesus wants him in your country. You can even make a live show about it, you know, a television maybe show. and, and get the elected V. He's mined the fucking Mexican border. <laughs> they can run on that platform. He might actually win. <laughs> well, no, because I would make a reality show about it, right? Okay, you, you then get, you definitely would win. You, you get money from ratings, right? And, and <laughs> you can have bets. You know, you see a group of Mexicans <laughs> coming over, and you can bet. I, you're turning me on this idea, and I think this is brilliant. Yeah, honestly, the the the, the, the Raza crew might actually start sending children in order for the more important people to manage through. You know, <laughs> they, they fill up the minefields with children so so that it looks good on camera. Maybe then, we could start you're telling me that show, we're going to get rid of the dreamers? Maybe we could start a reality show where we, where we just like live stream the Muslims hunting Europeans love uh, and and just <laughs> oh, oh shit. Oh, I don't know man. The rape gang. They already do that. They've got cameras Running everywhere. Rape gangs just to see how fast no, listen, they can listen, run I, away I, from I talked them. about this. I talked about this on my stream. Um apparently in London, uh there was a group of Romanians that were doing construction work. You know, and, and as it's Eastern European tradition, after they would finish construction, they would go and have a beer in the parking lot. So they were drinking in front of this Muslim um, Muslim store, and the owner comes up and basically tells them to, to leave because it's carrying off their customer, and Romanians do the kind of thing telling him to fuck off. So the, the, the owner of the store comes with his friends and starts harassing the Romanians, right? They get very aggressive. They start pushing at them, shoving them. Um, and eventually the Romanians leave. So after a while, the Romanians come with baseball bats and they start smashing the store. They, they beat every little Muslim inside, you know. And, and it's the, the Eastern European beating, the one where you know how to beat someone to an inch of his life so that they don't die and look bad on camera, but they can make it to the hospital in time. Um, and, and after that, the Muslims were complaining, you know, that the, the Romanians are violent and stuff. Um, and they were the ones that actually said, yeah, we, we went there, you know, we started doing shit with them because uh, we, we didn't want them to keep drinking. And the press didn't know how to report it because it was immigrant versus immigrant violence. You know, it's two groups of marginalized people. And I like how the one story you have to tell us about Romanians is that travelers are violent. 
<laughs> hey guys, let me tell you this Romanian story about how gypsies beat people with bats. Yeah, okay, there, there is a difference between assault and self defense. You know, it, it, like you don't fuck with the man having his drink from Eastern Europe, right? Like you, you need that liquid bread in order to get down with your life. So. You know, it's our culture, okay? We live in a multiculturalist society, and if they're going to fuck with this type of culture, we're going to fuck with their culture. It's as simple like our that. Our culture is beating people in the face with bats. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Do, do you know what a good lesson is? Apparently in Russia it happened as well. Like a group of immigrants went into a club and started raping a couple of uh, Russian girls. So, so the Russian people so went in with bats. Tuesday. Okay. Yeah, they went in with bats. They beat the living shit out of them, and everyone who managed not to get beaten was arrested by the police. The ones that got beaten didn't get arrested by the police because it's like, well, you know, l l let's save taxpayers' money. You already got your punishment. You know, you're not going to do it again. God, you know what's a really common thread amongst all of this? It seems like violence is the answer, huh, V? Well, it depends violence towards whom, mate. Well, you know? who are the who are the people who are the people uh, that the violence is against in the two stories you just told us? No, see, that's the thing. I don't think it's a Muslim issue. I, I think it's. But your two stories and examples were a Muslim rape and a Muslim. Yeah, but, but listen, violence. if the police, if the police would be there and they would enforce the law and the state would have the monopoly on violence, this wouldn't be necessary. You, you wouldn't have ci uh, citizens doing crimes against its own citizens if the law would be enacted. But as we look in the United Kingdom, the police don't want to do anything because they're afraid of being called racist. This is why the, the problem exists. It's because of the establishment and it's because of the journalists that are pushing the idea of political correctness. Now, v. I think I figured out... Oh, oh go, ahead. go ahead. No, 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 go ahead, man. Uh, I was going to say, I think we figured out how to save Europe. We just need to deputize Romanians, send them <laughs> into London, Sweden, everywhere, give them unchecked power to baseball bat people in the face. <laughs> problem solved. Problem stay solved. Perfect. Well, you're going to have an increase in pickpocketing, but you're going to have a decrease in rape. I mean, you know, maybe an increase in burglary as well, but but again, a decrease in rape and uh, terrorist attacks. I, I gotta say, I, I really am enjoying this conversation. Now, I'm not saying I'm not, I'm not saying Muslims are a problem, but let me tell you all these stories about Muslims being a problem. <laughs> I'm not saying violence is the answer, but let me tell you all these stories about violence solving things. Well, no, l l listen, Perfect. Jim. If you if you take any group of people you want, let's say people with blue eyes, right, and you give them the privilege of the law not being applied to them. Now, some of these people are eventually going to start doing petty crime, like for instance, you know not pay taxes, uh, <laughs> go go, uh, go with the bus without paying for a ticket. But but eventually they will notice that the law isn't applied to them. So so they're going to spark into more criminal endeavors. They, they're going to branch out a little bit into some organized crime. Now, the police is cracking down on their competition really hard, so, which means that it's going to flourish for them, right? And, and when they think they're above the law, they're going to act like they're above the law. So yeah, that 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 is the reason you're you're going to say Muslims are the problem. I, I think it would be the same if people with blue eyes would have the privilege of the law not being applied to them. Let me point this out real quick. Chat's pointing out that your your Skype seems to be blowing up again. There's speculation that that could. Oh, be... it's Devil. He wants to come on. Who? Oh, it's Who? it's uh. Bert Fado Taku. Yeah. Oh. Don't bring him on. Hey, uh, oh, if if you want him yeah. on, I'll, I'll get Send him on. Send him the link. I'll, I'll give him the link. I thought he said it's devil. That's I was trying to figure out. <laughs> it's it's like, devil. Devil. What? Uh, Some gypsy term. You no, know, maybe. Uh, in the end, just the euro fags need to. They need to learn. It's fucking. All right. <laughs> I, I so not... everybody except Sargon. The quartering was in the chat trying to get on earlier too. It's 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 kind of uh... weird how it's always the same group, huh, Ralph? Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Makes you think, right? Yeah. Really gets the uh, They're trying to throw them the <laughs> They're trying to throw themselves on the grenade to uh, protect the boss. I guess. Yeah. Did, did any one of us deny that we're friends with each other? No, no, no we're not we, saying we, it. We, didn't say that. we never said you no, denied shit. Like, we're, we're just pointing out a good. common theme. <laughs> yeah. It's like it's like we're me saying, things. "Oh." Oh, wow, you don't has... need to be Sherlock Holmes to see this shit taking place. <laughs> oh, but, but it's like me saying, wow, Jim has a manly voice. Jim is a man. Hmm, really gets the almonds going. You know, it's like... I'm not going to fuck you, but thank you. Oh, by the way, the Corian said, fuck <laughs> off, Ralph. Dead, dead silence. I gotcha. <laughs> Corian said, fuck <laughs> off, Ralph. You know if I want it on, I know where the green room is. Well, we're not actually using Discord. And we have had you on the show many times. So I like the quartering, but I'm just saying. 
Where's Sargon, basically, is, is what I'm saying, but all of his friends are around, but he, but he's not here. You, you want the fat figure, don't you, Ralph? I want the what? The fat figure. The fat figure? The fat piggy! Oh, uh, you, yeah. I guess... Is, is Sargon the fat piggy? Is that your You're not getting friend? the fat figure, Ralph. I don't know. <laughs> is that I'm your the gatekeeper. Mm, well, I mean, he looks like a bitch. I, I don't know what else to say besides that. Yeah, he's got all his like lieutenants here, but the big boss. All his friends show up, but he doesn't <laughs> show up. I, mean, I don't know. If if you think that's good advice, I I can't I can't argue with your political expertise. But has he finally caught his flight yet, or is he still waiting at the airport? So know, so where is Short Fat Otaku, by the way? Did you send him the link or what? Uh, he said I'm going to go on and only address Ralph. Oh God. Why? Oh, oh boy. I, I don't know. Is... I think it's a bad idea. Like, by the way, on, guys... on the record, I, I advise. Yeah. I, I advise for Fat Otaku. Hold on, hold on. I advise for Fat Otaku that what he's doing is stupid. And he, he should uh, play with fire. Wait, somebody but... sent me this message. Uh, please call out V on this point. In the past, he's already made himself a fool on purpose to deflect criticism from Sargon. He's stalling you guys right now. Again. And here we have you. You're telling Sargon not to come on. You're telling. Uh, short fat talking not to come on. I mean, are, is is that a fair criticism that you just hear to like? Well, if you want me to leave again, like, and, and, and no, you can, yeah, I'd rather you stay. But I'm just saying yeah, that's that's no, what somebody listen, messaged me. I, I will tell you uh, the answer to that criticism. There's nothing stopping you from after I leave until the end of time to just criticize Saga nonstop. That's true. Yeah, yeah I, I came here because I'm the man servant, and <laughs> apparently you didn't ask me, but someone else said you did. So. I'm here and I'm enjoying this conversation. Okay. All right. I didn't say that. Somebody messaged me that. By the way, I don't think I actually called you a man server. I just said it was like kind of gay to. Let me let me see the exact messages. message that I got. Hold on. I'll... By the way, I sent him the link. I'm kind of gay in certain ways. <laughs> 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 I, I I have to be honest. I actually really like your soundboard. Uh, it's pretty great. Gator's got the best soundboard. Yeah, Gator's in the, the one that runs that. He's you yeah, just gotta not <laughs> overplay it. Yeah. It's good shit. Yeah, you got to pick your moments. Yeah, he's he's the best at it. No, I I, I want it as well because uh, I I could definitely use it. By the way, Jim. Yeah. I will yeah. steal some of your jokes in my next video. Then okay, knock yourself out. <laughs> they, they will be mine, and there's nothing you can do. Okay. Honestly, the thing with the Merc was kind of funny because uh, I, I pointed it out, like you know, Jim uh, whispered into Andy's ear. It's like trademark deliberate. And Andy was like, yeah, two grand. And I was like, well, what, why, why don't you sell this? Well, then he, he, got, uh, he got hoisted by his own petard on that one because Halsey copyrighted, what did he, uh, he copyrighted Blood Sports, I think. Yeah, yeah, he did. yeah, you know the difference between a Jew and a non Jew? The Jew can do it for 50 bucks and the non Jew had to do it for two grand. Well, to be fair, he had to do it internationally. There's a difference, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, Halsey, yeah, I think it's all... Well, actually, I don't know how that works between Canada and America. No, Halsey's in America, so I, do I don't fucking know. I don't know. Halsey explained it. It's like, yeah. if you, I think if you trademark it in America, it goes into all the English-speaking language of the Commonwealth or some shit like that, so... But it won't... It won't. It doesn't have any basis to stand, because buzzwords have been used... going to do about it. Just, For me, all of this was really stupid, but... I mean, it was funny at the time, wait, but not $2,000 really? funny, you know? The first thing, the first one for liberalists was a joke. It was literally a joke. It just yeah, it was a two grand worth of joke. You know, it's just whatever. V V V. He didn't. He didn't copyright it. Do you understand? That's the joke. That's Whoa. the joke. He never copyrighted the fucking thing. Okay. Well, Andy okay, Worsky doesn't. Own no, the no. If it, if it didn't, if it didn't, then it's funny. But when he told me, it's like, yeah, I paid two grand for it, and it's like, yeah, why that, did you laugh at me? That's part, of, like, that's part just... of the setup to the joke. <laughs> No, okay, then it's funny. I, I understand. But the way it was presented to me at the time is that he paid two grand for it. And I was like, what? I'd pay two grand for a joke. <sighs> Depends on the joke. I, I... Yeah. Why Especially, not? Especially like, if you're going to trademark something you can't enforce. Yeah, you probably have can... to be the best damn joke in the world because I'd buy yeah. a new fucking computer with 2000 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I mean, people do it. People do it. It's not a crazy thing. I wouldn't see Jim doing it. What's that? I wouldn't see you pay two grand for a joke. <laughs> I'm not gonna pay two grand for a joke. <laughs> You're not going to pay. Two grand for a joke. I, don't, I don't think even if you'd make twenty grand on Patreon, you would not pay two grand for a joke. 
But, you know, I mean, then again, to be fair to Andy, if he would have gone through with it, I mean, he was making fucking ridiculous money at the time mm-hmm. from Super Chats. I mean, fuck, in, in that first month of him doing his streams and all that shit, it must have been like 20 grand. Well, oh, yeah, no, wait, YouTube cool. takes 30%, don't they? So yeah. whatever and then that you would pay work the out. Taxes, then you pay the taxes, and then you also pay for, you know, the bank account, you know, the transfers. You, you, can, pro- you can probably write off the, the trademark as a tax write-off, too. So it would cost a lot less. You would get it back. As a business expense and stuff, yeah, you could do I, that. I guess. No, I think you could probably. That would have been that would have been even funnier if you wrote it off as a fucking <laughs> business. I, I, I would have. I would have one hundred percent written off as a business business expense. I would have gotten every dime back pretty much, or at least seventy five percent. It would be funny to justify it to the what? What do you guys have there? The IRS? Uh, no, it's it, it's neat. it's it's just you just have to add it onto your business. No, we're well, we're t- first off, we're talking about a Canadian, so yeah. their tax uh, thing is different yeah. altogether. Yeah. No, but, uh, but but you have like an inspection, an audit, or whatnot, you know, and you have to justify like you you have to prove that the expense was actually for the business. It's going to be uh, an interesting. Uh, see, I, I don't business know. Business of making super chats. Oh yeah, yeah I, I, I think they just send a mounty to your house on a moose, and he asks you, "Is this all right?" And you're like, <laughs> "Yep, it's all right. Okay, buddy, thank you," and he leaves. <laughs> Take your your word up there, from what I understand, in old Canuck land. Yeah, and stateside, if they audit you, just you uh, give them the paperwork and say you're going to use this for this, this, and this, and most of the time you get you get by. So, but anyway, uh, Jim, now that you're here and it's not your channel, can can you tell us a similar story to Wolfie, like something else you'd like to talk about, but YouTube wouldn't let you? You're t- I, I I don't know if I want to do it on Ralph's channel because I don't <laughs> want to get Ralph in trouble. <laughs> yeah, <that's very> <laughs> We've already gotten in trouble a couple Where's times. Where's Short Fetataku, V? I sent him the invite. It's oh up to him God. if he wants to take it or no, not. Wait, he was did, like, are, are you, say, you saying he came on, said, message you said he was coming on? And yeah, now, he is wanted, he backing out again? Like, what's, what's yeah, he, he's like, let me talk to Jim. I give him the link, and he's not coming on. I think he expected Jim to go like, oh, Short Fetataku is coming. I'm leaving. Why? Why would I ever do that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Who's scared of Short Fetataku? Get the fuck like, out of here. No but one's he, scared of that guy. He is Jesus. upset. He he is upset that Jim didn't take his invitation, right? So so he issues an invite. He no, no, v, let's it. yeah, let's no, let's but go he's back. Upset. To he's upset. listening to oh, this. V, okay, just good, good. On that. Well, good. Let's go back to the beginning of the story. He does a fucking stream, and then he and Scrum Monkey. That's the other guy, right? Scrum Monkey, or is that yeah. the wrong? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. It's yeah it's scrum. Scrum. Oh yeah. So him and Scrum Monkey invite me on like four or five times. I'm listening over the course of an hour, and so finally, I was like, "Fuck it, I'll go on." Then he's like, oh, God, sorry, we're out of time. And then he says, we'll reschedule. Anytime Jim wants to come on, we'll do it Friday, 3 o'clock. Gro- boom. Okay, I'm there. Okay, yeah, I'm there. So okay, the first time, wait, wait. The, the, no, I'm not even done with my version yet. <laughs> so he invites me and then has to go. Then he schedules a thing and cancels it the next day. Then later that night, he's in. I'm talking to Ralph on Ralph's stream, and Short Fed is in the fucking chat. Yes. And Ralph's like, come on on. And Short Fed is like, not going to do it. So three times this guy dodges me. And then what am I supposed to do? Schedule with him again? Like, do I look like a yeah, fucking know, retard know, to you? Like, I, I, I'm all with you on this, but I'll tell you his side of the story. So, you know, you can judge the other side. So basically, he legitimately had to go. Like, I, I know mm. for a fact that it was a coincidence. <laughs> he, he said he had game. to go play Nintendo. Who are you kidding? No, 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 no. Listen, listen. <laughs> I, I will explain, right? So, so he had to go because his attendant came in, like the, the landowner, in order to see about the broken pipe or some shit. And he expected that would take an hour, right? But it doesn't take an hour. It takes less. And then he's he's back and he goes to play Nintendo. Um, so I'm telling you what he said. Okay, I'm telling you what he said. It's not it's not my arguments. It's his. Uh, after that, he does say that he wanted to schedule a stream with Jim, but people on his Discord are saying they're not interested in that type of content, and he should drop it. So, so he drops it, but then wants to reschedule with Jim after he changes his mind, and then is upset that Jim doesn't accept. That's that's his story. That's his version. Okay, just the messenger. I'm the carrier pigeon. Don't shoot me, please. But see, here he is again. Messaging you saying let me on and now he's ducking out again. Like how does not even look? just that, Ralph. He said he'd come on. At first he said yes. he wanted to come on. Then he said he'd come on but only talk to you. And now he's not even showing up. Oh man, I don't know. But I, you know, I, I do have a guest. I just as well. I just as well. I do have a guest who 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 wanted to talk to me. I'll I'll see what happens on that. Uh, I'll, I'll send that out. Um, Co- oh, let me guess. Coach Red Pill. Are we going to have a rematch? Is this Coach Red Pill doesn't going? want to talk to me. No, I, don't, I don't know. He's getting he's getting feisty. I've seen him in a couple streams. He he's has like, been getting feisty. Yeah, he's, he's looking like he he wants a little blood. 
Did you uh, see yeah. him in the quartering? You did see it. I saw you tweet. Yeah, him in the quartering. That, that, that still is the, <laughs> the funniest fucking quote. Is he? I had what was it? I had uh, three children with four women. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what he said? Who's? <laughs> why I did that? Makes me <laughs> I don't get why you said that at all. It was like the weirdest fucking thing. All right, well, we'll see. I, I just don't understand why why short fat talker would do this again. Like this is just. I, I think it's his version of trolling. What's well, wow. not good? Wow, he, he really got us. He really. He really... You know, what, <laughs> when you have no he trolled himself into being another bitch. I mean, I don't have a personal problem. With him. I just don't think this looks good. That's just... Well, I told him that as well. But you know, if if he wants to do it, he can do it. Yeah. Well, this one's not on you. He asked you, V. We're not we're not throwing this one at your no, feet. No, no, it's not your fault. Yeah, you're wrong. <laughs> we'll give you shit over the Sargon one, but your fed is on. <laughs> Um, okay, I think our guest is, has joined us, uh, Naked Ape, you're, you're live on the kill stream. What's up, how you doing? I'm doing hey. good, man. How goes, man? It's going pretty good. I mean, I was gonna say, I at least have the fucking balls to say no. Uh, V, you were asking me to debate you a little bit to go about the liberalist bullshit that happened. I just said I ain't got the fucking time. I mean, I ain't gonna make promises and then not go through with it. That's just a bitch move, man. Yeah, That's I was it. going to bring it up. Like, why, why did you want to cover my channel? I, I invited you, I believe, after the Kumate the last time we were there. Yeah, well, I mean, I'll give you the same story I give everybody else. I have a job now. A real fucking life. I have a 401k, furniture, and a puppy. So I have, you know, uh, I'm basically a normie now. I don't have time for internet. Well, I don't know if I should say I'm sorry to hear that or I'm glad to hear that. I mean, I make, uh, I make, I make, <laughs> I make about as much money as uh, Sargon of the Cat spends on his wife's son. So, uh, <laughs> if that says something, then uh, you know, I'm I'm doing pretty good. Well, then I'm happy for you. But I, I still wish you would come on my channel. I, I cried that night, just so you know. I I I wet that pillow like a motherfucker. Well, I can come on sometime. I'm actually doing um. Uh, a sort of bi-weekly thing on my main channel because heaven fucking knows I haven't used that for, for ages. I dusted it off, been doing live streams on it. If you want to come on and talk about how fucking pathetic liberalistism and how it's just... <laughs> oh, shit. It's so bad. But, like, I, I just have a question. Do you really think it's not because they're Muslims? Like, it's, it's just the white people being too nice to them. It's nothing about them being, you know... Fucking Muslims. That's the problem. Oh, like let me let me rephrase that. Um, I think the the biggest issue is the establishment, the politicians, and secondly, the journalists. Uh -huh. uh, as for the Muslims themselves, I don't think it's because they're Arabs. I think it's because they're Muslim. So I do think Islam as an ideology is the issue. So you think it's because of the religion, not yes. because of the all right. And I, I had got a, a video coming up where it's a 2010 document by the Islamic community from Qatar, which is basically planning to subvert Europe. And, and they're saying the exact tactics that we're seeing now happening in 2018. Um, so they, they're investing millions of dollars into it. You know, if it was just Arabs, there would be no need for all of this money and all of this organization. I mean, personally, I think, I think it's Turkey. Uh, Turkey's been kind of using this as a bully pulpit against the EU because it wants to be in. But yeah, I mean... Uh, uh, I don't mean to like go uh, Jonathan Jafari's rich black criminal safari on you, but uh, uh, you know that that kind of criminal spree is true um, among a lot of different socioeconomic factors. It's just, you know, no matter how wealthy you are, no matter what you know country you are in, there are certain types of people that just so happen to create, you know, more crime. Yeah, but, but the thing is uh, with Muslims, getting rid of them is, you know, like having a cold. You know, if the state does its jobs and, and arrest the people who are committing crime, rest of the people fall in line. Um, well, but yeah, when but it comes mean, to oh, what if they start electing themselves to government like they have in Denmark? At some point, you have to think that, you know, uh, it's time to, uh, you know, uh, uh, start relocating people. Oh, I, I would, for instance, ban halal meat. I would ban circumcision. I would uh, take away hate speech laws. Um, you know, and you would have liberal arguments to do it, like banning halal meat, it's cruelty to animals, uh, banning circumcision, it's, uh, uh, huh. you know, do, doing harm to, to a person's bodily integrity. The liberalist principles that you talk about. Yeah, no. but, but the thing is, right, like, they, they can't accuse you of being far right for doing it. They can't accuse you of being authoritarian for doing it. Um, wait, wait, they can't, they can't say, why can't they? Authoritarian. 
what, what exactly is it authoritarian? Like, it's a human right not to have your body fucked with by someone else. Well, I mean, yeah, sure, you can say that, but at the same time, it's also a quote unquote human right to be able to practice your religion uh, without, you know, infediment. In fact, that's yeah, a liberal. Your religion principle. has human sacrifices, Naked Day. You're not going to have that shit. You know, if someone wants to revive the Aztec religion and pull out people's hearts on pyramids, you're you're not going to allow that shit. I mean, so, it, it's pretty it's pretty clear. Like in the liberalist principle webpage, everybody is free to practice their religion or not, as long as it does not interfere with the rights of others. So you yeah. know, they can and do it, whatever. And it does interfere with the rights of others. The the right of the person not to have his dick amputated. Like halal food, whose whose rights is you know is um uh is violated by halal food. We we have animal rights here in Europe. There there's already laws for it. Yeah, so so the animals have the rights, then not the people. No, you you do it like uh, animals yeah, have been granted right by our civilization humane. not to be treated inhumanely, right? If you want to to slaughter an animal, there is a way to do it. If they want halal meat, I guess they could import it from countries that don't have animal rights, like Saudi Arabia, but they're going to have to pay extra because that meat crosses the border. So your answer to the uh, to this problem is to ban all the things that Muslims like, and then maybe they'll go away. It, if, if they are if they are against human rights, yes, there is absolutely no reason why a child's penis needs to be mutilated. I, I don't think that pedophilia is a thing, even if their religion allows it. Um, in our country, we we have laws against polygamy. Uh, I, I guess if you're going to advocate and say, well, V, that's that's against their rights, you know, like polygamy should be allowed, or I fine, I'll give you that. But halal meat and circumcision and especially female genital mutilation, they have to go. So those if three they things, live here. If they don't want to live here, they can live somewhere else. You get rid of those three things, and then the Muslims will just leave. That'll solve um, the problem. Apparently, they're, they're trying that in uh, Iceland, and the Jewish and the Muslim communities say there can't be Judaism without circumcision. So yes, I think some of them, if not the more radical ones, are going to leave. Or at least they won't come here. And by the way, in the video that uh, I'm going to talk about the, the Qatarian convention, they're actually furious that Europe is secular and they want to attack the secularism by promoting Islam identity. Um, mm. It's uh, yeah. no wonder why that is. Yeah, that, that, that's the thing. You know, they, they've been eroding at our cultural values in order to promote their cultural values instead. Um, and, and they're talking about using the media, using the universities, and using politicians in order to do it. By the way, still no response from uh, Short Feather Taku. Uh, I think he went to bed. Oh, what a, what a shock. What a <laughs> shock. <laughs> <He's> <laughs> <mystified> <laughs> by this oh, shit. Um, I don't know how closely you've been following the program, Naked Ape. Uh, what do you think about Sargon? Uh, I don't know if you saw some of his comments. Uh, Bitching out about... Uh, um, uh, on uh, fucking Tommy Robinson. Yeah, he bitched out on Tommy Robinson. He he kind of uh, trashed Jim, and he's definitely watching the stream, but he wouldn't show yeah, he up either. Trashed so. Jim? I didn't fucking hear that. Yeah, he did. Uh, oh, there sure we go. Oh, wait, is he? V, yeah. V, you never linked wow. the fucking thing in the chat. Well, you, you can't do this, but you can't ask me for a link and then pussy out. It you didn't drop out. the link. Dude, I just DM'd it to you. Yeah, that's why I'm here. I saw okay, it, Ralph. What's okay, up? okay, okay. Yeah, what's, what's up, up, dude? So you're here. Yeah. Jim's here. Hey, Jim. How's it going? Oh, I'm sorry. Is he talking to me? Or is this coming through Ralph? <laughs> what's up, man? I, you know, I, you're the one that wanted to come on, so what's up? Oh, no, not not really. V on, just Devo, said you I'll messaged support. him asking to come on. <laughs> I, I, I can read it if you like. I, I well, yeah. Said, Devo, I'll tell him how you really feel. Come on, I'll support If come V's on. a liar, okay. I'd love to hear it. Yeah, tell us okay. what he said. Uh, 1 16 a.m., uh, Devo, Jim wants you on. I said, yes, I heard. That, that's the extent of the conversation. I, I interpreted that as another, another, on. another, another liberalist caught in a lie. What a shock! Oh, hold, on, hold on. After that, <laughs> he, he points out and he says, um, "Let me, let me. I'm going to go on and only address Ralph and just to say it's all a troll up by you and leave before they can reply. Ha ha, V, you shit though. No. Yes, that 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 was the joke that we wanted to play, but it's okay." You, you can't push me under the bus, mate. I, I, I'm, I'm not pushing you under the bus. I'm, but I'm I not going to get the under the bus. That's the, the fact. The bus goes over me. Now, who <laughs> is this guy that just jumped on now, V? 
I think we're we're lacking some uh, some. Uh, that's that's not on me, by the way. Fee, uh, you gave me the link. The fuck? Did you give it to, did you give it to the wrong person, V? <sighs> no, this is probably <laughs> a troll from Devil. What? what no, the- no, 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 no! I'm not responsible for this. V, why did you give me the link? What is this? <laughs> the fuck are you? I don't even know you. Oh, the fuck are you? <laughs> I don't know you either, so you're gonna have to stay. Just kick him, man. Just kick him. Oh, I can't actually kick him, but I can just mute him. No, Ralph, I swear it's it's not me. Yes, yes, yes. yes, Ralph, I swear. Don't don't you dare mute me, you piece of shit. This is pathetic behavior by the liberalist. I have to say. What are you gonna do about it? I'm I'm, I'm looking at it, unless I did it by mistake. But I I can't see giving the link to anyone else besides Devil. Well, you never gave it to me, V. The fuck did I give it to them? And who is Montgomery? I I don't know this person. Oh my god! <laughs> Sounds what really the convincing. Fuck is going what, on? what the fuck are you doing, V? I don't know. <laughs> uh, well, v. I can tell that's a liberalist V because he's reading a book about black children. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> well, make him make, make him show make, make him show where I gave him the link. Like uh, all our wives. Link. He's reading all our wives' children. Uh, make him show receipt. Where, where exactly did I give him the link? <laughs> the sub line. Show the link, mate. <laughs> show a receipt. <laughs> show a receipt, come on. Well, I mean, Short Fatataku just called you a liar himself and said you said that Jim wanted him on, which Jim never said. So, like, what what kind of gypsy subterfuge are we witnessing it, it, here? It was, it was on the stream. He was talking about Devo. Well, you know, Ralph. Are, I mean, are you trying this, to spark this, a romance here, V? Ralph, this does fall in line with the shit that I mean. You know, V as the right hand man of the Don himself. I mean, Sargon did go on the Kumite and said that he lies when it's convenient. Oh, I mean, the state of you fucking liberalists. I swear, it, fucking it, shameful. Maybe my recollection is incorrect. I don't think it is, but I, I don't think uh, Short Fedotaka really came up until you said he wanted on. Right? Am I wrong about that, or? We're going to have to rewatch the stream. I, I think Jim oh. was talking about. Well, it, it no, happened well, like. Sure to do that. <laughs> I, 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 I don't have a visual memory of it. Oh, I do remember that. Jim was talking about him, and then I, you know, I told Devo that Jim wants you on, and after that, oh. Devo said, I'm "Going to come on, just say a few things, and then I'm going well, to." Well, anyway, he's here now. You're here now. So yeah, are, are you basically chastising me for making this happen? Is this what no, we're doing? No, I'm just saying, like he's here, but now he's trying to say he didn't really want to come, and you tricked him. And anyway, you're here now, so. Well, I, I mean, I don't really have much to say. How's it going? I I can mediate. So okay, um, Jim, uh, Devil made like what I would call a very tame stream about you, but you had plenty of grievances. Regarding that stream, oh, which yeah, I no, you want, you want me to list through them? Yeah, yeah I mean, just, go, let's go through the grievances. Th- there was the uh, let me invite him on, then let me say I've got to go, let me schedule a stream with him, and then let me not, you know, cancel it the next day, let me uh, show up in Ralph's chat, but then not come on the stream with uh, with Jim. Uh, that that I would think is kind of bitch material. Uh, also, I find it funny with the I just want to talk about his history, let me show this folder called Jim's Docs. I'm not going to show him, guy, guys, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna have that sitting up in the corner. Like, come on. I mean, that's so fucking obvious. It's so transparent with that kind of shit. And then try to play it off like, this isn't a doxing stream. I'm not trying to send a message, but I do have this folder front and fucking center called Jim's Docs. Didn't get it from my guest. I got it myself. I went out and got it. And I verified I don't think it's real, which means you took the time to look through it. So, like, I mean, it comes off as, like, petty shit. This isn't you're looking through history. I, I, I don't know what your fucking issue is, but it's been ongoing for a while. And I also like the life coach advice. Like, uh, Jim isn't living up to his full potential. Yeah, tell me, Mr. 20 viewers a stream, how can I achieve what you have? Regarding the life coach, that's more Latman than me. I don't really care too much about that. Uh, the other stuff, though, uh, that, that was entirely a liberalist pot- plot coming from Sargon himself. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's, that's really cute. I can't help it if Sargon's got people around him that do shit like this. You, crowd, others. I mean, maybe that's a character of people he has around him. I don't know. How do you respond to this accusation, though? Um, nothing really to say. These are some I, hot. Ba- these are some hot bands. I was really. I mean, you were really. Oh, yeah, you know, you know, what happens, Jim? Well, you, like, okay, that, that, that's so, what you get. 
I mean, <laughs> Jim, you know, Jim, I didn't, I didn't dox you. I mean, I don't know if you're if you're mad about me not shorts doxing you taco. or yeah, about I mean, me looking at them, but it's it's not a big deal. Man. Oh, you know, don't try to be this simpering little fuck. Okay, you're you're transparent <laughs> as shit by putting it up on your screen like, oh, I've got this. Ooh, let me let me try to intimidate Jim by alluding to the fact I may or might not have his docs. Oh, and let me go through his history while showing that I might or might not have his docs. Don't try to back down, you little bitch. At least have the balls to be upfront about it. What a simpering little cunt you are. Were you intimidated? No, because you're a fucking pussy that can't intimidate shit. But it doesn't mean well, you. Didn't it, doesn't, try. it doesn't matter much then, does it, Jim? The attempt was still made, wasn't it, faggot? Well, if you aren't intimidated, then it's not a threat. I guess exactly. It requires an act of intimidation for it to be a threat. I mean, there, there, there's not much here. I don't, I don't know why you're, you're mad about internet stuff, Jim. I mean, come on, we're just having fun. Yeah, no, no, it's really fun. I mean, you don't look like a giant, massive asshole, short fat taco, by having folders like that and talking about it and alluding to it, and you know, trying to play a badass when you're just a little bitch that one doesn't have the balls to go through with it, two couldn't find the information if somebody dropped it in your fucking lap, and three try to backpedal away from it like it's not a big deal. No, I, I think it was you were trying to attempt to allude to a few things with it, but again, you're such a weak-willed cunt that it just didn't work out for you. And V, don't give me this uh, you know, half-assed defense that, oh, it's not a threat if you're not intimidated. Motherfucker, a blind guy could go wave a gun around because just because he can't hit shit with it doesn't mean there wasn't an intent on his part to intimidate people by waving the fucking gun around. Well, Jim, I, I do apologize for, for rescinding that invite. I, should, I shouldn't have invited you in the first place. That was entirely my bad. Yeah, uh, that, but was, no, that was your bad. No, no, yeah, no, you, yeah you, you got me on that, but I don't really have anything to say about anything else. Um, I had a good stream. I had fun. That's about it. Okay. All right. Well, hey, go fuck yourself. It was nice talking to you, man. Yep. Drink bleach. <laughs> <laughs> it can cure the gay. <laughs> I think so. Huh. so. Is this just a, a, a liberalist plot? But 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 just just to get it straight, hundred percent like, liberalist plot. If, if he would manage to prove that he didn't try to to threaten you with the docs or anything like that, um, are are there any other things that he said in the stream that upset you? V, I, I like how you're trying to spin this. Like this was some great troll up by this faggot, which it wasn't. Uh, but it's pretty clear what his intent was. I don't think anybody that's you know uh, has a functioning fucking brain couldn't see you know see it for what it was. Uh, v. <laughs> What if the faggot subjectively, like in his personal opinion, thought that this is So good? if I did a history of Sargon of Akkad and then I had a folder on my desktop that said Sargon's children's information. But I was like, that's not really his kid's information. I just have it sitting there for fun. Don't get mad, Carl. You know, maybe it has the information where your kids go to school, but I'm not going to show it. You, you don't think that would get a reaction, V? I mean, you don't think that's a clear well, you know, intent? That, that, that's what trolling is, isn't it? Like, you know, someone sending certain pictures to one's mother. Don't you think that gets a reaction? I, I mean, V, I, listen, I, I've seen you do this kind of spiel for Sargon, where everybody, anybody, I, I was actually really interested. Well, I dig it for Devo now. It's not, it's not Sargon. Well, yeah, but what I'm saying is that you do this thing for Sargon where you be, become this, like, little lap dog. Like, whenever anybody talks shit about him, you protect him. Like, you come on, and you just bark, 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 and Sargon did nothing wrong. Why are you putting your neck out for this? Like, what is it about this piece of shit that has you defending him? Like, why? I mean, like, is it really, like, you know, uh, like, uh, that big of a deal that your fellow liberalists? But Devil is not a liberalist, by the way. Well, whatever. Is, is, is not, it really that big of a deal? Somebody in your circle? Well, why did you mute me, Ralph? So, so it looks like I don't have uh, it's, it's this other guy that's, uh, yeah, uh, you, you yeah, probably gave your if link you to, uh, come in, just to block. Block. By the way, I didn't recognize that was Millennial Matt, but he wasn't invited, so I would, I would definitely block him again. Anyway, go ahead and continue. Yeah. Um, so just but, like, why, why are you going so far out of your way to defend something that's really, like, like it's pretty clear. It's shitty behavior. Again, like, what, why are you going out of your way to attack people that I know? When I'm on a stream, you know, <laughs> let, let, let me put it this way. Naked <laughs> ape, naked ape. Oh, I, I, defended, I, I defended other people like Brave and Ruin, for instance. 
Like I defended Tonka in the beginning. Like if it's That's someone. By the way, let me say this, Jim. You have to ignore this. You have to go and click his thing, and then click ignore, and then he'll. My hand hurts when it slaps you. Stop attacking me. Seriously, V. It, this is pathetic. No, okay, that's your opinion. But I, I'm, I'm not going to change my attitude. I, this Look, is pathetic. That's hey, the stupidest thing I've ever heard from you. Stupider well, than the liberalist, uh, than the fucking liberalist list of uh, 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 list of jack off tips that you have online. It's stupid. You're not that retarded. What the fuck is wrong with you? Ape, if, if are you someone lying? would come in, listen, if someone would come in and say shit about you that I personally know is not true, I would defend you. Okay. It, and, and, no. If, if, if that makes you feel less of me, that's not true. Quit with the bullshit. This is clear cut. He did. If, if and I haven't seen the stream, so okay, I'm. I, 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 I can I can prove to you that it's not bullshit. I can prove to you that it's not bullshit. On my <laughs> channel, there's video evidence of me defending Richard Spencer, defending. Uh, Big oh, Blasta. for fuck's sake! Shut up. Not, not I was one of the only ones that wasn't part of the alt right and gave a fair shake of the Charlottesville event. I, I think I'm on record of every single time that I see something that I know is not correct, I'm calling it out. Now, yeah, I, I've seen many of your YouTube videos, and I know they can debunk me, but you know, I, see, the I'm thing glad is, you're a subscriber, why, donate to my why Patreon. Are you, why are you defending this? This isn't somebody lying, okay? Nobody's lying. This is just these are the facts. He Be did something. It's I, I have up. been convinced. Why Look, listen, I, I will explain. I will explain why, why, why I'm defending it, right? Uh -huh. I'm a hundred percent convinced that Deva wasn't trying to dox Jim. Like, if you, if you are asking me right now to put money on this issue, I am a hundred percent convinced that he was not trying to to get Jim's dox. Not trying to get Jim. Okay, so I didn't he watch. Wasn't this trying to get Jim dox. He wasn't trying to threaten Jim. Well, naked ape. Let me let me set the stage for you. Uh, Short fat Otaku starts a stream up, and he's got uh, Latvi man, somebody that was on the Medicare forums. And he's like, we're going to talk about Medicare history. And then he opens up a folder. And in the folder, there's all this Medicare shit. And then and the very first folder is Jim's docs. And then it comes out later on Ralph's stream that Latvi Man isn't the one that gave that to him. He went out and found it himself. So he added that to the fucking folder of Medicare history. So I'm not saying he's trying to dox me. I'm trying to say that he's a pussy that thought that would be like, oh, I got you, Jim. Or, oh, I'm going to intimidate you, Jim. But it just didn't work. And then V's trying to, you know, obfuscate and try to make it sound like, well, if you're not intimidated, it's not a threat. It, no, that's but that's really that's the definition of a threat. It's like if you're not intimidated, like v, in order to v, threaten that's someone, that the person. That's the thing I've ever heard from you. Like, like you always do this thing when you argue. It's one of the reasons why you know talking to you is a pain. Okay, you always do I'm this. Using what about it. words? I know. Yeah. You do this what aboutism? Okay, what about this? What about that? Well, here's an example. Have you ever seen a spider on the ground? You just smoosh it. You know, you, you just bring up this useless bullshit that has nothing to do with what we're talking about. Okay, so so first things first. If he did it with the intent to actually intimidate somebody, that's a shitty thing to do. Okay, Deva, did you do it with the intent of intimidating Jim? Be fucking honest. No. That's what he told me, right? And, and given all the things that I know about him, I'm willing to believe him. Now, I guess you're not willing to believe him, and that's fine. You know, there, there's no way I can prove it. Yeah, but, like, let's dig it a little bit deeper. Your argument isn't that he didn't intend to intimidate Jim. Your argument was, it doesn't matter because you weren't intimidated anyway, so just stop talking about it in your liberalist conspiracy. Like... Like you give oh, okay. so, so, so when I was being what? trolled and Jim gave me advice to stop talking about it, it fucking worked. You know, the people trolling me went away. And now I was giving him the same advice because let, let's now analyze it. Well, from v, a I, I want to be really That's fucking clear what? here. No, 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 V. I want to be really fucking clear here. Are you Sargonites telling us that you want to enter the trolling game? I mean, do you really want to step into that fucking arena? If you want to play banter and troll around, if you and Short Fed Otaku and Sargon want to enter that world, I mean, that's fine by me, but be clear about it. Is that what you want to engage in? Oh, well, I'm not trolling yeah. anyone, and I'm not making banter. I'm just observing that Devo stream usually has like 400 people watching, yeah? I and saw a fucking stream he did a couple yeah, days no, ago. No, some video game on, stream with 20 people argument. watching it. 20 fucking but, people watching it. Yeah, 20 people watching it. The moment you tweet about it, a stream where allegedly you're about to get docked and you're v, tweeting v, about yeah, it, yeah, you have he's a wrong got 1,500 people this watching. Exactly, so what about him? Well, you know, it's there's not about him. Him. like you, you gave this about. man publicity, Jim. Right? You gave this man publicity. V. He had 
people watching his stream. He had more people tuning in than ever before. V well, v maybe it, let, let me go out on a limb and say that you know, say that you know, you you should be able to like you know divine this. Maybe Jim's trying to you know point out how shitty this behavior is because he's you know correct me if I'm wrong, Jim. You're not afraid of your docs getting out there because you're certain it's not out there. You just wanted to point out, wow, this guy's being a huge douchebag. Like, like, I mean, V, like, this is, again, just changing the topic. What about ism? It's People have been talking about my doc since fucking Gamergate. I mean, it's it's been five years, so I, it's obviously something I've, I'm accustomed to fucking listening to. When you're, when you're with Karen on a stream, and yeah. when you're with Big Alaska, and you start screaming, like, losing your composure, which you never do, only when your docs is yeah, being... Yeah, V, again, how is this hard for you to understand? I'm so sick of you. Uh, it's, it, put Baked Alaska aside for a second. I'm so fucking sick of these ex-Gamergate faggots engaging in the behavior they decried when it was popular in a hashtag. Yeah, but you know what's the difference? Oh, SJW is no, 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 no. You hashtag. know what, V? You would have flipped your shit if it had been a Zoe Quinn or a Brianna Wu, but now it's different, right? This is the kind of fucking double standard shit you faggots engage in that is just infuriating. That's you, what you forget. Me. Hold I mean, on, you I can just forget just that like, I've been doxxed, my family has been so doxxed. Everyone that I've been associated with have been doxxed, and it wasn't by the SJWs. I know how it is. Okay? And you know what I did? I fucking ignored it. I took your advice. R R v, this is again, this is you just changing I the topic. I don't fucking care your opinion on the issue, mate. I'm talking with Jim. And by the way, Devo, you wanted to say something because you're a VVV a, a couple of seconds ago. Yeah, yeah. Reg regarding the numbers, uh, dumping with Scrump Live usually gets around four hundred. My video game streams get around twenty. That that's that's it. The 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 Medicare stream got about a thousand after Jim tweeted about it. Yeah, my, that's my point. Like you advertised for this guy's channel, Jim. You played it to his game. He he got money from AdSense and he got more super chats just because you tweeted like twice while he was live. Well, I'm I'm sorry. Me shit posting gets him more viewers than his content can get him. <laughs> Like, what do you want me to apologize for his, his inability to draw in an audience? <laughs> What's the no, argument? But my, my point is you're not legitimately upset, right? Because if, I don't know, some smaller YouTuber would, would make a stream about me where he would reveal private information, I wouldn't raise awareness of that thing to give him even more eyeballs. You know, I, I wouldn't drive business towards him. Okay. I, I just wanted to be clear. If this is the game you guys want to engage in, I'm more than willing to engage in it. I'm not engaging in any game, Jim. I'm no, just no, trying you to sent, you up. Sent, uh, you've on. sent a clear signal to me it's today, so v, fucking uh, of how to that, proceed. That's how you <laughs> interpret it. My point was that this man was making money off of you, it, and you're it, trying to think that he was legitimately you're trying ignoring to ignoring the point. The is more going, clear. Going on a fucking... He's just doing this in order to promote his business. It's not. It's not to dox you. It's just to to drive drama and have people talk about him. And suddenly, from, you know, as you pointed out in a tweet, who the fuck is Short Fat Otaku? Now people know who Short Fat Otaku is. Yeah, they and, know and he's, the a, only reason he, they they know he's an untalented bitch, so it didn't really work out for him, did it? Oh, I, I don't know. Like, from, from his small 20 people watching, he got 40 people watching now. Okay, hold a parade in my fucking honor, then. <sighs> yeah, but that's, that's what I'm saying. Like, you played into his game, right? If he wants to build up an audience and he's a small YouTuber, fucking with big YouTubers is how he's going to do it. And, the, and, and the, what, why are you defending his game? I'm not defending his game. I'm just pointing it out. It's yeah, so fucking yeah, obvious. Yeah, I just we, don't we understand why people have to make it political about everything. Yeah, but you're the one who's chosen this response, okay? Like, like you seem to be like a, um, uh, acting like you're just strung along this conversation. Like you're just responding to, oh my God, what's that? You were just actively choosing to talk about this conversation instead of talking about what a fucking shit thing it is to do. So, yeah, I, I think it is a shit thing to do. No, I, I, I do think fucking with bigger YouTubers for the sake of getting oh, an audience. Finally, is a thank you, V. Thank you, V, for finally coming out and saying it. Why did it take that long? Well, no, because the conversation up till now was about the fact that he was trying to threaten or dox Jim, and I don't think that's the case. I think he was trying to to fuck with a bigger YouTuber in order to get an audience, and that's I think that was what successful. you said. That's not what you said at all. What you first said is, "Well, you're not intimidated, so it's not really bad." Yeah, that that's my point? point. He wasn't intimidating Jim. Which line is the true love? 
Mate. You've gone back on yourself three different times. Like, no, you're mate, lying. I, didn't, I, didn't I didn't go back. Go we back. watched the stream. I think I'm pretty clear. <laughs> <weird. laughs> in chat, didn't he say that if it's not in, if it didn't intimidate you, it's not I didn't really bad? I say that. And I also That's exactly what you said. Naked Ape, are you incapable of holding in your monkey brain more than two thoughts? Okay. I did point out that it's not a threat. And because it's not a threat, because he wasn't trying to it's intimidate him. Said. Can you shut the fuck up for a little bit so I can explain my point? Thank you very much. My point is that it's unlikely he was trying to threaten Jim. It's far more likely that he was trying to build a subscriber base for his channel. And it is a shitty thing to do. Any questions? So we're finally going to stick to this one. This is the line we're sticking to. Oh, my fucking God. Are all faggots like you, mate? Like, is, is taking the dick all the way up to your brain, making you incapable of, of hold more than two thoughts in it? And follow a, a simple train of thought? Well, I mean, like, this is the train of thought that I've followed. You've, you've defended his behavior. You tried to uh, shut it off as no big deal. You tried to talk about anything else about, uh, than this being a bad thing. And now, finally, when you're backed up into a corner, you're finally going to say, oh, yeah, that is something that's against my liberalist ethics. Finally, I have to say, yes, it's bad. Well, what does this have to do with liberalism, mate? Devil is not even into politics. He's not the well, liberalist. He's a troll on the internet. Bag it, you stupid piece of shit. You, you act like such a prissy little cunt, B. You throw out all the insults. You act like a little wallflower. Some, somebody's teasing me. Oh, my God. You see, this is what people I, I, like. I think, I think this, this is your beef with me personally. Which is why you didn't want to copy. You never shut up, V. Shut the fuck up. You all do this. Uh, v, did you just mute Naked Ape? Well, he muted yeah. me first. And if that's how you do it, just stop interrupting. Wait, 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 for don't, one second. Don't mute, don't mute each other, though. Come on. You're, you're right. All do this Go shit. Ahead. All you bigger yes. YouTubers. I've seen it from all of you. It's what pisses me off. You do this shit. Bigger you YouTuber. You I have barely 100,000 subs. Just I, for how the fuck am I a big YouTuber, mate? Can you just shut the fuck up? Seriously, V. Y'all do this shit, right? You yes, don't. Guys, can we not mute each other? Well, don't Let's, have to stop doing it. I I'm agree. Not I agree. Don't mute each other. Let a naked ape talk. I, I, and I'm sorry if talk. he can't talk over another person. I'm That's sorry okay. if he's right. always the I'm sorry, V. I shouldn't have to talk over English you. Shut the fuck language. up. All right, all right, For all right. fuck's all sake, man. Naked ape, go ahead and make your point, and then V can make his point. Okay, so go ahead. We all do this. Whether it's Sargon, whether it's Shoe on Head, all of you. You act like prissy little cunts. You act like assholes. You talk a big game of shit. You talk about how ethical you are, how wonderful you are, how terrible these other people. Then you fling a little bit of shit, and you act like a huge bitch when you get some flung back. All right, now let V respond. Go ahead, That's V. That's exactly yeah, what you do. I, I, All of you. Let him respond. Go ahead, I, I would like Naked Dave to show a line where I'm talking about how ethical I am and what a big shit I am. <laughs> uh, to, to show a line where I even talked to Sean Head. Like, I never uh, spoken with that woman, as far uh, as I remember. Off. Oh, oh right. shit. Let, let him finish. Oh. Go ahead, V. Just because you're saying it doesn't make it true, Naked Dave. I, I, I've dealt with people that like to repeat the lie until it sticks. Right, the, no, ahead, this yeah. is an observation. It's an observation based on your behavior. Well, then you can you prove just... it. It, it. It should be easy to prove. Go on my channel and show where I talk about how ethical I am. Where, where have you I've ever talked about ethics? Never have I talked about ethics. No, where I say that I am an ethical person. Go on my channel. <laughs> I've never said I was an ethical person. Ever. You've never said, you've never talked about what is or is It's easy to prove ever. it, Naked Ape. It's easy to prove it, isn't it? Yeah. Probably is. Hey, hey chat, uh, internet, why, why don't you go ask, when has V ever been involved in anything concerning <laughs> ethics? Well, when, it, when did that ever again, happen? Like, you, you are not able to understand words. I have said, prove what I say that I myself am an ethical person. By the way, V, you're echoing a little bit. I don't know if that's the stream you got turned on or what, but yeah, uh, go ahead. Okay. So, so now the line is, I'm not ethical. I have no standards. Don't hold me to ethical standards. No, is that my, what you're my point with? is my, my, my point is that maybe my I have made mistakes is. in the past. Okay, but it's not like you're saying that I go on brag about being ethical and, and I, I I beat my chest like a monkey saying I'm the most ethical person in the world. Everyone should be like me. I have never done that. You have never been involved in anything involving holding people to ethical standards, ever. Can, can you think about anything, V? 
any yeah, group you know, discussion like, you've been involved in that dealt with my, my people standards ethical standards? Like, let, let me remind myself. My standards were don't fuck with people that you're reporting on. You know, like if if you're fucking someone and you're making a review on, uh, make a disclosure. You know, if, if you're going to take money from someone, disclose it. Yeah, th th those are the things that I've talked about. And I don't think I have done any one of them. But the thing you're talking about here, you know, like don't pick a fight with a bigger YouTuber uh, in order to, to, to gain subscribers and shit. I personally never done that either. But you know what? I don't think I ever said, oh, don't, don't speak with other people. Like if, if you know any other journalists, don't, don't talk with them. You know, if you know any other YouTubers, don't talk with them. Don't, don't have friends that are also YouTubers. You know, don't, don't go on, on, on discords and on Skypes and talk with other people. I have never said that. Okay. And you're trying to hold me to some ethical standards that I have never advocated for. Wait, V, didn't you just literally say that earlier when you told Sargon not to go on stream with us? <laughs> yeah, but that's an advice, mate. Okay. Do you know what happened in Game Journal Pro? If oh, if someone if someone would have told the journalist not to do something like donate to Zoe Quinn and he wouldn't, he would have been ran out of the industry. They'll stop doing business with him. You I know, it's am Gamergate. <laughs> it's, it's, exactly. It's, Finally someone fucking says it. You were involved in Gamergate, you stupid piece of shit. You condescending asshole. You were yeah, involved like, in this great yeah, th This way. is a straw man. You're, you're straw manning so hard right now, and you know it. Even it's when I was in Gamergate, I wasn't saying, oh my god, look at me. Look, look at how ethical I am. I'm a bastion of ethics, and everyone should follow me. I have yeah. never said that. The only You've thing that I said, said that, maybe yeah. you shouldn't fuck people that you're reporting on. And if you take right. money from someone else, you should disclose it. That's it. Have I done any of these things, Naked Ape? Let me, let me present like this, this sort of uh, the, this vast conversation, okay? I begin with saying you're a bitch. You're a slimy little cunt. You know why? Because you throw shit and you act like a little whiny cunt when you get shit thrown back. About your liberalism. About that kind of shit. And then you change the topic. I've never said that I was an ethical person. And I'm finally saying, well, you were involved in Gamergate, weren't you? You're so fucking specific on the semantics. Your yeah, I am specific so on the semantics. When you go on and make a tape and you say, people like you, people like Shoe on Head, you like to brag about how ethical you are. And I say, where did I ever brag about being ethical? And you're like, you're involved in Gamergate. And I said, well, and during the time I was in Gamergate, was I bragging about myself being an ethical person? Or was I just asking people not to fuck others when they're giving v, game reviews? You like right? to hold other people where accountable. Exactly am I a v, okay. you like to hold other people accountable. You don't like being held accountable. That's exactly how you give me, give me a thing that I held someone accountable to a thing that I personally partake in. Like, I, I told someone else, don't do this, and I was doing it. Come on, give, give me a specific example, Naked Dave, because you probably thought of a couple. And I haven't have muted them, by the way. I'm just kind of at a loss. I mean, I'm just thinking. Because you're so full of shit. You just come here with baseless accusations and you try to straw man issues. And when someone asks you, give me a concrete example of something that I have done, right? I told someone else, don't do this. And I personally did it. And you can't come up with shit. I mean, I just really don't understand, like, why you're choosing this. That's what this all thing was about. It's all about why are you defending this? Why are you going so upset about this? Then what I'm doing is I'm just generalizing. It's a general statement, feed, to be honest with you. Yeah, which you come through. Statement about you and all your friends, how you all seem to act, how everything seems to fold together, the sort of egoistic pile of goo that's up there in that YouTube sphere. The thing that I find oh, disgusting give me a specific about all example, of it. By the way, before you guys respond, let me say this while there's still a bunch of people watching. Thursday night, we're going to have Dick Masterson here on the kill stream, so I just want to put that out there, and any I, gentleman can continue. I can think of a specific example with Sargon and Tommy, um, uh, and Tommy. I can think of a specific example with you and this doxing guy. That's actually the specific example I'm talking about. Okay, let's let's go through the one. On your high horse, what whenever exactly it, did I do? You know, which, get on your high horse whenever it suits you. Yeah, no, whenever, give me give me the example with Sargon and Tommy. Come on, let's go through it. Well, I mean, you know, uh, with Sargon, he was. Uh, uh, sort of uh, uh, defending Tommy in, well, not really a, uh, a muscular liberalist way is how I would say. You know, Tommy's freedom of speech wasn't really all that important to him, it seems. 
Sargon went to Hyde Park Corner and talked about Tommy Robinson. He went into the uh, the march. Uh, he also talked about it on his channel. Reported that he got arrested. Like, what what exactly more would you have expected? I mean, pretty sure. I mean, to be honest with you, this is secondhand. I haven't actually right, watched no, it. No, I, I'm asking you for oh. evidence. Like, tell me something that I told someone else. Don't do this. And I have personally did it. We, we've been for 10 minutes right now. You couldn't find a single we, example. We've had a conversation about this, this entire thing, V. You're trying to change the subject to something no, that, you I, know. I, I, I'm asking you, give me an example. You the made the next thing you can back about, it up. The, it, the, entire, the entire conversation is about how long it took you to come to the point to say that, you know, this guy is being an asshole. How you defended him exactly. You didn't just say, oh, don't talk about it because it's going to get him. But you defended him. Yeah, exactly. I defended him because you accused him of trying to dox Jim. I pointed defense, out. I, yeah, and Your I defense, said, let, let me let me tell you my defense because I think I know my defense, right? That. My defense was that he wasn't trying to dox Jim. He was trying to start drama no, with a bigger no, channel no, in order to get you're subscribers. A you're a fucking liar. Okay. You said specifically, if it didn't intimidate you, it's not bad. That, that was part of the first defense on why I based that was my part assumption. of your first defense. Fucking can, can, can you wait so so you can right. so, so that was enough. part of my Talk first defense it. in order to justify why I don't think that he was doxing Jim. It's right? ten I, minutes to get you to admit that that's exactly what you said. You've lied. You've okay, now you've distracted from the truth for ten fucking minutes, V. No, I, I, I think I think you're a monster, and you can't understand. You can't understand See, the train of thought. Please, I said please, that I don't please, think please, that he was trying to dox Jim. I, I said that I don't think that he was trying to dox Jim, and I have based this. That on is the not fact what you said. That You're lying I, I based this on the lying fact that again, what he did is considered a threat. Friends. And For because Jim sake. wasn't intimidated, I don't think Devil's actions were to dox Jim. I think Devil's actions was to try to grow his subscribers on his channel. And in order to do this, he had to get the reaction out of Jim. And I do think that is a piece of shit of thing to do. Okay? That is my no, statement. You interpret it however you like. V, mm. that's not what now, you Now, let's said. talk about you for a second, Naked Ape. You made an accusation, right, about me. And I want you to back it up or else you're a liar. So you say that I tell people to behave in a certain way, but I behave in the way different than what I ask other people to do. Can you give me some examples or are you a liar? Well, V, let's go back to this initial thing because this could be a misunderstanding, okay? Let's ask you a question. So what I see from this is you just, you know, uh, changing the story again and again. Now, you've distracted from the actual conversation for so long. I, I see you gaslighting, Last but everything is recorded. You know, people can rewatch the stream. You don't have to go back. Like, there, there is a button on a slider which people so, can so go back. So, let's, let's do me a favor. Don't bring up any more whataboutisms, okay? Don't it's bring not up a whataboutism. It's a let's, fact. Like, people you know, can legitimately rewatch the recording, mate. I know you're a monkey and you can't understand the technology. Know. But you don't have to bring it up. Like people can legitimately move the slider after the stream is uploaded and see what I have said. I can't do it while I'm having the conversation with you, you stupid gypsy fuck. I can't go back to what you were talking about five minutes ago after you changed the topic five times, you stupid. No, you legitimately can. Like after the stream is uploaded, Shut you can go back. And so when, when are you gonna go on his channel and have a friendly discussion? I, I don't know. I, I think he he feels intimidated by me or some shit. Please okay. stop changing the fucking topic. The reason why I don't want to talk to you is because you're fucking annoying. You're this annoying, whiny little piece of shit. Th this I'm comes annoying. from the guy that puts a funny annoying. voice every time on his channel I mean, for five year old. I don't act like a uh, cunt about it. For fuck's sake, V. Shut the fuck up. Let other people talk. What else? Stop. What? You're going to mute Stop. me naked. You're going to mute me if I don't talk, shut the fuck up. Like, I I'm still waiting for, for you to give me a specific example of what I did wrong. And you can't. You're pussyfooting a lot of the issue because you're a pussy. You make blatant accusations. And when you can't back them up, you change the subject. V, I have to be honest with you. I don't know you that well. I don't know well, what you're you making accusations about me if you don't let's, know me that well. Listen, let's let's play a little bit of semantics here, okay? I didn't say that you did anything specifically. In fact, the yes, words that I said, V, shut the fuck up. The words that I actually said was you people, the entire skeptosphere, the liberalists, all of you do things like this. Okay, so 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 it wasn't an accusation at me. 
You're all doing the feminist are, thing. It's like all men are doing it. All gamers are like, doing it. And when someone that's a gamer or a man is pointing out, oh, you're talking shit about me. It's like, no, no, no. I was talking about gamers in general. I was talking about men in general. I was talking about I'm white talking people about in general. Your friends, V. I'm talking about all of them. All your friends. And the example I have is you in this conversation being a slimy little cock sucking piece. Yeah, and of I asked you, can you give me an example? Can, right can you now, you little piece example? of shit. Right fucking now, this is oh. the example. This is you pussyfooting around one of the major give fucking. Give me another companies. example before now, because you wouldn't be able to point out that this has happened now, right? If you made the accusation in the past. Man. I don't know you that. Man. And and I disagree I with you. I, I disagree with you that I acted like a slime ball right now. But, but you, you, you know, so, so you don't know me, right? You don't know me, but you're willing to make accusations about me without knowing me. And then you you're bitching. Your friends, V. All of your friends. It was it was directed at me. People can scroll back. People can scroll back and notice that you made an accusation directed at me. And when I'm challenging you on it, now you're changing the subject and it's like, oh, it's my friends. Well, I'm sorry, but I'm not my friends. You have to take it up with my friends, okay? V, what I said about you is this conversation is an example of you being a slime ball. You know what? Now I'm going to stop referring to you as a person. I'm going to refer to you as the LGBT community. You know, the LGBT LMNOP. Going to read shit about you from other newspapers and then assess them to you as a faggot. You know, see how you like that shit. V, I'm why, why do you want me to see gay people in Disney movies naked? V, why, why, why do you want me to see Aladdin taking it up the ass from Japan? Why, why are you such a faggot that oh are influencing every single TV show that I watch? You know, when... when, when in the 100, the main cast died. Faggots like you started complaining that hashtag kill my gays. Why are you part of that naked day? Why, why is it you and your gay people why did you always stirring up shit? Why did you lie about your I argument? I didn't lie. I didn't lie. You're the one who, are, who is a liar and you're refusing to back it up with evidence. Now you change the story saying it's not about me, it's about my friend. You're strawmanning me, V. That's not what I said. Hey, I, there is nothing right. to straw man. Your entire argument is a straw man. If I'm straw manning, it means that I'm being accurate. Because your argument is a straw man. See, this is why I don't like you, V. I mean, the honest truth why I don't oh, like well, you. I, I won't be able to sleep at night again. I'm going to wet another pillow. Naked Dave doesn't like me. How will I live? This is probably why a lot of people don't like you either, to be honest with you. Because, I mean, the problem, I mean, talking to you is... How many problem. people naked? Give me numbers. Give me statistics. How, how uh, many people um, don't like it? Say your mom didn't like it when I banged her last night. Oh, this wow. Is, that That is so is, mature, mate. Holy <laughs> shit. If I want to hear my mom jokes, I log in Xbox and I hear... Me, there's no way to actually have a real conversation with you. You don't have conversations with me. I don't know. I had conversation you with everyone here until you showed up. You don't it was up, perfectly fine. Don't shut the fuck right. up long enough to let people actually have a conversation with you. I mean, well, far, if they're going to slander and lie without backing it up, you're fucking ass so far. You don't even let anybody else get anything out. You're not even letting Ralph Richard talk. You piece of yeah, shit. Yeah, it's it's kind of let's let's put a pin in it. Put a pin in it for now. Uh, Jim, are you still here? Uh yeah. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm just <laughs> going. <laughs> um, I guess just while you're here, I, I, you know, I still saw your icon on the screen. Some some people in chat were wondering. Basically, the the link to the hangout is out, so I had to pull the the pictures of you know of us talking off just in case some some rascal came on here with some uh you know pornography or or something like that uh, anyway i was going to ask you about uh, elon musk and other people can comment on it too and uh his comment that, about who that's a nice owns. that's a, that's a nice little segue yeah <laughs> right another shit show right. <laughs> uh my my yeah okay so did you watch what happened with the um all right let me make sure i get her name right yeah and i'll pull that up i, I know what you uh Got a feeling about what? Uh, yeah, about. Aaron Biba. Yeah. So last night, Elon Musk is getting into an argument because he was upset that uh, Aaron Biba and other journalists were taking him out of context or criticizing him over different things. And basically, uh, he he threw out uh, he threw out a little tweet that uh, if you go and look at the thread uh, that Musk is talking in, there've got to be about forty or fifty different blue check marks just circling in the fucking water, right, waiting for him to say what they're expecting him to say. Yes. Because they, they want to pounce on it. Uh, all he said was, who do you think owns the press? Hello. And if you go and look through it, it's every fucking writer from every outlet just egging him on, begging him to say something. And he doesn't. He just takes off. He, he goes and uh, fucks his new goth girlfriend or whatever the fuck he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> Name but, the Jew imminent. <laughs> right, right. But uh, so Aaron Biba the next day, right? Uh, <laughs> this is great because this really all kind of started with her. 
Yes. Uh, she she said something. He responded to her and said, "I've never attacked science. Definitely attacked misleading journalism like yours, though." So after he made that statement last night, talking about how the press is shit, essentially, she tweets out, "Female journalists, have you been harassed by Elon Musk fans? Please DM me your most horrific tweets and messages and share this." Uh, so I, I laughed at her, and within about three minutes, she deleted the tweet, uh, blocked me and a bunch of other people, and then put herself on lockdown. So. They're pissed they can't get Musk. They, they expected him to follow that up with, it's the Jews, right? <laughs> uh, and because he didn't say that, they're really fucking angry. So they're looking for anything they can nail him on, but they don't have anything. So now they've, de you know, they, they've devolved into looking for his fucking... Uh, anybody sent a mean tweet to a female journalist, that must be the person responsible, right? So we're going to write a story about that. Look at these sexist, evil, racist Elon Musk fans. Uh, Elon, Ellen, whatever. Uh, fucking Musk, uh, he's... He's harmless, right? I've never really heard him make a political statement of you. No, not really. Uh, and uh, I know he was on Trump's advisory panel, and he eventually quit that because, well, Trump was. He's the Trump of Silicon Valley, Ralph. Well, what Trump, are you talking was, about? Trump was getting a little too spicy, so he kind of just backed out. But he didn't announce Trump exactly or anything. But what one thing he does do is go back and forth with journalists on Twitter all the time and pretty much call them out for their shit. And he has a very active uh, Twitter account, and he talks to regular people too. Did, like did he, you see the people respond? Uh, th this has been some of the funniest shit because uh, he got Stan Lee to agree with him. Yeah, I did yeah. see that. Uh, really but he, that. even funnier than that was uh, the people responding saying, "This is shocking." Like. Uh, uh, Rothschilds are responding, saying, <laughs> yeah. I, "I don't like where this is going." Oh, really? You don't like where this? <laughs> you don't like where this is going, dude? Rothschild. Of course, yeah. they don't. Did, did you see the the journalist that was asking any woman that has been harassed by Elon Musk to DM? Yeah, yeah, that was the one we were talking about. And by the way, his original comment was, let, let me read the first comment was from Joshua Topolsky. I think that dude writes for uh, the Outline. That's uh, something you've talked about this year, Jim. The Outline. Uh, that's what <laughs> Maybe that was a little too subtle for everybody to get. But uh, oh no, I think we all caught it. <laughs> uh, he said, "You're I'm... very smart, and so I want you to think about this for a second. Do you think it's in the interest of powerful people to a support a free press that exposes their lies, or b tear it down so their lies are easier to tell?" Now ask yourself why the polls will look bad. And then uh, Elon Musk said, "Who do you think owns the press?" Hello, <laughs> and uh, and now a lot of people said he was, you know. Oh, Ralph, about, you have you... to you have to scroll down and just just yeah. just for like you know half a half a minute and you'll look at all the blue check marks that pop yeah. up on screen. It's uh, fucking ridiculous. Oh, <laughs> uh, Elon, where are you going with this, Ben Collins? Uh, yeah, I mean, there's blue check mark after blue check. There's also some uh, some others uh, who are trying to <laughs> spin their own uh, <laughs> spin their own narrative as well, so to speak. Uh, but yeah. Look at some of those last names. I wonder how many shekels it takes to get a blue check mark these days. <laughs> don't worry. Hey, I got one of those. Uh, don't worry, Elon. Uh, all the careless things you're saying that are putting people in direct danger, danger won't affect any of us since we're all living in a simulation anyway. That's also one of his things, and he thinks we might be living in a computer simulation. Uh, let me let me grab the Ross the Rothschild tweet uh, because he said uh, concerned about where this is going. And <laughs> I bet he is. <laughs> and then uh, all I said was, I bet you are. And uh, and I got some play. But, yeah, there's there's reporters. And they've been hammering hammering on this all day, uh, you know, trying to say he was being anti-Semitic. I didn't take it that way. I thought he was just saying that powerful people also yeah. own the media retard. What, what do you well, think? It, 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 yeah, I mean, if, even if you put aside the jokes you're going to get when he's talking about who owns the media, right? Because sure. you can read the fucking responses. Yeah. All you have to do is look at uh, Aaron Beba's fucking just the interaction between the two. He basically says you're a shitty journalist, and her response is, uh, I, I'm going to write a story about people harassing female journalists, not just journalists, yeah. female journalists, and they're Ellen Musk fans. Send me all the dirty, horrific things you can send me so I can smear this fucker. It's so transparent. It's right out there in the open. It makes them look like assholes. I, I wanted to make a video today about Elon Musk. I can't stop finding content for it. There, there's like over 30 articles in the press comparing him to Donald Trump, mm -hmm. saying that he's worse than Satan, uh, saying that he's a <laughs> harasser of women, uh, saying that he probably gropes your mom when, when she's cooking. Like everything that's possible to be done under the sun, Elon Musk has probably done it. It's, it's insane. I'm actually about to do a search, a verified search too. And and, and this is this is because he wants to build a website like Deep Freeze. Yeah, it? actually, like, actually, there was an yeah. article, a hit piece on Newsweek this morning. Uh, Elon Musk goes to war with the media, promotes site with alleged sex cult ties. Now is it Elon or Elon? Oh, I, Elon, Elon, Elon. I always said 
Elon, I don't know what it is. That's off topic. But... I've always said Elon Musk. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll link the article in the... Yeah, and yeah, there's the Stan Lee tweet. Uh, then they what? started saying Stan Lee's had his Twitter account confiscated and he, and he doesn't know what's going on. That, that was the response to that. Did, yeah. did you see the other thing going on too? Like, I, I love how... He, I think part of it is the press wants to be respected, but nobody respects them anymore. Yes. And I think uh, another part of it is they're jealous of the competition because anybody that succeeds at what they do, they get angry about. I think that's why you see a lot of articles kind of in the recent last year or so are uh, really shitting on anybody that's got a social media platform with a lot of followers or YouTubers or anything like that. Uh, did you see the Atlantic article that came out today? Uh, oh, about the YouTuber that does the philanthropy. What's his name? Mr. Beast or something like that? Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's popular philanthropist. Mr. Beast has built his image on being a nice guy, but history has, uh, there, but has a history of using homophobic, homophobic slurs. Homophobic. He literally said faggot like twice. This is a guy that's <laughs> given away like half a million dollars to people. Like of just random fucking people just to see the reaction. And they're they they hone in on him saying fag once or twice and saying something is gay. And they write this fucking black PR smear piece. I it's just mind boggling to me. I don't know Wait. what the fucking press is doing these days. There was an article in the New York Times a little bit ago. Uh I don't remember the actual title about it, but it's basically from a liberal perspective why, you know, why Donald Trump won the election and why, you know, uh, liberals are driving people away. Uh, and it, there's a lot of like uh, uh, rhetoric about um, uh, like you know transgendered people. Uh, one example that I can think of is a little while ago, uh, gender dysphoria or gender identity disorder was listed as a mental disorder. For who fucking knows why? Uh, that would be listed as a mental disorder. And now we accept it everywhere. And never once does the article think maybe you're wrong. Maybe you should think about being wrong. The entire article it even asks the question. We, why are we apologizing for offending bigots? So I think that's sort of what this is about. This isn't really about, um, uh, I mean, it's partially probably the jealousy factor, but it's the sense of power. They have this sense of power of thinking they're in control, their narrative is in power. Uh, it's everything that they want for the future. And if you question it, you deserve to be mocked. You deserve everything coming to you. You're just a bigot and we're getting away with it because you know, we're the New York Times. Plus, uh, like Jim said, it does seem to be people they're threatened by. So uh, Elon Musk, he starts talking about all of a sudden, you know what, I think I'm going to make a website that grades all yeah. your bastards and, and looks at all your articles individually and, and let people vote on it. And they know he's a fucking billionaire. Uh, you know, most of what he touches turns to gold. And the, like something like this might actually take off. You know what I mean? Uh, if it I has think that's the biggest primitive. issue. That, yeah. it, it, if you remember, I believe it was Vice who uh, made it so archive.org can't archive their articles because racist bigots and xenophobes are archiving their articles and they're ruining their credibility. I'm not even kidding. That was the official statement. Um, so now oh, yeah, if I remember that. Yeah. yeah. I've if got a workaround, of course. Yeah, yeah but, but the thing is, if you're going to do that for all the journalists, they, they are livid because they know Every single one of them is guilty of posting something in the past and then doubling down or, you know, just changing their, their, their opinion on it or they're ashamed of, of what they posted in the past. So they don't want that type of archive. Yeah, well, They also just, don't want to be caught editing articles after the fact when they get called out on it. I just think, yeah. it, like, it, they're attacking him so hard because they actually feel threatened by him. Well, uh, look at what happened with the uh, the Wall Street Journal, New York Times, and PewDiePie. And now, of course, Vice is getting in on making shit up. And they said uh, Vice basically posted an article that said uh, PewDiePie's having this feud with some Twitch thought. And uh, she got mad that he called her a Twitch thought. And his response to her response was basically, uh, you know, it was basically like a counter of her criticism of him. And Vice tried to say that he was saying that he was advocating for her rape, that she was asking for it or something, which was completely mischaracterizing what he was saying. But the media is going after people on YouTube, going after people like Elon Musk, because they are not... They don't... They can't conceive of a world where people don't trust them and where ne they're not the leading authority on talking about shit. And it freaks them the fuck out. So they're spurging out about it and trying to go after everybody and pull down anybody they can Oh, yeah, I see that article. I, I hadn't seen it before. You just mentioned it, though. Uh, it said PewDiePie used something called the Toby Tobi Eye Tracker, which is able to show in real time what a user is looking at on the screen. Uh, Kelberg, 
uh, invited fans on Twitter to send him videos to view and recorded the results. One of the videos he watched, Sexiest Twitch Girl Streamers April 2017, was a compilation that featured Alinity. Uh, he struggled to keep his eyes off their chest. He jokingly called women in the video stupid Twitch thoughts. Uh, so, yeah. That's, that's you guys good. seen the uh, archive of the tweet by uh, Chelsea Manning allegedly yeah. meeting suicide? Yeah, that was that seems like a long time ago, but... Uh, was it a long time ago? That was no, no. It was actually like an hour. Say, it seems like a long time ago. It was really like an hour and a half or so ago. Jim alerted us to that in chat. Uh, I think I think uh, Manning's a love though, right, Jim? Uh, from what I saw. <laughs> well, I I don't yeah. know, man. I mean, it was a red car. Uh, they would have been jumping on, so it's kind of going to blend in with the paint. I guess we're going to have to wait for tomorrow. Well, what what do you guys think will happen with this website if it goes up? I mean, I think it has a, a a good chance of being a success. Uh, yeah. Elon Musk doesn't really do a lot of failures. I mean, Tesla's not well, doing so well at the moment, but um, the it's website not failing. No, but it's losing money. It's not actually doing as well as it should be, uh, according to investors, anyway. But um, the website it'll do gangbusters because fake news I, is the new thing. I, I disagree, um, I, and I will tell you why. Um, it's going to be slandered to hell by the press, right? It's going to be saying that only That's only race. No, let, 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 let me let me finish. Let me finish because I know what you're thinking. But you're, they're basically going to say that only racist, Islamophobes, xenophobes are using that website, and you know it's filled with lies and blah blah blah. And everyone who's a progressive, everyone who's on that side of the fence, who, who's a leftist, is not going to go on that website. Like they believe their friends, they get their information from third party sources. If they tell you. That this channel, like I don't know, Peterson's channel is is, is xenophobic, racist, Islamophobic. They will not watch any of those videos. I mean, don't don't you think that you know the other side of the coin has the same thing? Like you know, we we don't believe in uh, the Huffington Post or in uh, uh, Snopes or all that other bullshit. We would basically be using this as our sort of you know catapult back into the back into the internet. Uh, back into the internet. This is our, you know, rating system. And can I also well, say, I don't think he's actually going to launch it. I, I think he was mostly just trolling the journalists, uh, trolling them he's, back, because they're always he pestering has him. A, he has a uh, copyright for the name that he didn't well, have. I'm telling you something. If he wasn't going to launch it then, then he's certainly going well, to launch it Well, I mean, it's now. possible, but I, th I just took it, like, as a troll at first. I mean, maybe, maybe he is actually going to do it, but it's just amazing to me how they reacted. I mean, the biggest reason why he started this is because people have been uh, talking about his um, automated system and you know, people who have no reason uh, to talk about that kind of shit, who don't understand the technology behind it, basically bad-mouthing it, saying how it's dangerous. So I think he might actually be doing it as a PR stunt for his uh, for Tesla. Some people and, in chat seem to think he's going to do it too, so maybe. Yeah, I, I think he will do it. And, and by the way, about what Naked Dave said, um, yeah, I do think there's people on the other side of the fence that would not trust an article if it comes from The Guardian, for instance. And I, I keep saying on my channel, like, if you want to get informed, you need to watch the actors and you need to read Breitbart. You, you need to read The Daily Stormer and you need to read The Guardian. A and you need to judge every story, you know, on its own merit. You, you need to verify for yourself and think for yourself, is the story true? Are they, are they living? Musk is not a Donald Trumpian figure, like, like um, as much as they might say. He's not loved by the well. He hasn't been loved by the right until now. So yeah, I agree. You know, he's not been hated by the left until just now. So you you really think that the left is gonna just suddenly turn on him like that, or do you think there's gonna be some people who are holdovers, a uh, uh, Musk favorite, Musk fanboys who are gonna come along with him? I have a lot of friends uh, that I play video games with. Some are progressive, some some are uh, more to the right. Um, the, the way the progressives think is far more radicalized than the right. Like, if one of their friends say, don't go to this website because it's with racist content, they, they will not go to that website. Yeah, but, you know, those aren't going to be Elon Musk fanboys. He's got a really big following. He's been, they, like, the real problem with that the media did is that they build these people up. Uh, they build these people up as like these sort of um, uh, shining examples of what it means to be a leftist. And then they go off script a little bit and they try to uh, come after him. Same thing that happened with Kanye. So, you know, they might go after him, but Kanye West isn't going to be losing fans. Like his, he might lose some, but his hardcore fans are still going to be around there uh, tugging along with him on his new uh, uh, um, uh, MAGA road. 
I think Kanye might actually gain fans. Um, and, and it's not from the left, it's from the people who are in well, interested. It's from all the white people who buy rap music, because everybody yeah. knows black people don't buy rap music. Is that a thing? They don't have the money. <laughs> okay. It, it actually is a thing. It's, it's a, it's a well-known secret that white people buy uh, uh, a lot of rap music. It's white people. Well, they listen, who, black people uh, listen to it, but they don't, use, they don't purchase nearly as much as, as white people. Yeah, that's actually true. And, of course, it's the Jews who produce it. Yeah, I think like uh, black people of middle class, you know, like bourgeoisie black people, they probably listen to jazz and soul music. Like, I, I don't think they would listen to the gangster shit. Like, is that an accurate comparison? Because you live well, in it's, the United it's, States. It's more that they don't, <laughs> there's, not, there's not enough of them. <laughs> there's not enough. <laughs> they're, they're, they're all fucking poor, man. <laughs> they, 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 they torrent that shit. <laughs> There, uh, why, why do you think they have to uh, put rap music inside those little uh, uh, glass cases? Because <laughs> uh, it's a five-finger discount, man. They don't have money for shit. Are you kidding me? Uh, so, yeah, white people make rap music work. Yeah, then why are white people buying albums from people that say what well, white people are the devil? I mean, that's not what most rap music is, man. Um, no, but there are a certain rap artists that are taking a very hardcore political stance and you yeah, know they're, they're no, blaming I, i'm not saying that all rap not all rap no no, no i i know but but it's like, like so, in order for um so yeah pretty sure chelsea manning is dead right now and that's why there has no, been no, another no 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 uh, manning is alive according yeah. to the twitter account anyway i'll, I'll just put that what, what, what does the, did the twitter before account you spike, say i'm, sorry, the I'm football, still alive ape i just want to say no they said it was a friend that had it uh <laughs> a friend yeah. No, yes. a friend that did control an account. Chelsea is safe. Yeah. Uh, Manning is on ago. the phone with friends. Thanks, everyone, for your concern. And please give her some space. That was a tweet. That was a tweet. What? Anyway, I, I want to leave. So uh, thank, thank, thank you guys for having me. Um, th there's just one yes. question I need to ask. Uh, it's it's going to be in my video, and I need to know this. Uh, the media in the United States is owned by, like, six corporations, I think. Um, is any one of them not Jewish? I have no idea. I don't doubt it, though. Uh, Rupert Murdoch isn't Jewish, to my knowledge. He owns News Corp, which owns Fox. Yeah. Well, his son owns it now, doesn't he? I don't I, think... Is, is Rupert Murdoch Jewish? A better question. Is he a, Is he American? I thought I thought he wasn't. <laughs> no, nah, he's Australian, actually, Rupert Murdoch, yeah. Because I, I want to be accurate in my video, you know, and because uh, I'm making it about Elon Musk. And, and I'm curious if there is a single media conglomerate that's owned by a non-Jewish person. Not saying it's a bad thing, not saying it's a good thing, it's just a statement of fact. Yeah. Is, th is there a single media uh, conglomerate that's non-Jewish? News Corp is the only one I can think of. Chat says Rupert Murdoch is not Jewish. He's a so... There you go. Okay. That's one. All right. One. Then, then I can't make the statement. It's not accurate. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for having me. And uh, Naked Dave, no, no hard feelings. I, I know we got a little spicy. Yeah, yeah, go fuck yourself. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> see, I'm not a faggot. I don't take dick up my ass. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Uh, Rolf, whenever you want don't me. Don't take it up your ass, but whenever Sargon's on, you slurp it like a little puppy dog. You know what? You talk about me figuratively, but I know you do it literally. Um, so yeah, Ralph, whatever you want me on, uh, g give me, give me a call. Man. Not oh, well, thanks for, yeah. thanks for coming on. Let Sargon know we, we would love to have him, uh, the, the yeah, gauntlet. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, I, I would like to have him come on and, and speak with Jim, but if he would come on just himself, I, I, that would be cool too. I, I don't know if he wants to, but uh, yeah, I'm sick of dealing with the capos. I want to take off the <laughs> yeah, like, come enough on. of this foot soldier shit. I'll, I'll, if it's going to happen, it's probably going to be on his platform or on Jim's yeah. channel. I, I don't know. Um, yeah. As for Jim, you know, I, I legitimately feel sorry for Devo. That's why I stuck up for him. He's he's not very social, to say the least. So yeah, that's that's why I did my defense for him. But but anyway, right? I'm off. Wait 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 okay. wait wait. wait. <laughs> All right. not, not very social. Do you mean he's autistic? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Oh, no. Does he have Does he have difficulty interacting with people? Do, do, do you have Well, I mean, you heard him here. Like, w w how how would you classify him? Like, w would you put no, him no, as no. a people how person? Would you, how would you classify him? How would, would you def... classify him? Spank I, I would... me, daddy. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure he's a uh, he's a nigger. Is no. is that the right classification? Official classification. Well, considering the fact that I kept telling him, don't go after Jim, don't make a stream about Jim, don't, don't, don't talk about it, don't, just, just drop it, and, and he did but it that way. This conversation <laughs> could have been a lot easier if 
when we ask you, why are you defending him? You just say he's an autistic piece of shit, and I feel sorry for him. You, See, you that's the answer question. I'm trying to get for. He's an autistic piece of shit, and I feel <laughs> sorry for him. That makes sense now. It all makes sense. Okay. What a I, I, I'm off now. All right, thank Literally, you, v. Thanks, uh, Jim. Buddy. While you're still here, just three quick hits, and then I'll let you go too, because you've been uh, kind enough to stay with this long. First off, yeah. Battlefield Five. Just quick thoughts on what's what all is going on with that still, and the statement Dice put out. I haven't seen their statement, but it, it, it's I, I don't know, man. Go, go buy the competitors game. It reminds me of uh, was it Battlefield Two, where everybody on Steam was like, "Fuck this, I'm never going to buy it." Yeah. And then everybody went and bought it because you could see there's like a Steam group dedicated to boycotting it. I think this is before fucking Origin, if I'm remembering right. And everybody in the fucking boycott uh, list was all green playing the game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one Amazing. other, uh, Morgan Freeman. Have you seen anything about the? the I want them to make a fucking new version of the uh, Odd Couple with Cosby and Freeman <laughs> in jail together. <laughs> oh man, I'd oh, watch there, that actually. There was one more. Uh, that uh, that game for the Twitch. What what is the name of it? I saw you tweet about because I actually thought about buying it. Oh, the Castlevania uh, game. It's, like, well, it's not official like... uh, Castlevania. Yeah, Bloodstained, Curse of the Moon. Uh, you said it's pretty good. Is is it uh, is it worth a purchase? Uh, it depends if you like retro games. I mean, it plays. Yeah. It it reminds me a lot of like Castlevania three uh, with the uh, character switching and it, it's pretty good. I mean, it's short. You're gonna get like an hour and a half out of it if you're good at games. Um. But I mean, yeah. If you like like old style kind of like NES games, uh, okay. yeah, it's not bad. All right, cool. Uh, thank you, man, for staying with us. I'll, I'll let you go ahead and get off. Jim, there's one thing I've always wanted to say to you. Yeah. Nigger Jim. Nigger Jim. All right. Well, I will take that. I will take that as a new handle. Uh, and <laughs> use that. Use that on my fucking channel. Fantastic. <laughs> Thanks, man. All right. Thank you me. are acting like a bunch of niggers. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That is hurtful. All right. <laughs> All right, then. And uh, things like that. Has he said anything about the, uh, you know, the original, you know, firestorm that happened with the, uh, with the, with the tweet? I, I'm trying to remember the original tweet. But... With, with Biba? Yeah. So yeah. he, he said a couple of statements because he was upset about the press coverage he was getting uh, and said journalists were shit, essentially. Yeah, is yeah, the, yeah, yeah. And, a summary and who of that. do you think runs these, these corporations and, well, that, that's, no, that's the, I really think that's the focal point. Like, that's the thing that fucking tilted them. Yeah. Because when he said, who do you think runs the media? Every fucking blue check mark <laughs> on Twitter showed up in his fucking thread. <laughs> right. Yeah. And they're all just daring him. Say it, Elon. Please fucking say it. I dare you. Say, say it's the Jews, Elon. Fucking say it. <laughs> I wish he did. I really wish uh, he did. Say it. I really <laughs> he, he didn't, though. You know, uh, he's, he, he went and uh, fucked his emo girlfriend. He didn't give a shit. So they they all got upset. Look up his name and just you know under the news heading and shit, you'll see like a fucking hundred articles. Elon Musk is sexist, supremacist, uh, disconnected. Oh, you know, like it's a fucking feeding frenzy right now. They're going after him, and they hate the idea that he's going to make a site to fuck with them. I mean, the guy's net worth is what like seven billion dollars. Yeah. Like he could do a lot, a lot of fucking damage if he wanted to do some fucking damage to the media. Uh, I mean, you're talking about a guy that runs a fucking rocket company electric cars and you know was in paypal so done with i i really want to see this escalate because he will stomp them into the dirt yeah I mean, he's legit he legit has fuck you money he he does, yeah. Elon on like the right side of his bipolar like he, <laughs> right? we just gotta like start kicking our enemies in front of elon and like hey man are you are you manic or are you depressive oh you're manic ah here's journalism go fucking tear it. <laughs> well yeah they they really went after it Especially that Biba, uh, who, I, I, she writes for like five different outlets, but when she, you know, he basically told her to go fuck herself, and she's like, I'm going to write an article about how sexist you are. I made fun of that, but she still wrote the fucking article, and then her her uh, managing editor or whatever at the, the outlet, the Daily Beast or whatever it was, yeah. was like, oh, oh, she's so brave for doing this. <laughs> she's so fucking brave for writing an article about other people on Twitter and then blaming him for it. Like, get, get fucked, Biba. It was a She's really been... long article too. I, I read about half of it, and then I was finally, I could I couldn't go any further. Well, you got, you got that far. Shit, yeah. I tuned that out. After like no, she went, she went on and on and on, but she's been stalking him for a while. She, so, hates, and she fucking hates it. That's why she got rid of her time. She fucking hates the guy, and she won't shut the fuck up about him. Uh, what is it? Richard Lewis like had a catalog of screen yeah, captures of all the yeah. shit. She has talked for like a year about the guy. She just won't let it go. She really dislikes him. Yeah. I don't know. 
it, it, it's a little weird that they would let her write an article on him after you know her history with him. And oh, you, are him. you kidding me, Zidane? Did you see the fucking uh, little subheader of the article? Actually said payback. The oh, bitch, the bitch actually wrote <laughs> payback on the fucking title of the article. You must have missed it because, dude, that article was fucking long, and she went in depth, in depth on this on Elon Musk. Oh. Uh, so has, has it? Yeah, and I, I probably shouldn't distract it with the Elon stuff. But uh-huh. Has it been a, a celebratory stream, knowing that Maddox <laughs> fucked up his lawsuit and he's the ass <laughs> of all the jokes? It, it right? mostly has been, yeah. and it's been a yeah. little very bad fucking. Too, yeah. It's been a celebratory like three fucking weeks, man. The <laughs> last, thing I, last thing I remember is doing a bunch of drops of acid in the middle of the Middle East, in the middle of fucking Israel, and all of a sudden, all my problems are over. And I, I think I fucking died and had a heart attack, and I'm just I'm having a long hallucination of a reality where I can endlessly shit on Maddox, his <laughs> girlfriend, Jessica Irene Blom, and his drunk fuck, uh, multiple DUI having interlock device ass lawyer for the rest of my life with absolutely no repercussions. If you sue me in California, you say in California, which you said is done in the first place, he's going to get, he's going to get put in the ground or he's going to get slapped back to Utah. Um, isn't there like a 90% chance that Asterios is going for a countersuit because he like got him fired and shit? That's up to Asterios. Wow. Let me, let me, gentlemen, be, it, it's roboting, so l- let me do something. have to find a dumber lawyer than he has in California. Like, is, there's, that, is that fucking possible? Uh, it's it's going to be tough. This, the guy, I think the guy who took his case in New York makes a living as a, a predatory like taking advantage of the dumbest, most desperate, delusional people and filing lawsuits uh, that are like catering to their uh, uh, perverted sense of justice. All right, like, all right. wait one second, wait one second. Okay, right. we're, we're back, we're back, we're back. I just wanted to make sure. I, I well, yeah, like... I, I asked that because didn't didn't Maddox's lawyer uh, uh, didn't didn't he try to go after? Uh, is it Ricotta Law on YouTube for reading yeah. cases and laughing at him? He filed Landau filed an ethics violation complaint against uh, this guy Nick Ricada who Ricada there we go yeah who all he does is talk like he goes through oh you are oh, recording you. well that's good and definitely I, I will <laughs> so he goes through every, he'll read legal documents he'll read he re- uh, made it so that you know if would if somebody gave him money through a super chat and he answered the question that was legal advice so he's trying to yeah. nail him on the ethics committee from what I understand was like. Are you fucking retarded? That's not that's not how that's not uh, attorney client interaction at all. Yeah, it turns out that like everybody kind of understands uh, what the internet is. Like shockingly, uh, a seventy year old judge in New York says uh, you should say about me on the internet. Fuck you. The oh, ed- that judge! That judge in that case was fucking amazing. Reading the fucking uh, transcripts and shit. That was simply fucking amazing where he's he's like i'm gonna have you arrested and <laughs> in put in cuffs, fucking cuffs. <laughs> in prison today and then just silence uh oh, that's good yeah i want to i want to do like a reenactment of that thing and get some i don't know some porn stars and maybe a maybe a talking dog like find a dog and put some peanut butter on its mouth and do an actual reenactment of the court case so dan can you can you test this and see if we're back on the air? Uh, yeah. Uh, <sighs> so you got some uh, toilet paper thrown at your head, did you? <laughs> yeah. It doesn't seem. That's like hilarious <laughs> that that's when the stream actually cut. Right yeah, it doesn't seem like it is. Fucking toilet paper. Oh god. I can't tell on mom. Probably not a good I mean, you uh Do you want me to... I can probably broadcast this on your whatever. I mean, yeah. I could just send you the stream key. Yeah, yeah. I could do it too. Yeah. Same thing. All right, I'll just send you this. I'm not going to have any video, but... Well, I guess I could. I'm also a little drunk, so that's probably not helping matters. Uh, <laughs> You need to be a lot Probably drunk. Probably not. Problem. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. All right. I'll send you the stream key. 
Uh, can you do it over Google or? Yeah, I'll, uh, how about this? I'll just. Pull. All right. <laughs> that's gonna work out well, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure that's gonna go great. I'm totally not gonna take that stream key and start playing gay porn or anything. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we're not live. Nobody can see what we're doing right now, right? Well, yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. yeah. You're putting it's probably, it's probably in gym. It's probably a bad idea to do it through. Uh, well, it's too late now. So, um, there it is. <laughs> we'll, we'll see. Um, All right, let me just tweet that out. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh, shit. Uh. Matter of fact, like, we're popping in and out, so it, it, it's possible to... I don't think they can see the chat. I don't think yeah, they I don't, can see it. I don't think it's visible. No, they can't see the chat, no. Not my fault. By the way, some... So I guess we'll just okay. try it. Well, here we are. We're, we're live on the air right now. Allegedly. Allegedly? I, I don't know. Allegedly, yes. Oh, yeah, we are. Oh, we are. Look yeah. at that. There you go. All okay. right. I, we jerry rigged it real quick on the on mine. So. Jerry rigged it, yes. <laughs> wink, wink, yes. Yeah, video and audio are coming in through or through just fine. So fantastic, good. good, glad to hear All it. All right, thank God. I'll just... All right, and and then, by the way, Dick, you said you were recording all this, right? Um, I started recording the audio when things went bad, so I guess okay. I have us fucking around with keys and blaming each other for. <laughs> 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 Good, because um, I would, I would like the, I would like the, that cut. We'll see. <laughs> Damn, your yeah. resolution is like nine thousands a day. Uh, it's a, it's a, uh, fourteen forty p monitor. That's twenty seven. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, so it's bigger. Right. Have you guys Let's... seen that thing today about the the live streamer, like the the Arab guy? Yeah, Arab Andy. Yeah. That yeah. was. Uh, that, that's amazing. the funniest shit I've seen in a long, long time. Yeah, he didn't. He just he casually strolled out of there after people were running for their life down the fucking hallway. <laughs> he, didn't give, he didn't give a single shit. And then, did you see the uh, extended cut of when the cops arrest him? Because oh yeah, yeah. TTS kept going through, so they're playing like uh, ISIS chants and like Allah Akbar and the cops theme Fuck song. Fuck the police! <laughs> yeah, it's fucking amazing. Should we? Explain it for people who haven't heard of it yet. Or well, I mean, we played it earlier on, on our oh, okay. last iteration of, of the stream. There, yeah. There's no way that uh, this is not going to get Fallout. Like, I, I think this was this might be what actually ends up making Streamlabs uh, adjust some policies when it comes to Texas. Now, where was he at exactly? That's what like I, university I, I, of yeah, it's some university wherever the fuck they were. Okay. I, can pull I went into his Discord and and this is all hearsay because it's just random people. But some guy said he's a lawyer <laughs> and that he's looking at a, a minimum of one month in prison, no matter what, for this shit. Because <laughs> well, they, they consider calling it a bomb threat. Yeah, they yeah. had the they had. I mean, if you listen to the very end of the clip, you can hear or you can fucking hear helicopters circling above. <laughs> Holy shit! Yeah, yeah. So they had the fire department show up, the fucking police department show up. Somebody said SWAT showed up. There are fucking helicopters in the sky. So they took it really seriously when all those scared white college kids saw the uh, the Arab guy and then heard a C4 countdown in the fucking library. <laughs> it is a little bit like, um, like, I'll defend any joke ever as long as it's a joke, but then you think, well, what was this joke? Uh, I wanted to make people afraid that they would be killed in a bomb. Like, yeah, that's a bomb threat. <laughs> waka, waka. Is, it, yeah. it wasn't his joke, wasn't it? Some random guy playing it through his speaker because they I paid mean, to do it. Yeah, that's uh, that's not gonna hold up. <laughs> Actually, I, I'm really curious what's gonna happen. Like, if this goes to court for terroristic threats or whatever they try to, you know, put it under, is he in trouble or is the dude that donated the money to make the threat go through in trouble? Yeah, I think it's who... fucked up if he gets in trouble because he didn't play that on purpose. At least from my point of view, like I. I don't think he did anything wrong. I think he's a fucking retard, but I don't see why he should be charged with terrorism for this shit. By the way, some uh, chat saying we should play it again. So, Dan, do you have the clip? It's only like a I minute. I do. Long. I already have it here. All right. Why don't you play it? Why don't you play it? I'll check it up. Oh, it doesn't look like that. Oh, your chat's talking shit to you, Ralph. Oh, wow. Shock oh, of a big surprise. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'm they're, talking, they're, talking a, they're talking a little bit of shit there. 
C4 has been successfully deserved. Although I will say in my own defense, we've been streaming with the, with the mobile hotspot for, you know, two or three days. <laughs> <laughs> Only takes one day for it to shit the bed. <laughs> yeah, no, and it just happened to be like at the key moment, and it just completely. So can the chat hear this? We can't hear it. Yeah, it's they, they can hear it. Okay. I mean, I might be immature to think that the prank was funny. But, uh, I mean, I can't help but laugh watching those people run for their lives. It wasn't really a prank them. either. No, it's hilarious, man. That's hilarious. Oh, I guarantee you somebody's gonna... Like, I, I've been watching this, uh, this in real life live streaming shit ever since, uh, I started watching a little bit of Ice Poseidon. And you know it's gonna end in somebody getting shot, eventually. Like, either by the police or some dude on the fucking street. Like, something's gonna play... I kept thinking, when the cops were approaching him, right? And they have their guns drawn and they're being fucking serious with them. If somebody put a super chat through or a, a text oh, God. that started screaming <laughs> Allah Akbar, you know what I mean? Like, they would have unloaded clips in the motherfucker, right? Dude, so, the cop had a lot of discipline, though, didn't he? Like, I mean... I, well, I he's, in, he's in the, the most PC liberal area uh, that you could possibly Ooh. fucking be in. He's like, oh, you know, gently get on the ground. Would you like a pillow? Like, what kind no, of cop? No, it was that? like that. Like, I could only imagine if, if some areas that do... New super shot. chat from ISIS Master Hacker. He has a gun <laughs> and a bomb. <laughs> I think as soon as you tell a cop I'm filming, they sort of have no choice but to do their job correctly. Unless you shoot him and take the phone, but I guess he didn't know he was live. What, what do you think the cop was thinking? Like, he's probably going through a procedure and he's like, they never covered if the ISIS bomber has a fucking live stream. Like, <laughs> yeah. it's a weird thing to bring up. Like, I'm streaming right now. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> The cop is thinking like, ah, this is being recorded. Yeah, I think America is gonna uh, be on my side. Yeah, I think no, I got the, this one. <laughs> yeah. No, but the cop even well, says, oh, if you want to keep recording, go ahead." Like, like. Yeah. First of all, all that. your fans are gonna think it's funny if I kick the shit out of you, and everybody <laughs> who doesn't like you is just gonna be on my side for being a fascist. So let's go record away. Oh yeah, they uh, well they would have loved it. Yeah, they would have started donating money saying kick him harder you know <laughs> like they would have been down for that shit chat said did you get a new stream key yes i did i guess on the bright trying. side once he gets out of prison he'll have like 18 dollars in super chats oh, big money it's gonna really uh you know come in handy when he buys that preparation age for all the rape he got subjected oh. to in the fucking lockup yeah he's gonna be yeah it's dumb but that's what they put themselves through now like people are gonna do that you go into somewhere and Terrorist yeah, if you add it up, and... I think he made like a hundred bucks, like maybe like a hundred, two hundred bucks. So he's gonna go really? to jail. He's gonna go to jail for like a month for two hundred dollars. And that's it. I thought he would have made more than that. Like, no, they were coming in really slow. Like, you know, because oh, wow. like I think it's like a four or five dollar minimum to do like uh, voice yeah, chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and there weren't a lot of them. I mean, there were when they started arresting him and they're playing NWA. <laughs> fuck the police. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Yeah, they yeah did. once the cops had the phone, it was nonstop for like 15 minutes. Yeah, yeah, that's when the real money started kicking in. Yeah, he'll be excited when he sees that. Yeah, totally pay off his lawyer fees. Now, do you guys think this is going to come back on Ice Poseidon because this guy's kind of, you know, tangentially related to him and the whole streaming scene? Do you think he's going to have a whole slew of fucking articles coming out again about how terrible he is? Because they've already hit him now for associating with Baked Alaska. Yeah. I mean, I, I wouldn't do doubt it, but let me ask since you brought up Ice Poseidon. What did you think about him and Tariq Nasheed? Uh, I, I okay, I, I'm going to be totally honest with you. My opinion of Tariq Nasheed changed when I saw him with Jared Taylor. When he told that dude that black dicks are weapons of mass destruction, <laughs> I was like, "There's no way this guy isn't a fucking master class troll." So yeah. he, he talks all this shit to Ice Poseidon, and then Ice Poseidon and his manager Steve Jobs say, uh, "We're going to sue you," and he, he, Tariq basically said, "Fuck your lawyer." And then they're like, okay, we're not going to sue you. Debate me. And then Tariq's like, pay me and I'll debate you. Fuck you. So he gets to talk all this shit, tell people their lawyers can go fuck themselves, and then demand you pay him money so he can show up in person and talk shit to you. Like, <laughs> how can you it not find that level. enduring? It was pimp level shit. Like, it, it honestly was. Yeah, I, I'm completely fucking convinced at this point that Tariq Nasheed is just trolling the fuck out of anybody that he can. It's all to make as much money as he can. Uh, and he knows how to bait people. Like, that's his gimmick. Uh, is going after people and doing the shit. I don't. I, I think that guy probably laughs his ass off at night while he counts his fucking money. <laughs> and the his response... saying that Ice Poseidon just got swatted like an hour ago. Yeah, I saw that, but I don't know. The a lot of people are saying it. 
Yeah. Oh, did, did he get hit lots again? Lots of people yeah. say a lot of stuff. I don't know. We'll have to find out. Let's look it up. I'll look it up. I, I will say this. The, what Tariq said was was basically, you know, have your lawyer call my lawyer is is what you should say when somebody threatens to sue you. Okay. That's you know, not what Tariq – I know you're, you're forgetting the best line because – after he said that, have your lawyer call my lawyer. Steve Jobs is like, who's or who's your lawyer? And then Tariq <laughs> said, this is my lawyer. And linked to a video of a guy saying, D's nuts. <laughs> 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 uh, got, him. got him. Yeah, that's the guy. It was really funny. All right, so you guys were having a conversation. Was it about Maddox? I don't even remember now because I was trying yeah, to. Yeah, well, we were talking about different things, like you're, you're getting toilet paper thrown at your head. Yes, yes, yes. Now, I, I would have thought you would have learned from Andy <laughs> about having discussions with significant <laughs> others on screen <laughs> because Sinead rides his ass like a fucking bicycle every time she comes on the fucking street. She Clock, gives yeah. him hell. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah, she destroys him every time she's on air. It's really oh, funny. Oh, and she, she doesn't fuck around. She calls him like a little bitch and yeah. talks about it. Yeah, yeah, she, what did she call him that really pissed? Oh, average Andy when she was talking about his dick. <laughs> like, no, that's, no. That's, <laughs> that is some brutal fucking when, shit, man. When she called him lazy, he lost it. Yeah, and then the crazy thing is um, he keeps bringing her back on. <laughs> <laughs> she keeps fucking with him. Like, that's, I think she's enjoying it, to be honest. So careful where you tread there, Ralph. I think yeah. he is too, to some extent. Me or Andy? Andy, I, th I think he he likes the content it creates when he brings her onto like shit all over him. Well, it's funny. Uh, I will say it just happened to be serendipitous. Uh, my wife throwing the toilet paper at me. Oh, right oh uh, somebody screen. somebody threw a link, uh, one of your mods, top keck in the chat. It's okay. near the bottom. Uh, it says ice getting swatted. It's the you last can... portion. Okay, he can post oh, the yes. entire link. I don't know why he didn't do that. Yeah, yeah, you're a mod, so you can just post the entire yeah, link. Yeah, post the entire link. I'll click it. Oh, Zidane. Zidane's actually the master of ceremonies now. Uh, so, I can't play it. A little secret. Let me see if I can pull it up. Uh, uh, oh, I guess I could. Oh, yeah, I there he goes. He threw the full link up. Fantastic. Okay, good. All right, good. Yeah, see, so you guys have this... Uh, like, uh, <sighs> You have all these technical setups for your fucking streams, and then, like, every time I try to do one, it's, like, this shit show of just showing my fucking desktop and then trying to pull the <laughs> through, through fucking Skype. Like, have you ever tried to do a call-in show with Skype? It's the most painful. It doesn't. Yeah. Terrible. And the sound, really the sound of Skype ringing, like, becomes your nightmare. Yeah, it does. Uh, yeah. Oh, my God. Motherfucker. It work. I know you hate on Discord, and I don't blame you because it's complete autism, but, like... It's just way easier to do a call and show on that rather than than on Skype. And I mean, you could. I mean, what I could do is actually shell out for a phone number and set. Well, that, that that's shit. what I was thinking of do, uh, doing. Yeah. Skype. Like you you can set up your own phone number with it and then have yeah. people call in rather than call them. So yeah. I don't know. I remember I went on Chris Cantwell's podcast before he got thrown in jail, uh, <laughs> and uh, he he would do Skype call ins, but like he'd give them three seconds. So he'd call them up and be like. One, two, three, fuck you, and then he'd hang up on them. Uh, it, like it, that doesn't work either. Like there's no way of making it work because there's a stream delay. So if you pull somebody in, they're always like five fucking minutes behind. They don't know they got yanked in. So it's just this awkward fucking silence. It permeates, and you don't know what the fuck to say. And then if you don't have somebody running it, and you have to run it and run the stream, I don't know. It's just it's really complicated. I guess just Discord's. For... Yeah, we just drag people in from Discord. It's really easy. yeah. It's just easy. It's like okay, drag in. And if they're not there, throw them back out. You know, it's just it's just. All right, Zidane, you going to play this? Yeah, yeah, guys are talking, sorry. Go ahead. All right, I'm playing right now. Isn't it true that you can whitelist yourself to not get swatted in this shit? Yeah, you should be able to, but I guess the police just don't like them. I mean, if you contact the police, yeah. You think you would do that if you did this for a living? You think his manager would do that? Like, he's paying this guy 20%. You think Scuff Steve Jobs would call ahead and be like, hey, this guy gets swatted all the fucking time. Please don't flashbang us. I mean, some people were threatening uh -oh. to swap me, yeah, so gotta, I just uh -oh. like, this is not good. called gotta... the police and was like, yeah, yeah let's go know. this way. Let's go. Come on. Come people on. might call you and say, no, they still have to come out, yeah, though, so it's not going to be like they don't come out. They might but they're not going to come out with fucking guns yeah, drawn. Yeah, they might like, come out and shoot your dog. <laughs> yeah, no shit. Let's go over yeah, here. it's uh, let's just fuck that. Oh, shit. Yeah, look at them. Yeah, they're 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 rolling up with lights and everything. I don't play with these fucking so what's the appeal cars? of this uh, walking around outside live streaming thing? Is there like a special thing to it? I don't know. Uh, I guess this, when people get, you know, oh, arrested. 
Oh no, I'll tell you the appeal of it. Uh, he pulls in like 30,000 fucking viewers and makes an absurd amount of money doing this. Like, I, if I was making 8 to 10 grand a day doing this dumb shit, I'd, I'd do it. Yeah, but why do people watch it? It's just a guy walking down the street, right? Uh, it's for the text-to-speech thing. They, they're all waiting for the moment. Like the Arab Andy thing, you know what I mean? Like, they're waiting for that awkward situation where you get fucking arrested. <laughs> I mean, say what you want to scream every day, and and someone else takes the fall for it. I like how they're walking away from the scene too. Bjorn, let's go. Jeez. I mean, why not? Bro, they got like fucking. I'd be running. It's easy to hate on it, and it's not my not my cup of tea either. But like like Jim said, like you're making. Oh wait, no. Somebody's saying Ice doesn't have TTS. No, that can't be true. He's he invented it. Remember Kareem told me. We're no, we're, where are we? We're gonna uh, get well, I see the appeal of making the money. I just, I wasn't sure why people would watch it, but if, if it's just yeah. like to prank the live streamer, then that's pretty fun. In a American dude, private home. Yeah, and it's also like uh, yes. testing people around them to see like how far, what you can get away with saying before they'll actually react building, without having to be there. Right, shh. Do you understand what's going on? That's why I like it up. anyway. I'm trying to fucking help you here. Shut the this fuck up. Thought. <laughs> <laughs> shut the, shut up. Okay, well, why are we going you. this way? What are we doing? It's kind of hard to swat somebody just on a public street because the cops don't say, know. Is, that, is that really a swat if they're just yeah, walking yeah. down the street? I think they just, hit their house. No, like, they're, they're at the gas station. They call the cops on the gas station. They're like, what, four or five police uh, cars there? And they walk, yeah, they just walk away. away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what he did. Yeah. Yeah, it's super easy. All right, and then he's got this fucking loud thought that keeps screaming like an idiot. Why don't caught? the cops pull up the live stream and find out where they're going? <laughs> Yo, can you call Brett? phone's dead. Yeah, you wonder why they don't just fucking do that. Wait, what is he recording on? He said his phone's dead. Well, he's got okay. two phones. He's got one to record on, and he's got the other one to uh, actually do the stream. Yeah, Savages in my town in your chat said they swat or initially swatted the restaurant they were eating at. Oh. I, I guess that's how this started. I, I don't know. I haven't been keeping up tonight, aside from the uh, Arab Andy thing. No, I'm talking to him. Give me the phone. Just, uh, okay, well, I'm Cassandra admits to coke and, and scuff Steve Jobs to okay, meth. Brent. What? What? <sighs> it takes a million years for my shit to pop no, up, so maybe I'll see this before. 2020. I just wandering around. I really do think, I really do think all this shit's gonna end with like this huge fucking Wall Street Journal, Washington Post article about Ice Poseidon, Poseidon and the dangers of, of YouTube live streaming. No, no somebody got arrested. Oh, okay. you're well, in the you're the Arab Andy, Andy that, one, okay, they kept sending in the the audio bite of Keemstar yelling the N word. So maybe we'll get that spread around a little bit more too. I don't know. I don't, I don't, my phone's dead. I don't know. I'm wearing some ghetto ass I think it was uh, set to the to the up. Thomas the Trank Engine theme song. Some, I don't know. I'm <laughs> Here, yo, Amazing. share your location with okay, me. I'm sharing location right now. All I know is at the end of the, uh, the Arab Andy thing, they were playing the cops theme, and I was fucking dying. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, pretty good. They're playing the ISIS song and fucking <laughs> cops. Yeah, there's a great shot of the cop pulling the phone out of the bag, and it's just like, the cop doesn't even know what's going on, and he's looking at the phone like a retard while the cop's theme song is playing. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly. Both of you just shut the fuck up. There's like, there's no other form of media w where you're gonna get that, where Dude, you'll have a cop who arrested a guy, and you can pay money to make something matter. play out loud for the cop. Matter, it's like a once in a lifetime no, thing. Get out of here, dude. How many viewers do I have? Bjorn, stop. How many viewers do I have? Do they get away or do the cops find these guys? I think they I think they got away. I, I don't know. How much how much longer is the clip? Uh it's a couple of minutes. It's That's not much two minutes. Minute. A minute? Yeah, it's nothing. Like like sitting and arrested or beaten. Like charge. just just don't skip ahead, <laughs> yeah. skip ahead. Yeah, I want him to get beaten. Well, at least he yeah, did the I mean, Spartan thing. I mean, Arab Andy stuck around that fucking university for like 10 or 20 minutes after that happened, and I think that's how the cops caught up to him. Yeah. All right. Well, nothing happened. They walked yeah, away. Retarded. Did the cop literally just look for an Arab guy with a phone? Well, yeah, it's easy to catch these guys. The description is probably just look for the asshole with a selfie stick. Well, so like, it sounds like a wild bitch that keeps screaming. It sounds like they called the cops for, like, a bomb threat, and then they just, like, started yelling at the one guy with a beard. Oh, no, uh, for, somebody said there was a witness that pointed him oh. out or something like that. Oh. 
makes sense. I think sense. it's funnier if they just pulled over the Arab guy. I mean, there was a bunch of witnesses. He went into that room and everybody looked at him when I started playing. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what about uh, Maddox, Jim? I I forgot the conversation you guys were having earlier when when we thought I, it, it's the same conversation. At least uh, it's the same shit I've been saying for the last two or three months. Like it, it's just it's so fucking sad and pathetic that he would have to file a lawsuit of that fucking size and scope uh, to go to court because he's upset. Uh, people are calling him a cuck after he did a fucking video where he told people, "Hey, being a cuck is cool." <laughs> yeah. Are you planning on doing a follow-up video to talk about the outcome of the lawsuit? Yes, when he finally has a fucking nervous breakdown after his next attempt in California, I guess, blows up in his dumb fucking face. Yeah, I'm absolutely going to do a follow-up and laugh at him. Um, his lawyer is known for suing his previous clients to get money out of them. Like, if... Um, <clears throat> oh, that would be fantastic. Oh, that would be the, uh, uh, the fucking icing on the cake, wouldn't it? Well, because the lawyers got sanctions against him, like uh, Weber Shandwick, the giant PR company, um, even Asterios has filed sanction to, sanctions against the lawyer for attorney's fees and uh, disbarment and whatever, like whatever the court wants. Uh, the law, his Maddox's lawyer has a history of suing previous clients for not paying their bills. Like he's got he's got this he's got a bit he's got his business. Uh, set up perfectly where he sells delusional people um, custom bespoke lawsuits to suit their to suit their fantasies of what justice is and then when they fail he sues them for how much he imagines that they owe him oh that's that's of course of course he does what a great lawyer I, I was gonna ask you um, this lawsuit where was it filed what state was it in New York where nobody lives Medic yeah that, that that's that's the thing. Isn't his Patreon going to get fucked? Because I thought Patreon had a user agreement that states if you want to dispute them or take them to court, it has to be in California. I mean, I mean it's a two hundred dollar Patreon. Yeah, his two hundred and forty dollar Patreon. Like, uh, I don't think. I mean, Patreon. They didn't they hire like big fuck you in the ass lawyers for this. I, I don't think they're. Yeah, I think they'd be petty enough to want a little blood for this. I don't think they hired externally, but I'm trying to get. I'm trying to get the court tra transcripts for the Patreon case, which was the day before ours. Um, Patreon has in their user agreement that you have to do mediation in California. And mediation is like half law, half business. So if, you, if you're a big company and you hire the mediators, they kind of want to make you happy. Uh, and the mediators have like the ability to say, you, you idiot, the guy that's guilty, you're paying for all this. Uh, so they could easily do that. I just want to see it happen because it's another revenue source. Like, I want to see it be the most disastrous fucking outcome that can possibly happen because at this point, I can't imagine he's sitting on, like, a big nest egg. Oh, he's got to be fucking in poverty now, right, Dick? How, how is he even paying for this shit? Maddox has a, has a federal tax lien against him. I didn't uncover that. Some A dickhead uncovered that he has, like, 40 grand in uh, back taxes, probably from the 200000 he made on his last successful book that stupid i'm um, better than your kids book uh that sold abysmally he got two hundred thousand on that he probably didn't pay his taxes because he's an idiot and he owes like forty thousand dollars to the irs I, he has no money other than that and his website cost what forty thousand dollars yeah uh yeah. i don't know i don't know how the, i don't know how the motherfucker makes any money uh as far as i know the only money he's ever made was with me and the biggest problem in the universe, and that, that had had to have dried up long ago. How does his website cost 40K? Because he's, he's retarded. Uh, yeah. <laughs> like, holy shit, that you said that. I was like, the fuck? Does he pay somebody in solid gold to manage <laughs> yeah. his website for him? Jesus. Yeah. He wanted, like, an app and an interactive voting algorithm that could... Uh, he wanted, like... Uh, he wanted like Super Bowl style interactivity on his website because he's a big fucking superstar. Why would he settle for anything less? Has he heard of strawpool.com? Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't use any wants... tools of the proletariat. That's that. <laughs> he wants a freaking Super Bowl style website mm -hmm. with a budget of like Pop Warner football. Come on. Yeah. It's insanity. You gotta budget yourself right. He doesn't make enough money to do stuff like that. He's not big time. I don't know. The fallout's gonna be... I hope the fallout is as um, devastating as it should be. Well, maybe he's paying his lawyer in Mad Bucks. 
<laughs> no, I, I've really enjoyed this. I love internet lawsuits because they rarely ever work out for the person that fucking files them. Yeah. Uh, so watching this kind of blow up in his face has been really great. What was going... Let me ask you, uh, Jim, what what could have been going through his mind when he actually decided to commit to this? And I said this earlier, I said, this is off-brand. Oh, I'll tell you, this- my, my personal guess on this is it's petty fucking jealousy. Uh, he, I think after the split, he got fucking angry. Uh, the dick is making a lot of money and has a big audience, and he doesn't. And I think he wanted to take any fucking swipe he could take, and he thought this was his end. He was going to nail your ass to the wall with this. Yeah. And uh, he's a fucking idiot that hired a dumb fucking lawyer, and it blew up his stupid fucking face. It's that's just... that's my take on it. Well, I, and I think that's probably accurate, but I just, like, I just, what was he thinking? Like, just This is why you don't hire a Simpsons character as your lawyer. <laughs> Even if you thought, of course, his case got dismissed and there was no merit. But even if you thought you had the case, you were, you would sit here and say, "Like what? This it's is- got to be mental illness because he fucking yeah. sued Patreon and Weber Shandwick." But there's, there's no, no way point. Same oh, man like, would think he would you win. Gotta, you got to remember, Maddox's mother, at least his mother, is a degenerate gambling addict, like. Big time, blowing his entire college savings on gambling. And if you're a gambling addict, the second you put one quarter in the machine, you're in, you're in for a penny. You're in for a fucking pound. As like as soon as you blow, as soon as you blow a dollar in, you're in for the rest of your fucking life. As soon as he, as soon as Maddox blew up the biggest problem, he was in. Like he was in until I got fucked. Like until he got money out of me in some way, so like all of all of this is a slot machine. This is this entire thing, uh, the restraining order that his stupid cunt girlfriend got, the loss, the lo- the lawsuit that cost him his entire career. Like he'll he'll never live this down. The entire the entire internet could be wiped out. There's still gonna be some kind of like stone disc somewhere that <laughs> alien plan. They're gonna resurrect it, and it has. It has uh, it has history of Maddox's lawsuit. All of this, all of this is just I see as just a junkie at a fucking slot machine, pulling and pulling and pulling and hoping, hoping that hoping that eventually it's gonna say, uh, uh, Dick Masterson loses, and it's never gonna fucking say that because the house Dick always fucking wins, man. That's the fucking point. Yeah, he hates you so much he has become the embodiment of the sunk cost fallacy. Yeah, yeah. Well, what I find amazing is I haven't seen like I, I I've been following this since it kind of started. I, I really, honest God, haven't seen any website or any forum or image board or really anywhere uh, that's taken his side, which is kind of remarkable. Like everybody just shit talks him all the time now. Have you been to TimPool dot com? Yeah, it's only like chinless fucks like mundane Matt and noodly armed losers like Chris Raygun and his fat cunt girlfriend. Like the only people that take his side are e-celebrities that have this weird nostalgic like i think they i think they um they use him as like a human shield like they're like well no he can't be wrong because i like him yeah it's and- always people that have met him and they always say oh yeah i met him he's a great guy he has to be right he's a great guy i met him at a con yeah it's always these fucking losers that go to cons like oh the vidcon shit yeah yeah oh, they've become fast yeah. friends at vidcon yeah like, it's people who are afraid. Like, Sargon goes on his show. I mean, I think Sargon is kind of a fucking... Like, I have no desire to talk to that guy. Um, I get that he's famous or whatever, but he seems like kind of a fucking know-it-all and a prick. Yeah, we, yeah, we've been trying to get him about on Sargon? Here. Yeah, I yeah. thought Sargon was in this... In this <laughs> I, like, I, like, <laughs> I like how Ralph perked up at that. Oh, you're talking about yeah, Sargon? Got much, <laughs> yeah, we've been, we've been trying to get Sargon on here uh, for a little while. By the while, way, but... I, I don't know if I... Oh, and I forgot to respond to this, but, uh, you know, one of his uh, liberalist uh, lackeys, is that rude to say, messaged me and said, you know, maybe, you know, might be a chance Sargon would come on your show, but uh, maybe just you and him talking. And uh, Oh, this, this is again, he, he, he did this shit with, uh, with uh, Tonka on the morning yeah. Tuesday. Like, yeah. he had yeah. 15 different rules, like, no other guests, you can't ask me this, you've got to talk about this. Like, I've, I, it's so weird. I, I've been on a ton of fucking streams. I've never said, 
we can't talk about this. You need to do this. You can't have it. It's not my fucking show. Yeah. I know mean, you're going on. I'm kind of gay in certain ways. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there he is. I mean, it, it was, it was weird when Michael Jackson did it on The Simpsons. Like, it was weird when he had demands at all. But these, like, these, these e celebrities are so fucked up. Uh, they're so obsessive and controlling because their piece of the pie is so small. They're. Their audiences relatively are hanging in by a thread, and they they evaporate in and of themselves. Like e even if you're producing good content, they go away. Like their in, their entire ecosystem of uh, obligation is driven by fear, and everything that they do is is uh, is completely transparent. Uh, eh. <laughs> I don't know, yeah, I don't know. It's gay. Like he, I, I just. Just Dick, are you on. telling me you didn't have any rules when you went on the Destiny live stream? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. You didn't say, "Hey, don't Jontron me on this one." Um, no, Jontron away. Hit me as yeah. hit me as hard as hard as you can. Hit me with your best Jontron. Hit me with by your. By the best way, best. by the way, Null wants to come back on. Is that is that okay? Do you guys think? Yeah. yeah I don't it's your show, man. Yeah, sure. You don't have to fucking ask us. Well, I'm asking. <laughs> I said, I said, Destiny. Before I went to stream, I was like, "Look, send me your best dick pic." Like, I know they all got <laughs> late because you were messaging like a 15 year old girl or something. I, I, I don't know. That's just what I heard. But well, that's send, all you can get when you're only five foot three. Send me your best. <laughs> I know that you're both the same height, and that's cool. It's age is really a that's a that's a construct. Height is, <laughs> is better as a better indicator of who. Um, is of compatibility, but just send me send me your biggest one to intimidate me. That's all I want. Before Speaking it. of age being a construct, I, I think, Dick, you and me should try to convince Medicare to do an internet insanity about David Clegg. Oh. Who? Yeah. He's, we, a, uh, he's, he's a, a caller to the Dick Show, and he's also been in uh, a lot of my community's uh, bullshit, and I think he's a prime candidate for some... I mean, he, he doesn't like... Uh, Grab his shit and play with it like that one guy, but he's he's still pretty uh, entertaining. I I don't know. Send me send me some info. Send me some uh, some screenshots of the the shit he gets up to or some. Uh, he's like the clips most sophisticated pedophile in the world. Oh, he's uh, a pedo, of course. Yeah. Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. Uh, you know, I, I'm trying not to make my fucking uh, channel pedo outwatch, but <laughs> <laughs> like every they fucking video. Fucking... I'm sorry. He's the most sophisticated ebophile in the world. It's oh, it. No. Yes, oh no. Oh God. Like, no, it's not even Ebophile. He he was dating an eleven year old girl. Oh, okay. Yeah. I think Eb is like like teenage. Yeah. Yeah. I uh, I don't know the distinctions between each of these. Oh, I've, I've done my research. You start getting into the distinctions, you've already lost. <laughs> yeah. All right, let, let, let me read these these shekel chats. Internet tab said Paddock's Paddock's shooting up the kill stream F. Internet tab then said hotel Wi Fi can't handle Jim. And that's literally right when it crashed. Uh, Sir Real says Elon has better space tech than Kim Jong Un, so he can talk as much shit as he wants. Uh, PJ Veritech didn't say anything; just did a super chat. And then Trevor Coburn says, "Jesus Christ, just put this stream out of its misery." Love y'all, but whatever BS Motel Eight you're staying at is shutting this shit down. Well, we're back, so fuck you. PJ Veritech said, "Roseanne didn't do nothing." My foreskin is missing. Said new one for you. Why do monkeys always frown? Because they know in a million years they're going to turn into Oh, blacks. no. Yeah. Oh, no. Uh, Thanks for Tundra, saying. Yes. Tundra Theory says, apparently you can yell fire in a movie theater. Stephen Thomas says, this is the exact number of Arabs we need. Mike, and that was zero. There was, there was no number there. Um, Mike Hunt said, hey, Jim, what's next on the roster? What are you working on? What am I working on? I well, for like the last week or two, I've been uh, stalking furry communities because uh, there's a series <laughs> I, I wanted to do on that shit. So I've been going, man, they, you know, <laughs> like the shit they put up on DeviantArt is like the tame stuff. Like there's some really fucked up shit. Um, so that's the kind furry of community is falling apart. Yeah. So <laughs> it, it, there's some just fucking bizarre dark shit going on there. Since since you're talking about furries, did you see V's stream about the the furries? What was it like two days ago? Oh, are you asking me if I watch fucking V? No, I don't. <laughs> I, I just saw it because he was Hey, hey, Jim, do you wa did you watch the Gypsy stream? No, I didn't. I'm sorry. I missed that. It sounds real uh, fucking entertaining, though. I'm just saying, because since you were stalking furry communities, he had alt-furry people on, so... It was... It was... 
weird as hell. That's all I'm gonna say. And he, uh, it, I, it was, I guess I'll check it out. I, I like, don't know. Like the I, first, like I tuned into it. The first five seconds, he goes, "Yeah, I used to be a furry." I'm like, "Yep, figured that." V figured that. <laughs> My question is, how many terabytes of furry porn do you have on your computer for all this research that you're doing? A uh, fucking none. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I'm waiting for the day the cops knock, and I don't want to have a bunch of fucking uh, guys in fursuits yiffing each other and try to explain <laughs> that to the police like I'm not some kind of fucking degenerate. Um, okay, so here's from Fistable, uh, Fistable Frodo for Monkey. Uh, did, what about your school shooting movie? He's asking about that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, cool Cat tried to scam uh, my fan base. So now I said, uh, if you don't know Cool Cat, was, and if you don't know Cool Cat, that's a whole different thing. But uh, Cool Cat was going to make a new film called Cool Cat stops a school shooting and he wanted like uh, ten thousand dollars kickstarter for it so i i convinced him uh, if my fans help to fund it can i be in the movie and he's like yeah of course you can be the school shooter fuck it <laughs> <laughs> cool cat stops the school shooting but then he he wasn't even close to the goal like he was he was like short four thousand dollars or something so that he changed what the kickstarter was for with two days remaining and i said that that's fucking fraud how dare you? So I convinced everybody to get thousands of dollars of refunds. And then I said, fuck it. I'm just going to make M Monkey Jones stop the school shooting. <laughs> so that's the film that I'm going to make this summer. And if any of you want cameos, you can fucking be in it because I don't even care. It's just it's a five dollar budget film. It's All fortunate right. you did that because he would be liable for fraud. if it went All right, through. Let me let me read the rest of these these shuckle chats. And then we also have a, a new guest. Well, he's not really new. He. he been here before a um, returning yes guest. a returning guest uh hessian and uh stream Lab says ralph thanks for putting dick in our ears uh have the blue check marks trying to justify pedo crap lately ha i guess have they been trying to justify it lately yeah i mean they pretty much always are it's been a twitter moment see if it makes him rage uh and then goy george <laughs> goy george that's pretty good i have to say I want Lacey Green to dress up in a concentration camp costume and come all over, all over her Kazar milkers, to be honest. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> well, quite specific, I have to say. Uh, Mike Hunt says, hey, Jim, you're going to dox yourself? Meet Sargon in real life? Coward! <laughs> I love, uh, Jim, I love everybody who calls you out for, like, not doxing yourself and not posting your address on twitter yeah. why don't you it's show so up and talk to him in person what it's the not worth it unless you are really dedicated to fucking crazy people it's not worth it jim it's well, like yeah, it's, it's watching fucking... them like hump the ground they're so desperate <laughs> well, <it's all> these... <laughs> oh, oh, oh come on jim come on jim it's all these fucking people like i've noticed that a lot of them that say it have all turned their fucking identity into a brand like yeah. they're selling merchandise yeah. and like that's their brand thing right like you know, Sargon of Akkad is now represented by that image of who he is. He's Carl. And like, it, it's just really bizarre. Like, I don't think if they were a brand in and of themselves, they would be that tenacious about it. And it's it's bizarre watching people go from like anonymity is great to, oh, you're terrible for being anonymous. I just don't get that fucking mindset. It's a desperation tactic because they, they want to pick beef with you for popularity. But there's nothing to by gain the way, from doing that. Sir, hold on. We have some, some more Shekel Shads. I'm not going to read them right now. I'll read them in a few minutes. Why don't you introduce yourself? You've been on here. Oh, I'm Josh. And, and while you do that, what do you do exactly, though? I run I run a little website called the Kiwi Farms. Oh, oh shit. Kiwi oh. Farms. I think I heard of it once Wait, or twice. Wait, Ralph, did your guest say his name was Josh? Because I'm fairly certain Jarbo runs <laughs> <Yeah>, Jihadi Jarbo. <laughs> I'm, yes. I'm fucking up. I'm doxing you by by giving you my name. I'm I'm just splitting the identity. <laughs> you know, the funny thing is, of course, this person was a complete idiot. But you can actually like, I think the Hoy search or who is whatever. I always say Hoy's. Maybe I'm wrong. Whatever. It actually shows your name on there, right? When you when you look up Kiwi Farms, does it not? Am it's I wrong? not only not only is the site tied to my name. I think yeah. if you click one of the introductory, I have a guide when you register. That says, yeah. don't do this shit or people will fuck with you and they will ruin your life if you don't follow this guy. And to give an example, I, I have edited a post that has my real picture and my real name. And it's just uh, the lyrics to Notorious KKK. By <laughs> and I'm like, I just say to people, 
don't post anything that you would not want your real name and picture next to. Because if you fuck up, that will happen. <laughs> so I, I set the bar real fucking low. I make sure people That's understand. That's kind of nice to do, though, isn't it? Like you no, I, I'm, I'm a huge care bearer, and I look after my flock, and people <laughs> blame me for it. But it's, it's, it's appropriate. If you don't do it, if you let people get fucked over, nobody wants to join your community because it's, it's, it's awful. I'm like 99% sure that David Clegg has a Kiwi Farms page dedicated to him. Who? It's the guy we were talking about earlier. Just you know so who me. does? Mr. Burgers. Um, Burgers? No, yeah. Uh, Mr. Burgers, the guy, the guy who's responsible for all the racist and death threats uh, that were in the lawsuit, was a guy um. named Mr. Burgers, and I've tracked him down through Kiwi Farms <laughs> and found that he was a huge Maddox fan and hit him up for a confession. Oh, shit. That he was, that he was sending Maddox and his um, cunt girlfriend all these death threats and, like, racist threats, like, just for fun. Um, yeah, Mr. Burgers is a huge celebrity on Kiwi Farms, and it, like, it, I don't know. It didn't end up doing anything, but it was a huge load off. Was he running the dick show HN page, too? No, he doesn't give a fuck about the dick show. He only cares about Maddox. Oh. <laughs> what, a, what a slap in the face. He's the only fan. So, Man. <laughs> Imagine getting fucked over by somebody that's supposed to be a fan. Yeesh. Yeah. Oh, I mean, yeah. Well, it would have been time, useful though. if the court, the case progressed at all, but it, it thankfully did not. It was actually, it was actually a very fast case in, in terms of of turnover for, for did you Wall read? Like did you read the case? Of course, I read it. I read everything. Oh, so it's one of the only things I, I don't follow as many threads as many people think. I don't have like an encyclopedia knowledge of the uh, of the website, but I do follow the dick. Yeah, all I'm saying is, is if you read that, you knew how quickly it was going to be like thrown out. <laughs> like it's all the word cucks in there like twenty times, and he like blames all this shit in it. It's like okay, buddy. Oh, it, you couldn't have written something better. It is a comedic masterpiece. <laughs> So hey, funny. Jim, what would it take for you to go undercover as a furry at a furry? <laughs> <laughs> I, if I did something like that, I'd have to be full fur suited, which oh, would yeah. be uh, horrific yeah. to begin with. But I'd probably yeah, do well, what the, the dude who showed up at Dashcon did, where he pissed in their fucking ball pit and then videotaped it. <laughs> what would your fursona be? Oh, I don't know, man. I, well, I could, hey, I could go as cool cat and then try to convince them I'm the actual cool cat and then be really creepy towards everybody. <laughs> <laughs> just like really inappropriate comments to everyone and just see how long it takes to sink his fucking reputation. And if somebody tries to shoot up the con, you can stop them. <laughs> yeah, in front of the bullets. Yeah, there you go. Can you do the voice, the cool cat voice? Sound really excited for everything all the time. I, I could go all technical with it and make a little soundboard so it's just pre recorded creepy shit that fucker <laughs> said. Uh, that would work. That would work. I mean, I assume most of the furries there call each other Daddy Derek and stuff like that, so you'd fit right in. Ah, uh, yeah. I, and then, but then again, like, I mean, this is a community that jacks off to fucking Tony the Tiger from Frosted Flakes. Like, <laughs> they freaked him out so much he had to tell them to stop tweeting at him, so I don't know how oh I fucking know. Yeah, I, how I cope at a fucking furry convention. No, you'd be, you'd be great. <laughs> this is a, like in a side story, but somebody was telling me about Rainforest, which is a, a big furry convention in Portland. Yep. And they invited, uh, well, they, they didn't invite, but the, the baby furs showed up. And the diaper oh, no. furs are apparently the, the scum of the earth. Everybody fucking hates them universally. And they, I swear to God, the story was they left shitty diapers all over the place as, like, Easter eggs. Yeah, they, they Easter threw egg cut of actual soiled diapers. Yeah, they put them on like, parked cars. I yeah, saw a and video on it. Uh, to from this Internet day, I think all furry conventions are banned in Portland. You can't have them there anymore because the hotels refuse to let yeah, you have some, your furry convention. Because you're going to leave shitty diapers everywhere. Yeah, somebody from that con who worked on it sent letters to every hotel in the vicinity and told them how shitty it was and everything that went wrong with it. So they couldn't do it anymore. Yeah, Internet Historian made a, a video on it, and I watched it, yeah. And the real problem with the furries now, from what I've heard, is that the 2016 election has completely destroyed it. There is nothing left. The people, like, it's it's communists versus, like, Nazis, and that's the state of the fandom, apparently. Nope. It's the alt-furry versus the, I guess, the Antifa furry. I, yeah. Can you really picture that, though? Like, when you, when you think of their community imploding, did you really picture in your fucking head... <laughs> 
like a zebra and a penguin screaming about Trump. Like, that's not what I thought would <laughs> fucking break them apart. But it is what did it. It broke uh, the fur camel's back, I guess. Oh, Ralph, you know, I, I'm noticing some dead air here. Do uh, you got Viva La Rasa ready to fucking play to fill that up? No, actually. Uh-oh, here we go. <laughs> no, no, no. Actually, I do have something. Did you know Tariq Nasheed got swatted today? Wait, what? Tariq, really? Tariq Nasheed Wait, got really? swatted. Yeah, see, I have stuff. See, no dead air. Not here. Not the Ralph retort. <laughs> yeah, Tariq Nasheed got swatted today. There is Fox 11 has uh, has coverage. I, I can play it. I can play it. And he has play video. Please do, because uh, I haven't seen it. So I'll bring it up. Give me one sec. By the way, I was I was eating um, rotisserie chicken. Sorry, I, I <laughs> it just so happened right when I came back. It happened to be right when. It's all good. So here here's here's a tweet from Tariq Nasheed. Here's a full news segment from Fox 11's coverage of the swatting assassination attempt. <laughs> A group of online white supremacists tried to carry out against me and my family today. The people responsible are associated with suspected <laughs> racist real ice Poseidon. I the I, the right. FBI oh. should investigate. And I'm going to play the video right now. Sky Fox Los Angeles police officers <laughs> creeped from his home, Tariq Nasheed. I mentioned I he fucking love the internet. When police first tried to make contact by telephone. Oh god, it's so awful. I think Tariq Nasheed is the only the wearing? only guy so who's fully again, realizing what it's like to be a black and not in America. To his front door. Like he's the only one that's taking advantage of it to his people <laughs> pointed at me. <laughs> he called the police back and was that advised and to go outside with his ID. They were told that there was bombs well, in the house black. and bombs. Yeah, exactly. Black 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 tied up. Black black it was just a whole thing. They and, and, and again, the police kind of <laughs> suspected that it could have been a swatting thing. Swatting is when someone makes a false report to police, prompting an emergency yeah. response. Yeah, this is just isn't the same without talk about fucking tonight. text to speech Nasheed shutting is out. A popular figure on <laughs> fucking YouTube racist and shit. Has produced a series of documentaries about blacks in America. Anytime you talk about racial injustice, oh, I got to make you a target. Going back and Marcus Garvey, Malcolm X, Dr. King. He believes be white supremacists are behind the swatting, the, the same ones that troll him online I, I and have sent police on false anymore. reports to his public speaking events. Go to this, jail though, is the Chris. first time he's been targeted years, at home at and involved uh, wait, his wife and about, child. Uh, Chandler, she Chris remained Chandler. cool, but questions really? why he was yes, handcuffed the, when police already suspected this was a bogus call. They were actually good guys, and I take my hat off to them. They were very professional. But what if they weren't, You know, that's a dangerous situation to put somebody in, especially a person. Every now and then, I noticed he started shit talking back on Twitter, which I, I don't think I've ever really seen. That's him being natural. Well, he also points to an incident I, I, in Kansas that, earlier this year. That's when a man here in Los Angeles told called to swatting be, in Kansas, you know, and then the man there was the killed ship. by police. He talked, and, what is and the they're trying to stop playing the news because they can't hear us. Okay. Go ahead. It's, but yeah, it's um he's he's been in a bad bad place for since like November because people have been fucking with him, and it got to a point where they've they've it's not trolling it, it is criminal activity and I'm very happy to say that I think they'll be going to jail for for quite some time. Wow. I, I mean it's kind of fucking ironic, right? You would think Chris would be in jail for the GameStop shit and the the fucking. Uh... What was the one where he ran the guy over with his fucking car? Oh, that was Michael <laughs> Snyder. He was banned from a game store, and he and his mom went there to protest it. And they, but he, Snyder had told them not to come back. It was like the third time they've come back to the store to yell about him being banned. So he tried to block the car to give it time for the police to come up. And uh, Chris was not having that. <laughs> he decided he was going to go anyway. Snyder would be damned. And thankfully, he didn't go to jail for that. That would be tragic if he did and sender wasn't too hurt so it's just a funny story shit i i was gonna ask too uh actually i was gonna ask dick somebody said in chat that you had a rant about chris ray gun you had a little a uh, jab yes. at him dude it was really good. I, I i missed that so what can, can what, did you two have like an interaction or something uh i mean i don't know if i can redo it hopefully some hopefully someone will clip it and put it on youtube and says and uh, i'm gonna clip it yes but Big go Ashton hates chris cuck ray gun and <laughs> cuck gun what did you call him uh cuck, i called him ray chris, gun chris ray cuck uh yeah, cuck, cuck. Cuck, cuck. um he was like chris ray gun was on maddox's show a couple times and when the lawsuit hit I said, like, yeah, man, so the guy that we've been telling you you're kind of a maybe a hypocrite for endorsing and promoting because he's a cocksucker and his girlfriend is a cunt and she's got a restraining order against her for 
trying to get people fired, trying to get my girlfriend fired, and like you're uh, you're fucking around in um, in crazy land. Now, finally, we've got some evidence that this guy is a fuckball. He's got a four hundred million dollar lawsuit against free speech that's enjoined like peep comedians, their jobs, all this extra shit. You want to like you want to pay attention to this? And he goes, well, I don't I don't want to involve myself in petty drama. He said, OK, um, petty what, drama, four hundred million dollar lawsuit, petty drama. What do you they're what just trying to one up your lawsuit, now, Vic. <laughs> like, have you, yeah, have you ever, have you ever defended yourself against anything? You are, you are some, you are some noodly armed fuck who writes parody songs about uh, being triggered. Like, your, your, your whole ballywick, your whole personality is based on people being offended. But then you're going on this cocksucker's show and promote like a guy who's suing over her feelings. You pompous ass motherfucker. Just say, I don't know what you're just say. I don't know what you're talking about. You don't have to say, oh, I, it's petty drama. Like, you don't have to write it off. You don't have to write it off. It's it's these it's these guys who are famous for the first time in their lives. And all of a sudden, like they're learning what it's like to be a high school jock. Um, don't don't all don't always protect your bros. But he he kept. He, um, how he stood by it. He just every fucking time. Him, Chris Cuck Ray Gun, uh, Mundane Matt, the fat sack of shit, like the g- gelatinous, the gelatinous, uh, beanbag looking motherfucker, the mojo looking <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> who thinks, who thinks that facial hair is a chin? It's not. Like, he's not fool. Matt, <laughs> Matt is not fooling anybody. That scruff, that fucking putting green he's got stretched, that chin strap he's got going from ear to ear is not a chin. Is not a chin because in real life, mundane Matt looks like a pasty Gumby. Like he's got <laughs> a flat face that looks that looks like the vampire in Blade. You, everybody remembers Blade, the comic book movie with a standout black lead, Blade. I'm not talking about the Black Panther. I'm talking about fucking Blade. Where he's got that disgusting, uh, dis- disgusting blob of a, van- of, a, of, a, of a vampire creature that just looks like a fucking triangle. Looks like a, looks like a giant-sized toddler that's been fed grease for 40 years. That's Mundane Matt, except they slapped a little woolly willy on him. That's Mundane Matt. That's Mundane Matt, a soy-soaked, penisless abomination who's, who's full of hurt feelings and uh and desperation anyway all these guys guys, go ahead i was gonna say you guys should be happy usually you have to pay to get these rants in advance (laughs) (laughs) i just i really i really fucking hate these assholes who uh claim to be like like so so many of these so many of the skeptic community and so many so many of these talking head pricks uh uh like make their money on outrage and they're no di- they're no different than the than like the most pathetic uh, mainstream media uh, whatever who just tries to whip up your emotions like for and then they pass the collection plate around but it, when when it, when it's happening right in front like every everybody's fine yelling at the sun everybody's like oh fuck you fuck you god fuck you sky fuck you sun you fucked me again it's like no uh, the sun didn't fuck me this time. It was your friend right there. What do you think about what do you think about that? Uh, I don't feel comfortable. I don't feel comfortable making a stand in my personal life. Like I just want to keep yelling. I just want to keep yelling at the sun and then collecting money from from people who think I'm I'm defending them against something. Like yeah, okay, man. Um, that's that's my rant against Cuck Ray Gun. Okay, uh, yeah, because I I wasn't sure what the backstory on that is, but I mean I get what you're saying. I mean I. Uh, it's, well, in Matt's case, especially because I mean, he was part of that candid shit where they're making fucking AI to censor you, and I, I think he's I think he backed Sargon on his law or like on his legal defense against uh, what is her fucking name, Akila? Akila, yeah, yeah Akila Hughes. Yeah, yeah Akila Hughes. Where it's it just it's ridiculous shit. Um, the, yeah, it's it, it's such an overreach with a four or three hundred million dollar fucking lawsuit uh, because he's upset somebody called him cock because. Maddox has said worse shit on the internet himself, and he would have laughed at a fucking lawsuit like that ten years ago. Yeah, 
Well, I think that isn't it the LA lifestyle or wherever the fuck they did. It changed him because now he's disavowing chapters of his book saying it's too edgy and he didn't mean it and all that stuff. It's, is, it's, that, is that what it was? It it's was weird. It's, it's a weird like uh, ring kissing atmosphere that you have to do in LA. Like, I've, I've, I mean, the, like Harvey Weinstein didn't do anything. He just existed in a position of power. It's just that LA turns everyone into whores. Like, L.A. makes women, uh, L.A. preps women to fuck anything to get on TV and movies, and it makes men ready to say anything. Well, that's like, the that's the funny thing. You hear all these celebrities talk about rape culture, and it's like, what the fuck are you talking about? I've never heard anybody in my life condone rape. And then you yeah, figure yeah. out later that it's Hollywood. Yeah. They're all fucking rapists and crazy people in Hollywood, and they're projecting it on me. And it's like I don't, I don't appreciate that. I don't fucking need this. Yeah, they're all attracted to it. It's, it's fucking. I mean, they're weird. not even rapists. They're just guys who say yes. Like yeah. they happen, to, they happen to have a job at a stu- at a movie studio, and uh, women will throw themselves at it um, like they're worth nothing, and they are. <laughs> well, you... somebody brought up in the chat, he said, uh, L.A. makes people like Corin. Have you seen Corin by any chance, Stick? Is that the Baked Alaska broad? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's not the young one, it's the older one. They're both the same, though. By the way, she's yeah. messaged me. She, she's she's uh, sending me a uh, text right now. Let me guess, she wants to come on stream yes. for only 30% yes. of your super chats, right? <laughs> she, wants, she wants to come on... <laughs> I want to talk to Joshua, owner of Kiwi Farms. I said, can you use Hangouts? She said, no. And I said, well, you can't, <laughs> I said, well, you can't get on then. And uh, she said, okay. I'm in Malibu with celebs and rock stars, I but I will call in. Uh, I'm not a professional streamer. I'm Generation X. You should have told me. That and- bitch is not Generation <laughs> X. Are you fucking kidding me? Have you seen how old she is? Like, fucking No. Ask She's her right. where she was when the Challenger exploded. Ask her where she <laughs> was when the National Anthem. Look, Corinne, that, if, you can, if you can use Hangouts, uh, I, 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 I would prefer if she didn't. I'm having, I'm having a chill atmosphere. She said, you made fun of me, and I've been hearing about it all week. Thus, yeah. I want to work with you as it builds both of us. No, I'll bring her. Oh, God, please bring her up. <laughs> but be a good mediator. <laughs> I want to talk to Kiwi Farms for real. Oh, Listen, God. Yeah. I will bring you on. All you have to do is literally click the Hangout link. It's not that hard. Yeah. If you have a fucking Gmail, you can get she, on. She's Google just going to say the same three or four fucking things. Well, about yeah, how women and shit. It's, God, she's so fucking annoying and awful and stupid. She's such an insipid fucking cunt. I can't stand her. Yeah, yeah I'm, 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 I'm there with you. I, I, I'm fucking there with you. Yeah. The only thing she can do is <laughs> Don't worry, show her Instagram not... like seven times. She's you not... know what? She, she'll come on and say the, uh, the, uh, the same three phrases. Yeah, uh, this is a this is a Me Too generation, oh. forever, and she'll spell it out, and then she'll talk about I I'm so new at this, you guys. Do you know how to TTS? Do you guys know how to set up a stream? Can you help me do my technology? That's all she. Had. Those Be are the three. Yeah, those are the fucking three <laughs> things she parrots every fucking time she's on. Yeah. I just said, can you click Hangout? LOL. She said, how? I'm in the middle of Malibu. Okay. Well. She figures it out. Uh, uh, somebody said I mean, Malibu doesn't chat. make you retarded. I'm very. Yeah, no, that's not <laughs> what do you mean? How? How do, how do I click this? Phones how? work exactly the same in Malibu that they do all over the rest of the world. But Dick, she's with Tell her to press Alt F4. It fix everything. Yeah. No wait, she had two hundred thousand subscribers. Don't. No, she didn't. She's uh, such a lying. <laughs> <laughs> of course she didn't. Yes, I know. <laughs> Those were views, and even... Ralph, even why don't you views. ask her Ask her uh, question for me? Because it's like, okay. what, midnight in fucking Malibu? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, why, why don't you ask her, what is she doing in the middle of Malibu at midnight? Is she walking the street? Would you ask her that for me? Okay. <laughs> Wait. What Got him. Doing? Got him. Okay, I'll ask her. She's probably watching this. She already knows. She's watching this, no doubt. I mean... Oh, is she watching this? Is she watching this on the? uh, How else would she know? Yeah. On the iPad she stole from Paul Danino, allegedly. Is that what she's watching this on? (laughs) Walking street. What are you doing in the middle of Malibu right now? Question. Walking street. Question. She says, "I'm with a rock band that is super famous." (laughs) Yeah. In the recording studio. Okay, which one? 
Uh, that's such bullshit. How the fuck did she lie like that? How does she? Corinne, think we can't have you call enough? in. First off, I'm not even running the stream. Like that's how bad <laughs> my internet is. Like I had to have somebody else run it. So. Anyway. Yeah, have you noticed too how she'll always say super famous, powerful people, but then she yeah. never tells you their name? No. Nope. Yeah. No, but wait, she's friends with Ted Turner. He he wants to launch a new CNN. <laughs> <laughs> with her in the he wants to run, launch a new CNN, and me and her can can possibly host our own program together. <laughs> what else is like she... the Regis and Kathy Lee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Ralph, I think she's confused when she talked to Ted Turner. I think he said, I want to redo wrestling again, and I want you to wear a chicken suit in the fucking uh, the, the ring with uh, Hulk Hogan or something. I want to relaunch WCW. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you did it perfectly. You know, I'm actually mildly concerned that she will launch some frivolous bullshit uh, legal suit against me. Because uh, she's the type. going to hunt down Landau. <laughs> no, she seems, just I mean, don't open like, your door, man. That was my mistake. Just don't <laughs> well, open can't, the door. Can't open you. Does that work, Dick? If you just don't answer the door? Oh fuck, yeah. yes, it does. They have Matt to serve you. Didn't get served. No. Eventually, they can't. If they attempt to serve you through all reasonable means, they can eventually just put an advertisement in their local paper. Yeah, say, but but to do that though, they have to be certain that it's one you uh, that they have your identity and it really is you. And then two, they have to be certain you live in the region they put it in the paper in. So if they can't confirm you as being you, that's putting not it true. Uh, Cause cause the one, some psychopath went after my aunt and she was able to put an ad just in a local newspaper. Yeah, but the, 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 what I'm saying is, were they certain it was your aunt? You get what I'm saying? Like, if well, your identity's out there though, so you're kind of fucked. Yeah, no, uh, which is fine. I'm gonna. I guess I'll ask Dick to borrow his lawyer because he has a lawyer in Cali. That'd be fun. I'll come oh, over. I'll meet I'll you in the, the paper. You'll be oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> um. So, who was that? Was that somebody in chat said, "Please spare us, Corinne." Look, she's not gonna be able to figure it out anyway. Oh, ask her, ask her who the super famous band is. I want to. Say, I want the name to ask it's her. Probably the band from that Vegas was... show that celebrated the death of the country fans. Oh, no FX. <laughs> yeah, Noff X. <laughs> no, I'm sure he's putting out fires right now. He can't. He can't who is this her. band? Okay, I just sent her that. Well, yeah. she she messaged me like I didn't send anything to her. She just like I guess heard this was on or was, or was watching it already. Like, I want on. I want to talk to the owner of who Kiwi the fuck Farms. is this bitch? Because I have no idea who we're talking about. Ah, uh, some fucking whatever nutbag from Ice Was Ice well, you, you have to give him a better idea than that. Okay, so I want you to imagine a Barbie doll that had a blowtorch taken to its face. That's kind of what she huh. looked. Oh. Okay, and, and she's she's she makes up all these like elaborate fantastic stories about personally funding the LAPD and hanging out with Hollywood and politicians oh, wow. in Washington, uh, and yet. You know, as rich as she is and as famous as she is, she can't seem to sue Kiwi Farms to make them stop making fun of her. It's been a month now of her complaining about it and threatening lawsuits, but never actually going through with anything. Now, is she well, actually, does she have like a following? Is she famous for something? No, no. 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 The only people that ever watched her were like Ice Poseidon fans that wanted her to kill herself. So, <laughs> but, I mean, that's you literally. Spamming it in her chat. Yeah, I mean, I'm not even joking. Like, this literally the only people who ever watched her. What's funny with Ice Poseidon is that after a point, she said, like, aren't you famous? Aren't you famous? You have the money to pay me. And he's like, no, I just had, like, a couple thousand viewers. And she's like, oh, okay. And then she left. She just fucking left. Tell her there's a producer on your show that wants to make a, a movie about her life story. <laughs> <laughs> She will. She will literally walk to Ralph's house if he tells her. That. <laughs> I'll do it. I'll do it. Get her on. I'll. I'll be the producer. We have oh. a producer who wants to put you. Yeah, he. You used to produce episodes of Doctor Phil. Yeah, now you want to branch out. <laughs> you know what's funny is you could probably send her the uh, the Dick Masterson Phil Doctor Phil appearance and say that's me, and she would probably believe it. <laughs> and she would start doing her fucking rant about how he hates. No, wait. She said her daddy was going to sue you. Yeah, she did. A multiple he, times. Are, oh, are she sent me an email, that? actually. I did she? What did it say? Um, oh, it, it's just some bullshit. Oh, here's what happened. She sent me a threatening email saying, like, uh, you're you're posting my personal information. You can't do that. And whenever somebody who wants attention starts emailing me shit like that, and I, I know that they're after attention, I usually just start replying with the, the phrase, the single phrase, 
I am not interested in promoting your content at this time. And I don't make a big fuss out of it. She sent me, she's the only person, I've done that to 10 people. She's the only person to send messages as a follow-up to that saying like, but you've already promoted my content. You've already promoted my content. And I just keep regurgitating this fucking phrase back at her. Like a and, bot. Yeah. And she still kept replying. It happened like 10 fucking times. I will, I will find the, uh, the actual email though. So I said, I said, okay, hold on, hold on. I said, what are you doing in the middle of Malibu right now? And I said, Waking Street. I meant Walking Street. Uh, and then I said, who is this band? We have a producer who wants to put you in his movie. Yeah. She, she said, okay. <laughs> she said, okay, I'm at a recording studio in Malibu. I'm downloading Hangouts now. Yeah. And I said, come oh, on. Oh, what here. a thirsty hey. bitch. The <laughs> you said producer. Download it fucking faster. This guy, he's got money and it walks. <laughs> Do famous bands usually record at one in the morning? Yeah. yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you know. Yeah. Because they do so many drugs, they like they wake up at two. So this is like their three PM. Yeah, anybody else catch that response that she didn't name the fucking band? Real real convenient. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And like all of a sudden she's downloading hangouts now too. Uh when she downloading. She Just couldn't so, use it for weeks, but now link. but now she's all over it. Like, yeah, I'm getting it, I'm getting it. Uh oh wow, super chats. Excuse me, shekel chats. Uh, been killing it, Ralph. Thumbs up, thumbs up. Thank you, Mike Hunt. One hundred percent Italian says, "Show Jim the Pokemon vid." Have you seen that? Oh, uh, which one? Uh, hold on, I'll have to find it. It's oh, called Pokemon it the, Go it, to the Polls. It's really funny. Hillary Swift's up on stage. Is it the one he played? Uh, I think it was yeah. yesterday with yeah. uh, uh, V and Sargon. Yeah. V is eradicate. Yeah. 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 No, I saw that. That was really well done. <laughs> that was good stuff. <laughs> Uh, oh man, I wish I could do cool shit like that. Um, Macabus says, "Isn't Mumkey good friends with Shoe on Head?" <laughs> uh, she followed me on Twitter, and I was like, "Oh shit!" And I I tweeted about it, saying, "Oh, this hot chick is following me." And then she instantly like blocked me and deleted all the tweets that she posted <laughs> linking to my videos. This shit. <laughs> I called her hot, and she like had a meltdown. Uh, I guess Pregory didn't like the. She, yeah, I was about to say, you know what probably happened is she probably fangirled about it, and then fucking big ass Greg walks in the room. What the fuck is this? I mean, you have to imagine something like that because from her content, it, doesn't she preach about how girls who do that kind of shit are like retarded? Yeah, yeah. she's not that pretty guess. much. But All right, Dick Tano. Dick Tano says a big yeah for pain. Wienerstein. Yeah! <laughs> From Phil with the TDS tattoo. Oh, Phil on toe. Red. Gerudo Tempest says, ask Jim his thoughts on the guy with 60 terabytes of child pornography. Yeah, can somebody explain to me how that's fucking possible? <laughs> like, the, the amount of child porn is ridiculous. He would have to have a copy of fucking everything. Like, every kid that's ever been touched was on this guy's fucking computer. 60 terabytes. Well, you yeah. know what? I don't want to bring down the, the, the atmosphere, but you know what the more likely answer is, right? He probably had a high digital recorder and recorded it himself. Okay, see, this, somebody brought this up, and I'm, I'm trying to picture the pedophile that wants everything in 4K with, like, black. <laughs> you know? Yeah, isn't the grittiness of, like, the dark basement, like, what helps get them off? Well, yeah, apparently he wanted high-definition tears. Like, I don't understand <laughs> how you need the 60 gigabytes of it. It seems kind of fucking ridiculous, but... Oh, That's why they fired Zack Snyder. Is he involved in this somehow? Yeah, okay, it's fucking creepy. Uh, Ralph, I, I just sent you a link to the uh, the email. The, she gave me a voicemail, too. I forgot about the voicemail. No shit. You, oh, wait, you sent it on Twitter? Yeah, just retweet it, because I can't post it in chat. Twitter, I'm a complete degenerate, so Twitter's definitely the, the best. And it's, it's best you just retweet me, because I can probably get banned for that, and it won't affect your account, hopefully, if I do get banned. Okay. Um. Okay, that was you, Josh, right? Yeah, the Kaiser. Okay, all right. She left you a voicemail. Yeah, it, she also docks herself in the voicemail, so if you're interested well, in that, I mean, she, uh, well, it's probably already out there, but if you want to hear docks, her... By the way, the kill stream, we don't support doxing. Please don't harass anybody we're talking about she here. She herself now. as a fucking voicemail. No, no, let's just, let's just put that up. Yeah, 
Yeah. Ralph, Ralph, why are you winking into your camera? <laughs> <laughs> it's like I just, I just want to say. every time she's on air, she just always says her phone number like eighteen Here's times. Here's the post, by the way. I'll send it to Zidane since I can't actually like make it come up, but he can. Thank you, Hotel Internet. <laughs> but yeah, there's there's the clip. Jesus Christ. She said she's downloading it. I don't even know if I want her on to be on this book. I uh, wouldn't yeah. don't either. You should message her and say, "Hey, time is money. He's got important things to do." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Important things to get to. No wait. She says, "I got hangouts. Now what?" <laughs> oh no. Oh. Oh I fuck can... it. You know what? Fuck it. Fuck it. Ralph, you need to send this dumbass. To a website that's gonna download a fuck ton of malware onto her phone. Tell her you need an extension. What's a horrible website to send her to, and fucking get her to download something? One of those dot ru sites. Yeah. Uh... And she repeated, "I'm at a recording studio in Malibu." Why would I give a fuck about that though? Like, I don't... Outside the <laughs> recording studio, with hiking her skirt up, looking for a ride. I don't even know. Oh. <laughs> Tonka's in chat. He said, "Do the right thing, Ralph. Kill that link you sent to her." But we know it's going to be hilarious, though. I mean, part of me says no, <laughs> don't bring her on. The other part of me says this would be fucking funny as fuck. Yeah, yeah we, we can just kick her anytime we want. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll see. I'm still not confident that she could actually get on the stream. And <laughs> she will. I will say this: if she makes it on the hangout, she will have impressed me. So. You should ask your chat. Uh, chat, uh, press one if you think Corinne will actually make this work. Press two if you think uh, <laughs> she's too fucking dumb to make a hangout work on her stupid phone. I don't have a lot of confidence. Oh, she is. She's dumb. Yeah, no, she is. She is dumb. Zero she is a dumb chance. Dumb. She's a hundred percent. It's That's more likely. Producer. It's more likely she's going to like show the hangout link than it is that she's actually going to get in here. Maybe it's. She heard us talking shit, and she wants to post a link in the chat. I'm seeing a lot of twos. Well, I mean, if that does happen, it wouldn't be hard to, like, counteract. We would just... Or maybe since she's hanging out with Nickelback, we'll get them in the stream, too. No, she's here. She's here. Oh, no way. way. Nickelback! <laughs> no way. Wait, I'm screaming. Is that okay? Wait. She's I here. do not fucking believe it. <laughs> no way! Yeah, she's here. Hey, I'm Corinne. Here. Corinne is here. It's really dark. I, no one can see you. I know because I'm in Malibu and I don't want anyone to be able to know where I am. I'm at a recording. You, you can just turn off your camera. Uh, what band are you in? What do I do? First off, let me eat my words. I did not think. Yeah, I didn't think so either. You I able. figured it Corinne, out. You're proving you a it? lot of people wrong tonight. You're proving a lot of people wrong. Dude, you I'm made so, it. I'm such a cool girl. We should all just get along, seriously, because I have a lot to offer. We can't, your see you, though. we can't see you. We can't see I you. Know, on the pull, pull I'm, a I'm in the middle of Malibu. <laughs> I know. I know where Malibu is. My friends yeah. don't want me doing this. Like, they don't want to be part of all this drama. They don't want to be I seen know, on camera with, with you. Part of your story. You've got an incredible story to tell. I it's do. Perseverance against bullying. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> why wouldn't they want to be a nice. part of that? Wait, why is someone nice on the phone? Is that wrong? Oh, I mean, I mean, I'm not I mean, I'm nice. I just, I like making good movies. I like making compelling stories. Have you seen the X-Men movies? I like, no, I don't watch those stupid movies. I barely watch movies, you guys. I'm very busy. I Have mean, you seen Dr. Phil? That's okay. We want to make a movie about Dr. you. I don't Phil. The point so is. I think you... that we should all make peace and give good content because I have a lot to say that's going to piss you all off. No, no, no. We don't want that. We want positivity. You've got a good story. Oh, you want positivity now, not negativity? No, no, no. We don't want negativity. We're done with negativity. We want positivity from you. Okay. We want to know what you want to tell to the world. Wait, who's talking right now that's being so nice to me? This is such a that's blessing in disguise. Producer. I'm a this film who, producer. This oh, is the I mean, guy I was telling you about. This guy's got connections all over okay, Hollywood. Wait, Jamie, I'm totally lost. What do I do? Um, we gotta see you. We have to see you. We gotta show. We gotta see you on the camera first. Okay, hold on. You want me to? Pl I mean, I'm trying yeah. to my If you can find a black minute. leather couch to sit on, that would really help. Okay. Yeah, you, okay. Can I call you're you in your car. Back? You said you were okay, in a recording studio. Can I call studio. you guys back? Because I didn't want anyone. No, Corinne. What are you doing? We don't want. Can I call you back in five minutes when I get? Corinne, come on. I don't want anyone 
to know what I'm doing. You're in your car. We can see. <laughs> we can see you. Just stop. She's with her John. <laughs> I know, but what, I don't. I'm on Zoom and Mesa. What do I do? Karen, did you not figure out the car door? I was. I went from impressed to disappointed again. Real quick. Oh, you are. Okay, that's so sweet. Do you care if I'm streaming? I'm streaming on this guy, Ralph. Why would he care? Yeah, he's he doesn't know me. <laughs> okay. I'm streaming on Ralph's show. Oh, okay. No problem. You're kind of cool. <laughs> oh, it's Ralph. I like that guy. <laughs> no big deal. I'm when is she going to show her tits? Show Bob's. Okay, so you're in the driveway waiting? No, don't. Actually, okay, don't. Okay, I'm going to come right. I'm coming right. I'm there right now. You guys, I'm at a really famous person's studio, and I can't tell you who it is. You're it's in your car. <laughs> what are you talking about? I had to get out and go get a bottle of wine and talk to you guys because all my fans are texting me that you guys are talking about me. And now I'm going Karen, to... Karim, we literally weren't studio. talking about you. You just messaged me. and You said, I want to talk to the owner of Kiwi Farms. and he. I actually... know. Everyone's texting me that you guys are talking about me. So... We weren't, though. Anyway. Okay, okay, so you weren't, okay, so fucking forget it. I don't know what to say to you. I'm trying to help. No, but you wanted but... to talk to the Kiwi Farms dude. He's here. Oh, yeah, okay, Joshua Moon. Is that his name? Hi. Hi, Joshua. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you? Do you, you? want me to name the celebrities I hung out with today? I could not possibly give less of a fuck. Oh, I want to hear. You can tell me. <laughs> come on, come on. Oh, okay. Uh, Joshua, you wrote that I don't know any celebrities and you wrote these really stupid things and it's really dumb and I'm suing you, dude. Yes, okay. Daddy, Tom Girardi's gonna be up your ass. He You're doesn't do personal lawsuits like You're that. He represents sexist. companies that it's have customers. No, 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 Josh, you're getting it's your ass sued. It's the Me Too generation. It's Me Too and you cannot be sexist. I told you. Corinne. Is even a real person? Yeah, Corinne, yeah. I think we can all agree that the pussy has the power. Am I right? <laughs> And hanging out with celeb, if, if we can all agree with that, and if you are hanging out with celebrities, then you are hanging out with celebrities, and no one. I know, but none of them want to hang out with you guys. That's the problem. They think How many others, potted they plants have they jerked off are. into? Nobody wants to know. Nobody even knows who you guys are. Well, you know who you are, Corinne. I mean, I think she died. No, she's roboting. Well, that's what happens when you drink boxed wine in a car. <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's in but the Karen, studio. But, There's but no wait, good but signal. she says nobody knows who we are. I mean, that's probably true, but but, but you know who we are. I mean, you we know, have a producer of the Dr. Phil show. He's, he's real big. Corinne, he's not like she did. She's still talking. She's just talking to herself. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Is this like a night? <laughs> Oh, what is going on? Uh, no! <laughs> Can we kick her now? Yeah, I think. I think. Corinne! I, I just see lights in, in yeah, her camera. I, I like, don't... she's desperately wandering around a parking lot. <laughs> is she, is she right living out of her car? No, there oh, wait, we... there's, oh. there's her face. Hold on. But I can't hear her. Yeah, we can't hear you, Corinne. I love three frames per second. This is quite <laughs> Oh, look, she broke into somebody's studio. <laughs> oh, shit, is sorry. that Nickelback? Well, yeah, Nickelback obviously records at Holiday Superstation. Of course, that's a <laughs> pretty good location. It's like the Planet of the Apes at all. Every... She's talking and we can't hear anything. It's no doesn't testing. realize she muted herself. Oh, m Did she mute herself? Or no, she's not even her. listening to us. Yeah, she's still talking. <laughs> I can't hear you, Corinne. Oh, it's like, Corinne. Corinne, if you can't make the sound work, we're about to peacefully sunset you. I feel like I'm watching that fucking VHS from The Ring. Like, it's just <laughs> frames with fucking shots of her head, and then none that, of it makes sense. Whoever is running the stream should click her avatar so it, it full screens it, so people can see what I'm watching, which is fucking... Oh, Just, I'm not running the stream. But there you go. I don't, I don't know if that made it full or not. Yeah. It did, and it's all pixelated, and it's. She, uh... she does appear to be at some. That's a soundboard. She, she's staring at her one. camera like a monkey, trying to figure <laughs> out what it is. That is a real mixer. Corinne, we can't hear you. Does she even have headphones in? Can she hear us at all? No, she's just she's staring at oh, her phone. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Malibu. 
perfectly. Uh, oh, she me? said she can hear us. Yes, we can hear you now. Yes. Okay, good. It was muted. Sorry. <laughs> All good. All good. Keep on Hopefully, you can file lawsuits better than you can operate recording equipment. Corinne, these guys are saying that you don't know any celebrities. I know how to find. I know how to find the best lawyers, though. Let me tell you. Yeah, but those aren't celebrities. They're saying you don't know any celebrities because you're not mm, cool. I don't care. Do you think I care about what you guys say? How many yes. lawyers go to the red light all district? I know, all I know is that I want to give you guys the ultimate respect because I think what you're doing is the future of all media. And I want to <laughs> help spread the word that it's really cool. But the way you bash me is stupid because I'm on your team. And so you shouldn't make me an enemy. I'm a worthy ally. So right. Cal Chris said that she's using a green screen. <laughs> what do you think, Jim? What, Jim, what do you think? I mean, what do you think about? What do you think about? What do you think about? Oh God, I'm just gonna ignore that. Oh, I'll, I'll answer your question, Corinne. A green screen is a screen that's green. I know it's complicated. I'm not using a green screen. I'm not. Do you know green screen is though? Do the people that own that studio know you broke in? What? Wait, what? She said something about sex with a 23 year old. Jim, you realize that these days green screens are blue screens. The reason that I started. Well, I don't want to confuse her too much. You add in a few more primary colors in her head. <laughs> I asked year old and made a really stupid decision, and that's how I got to know all of you guys. Okay, what did you say about fucking a 23-year-old? You cut out. Exactly. You can't hear, can you? No, we can. It's because you're in a fucking studio, and it's blocking the sound. Celebrities. No more. Oh, God. <laughs> this is such a disaster. <laughs> uh, oh, there she goes. Get her out. Dick, I have to applaud you. You're, you're fucking, you're sharp. You're sharp. I saw what you were doing. Oh, thanks, man. I'm just. You should have asked her about her dad. Yeah. If I don't, you know, if we could have got through the robot stuff. Yeah, she, she. Well, you know, women like they get they get real upset and they throw out everything, and then there's a moment when they get tired, and that's when you hit them with the dad stuff. They're like a horse. Like you're gonna dad her. What's that? You're gonna dad her. Well, that's when you just ask them about, like, that's when you get personal. Like, what, so what did your dad do to you? Obviously. <laughs> <a lot. laughs> but, you know, it's not usually all that bad. What do you think, uh, Jim? She's a worthy ally. She, she, she thinks we're the future of, of all media. You ever see, like, a, a clip of, like, a soccer match where the goalie <laughs> fucks up and kicks it in his own net? Yeah. That's, the kind of, that's the kind of ally and teamwork she's representing for everybody here. Yeah, sounds uh, right. Yeah. Yeah, self-destructive allyship would be what you would fucking categorize. I just want to know what studio she's at and what poor band let this woman into the recording area. They have to be fucked up and passed out somewhere. Well, it sounds yeah. like it's a I mean, 23-year-old. She legit looked, I mean, it did appear no, to be in the studio. She was probably fucking one of them in the car. So one yeah, of the how else that's... would she be in there unless she was fucking some guy in the band? I'll tell you guys who it is. It's a, it's Malibu. It's a, It's a community of old rich guys she was in a studio probably built by some 60 year old guy uh who has dreams of making it big and his cover band lured her back into their little uh into their love den to record <laughs> like beat boys covers that's the band that's the band she was in in malibu right now because nobody I mean, fucking records in malibu Oh, well, I mean, imagine the quality of the band if that's a groupie, you know, <laughs> like if that's the one. That... <laughs> exactly. Well, it's, that's the one they invite to the studio. It's a Thursday Harry night. The they're drinking early. This is what they got. You just got to deal with it. Well, at least I got one of three. She did say it's a Me Too generation. If she had been on longer, we would have got the other two classic she, lines. She said that I hated women, too. Yeah, we got the... To be fair, I do have to give her credit. Yeah, yeah, she did hit that button. I gotta <laughs> say, like, I have to give, you know, a tip of the hat to her actually making it on the call. Yeah, there's no way I thought she was gonna make she it. couldn't do that a week ago. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as you said movie producer, she was, like, on it. That's literally what got her going, yeah. 
my favorite part was just when she was holding the camera up, looking at it like some kind of like a like a primitive trying to figure out what alien technology was. It, that was that was fucking. Yeah, she looked like the cop from the stream earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Bad boss, what you gonna do? <laughs> uh, Is so he at? What are you going to do? I mean, you're going to get sued now, right? So you've yeah, got to run in cover, right? Well, gonna... I've been sued three times, and each time it's been thrown out of court, what's called sua sponte, which means that the judge reads it, says this is fucking garbage, and just dismisses it automatically. But her dad's rich, didn't you hear? He's a big guy. I did guy. hear it. I did hear it. It worries me. <sighs> just don't open the door. Well, yeah. the thing is, I have, uh, I have a, a not like a P.O. box, but like a, a virtual office in Florida. And that's my official address for everything. And it, those guys, they're just the fucking worst. And mail gets lost all the time. Oh, that, that's very true. But, I mean, the one thing I'm trying to, like, picture in my head is this, this chick's got to be, like, fucking 50 pushing 60. So her dad has to be, like, 85. <laughs> that's so how is, she, how is she explaining this to him? Like, people are making fun of me on the Internet, Dad. He probably doesn't know what a computer is. I would say she's I – would, I would guess 48. How old do you guys think she is? 42. Oh, yeah. you guys are way too fucking generous 52. with the amount of plastic surgery she's had. No, that I bitch is plastic, say, 58. 53. Yeah. Uh, uh, too bad. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Ooh, Corinne is back. Welcome back to the Me Too generation, girl. Oh, yeah, is that a photoshopped profile Wait, picture? Man, I can't even hear him. That's not Photoshop. That's just like drawn. No. <laughs> hey, Corinne, Corinne, what was the first concert you went to? Um... The first concert I've been to this year or last no, 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 year. No, in your concert. life. In your life. We're talking John we're Cassidy talk. at the Hollywood Bowl. John Cassidy at the Hollywood Bowl. How old were you there? Oh, God. Do you think I remember? I'm ageless, timeless, and eternal, and I'm probably a vampire. <laughs> I probably never died. Probably like 14. 14. I'm probably a vampire, and I probably never died. Why does age matter anyway? Why are you? Why do you care? Vampires you're are pretty die. good description. You're going to die no, no matter I'm what. Trying to, I'm trying to prove that um, age doesn't matter. Um, I don't think age matters. I think what matters is your is your passion in life. What was, you will your, die at um, some what was the first movie you remember? What was the first movie you were your, your inspired by? Your charisma. Your charisma yeah. is what matters in life, dude. I don't care how old you are, and I'm not going to tell you who I was with today at dinner, but age she is Aquarius. probably one of the hottest celebrities in the world. Age of Aquarius. And she's got three kids, and she's like 65 now, and she's still hot. Yeah. Hot. What do you think about Tom Jones? I don't think anything about Tom Jones. What do you think about Tom Jones? Who is Tom Jones? We have no clue. All right. Give me another one. Ask me about Robert Plant. Ask me about Bono from U2. Who's the hottest singer in the world? Uh, what was your, what's your favorite Robert Plant song? Axl Rose. My favorite Led Zeppelin song is Thank You, the greatest song ever written in the world, because no matter what, you have to be grateful for what you have. Where were you when you heard that? How old were you when you heard oh, that? Oh, I like this person talking. Who's talking to me now? It's I'm a still the movie producer. Film. Oh my God, you're like normal. I like you. Yeah. Um, what's your name? Cast, I'm trying to cast women for a new show about anti-bullying. Well, guess what? I'm the bully fighter. You're a bully fighter, really? Oh yeah. Uh -huh. Why do you think that? Yes. Why do you feel that? Can you guys see me or not? Unfortunately, no. How do I make you guys see me? Well, who's? What's the band? What's the band that you're there recording with? No, I'm in a recording studio that go that many bands use. How do I answer that question? Well, what, what do I say? I mean, what band are you? What I'm in a professional band recording band. studio in Malibu that many bands use. But Which no one band. is using it right now? What's your, your, I mean, should I say or no? Well, I mean, you know, it would. It's Am all I allowed to say a band? Obviously, but do you, do you want to promote any of your bands or no? Well, I'm you, getting permission. Rock against trafficking, rock against trafficking baby. Rock, rock against one. trafficking. Well, you're right. That is a famous band that we've all heard of. No, it's a concert that we're doing to rock against trafficking. Charity. Trafficking it's of a charity of, we're doing. Trafficking of like cars, like we hate traffic. Of trafficking cars. of little girls and little boys to wealthy people who just want to use them for sex and then kill them. Well, we don't want little boys or little girls driving. They're terrible drivers. They'll cause traffic. Baby, we're talking about sexual trafficking. Oh. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds like a good cause. But, you know, studios studios are not are not necessarily owned usually by the rock band. They're owned by its, its own studio, and the rock band uses it. Most rock bands don't have their own studios. They go to different studios in different really? areas. You so sound because like you're not in rock and roll, you don't get it. You sound like you're well-versed in studios. Uh, I've been to a lot of studios, and I hang out with um, a lot of rock stars. 
and they're all very political. You think I'm political? They're political. And they'd be pissed at Mr. Miniker. They would torture that poor guy. Mr. Miniker. Be, he's so pathetic, would, isn't he? They would be, well, he says too many bad words. And they would be pissed. Uh, it, it's Mr. Minotaur, okay? Oh, That's Minotaur, right. whatever the guy's yeah. name is. Well, it's That's a right. fake name anyway, so why do we care? We can just call him Idiot. That's right. Not, Mr. Never Minotaur is an name. idiot. I agree with you. <laughs> Jim the Idiot, because he'll never give us his real name. But listen, oh, um, most bands first, don't have their own studio. They use other people's studios. Why Correct. is that? Who was the first president you voted for? Just curious. The first president I voted for? I'm with my friend Mac Daddy, and he is owns the studio. Right. Um, the first president Mac I voted Daddy. for, let me tell you. Let me think. Yeah. Was it JFK? Are you crazy? <laughs> Bill Clinton, you idiot. My God, what is wrong with you? By the way, I love Bill. I no. almost had sex with Bill. I love him. Really? <laughs> Wait, <what? laughs> I met Bill in 2007, and I really his charisma is phenomenal. But he's married, and I don't play with married men. Uh, that's interesting. Was it his saxophone playing that Luke? No, that... he is no. the most charismatic man, but he's kind of short. But he is just sexy. You know, when you just meet someone and they're hey, just I'm, sexy for no he's reason. He's tall, wearing couch though. <laughs> hey. And I know Trump. I know all his kids. I know Obama. Are you worried that Bill and Hillary are going to try to shut down this anti-kid trafficking thing? I don't know how. I really don't believe that they're part of kid trafficking. I really don't believe well, that. What do you think is going on at that pizza shop? Um, I think the pizza gates are made up from a lot of different shit, just like uh, Kiwi Farms puts a lot of shit together that is all bullshit. I think that's yeah, what's going on with pizza. Do. They fucking do. They fucking well, do. Kiwi you, Farms talks tons of shit about me, Corinne. I know um, why. Who are you? Um, I'm Adam Schiff. I love you. You're such a good guy. What city are you in? Um, Los Angeles. I'm, I'm in, in Los. I'm in Malibu. Let's hang out tomorrow. Let's hang out. Let's do it. Oh my God, who are you? I'm a producer. Oh my God. Well, why don't you um why don't you come to Beverly Hills or I'll meet you somewhere tomorrow or Saturday? I mean, Beverly Hills is kind of fucked. Let's. Do I think it. that you are kind of lying though, because you guys like to tease me all the time. So. No, I'm, I swear to God. Okay, well, I will help please, you please do your me, movie because it's not the bullying that's happening in the workplace anymore. It's all on the internet now. Internet bullying is the number one biggest problem facing the youth of the world. Yeah, oh, like, yeah, you, you should what see are, what happened to George Azunian. He got fucked by internet bullying. What do they What do they call you, Corinne, like on the internet? What are some oh, of my, Well, like, I got hacked three kids, times by I, like my that? first channel. My first channel was Corinne esque and it was hacked at 174,000 subs. My yeah. second channel, Ask Corinne, was hacked by Daniel Pranzer. Ask who Corinne? Is named you DJ on the Ice Poseidon Ask Show. Corinne? My third channel was hacked. It was called Corinne Ask 2.0. So now I'm on Corinne Forever. I've been hacked three times in one month. So why are people so intimidated by me? I mean, you got to stop naming your channels like Corinne Ask 2 and Ask Corinne and shit like that. Okay, so it's Corinne Forever. C-O-R-I-N-N-E-F-O-R-E-V-E-R. -N -N -E -E and do you want to know something, Ralph? When I went on your show, all night long, people were calling me from all across America saying how much they loved me, and they were saying how worried they were about me, and it was just a beautiful experience. So thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. I mean, you're a really good moderator when you want to be. No, Ralph is great. Wait, did you I really meet do Donald Andy Trump? Worski. I want to go back to that if you can. I want to go to do, I want to do Andy Worski. You want to do Andy Worski? <laughs> no, he's not hot. Baby. He's not hot enough for me. I'm with one of the hottest guys in Malibu right now. I don't need Andy. So uh, I, 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 don't know, uh, Karen, I don't know about that. Gary Miller is not the most attractive man. <laughs> who? Gary Miller. You don't know who I'm with? Well, if you're at his fucking studio, I would assume he's somewhere around there. No, I'm not at his studio. What are you talking about? You said Ooh. rock against trafficking, didn't you? Yeah. Oh, you guys Googled Gary and okay, yeah. Oh, oh everybody knows so, that. God, they're smart. Wait a second, they're smart. I'm not with Gary though. I'm with Mac. Mac yeah, Daddy. Gary's, Gary's way too old for me. What you guys oh, are really how smart. How hey, hey, age doesn't matter, Corinne. What do you say? Yeah. God, you guys are like seriously smart. Gary Gary Miller is eternal. He's everlasting, Corinne. No, he's not hot, honestly. He's a sweet guy though. I don't care about him. I care about the other people in the studio. There's nobody else listed as a producer for this program. Hmm. There's nobody else besides Gary Miller listed as a producer for this Rock Against Trap. No, Traffic Gary's program. not here. I'm not with Gary. Oh. Gary's so what do you think you could do about uh, cyberbullying? Okay, so cyberbullying is the number one biggest problem facing it, the United States of America and the world. 
But specifically, like women, older women. No, no, no. It's children. It's not. It's not because older women don't go on it. Yeah, but older women are always complaining about it. No, they're not. Who complains I mean, about cyberbullying? Only old women complain about cyberbullying. Um, I don't think that's true. Children. I have children. I'm stepchildren true. and adopted children, and they all complain about being cyberbullied. It's their moms. And social media bullied. It's all their moms. Like all it's their all moms. It's all their moms. And old women. Like old women who have too many cats, and then their faces are all stretched out and fucked What up. are you talking that's, about? I mean, that's Wait. just, that's my, as a Hollywood producer, that's my experience about who's complaining about cyberbullying. No. No, the kids are complaining about cyberbullying. What, what kids are A young woman would not complain about cyberbullying. Oh, she, yeah, they would. You know how many playing, uh, three girls getting, that I know have been yeah, cyberbullied by Ice Poseidon's group of idiots so far? What's that? What are you talking about? Um, I don't know. Ice Poseidon's how I started all this. I went to one of his streamer parties, and uh, he bullied three girls already. I mean, I don't know. I don't know these, like, obscure YouTube celebrities you, you're, like, talking about. I'm glad you're saying obscure. I like how you say that because I agree. I think he's an idiot, but he is kicking butt with YouTube. I'm just saying old women complain about cyberbullying. That's 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 like Hollywood ex experience. Like if you come okay. in talking about cyberbullying, I'm trying to change that. I don't want I don't want everyone to think that old women are, are complaining about cyberbullying. I want to make it young and new, and I want to know young to girls because what happens is guys will say you're fat, or guys will take your photo yeah. and then put you're a naked old, girl on it. And your chin, it's little like, kids, skin is hanging off your chin. Right. I have teenagers and cyberbullying is a really big issue for them. Yeah, but they're young. I'm talking about you. Oh, me? I fight cyberbullies. I didn't even know it existed until April 18th. I had no idea. What happened on April 18th? On April 18th, I started dating a 23 year old who's a live streamer. And Whoa. I had so much fun with him. And we almost had sex on stream. Oh. Like we were having fun. And I had no idea what it was. And I started getting hundreds and hundreds of phone calls. Yeah. And people asking me to do pornography. Nice. And uh, how much would it take bullying started. Pornography? How much would it take? How much money? To do what? Pornography. I would never do pornography. It's tacky and I'm not tacky. What about like tasteful pornography? We, if, never like, do it. No interest. I'm going to have sex tonight though like 10 times and you no, guys aren't. We're not Neither of you guys are going to have sex tonight. We're not I'm going to like 10 sex. times. We're talking about art. Without yeah. condoms. Nudity has been a, a cornerstone of art since the Did you guys just hear what ages. I said? Yes. I said, I'm going to have sex 10 times tonight with one of the hottest guys in the music industry and you guys aren't. How hot is have sex at all. <laughs> well, I, I heard the other part where you, you didn't repeat it. I have you seen you Harvey Weinstein's you. cock? <laughs> Never, but you know what? I have to tell you something. My girlfriends who did, did it because they wanted to and they wanted to get into his party. <laughs> and so You're I don't think right. that he is... I think there's something else going on because those girls did it because they wanted to. Yeah, so they I think know he's what's getting going lied on. About. I think they're lying about Harvey Weinstein. I think they all knew what they were doing, and they did it because they wanted to. Yeah, I think he we can all agree he did nothing anything. wrong. Yeah, he obviously didn't. Corinne, I, mean, I think his brother is trying to take over his company. Virginity to? Who I lost my virginity your to? Your song, the song you, the song you heard when you lost your virginity. Do you remember what it was? The song I heard when I lost my virginity. It's like a romantic kind of like getting over cyberbullying, empowering women. Do you remember the song that you I lost my virginity? No, that's was no. it Beethoven's I lost my virginity on a beach, <laughs> so it was the ocean. I well, lost my what was the first song you heard after that? What? What was, was the blood first song you heard after that? What song did I listen to after that? I listened to yeah. the sound of the ocean. Do you think it's weird that you're supporting hashtag me too, but then you're defending Harvey Weinstein? Yeah, exactly. I'm not, hey, 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 I'm not defending Harvey at all. I'm saying the girls that I know from my personal Corinne experience wanted to do it with them to further their careers. So they were asking for it. Yeah. No, they agreed to it. They didn't do no, it they, without they, Yeah, they, they agreed. agreed to it. They were I asking for agreed. Harvey Weinstein. Like, yeah. What were they wearing when it happened? I didn't watch them do it, but I know the girls, oh. the girls that I know who got involved with him did it willingly. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. Just like all of them did. Yeah, but I was never willingly, I never willingly agreed to be cyber bullied. I never agreed to have, be hacked. I never agreed to have Ice Poseidon yeah. and other people's pornography put on my channels. I it's have not disgusting. agreed to be cyber bullied. It's not funny. So I'm getting you, death threats. Disgusting. What are you getting in exchange for sleeping with this producer 10 times tonight? Nothing. What? Why, what would I? What, what would I get in exchange? So you just do it for curious. publicity. Publicity? So you can get on what shows like these, these, these top-rated internet programs. I was just teasing you guys. Jeez. Corinne, they don't I was get. just saying my sex life is active. 
Yeah, my sex life is active. How active? With a capital A. I mean, a capital A and C, or just a capital A? <laughs> a capital A. Yeah, you know uh, what I'm talking about. Yeah, a capital STD is more like it. <laughs> Dude, there's no STDs, let me tell you that. I have the best doctor in Beverly Hills. You know what he says you use? Colloidal silver. What does that mean? <laughs> so now he gets rid of the, the world. <laughs> what? You're going to be blue. <laughs> Wait, what, Corinne? What did you say? You use colloidal, so I go to the best, most expensive doctor in Beverly Hills. He doesn't yeah. even take insurance. Yeah. And you buy $80 bottles of colloidal silver. Oh, this and is you'll amazing. never get an estimate. Colloidal silver? How often do you take colloidal silver? You put it inside of you and around you. <laughs> and you have sex. What do you mean? I can't hear these fucking, these savages are laughing. Uh, exactly. You buy an $80, it's, it's, and I'll give Ralph one for free, but he's married, so I doubt he cheats. Okay. But anyway. You know, I've heard a lot about about oh. silver from Alex Jones. Do you happen to know yeah. Alex Jones, by any chance? I love Alex Jones. I want to fuck Alex Jones. He's hot. I like him. <laughs> what do you think's hot about him? I just, I love his charisma, baby. Charisma's number one. And number yeah. two is chill you know, factor, if you're chill and mellow. Who's you the most? You guys know how hyper I am. Yeah, yeah Alex Jones is really mellow. <laughs> no, I said his charisma. I said Alex's charisma turns me on, and the guy that I'm sitting next to right now turns me on because he's mellow and he can Now is the guy this. next to you jealous that you want to fuck Alex Jones? No, he doesn't care. Do you care? I want to fuck He doesn't care. Oh, no. he's fuck guys who don't care about you? Right. Yeah, that's my problem. Let's talk about that. Why do I Wait, I like this now. Why do I fuck guys who don't care about me? Hey, you're so you're taking colloidal silver? <laughs> okay, so the key to not get an STD is you buy yeah. large quantities of colloidal silver gel and uh -huh. you put it all over you and the, the person you're having sex with. Where do you, you put it? you will not get an STD. Where, Where do you put, put it? it? Where do you put it? You put it in and out and all around. You have to put it on the guy's oh, yeah. dick too. Maybe yeah, it. totally. Where in? Yep. Like like spermicide gel, right? Yeah, exactly. Like uh, lubrication. You use colloidal silver that? gel as lubrication. You use what it as lubrication. Like? What? Do you what use it as lubrication? The, yeah, those... use it as lubrication. But I don't. And need what does the gel taste like? My pussy drips. I don't need lubrication. <laughs> you have an <laughs> <laughs> Drips with blood. What? Only on my period? That's disgusting oh. otherwise. I only have period sex is the thing, so I, I got confused. <gasps> oh my god, that's so hot. You fuck your wife on her period? Uh, well, she's my sister, and I don't have a wife. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny, dude. I like you. Whoever that is, that's funny. No, see, we can Another have period. fun. Let's have fun. The whole point for live streaming is to have fun, and it got nasty because I got bullied really bad. When did you get bullied? Well, since April 25th, when I started my first channel, uh -huh. it got hacked on May 2nd. Then my second channel got hacked on May 20th. Then my third channel got hacked on May 21st. So Did I've been prom? bullied. Did you go to prom? Did you go to your prom, high school prom? I went to prom with my best girlfriends. We didn't go what with guys. The... We all rented a limo together. What was the song? What was the song? <laughs> Do you think I remember the song? But I'll I tell mean, you I remember thing. the song. It was like, I get knocked down, but I get up again. That was the song of my prom. You don't remember any of the songs of your prom? No, I don't remember any because I don't even care about that. But what I care about is this. Our homecoming queen, I was the graduation speaker, and our homecoming queen was murdered by a security guard. She was raped and murdered right what before her, what song we did graduated. Do you remember? What song played at her funeral? Yeah, what song? What oh, song? my God, babe, come on. Amazing this Grace. Is music, this is a music podcast. We want to know. Oh, you're talking about music now? Yeah, yeah. it's music. Okay, we talk love to me, music. It's all about, like, cool life music. is all about music. That's why we music. called you at the recording studio. You're playing the rock agents of uh, traffic, anti-trafficking, who rape kids. We're talking about what song was played at your graduation or your prom or the first time you lost your virginity. That's what we want to know. Okay, well, at my graduation, I played the song because I said the speech. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I played the song. There was no song except our band and my speech, which was about the fact that you choose what happens to you in life, and you don't. Yeah, what was the song? You did, nobody chooses to get raped and murdered. There was no song on my graduation. God you damn. You want to know about music? What, what questions? Uh, I just went to uh, the U2 concert last week. Um, this weekend, I went to the War concert, VIP backstage only, of course. How old were you when Elvis died? <laughs> I wasn't alive, dude. Come on. You weren't That's alive when alive? Elvis died? <laughs> what are you talking you about? Even... This is I a serious know. biopic. We're talking about Elvis. Can we talk about Axl Rose for a second? Yeah, how old were you when Axl Rose died? Axl Rose is alive. How old were you when Axl Rose was born? <laughs> Do you think I know, but I'll tell you, I met Axl. Axl manager. Let me tell you about Axl. Axl had the greatest manager. His name is Tom Zutoff. 
Yeah. And uh, Axel made a really big mistake when he broke with his manager. Yeah. And uh, Axel's being managed by his ex-girlfriend's maid right now. But Axel did not did not write a song. He hasn't written a new song for like 25 years. Oh, he man. has 10 songs that are kick-ass cool. Mm -hmm. And he is 56 years old jumping around the stage. And I'm proud of him. He made a Same comeback. Same Die Hard in theaters? <laughs> what? Did you see Star Wars in theaters? No, I don't go to movie theaters ever. Never. You've never been to a movie theater. I've been, but I avoid movie theaters. Somebody uh, in the chat said the, the song at the prom was performed live by Mozart. Aww. <laughs> so just out of curiosity, you said yes. you, you have kids, right? Like, I have what are children, they? stepchildren, you have kids? adopted children, and you yeah. guys. Yeah. Do your yes, kids know I mean, that you're fucking 23-year-olds? Um, I, 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 did, I did confess. I always tell the truth. Oh. But where listen, I saw him. Right I saw like, him last at? night. Listen, you guys, be proud of me. I saw him last night, and I had the courage and strength to walk away. Who? You saw who? I saw the 23-year-old last night, and I walked away from him. How's that courageous? Courageous would be going over and, and sucking his cock. But... <laughs> no, but 10, 15 a.m. this morning, he said, come fuck me, and I said, no, I'm done with you. Ah, that's because I like men who treat away. me like shit. Why do I like men who don't care about me? Because you don't deserve to be cared about. Aw, everyone deserves to be cared about. Nah, they don't. Just your really, you think there's certain people who don't deserve to be cared about? Shouldn't you be yeah, more like concerned about your kids caring about you than what some fucking random men think? No, I'm not concerned about that at all because they <laughs> love me forever and always. All my children love me. How many do you have? I have children, stepchildren, adopted How, children, a and number. boys. Can you count? I have How, many, many. How many? <laughs> I have so have, many. <laughs> have you fucked any of the stepchildren? <laughs> no, I would never do that. Actually, okay, honestly, once I almost did. Oh, oh no. <laughs> okay. Now, how old was he? Was he the 23-year-old? He's really famous. He's at, no, he's at 28, and I did want to fuck him, but I didn't. Oh, you're like, bringing guys younger him. than your kids then. Because oh, I was fucked. He was older than my kids. My kids are cool. teenagers. Yeah, that's cool. But he's 28, and I was fucking his dad, and I wanted to fuck him, but I didn't do it. I why controlled not? myself. I do have control. Yeah, why not? You should have. Yeah. Why not? You should have. But listen, you're all born from sex, so why is sex the bad thing? It's not. It's we're not. We're all it's all born thing. from the act of sex. Yeah, you should have fucked him. Yeah, you no, should have fucked him. If the you're shit born out. from sex, then why is sex the bad thing? I'm single. I'm, I'm not married. I'm never getting married. I've never been married. No I don't have to be married. Did you say your, your husband's or ex husband's kids that you were looking at? I don't have any ex husband's. And I've never How do you been have stepchildren if you've never, never been married? I will never get married. I don't believe in marriage. But you have to you have to be married to somebody to have stepchildren. No, you yeah. don't. They adopt me because they love me. I've got tons of stepchildren. Your stepchildren Cassandra. adopted you? Adopted yeah, kids they love, are adopted. Every day girls come up to me and say, Will you be my second mommy? What the they fuck think are I'm you cool. talking about? <laughs> Is this at the brothel? Is this a cult? Yeah, it's, yeah. There's really a brothel in LA. There's definitely no brothel in Los the Angeles. Cult of Corinne? Wait a minute, Corinne, there's tons of brothels in Los Angeles. Okay, is there a brothel? No, sorry, you guys yes, are so are. wrong. The girls in L.A. are so open. They'll, they'll do whatever they want without anything. You don't need a brothel in L.A. All of L.A. is a brothel. Well, no, the smart girls will charge for it. I mean, whores will give it away. There's no whores in Los Angeles. Everybody does it for free here. <laughs> uh, how long have you lived here? Uh, my whole life. People, people well, do what's it for free What's your whole life? Here. I've lived here since 1954. How long have you lived here? Dude, you're not that old. Yeah, I'm very fucking old. How long you gotta? I mean, how do you how live exactly? Diana making X Men movies and producing Doctor Phil every day. You produce Doctor Phil every day. Yeah, yeah. Do you know how many times I've been asked to be on Doctor Phil and I said no? Um, I would know. Let me check my records. <laughs> check your records. <laughs> yeah. What are you talking about? How long have you lived in L.A.? Do you remember the big quake? Um, actually, I was in college when that happened. I think so. Yes. You were in college when the seventy. <laughs> no, this is like the nineties. You were in college in when the Santa Monica and San Vicente was the biggest quake I've been in. Okay. So you were born in 72. I was born. Yeah. About that time. Yes. Huh. Why does it matter? Um, it, it doesn't. Age doesn't matter. I had a 30 minute conversation trying to figure out your fucking. I, I win. Price is right, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So she's like 48. All right. Well, no, I'm not 48. That's so lame. Come on. 49. 49. No, no. You guys are really bad at math. I'm really worried about you. <laughs> I 
How old are you, Ralph? Fake, that fake laugh makes us Ralph, seem like a Ralph my Ralph is, is 30, my la- you 32. You don't like my laugh? It's sweet. Ralph, how old are you? Ralph is 32. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. Ralph's not here anymore. He hung himself. Oh. <laughs> 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 Actually, it might exactly. not be far from the truth, to be honest. Who am I talking to? Uh, this is oh, my name's My name's Bob. Bob, okay. And I'm Zidane. Okay, Bob. Hey. Anything else you want to know? My Anything name's Asterios. Cool? Anything super cool? If somebody I wants to know talk- what it was like taking Napoleon's virginity. <laughs> what is that? That's like the stupidest thing I've ever heard. That's like dumb. Give me some What? Good. You don't, you you don't fuck Hitler's short guys? Virginity. Yeah, yeah what's wrong with Hitler? short guys? Why give me Napoleon? Napoleon Dynamite was a yeah, great Napoleon film. Dynamite. <laughs> She doesn't watch movies. Remember, she doesn't. She doesn't watch. Oh, that, watch that's right. That's very right. rarely because my life. What do you is like about? Friends, what do you like about this band that you're um, in there um, entertaining? Baby, I'm not with one band. I'm in a studio where many bands record. I mean, what do you like about all these servicing all these bands? I guess then I don't know. What, what do you like? what do you Serv- like? I don't service any bands. I can barely service myself. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to service the band. Uh, yeah, no, that makes sense. I'm yeah, looking at my no. colonial silver. <laughs> no, <yeah. laughs> Corinne, do you know the side effects of colonial silver? Yeah, tell me what they are. Let's hear what you think. You're uh, super empowered. If you're a woman, <laughs> extra tough, and you become empowered beyond all possible dreams. I think I should make the Corinne colloidal silver strawberry gel so it tastes You should. It tastes Good. Disgusting. I'll sell it for you. I will <laughs> buy it. I will buy some from you if you do. I'm going to make some condoms called Corinne Forever condoms cuz condoms yeah. suck. <laughs> I mean, will, will they just be empty packages cuz condoms are bullshit? <laughs> yeah. I like that. That's funny. <laughs> Honestly, if you're going to have sex, you might as well just risk everything. I don't believe it. Oh my God. That's, <laughs> that, hey, that's a good that's a good stance to have. You you're should teach have teenage uh, stepchildren that. Yeah. Yes, if you're gonna go, we, listen. We need as many children as possible in the United States of America. Children. Why is that? Right. We have children. To that with yeah. Because the United States is not growing. We're declining. We don't have kids well, anymore. No, We're, our population is going need to have up. 10 kids. But it, Ralph, it's mostly it's mostly the wife. blacks and Latinos. We need more white kids, right? I wouldn't we had say to build like that, that. Wall. I'd say people like Ralph need to have 10 kids. Ralph and his wife need to have 10 kids. That's, he needs to get on it. I mean, I, I agree. <laughs> get I like on it, Ralph. That might be where he's at right now, actually. Yeah, hey, that's <laughs> Give him donations. Ralph needs to make money to have kids. It's I like don't... 25 grand a month per kid. I've got to say, Corinne, you have a real positive attitude about uh, unsafe sex. I like it. I really believe in sex. You're born from the act of sex. I believe in it. But I also believe that you have to have mental capacity. I also believe in your physical, your diet, your exercise. When you go out for breakfast, do you ever get a blue waffle? I never eat breakfast because I never, I don't wake up before 12 noon. Really? Really. Ever? Ever. Why? To rest? I don't, I don't wake up before 12 noon. I don't have to. I mean, you don't have to, but that's. Can we talk to the guy next to you instead? 6 a.m. and 12 noon. Yeah, I want a a shout out. What do you want? You want, to want to talk to, you want to talk to Mac Daddy next to you? Yeah, okay, put him Mac on. Daddy, put him on. What's up? Hey, Mac Daddy, what's up, man? What's happening? How you doing? We're happy to talk to you. Yeah, yeah, I'm doing good. How about yourself? Very good. Are you a music guy? And by what? Yeah, I'm a music guy. Music guy? Corinne's been talking about you guys are doing like a charity for trafficking. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. How did you? Not how did you? How did Corinne get hooked up with this thing? How did you guys get hooked up together? Oh, I don't know. I think we met at a bar or something. You met at a bar in Malibu? Mm-hmm. Yeah? How's it, how's it, how's it going? You think she's a, th- a sure thing? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. What do you think? Yeah, I think, yeah. I th- yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think. What right. instrument does she play? The skin flute? <laughs> uh, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 man. We love, we love her. What you want to call back and like talk about the experience with her afterwards? That'd be pretty yeah, sure. Yeah. All right. I'll share the, the nitty gritty. Yeah. Yeah. I think let us know if your dick turns blue. <laughs> <laughs> blue water. Hey, Watch hey, out that colonial silver. Mac, I'm not joking. I'm not joking. Fucking, she's not on birth control. Fucking be careful. You know what I mean? <laughs> Wear a condom. Yeah, I, I got you. Boo, boo. Yeah. You know what I mean? You know what you're dealing with. Yeah. All right. Can yeah. you give them a phone number? I give them your phone number. You do. No, no. 
Well, no, give him your phone number that he can call for or or an email address. It was eight six seven five three zero nine. I thought. <laughs> <laughs> We'll, hey, we'll, what, probably Matt, just, how, we'll log back onto here. So, how can I? How can I hit you? Give me your. Give me your email. I can hit you up to see the, the nitty gritty. I want to know the All nitty. Right. Gritty. It's it's I rock against trafficking at Gmail. I rock against trafficking. Okay. Okay. Expect an email from the Dick Show at Gmail, right? Yeah, the Dick Show. Yeah, we when want. When you guys gonna give me Joshua from Kiwi Farms? He's we're trying here. to. We're trying to get him. But the hard man to find. The hard man to find. He's, he's scared the, of me now. He is oh, scared. Is he really? He's got so many glory holes and, and <laughs> truck stops, blowing guys. I mean, it's he called me gross. Like that's just yeah. tacky. He it called me gross. Yeah, I mean, that's Matt liable. Daddy, that's tacky. It sucks. At to least call be him. a journalist and say something respectful. At like least what? say something that's not the word gross. I mean, he has a low IQ. That's his, yeah, that's his problem. But like, that's who he entertains people with low IQs. Um, he doesn't entertain anyone because no one reads his stuff. He's got like almost zero subscribers. No, he has zillions of subscribers. That, no, Joshua has subscribers that are all, they're all stupid. They're all low. I want Andy Worski. Can you get me Andy Worski? Yeah, he's, uh, we have him right here. Really? This guy sounds like yeah. Joe Rogan. Yeah. Joe Rogan. We want Joe Rogan. Andy, are you there? Andy. Andy, if you're here, here. give me a fuck yeah. I don't fuck know. You guys yeah. tease me all See? the time. We don't know if He's it's here. Andy. We've got Sargon of Akkad. Yeah, you want to talk to no, Sargon? No, I don't need Sargon. DJ thinks he's Sargon of Akkad. That's stupid. <sighs> I want I want to threaten Kiwi Farms again. <laughs> I'll do it. I want to bully there, yeah. Kiwi Farms. I think so. I don't Wait, mean... you want to bully somebody? I thought you were anti yeah, I want to bully Kiwi Farms because the, they need to see what it feels like the, to the get sued for everything they bully own. People. Uh -oh. She's a Corinne, bully hunter. You to, uh, yeah, you need to name the bully. Name the bully, Corinne? Kiwi Farms, Joshua something. Yeah, we need to name and shame him. That's what we got to do. I'm not shaming anyone. I'm just saying that... You should shame bullies, Corinne. You, That's just what said, you, should. you just said that they're all low IQ. You should shame. Oh my God! Think You've been slut shaming yourself all night. Wait, I think we tried to make the video work. What do we do now? We just gotta flip it around. Oh my God, we flipped it. Uh oh. Oh my God, we're making the video work. Oh my God, we did it. Oh, there we go. Hey, let's see okay. your kids. <laughs> Is that a casting couch? <laughs> yeah, it's a casting couch. Like I really want to be a singer. I would never do that. I would never do that. Look. Just one, just a little bit. What yeah, is it? One dog it's the bottom one. It looks we need like... one to deal with you guys. No, I love, let's talk what to Andy mean? Worski. Yeah, well, okay, let's get him. Andy, are you there? Andy, Joe Rogan. Fuck yeah. Oh, hey, there, there, Andy's there. Yeah, I'm Andy Worski. What's up? I don't know. Is that the real Andy Worski? Yeah, it's Andy. I don't know. You guys all tease me. No, no, no. Sam, what do you want? What do you want? Anyway, You're alive. I like, I like watching you, Andy. I think you got the coolest show. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. What I do you like about it? You. At least you don't bully people. No, nah, I hate bullying. What do you think about Ice Poseidon? I, I love uh, whatever. What do you think? I mean, I'm nothing. I think he's stupid. Yeah, me too. I don't think this is Andy. It is. It's 100% Andy. Andy said so many bad words. Andy, you're such a gentleman. Like, I like you. I'm proud of you. I like, fucking hate. I fuck cock. I fucking, uh, fucking hate Ice Poseidon. Love him. No, Ice Poseidon's boring. Honestly, he bores me. I want to yeah, do a too. really, really, I want to do really cool stuff. I think his stuff is getting really boring. I think that it was cool in the beginning and then it got really dull. Yeah. But, I don't know. I love you guys and I think that it's really important to uh, just keep on talking. Keep the dialogue right. going. Let's go. Okay. This guy, this guy's got to get a reward. Get get rid of her. This guy's got a reward. No, no, no. I'm talking about something else. <laughs> what are you talking about? Um, I'm, reading, I'm reading my text messages. Give me a shout out, David from Canada. Why would he want a shout out? Can you give me your number so I can text you after the show? Yeah, 917-287-1314. I let everybody call me all the time. Oh, cool. That's fun. Who said I drink box wine? I didn't even know what box <laughs> 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 So listen, 
person I was hanging out with a woman today who has three kids. Uh, she adopted all three. Two of them she adopted on her own. She was one of the most beautiful celebrities in the world. And she's about 65 now. Who is this person? She's not married. I can't say. But is kidding. it you? How old was she? <laughs> no, what? She's like 65 now. She, she yeah, made is it you? Gra- she made some of the greatest movies in the world, okay? And, uh, probably not you then. No, I've never been in a movie. I'm not an actress. My mom's an actress. Who's um, your mom? I would never tell you because I don't want Kiwi Farm to torture her. Has she was she Norma Desmond? <laughs> no, no. But you get that reference. I don't know who's Norma Desmond. Do we know? Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. No, you got that reference. You got that. <laughs> Norma Desmond. You know what that was right away. <laughs> Thank you, Medicare. Norma Desmond. Uh, look at her. <laughs> look at her backtrack on that one. That's that Boulevard bitch. <laughs> I don't know what Norma Desmond is. Me either. Oh, we're playing a song for you guys. Is um, anything this copyright struck? Anyway, that's Andy Worski's too hyper. He's not on. And, and, well, Corinne, I mean, who who's that little boy at the console? He's the boy. He's he's only. How old are you? Twenty one. He's twenty one. Are you gonna oh. fuck him? Gonna I, fuck I, him? I thought you said I thought you said that you were gonna do that. What do you mean? I can fuck anyone I want to fuck. You said you, you you found the strength to get away from a twenty three year old. Yeah, that was Ice Show guys. Oh, okay. can you don't have right to drink. I don't think so. He looks pretty young. <laughs> Corinne, it's dangerous to walk around like you are. Your pussy, you said, was dripping wet. You might slip. <laughs> oh, I agree with you. My pussy drips. You're right. God. And that I, room must uh, smell no terrible. Way to talk in front of a child. Can I tell you what I call my pussy? Niagara Falls. Call <laughs> I'll tell you because I don't Mama? care. My pussy's name is Butterfly. Why? Does it have Beautiful. like the lips that go way out? And then I fly away. See, what? I heard a different. I heard a different nickname for your pussy. People called it roast beef. Can you confirm? <laughs> yeah, definitely, Andy Warhol. You're someone rude, honestly. It's got to be the rudest person, but I heard there's second here yeah. somewhere. I want to see him. I'm trying to think of a joke, but I can't think of any foods that are blue. Blue? That's dumb. I don't even know how to respond to that. Stupid. Colloidal silver dyes your skin. It does. It, makes no, it blue. It you got a blue doesn't. waffle down there. No, it does. yeah. <laughs> blue waffle. <laughs> what do you think's the most important topic we should talk about? Blue waffle. You okay, leaving. I don't know what a blue waffle is. Look down. <laughs> <laughs> well, how do, what do I say to come back to that? You guys are just so sexually deprived. That's all you can do is tease other people. <laughs> we're all having fuck each other. Yes, we're having sex right now. <laughs> when was the last time you had sex? Right now. We're yeah. currently all having sex with hot women. With this young is, women. This is so good of a card. I'm actually watching my wife right now. <laughs> Oh my god, what planet are you from? I like that. He's Sogol of a cod. I mean, this is just so psycho. So, it's, a, it's, it's a screen name. I'm, I'm actually, my real name is Carl. I want Joe Rogan. I want... Well, we got Sargon of a cod. I'm, I'm, actually, I'm actually good friends with, uh, with Mr. Rogan. I could, I could put in a good word for you. Okay, you guys, we're about to have sex. I think I have to go now. With a right. child? <laughs> yeah. I, 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 would, I would like to watch if, if possible. I know, but then the channel watch. None of us want to risk that. None of us want to risk that. Sorry. There, there's plenty of risk already. We understand. This is like, this, this is like the beginning of my channel. I, hey, buddy. I always, uh, if you can hear us, you got to get, get tested really tomorrow, right? Sex, and then I have to go. Yeah, keep showing that guy. He looks like Rucka if he was a little bit yeah, older. Yeah, be sure to tell him not to drink the boxed wine. It's roofied. <laughs> oh. oh, my God. Where would you? Wait. Oh, my God. Fuck yeah. Wait, where would you get a roofie from? Uh, go to the bar. And no, that's you fucking based. What? <laughs> what did they say? <laughs> that's how they make money. So they people pay 5 to $7. And they, oh my god, he's turning me on, you guys. I have to go. I'm gonna go have to oh, go. Jesus Christ. Yes, yes. Good luck. Godspeed. Anything else you want to say? Uh, no. Tell him I'll shoot him an email to find out how it went. Uh, and, and tell him to get tested tomorrow. You guys are so in the men. Like, you don't even care about women. I should be on your show more because you need to, like, really, really, really start. Well, we all, we all love sex. dick here. <laughs> I'm just gay in some ways. Who's Andy Worski? I want Andy. Hey, what's up? I'm Andy. I Andy know Worski. it's time. You're in New York, right? Yeah. I'm in New, love York. New York. All day, every day. I love New York, too. New York didn't love you. And listen, you're a cool cat. Like, God bless you, peace. Like, I know you say a lot of bad words, but I don't care. You're cool. 
Fuck. I like Yankee. Kid. Titty. And I want Joe Rogan. I, mean, I, I, I could work on, on speaking Joe to Mr. Rogan, Rogan on your behalf. <laughs> I'll do it myself. I don't need their help. <laughs> but I do want Kiwi Farms to know that it's rude to call me gross. I mean, what do I say to that, Mac Daddy? If Kiwi Farms calls me gross. I mean, what, how, what's the right Wait, that? Is, is that old? Uh, wait a minute. Is that old white dude named Mac Daddy? Yeah. There's no old white dude here. He's black. <laughs> we, we literally yeah. saw him. He yeah, he's black. No, he's black. Roseanne committed a hate crime against him on Twitter. <laughs> Wait, he, he's he's black? That dude right there that you sat on? He's the, the, white guy, the, the white guy you sat on I is black? Brain. That dude is... That guy's black? <laughs> okay. Yeah, he's black. This is as black as I go. <laughs> what does that mean? Shout out oh. to Floyd Mayweather. I want to fuck Floyd Mayweather. <laughs> I thought that's as black as Would you, you go. Would you still fuck me if I was fucking Floyd Mayweather? At the same time? No, like the same week. If I, if I Ask him if he would watch. In three days <laughs> would you, hey, hey, would you watch? Would you watch her fuck Floyd, no, Ma- Floyd Mayweather? You sit in the corner? I told you I just fucked Floyd Mayweather. <laughs> would you throw nickels at her face while she gets fucked by Floyd Mayweather? <laughs> oh, you guys, I'm so demeaning. Can you think of something else exciting? Can we think of something really fun? Let's do something really fun. How many boxes of wine would you have to drink to fuck Floyd Mayweather? Baby, I don't even know how to drink boxed wine. I'm drinking Robert Mondavi. Why did you put boxed wine in a bottle? <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? What's boxed wine? Half your jokes I don't even understand because they're so stupid. What's boxed Would you let wine? Floyd Mayweather punch you in the face? <laughs> no, I wouldn't actually. That's actually very serious. What I'm if he was going to give you like a, a role or a job? A role or a job? Oh, I'm in his strip yeah. club? I would love to be a stripper in Floyd Mayweather's uh, He would love it too. Would you let him choke, or choke you with his belt? With his belt or his hand? Belt. His belt. belt. I don't think so. No. Oh, come on. <laughs> but this is the joke. Can, I tell you why? Can I tell you guys why I really didn't fuck Floyd? You want to know why? Wait, what do you mean you really did, you had the opportunity to fuck Floyd? Of course. Floyd? Of course. Is it because he's too poor? Do you want to know why I didn't? Why, of course. Because he's I'm black? I'm going to tell you. <laughs> no. Why, why did you Remember have the white? I went to Las Vegas and anyway. me to him. I went to a party at his place. Because he's the type of guy who would try to do it in the back, and I won't do that. I'll never, it's disgusting. You've never done anal? What the never. fuck is wrong with you? You, you just said capital that. A earlier. Don't you cock this us. That. You did. Totally tacky. She and doesn't want a blue guy. butthole. <laughs> <laughs> Half your jokes, I don't even understand. They're so stupid. You will, you will in a little bit when, uh, when stuff starts turning blue. Don't worry. <laughs> Okay, He'll be shitting blue. Chat, he's actually gonna have sex tonight. Let's talk about that. Who's gonna have sex tonight? Yeah, out of all the guys in the chat, who's actually gonna have sex tonight? There's no, Corinne, there's no way you're gonna have sex tonight. <laughs> really? Okay, why not? Yeah, Probably don't right. hit us. First, first of all, okay, there's okay. no one, there's there's no one there who would who would want to throw down with you right now. You 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 guys are stupid. Next, give me more. Oh well, Corinne, I don't think uh, Sean King there wants to fuck a chick that drinks lots of wine. Sean King, what are they saying? <laughs> Oh my god, you're so smart. You're so wise. You love it the more you degrade and demean me. Is that Talco Mex yourself? that you met at the bar? What? Is that Talco Mex? I don't know what that means. I have your guys' jokes. I don't even know what you're talking about, honestly. No. Sorry, I'm generation. It makes it hard to make fun of you. <laughs> what? It makes it hard to make fun of you when you well, can't understand, understand half the same thing. Yeah. I mean, half your jokes are totally stupid. Are you going to fuck that guy in front of that little kid? <laughs> I don't think there's any little kid here. And I, the one I sitting never... the... just saw him. Yeah, is the one sitting topic. right there. No child pornography ever. No child left behind. <laughs> we all get to watch. Disgusting. <laughs> oh, you made it You guys want to hear me play the drums? No. <laughs> I really don't. Want me to sing you a song? Yeah. Oh. Yes. Want me to sing you guys yeah. a lullaby? Because it's time for all little boys to go to sleep. Mommy Please. says. Mommy rules. <laughs> uh, it's time for little boys to go to sleep or you get oh. Oh, Mommy or grandma? <laughs> that's my grandma. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Nana, please grandma. sing us a song. How come no one cares if my hair is short or long? Because no one's looking at you. Ooh. Because you have the hairline of my grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, you guys, I'm not going to be degraded and humiliated if you if I don't know what you're talking about. Honestly. Unless we own a music studio. Know. How do you not know what a receding hairline is? <laughs> Um, I've never had one, and no one I know has them. I don't know what you're talking about. Look up. That's, that's not a problem in LA. The light glaring off that's your not forehead a problem is in LA. the camera. You can't see past oh, a giant nothing. forehead. Catch your reflection in your wine glass, Corinne. <laughs> there's nothing going on. Yeah, there's no hair up there. That's yes, that's the right. Point. That's the Have point. Have you considered cosplaying a Sakura from Naruto? Maybe she doesn't know what the fucking Naruto is. <laughs> see, that's a deep None cut. of us understand what you're saying. It's Nana, really sing us a song. What happened to the song? The sing us I a song. Me. Sing us Amazing Grace. <laughs> Wait, are you, you going <laughs> to put on a nice, uh, like, a strip show for this guy you're hanging out with? Uh, I tits, do when bro. I'm with the man. I do whatever he tells me to do. I love to be dominated. Oh, I'll ask him to show your tits, then. Ask the guy <laughs> to show your tits. Yeah, tell him that. We'll get kicked off YouTube. Why would I do no, that? No, we won't. It's no, totally fine. On YouTube. No, Ralph will kick your ass. We're not doing that. Ralph killed himself. It's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I wonder if you can OD on colloidal silver. Uh, no. no you just, you just gotta keep shoving it in. Yeah. My pussy is so yummy, you'll never have a chance oh. to even oh, eat God, it. No. I don't like blueberries. <laughs> no, no, nobody wants to eat Arby's, okay? I want to see the implant jobs. Pull them out. The only reason why I make jokes about sex is because sex is really important. We're all born from sex, and we all should appreciate sex. Yeah, we heard that one somewhere. If this guy doesn't get your tits out, he is a pussy. Yeah. How am I still awake? I don't understand. Oh, God, he's back from the dead. (laughs) He rises. You found out there were going to be some tits? (laughs) <laughs> oh my god. What is happening? What is happening? <laughs> Ralph gets no nudity. It's over! He's dead. Don't worry about it. Oh my god. <clears throat> Corinne's I been talking Andy about her. Worski. I love you, Andy. I think you're the coolest cat ever. Yeah, yeah Ralph, she's very know. appreciative. All right. Yeah. Uh, 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 you yeah. brought Andy Worski on here. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Minotaur, whatever the guy's uh, name is, because he can't even say his real name. I mean, anyone that's who his real name. real name shouldn't even be on IRI. Our, our, yeah, our that name. Mr. Minotaur guy's a faggot. I agree with you. He's not even a faggot. I like faggots. I like faggots. All my brothers. Is that why you're hanging out with one at the music studio? (laughs) (laughs) Because this guy can't pull any titties out. He's probably gay. Ralph is gonna get kicked off if you guys show any nudity. I don't care. Oh no. You wanna get Ralph's show kicked off? Sure. I'm not on. It's Ralph. I don't care. Pull it out. Do it. Someone would have to prove that those are titties to get him kicked off. Yeah. No, every time I get porn on my channel, it gets kicked off three times. Oh. I thought you don't do porn. Oh, so you have to have I, connections with YouTube. Okay, like I do. And... Is, ooh, the truth comes out at night. Okay, listen, you guys don't listen. Someone put Ice Poseidon's porn on my channel, and then uh, DJ put his private parts you, on my channel. Yeah, yeah it's because they don't want me to have a YouTube channel. All right, yeah. Because I kick butt. So these tits, are we talking about like pepperoni or salami? I don't know what that means. They're like two this sides. This is the JF Gatopi. So, so I'm also here. interested in this conversation. It is, it is so oh, hot Oh, JF's here. here. You know JF? Hey, JF. How are you guys doing tonight? <laughs> Corinne, <laughs> Corinne. This, is getting, this sounds like you're in Beverly Hills now. Corinne, <laughs> Corinne, that's, that's JF Gatopi. That's Andy Worski's uh, co-host. Yes. How, how are you, how like are you doing Beverly tonight, Hills. Karen? I'm not into the foreign thing. I live in Beverly Hills. I don't need to listen. He's to not foreign. Thing. He's Canadian. It doesn't count. I, I'm I'm a French Canadian. I, I live in in. in <laughs> but I will not I will not mention where I live. But it, it is it is I'm north of the border. I'm sitting on my daddy's lap now, and we're gonna have sex, so I have to go. Oh, thank God! I love you wow, guys. Uh, buddy, can, get can, tested can tomorrow. Ralph, can Ralph be the moderator and set me up with this um Kiwi? Yeah, we got video? you. We'll set you up. We'll set okay, you so up. Good luck, This is so going to be cold again. I, I would like to, if if possible, I would like to watch. <laughs> Show your tits, and we'll hook you up with the Kiwi Farms guy. Good luck, Karen. Pull it down. Just, Pull it down. This Come thing on. literally looks. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Come Ralph on. Oh. Oh God. Ralph, you're gonna get kicked off. Go away. Ralph, you're gonna get kicked off. Are your guys' hairlines having a race to the back of your head? <laughs> 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 Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> uh, that's correct. I don't want to throw up. <laughs> you want to throw up? She puts colonial silver in her vagina. What the fuck? <laughs> uh, 
Oh boy, yeah. that guy's. I hope they save some box wine because he's gonna want to dunk his nuts in it after he's done with it. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna. He's gonna wake up. His dick's gonna be bright blue. He's gonna run to the clinic first thing, <laughs> not knowing what happened. Oh my god, what the fuck? <laughs> what earth? I love it. What earthquake were you around for? The big one. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, Holy no. shit. Which one? Seventies or nineties? Uh, uh <laughs> big one. <laughs> She's so dumb. You, you got it out of her. Yeah. Got it. Yeah, it's set up the camera and let's watch. <sighs> Ralph, you missed uh you missed uh I was halfway passed out. Uh, uh yeah, you missed you missed something. Yeah. The way uh, you're describing it. Oof. Uh, the best yeah. show Ralph's ever done. And he wasn't I can, here for it. I could still kind of hear what was going on, and then like, I, oh, she awoke me. Put your hand <laughs> in your mouth, Corinne. Put your hand in your mouth. Oh God, we all blocked her. Are you still oh, watching her? Swallow, <laughs> swallow your here? fist, Corinne. No, no, the whole thing. The whole, all four fingers. All four fingers. Oh, now I want to see this. How do I undo this? Yeah. Hold on. <laughs> Wait, why'd you guys all block the camera? I'm watching this shit. Uh, 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 Ralph blocked. Out. I blocked her actually. To be honest, yeah. Open, open your teeth all the way and put all four fingers in your mouth. <laughs> or just I'm take out your dentures and just go I'm to town. I'm missing something great. <laughs> put them in there. Put them in there. Put your fingers in your mouth. All four fingers in your mouth. Open your mouth all the way. Yeah. Oh, holy shit! I'm leaving and coming back in to watch this. <laughs> God damn it! I blocked her too. <laughs> Will that actually work? Do you take out your teeth when you give a blowjob too? Oh no. I can't. Oh, let me let me let me refresh. <laughs> I will unblock. I can't unblock. Oh man. Why haven't you hung up yet? Who? They're coming back. That's what they said. Where'd those guys go? They said they're coming back. Uh, okay. They might not be able to get back in because they have. Uh, oh, they were blocked. <laughs> uh, you better. Uh, no, uh, Josh, you came, you left and came back in. Yeah. Yeah, I'm here. So it should be all right. Maybe they can go. Right, open your, open your mouth as wide as you can. Is she actually doing that? Open, it, open your mouth as wide as you can. Open your mouth, open your mouth as wide as you can. <laughs> open it. Open Consider it. this your audition for Dr. Phil. All the way. This is your audition. Open your mouth all the way. This poor guy is getting casting, act, casting an x men <laughs> I need to know that you could be a, a reptile lady that's that's tested. <laughs> oh, they can't get back in because they blocked her. <laughs> open, hey, Corinne, Corinne, open your mouth. I can't all unblock her. Open your I mouth. I want to see your molars. Open your mouth as wide as you can. Just as wide as you mouth, can. As wide as you can. Oh my God. Yeah, but wider, wider. Spit that You're gum. You're gonna ruin that microphone with the gum. Put that gum in your hair. Put the gum in your hair. <laughs> uh, the uh, chat just missed her deep throating a microphone because you <laughs> retards blocked her. All these retards blocked you so that they couldn't see what was going on. The chat's missing out. Yeah, I can't see it. And a lot of unblocker. Corinne, you tried to sink me. What the fuck? You tried to sink this stream. No one else can hear or see her, though. I can't see her because we blocked all the locked her. Well, I joined on the back of account, so I can hear her. I can. Okay, what is she? What is she doing? She Friend, said talk she would without, talk. Talk with your mouth open. Hold your mouth open all the way and talk. Then fucking then go. Up. Go suck a dick. What are you waiting uh... for? I don't care. I want to see All blue right. tonsils when you're done. All right. <laughs> yeah, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out, Karen. Go, go have fun. We'll talk take to you a, soon. Take a... No, it's this take a picture of that guy's ball. Right, we'll put you in our movie. All right, thank you. Please hang on. Good night. <laughs> I love you too. Good night, Karen. Good night, Karen. Good night. <laughs> All right. Good night. At what point do you think that guy realized he had made a mistake? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
That guy's getting laid. I, yeah, that guy seems as crazy yeah. as she is. <laughs> yeah. No, he's drunk or something. There's something. By the way, it must be Jim probably couldn't join back because I wouldn't let me join back. I had to switch accounts to actually get back into the hangout. You can get back in now because she's left. <sighs> there, he there, he is. Is. there he is. There he is. There he is. I need your mic. Gator, did you did you see what she was doing? Uh, I did see what she, she was, was doing. shoving a fist it? down her throat. What <laughs> <laughs> Dude, tell me you recorded that. I recorded that whole fucking thing. Yeah, Good. fantastic. <laughs> because what, since we blocked her, I couldn't unblock her because she was pulling out her. You know, can't have her tits show. She up didn't on the show anything. No, no, but when Ralph no. he tried, her, he, he, he he tried, and I thank him for that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she. It looked like it was getting X-rated there, so I just blocked her. And then I blocked her too. But I I, yeah, I didn't realize it kicked you out. Like you can't get back nah, in. Nah, well, I didn't realize just, it either. Yeah. I finally I just switched the, to the, my backup account. Yeah, no, I saw I saw you block her, and I thought, oh, maybe you can't kick her, so. And I blocked her too, and then all of a sudden she's shoving shit in her mouth, and I'm like, <laughs> <"Fuck>, <laughs> but Gator got the footage, so. <laughs> No, wait, did, Gator, yeah. wait, was she actually doing that? Yeah. Yeah. yeah no, she she, she, she deep throated her microphone on camera. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God. Well, Gator got the footage, so we can put it up somewhere. Uh, Corinne gone wild. If you need a place to host it, just let me know. All right. Just throwing that out there. <sighs> I don't know, Kiwi guys. Arms gets the exclusive. What uh, what what was your favorite moment? I think for me it was her saying we're a Me Too generation, and that <laughs> those girls were asking for it. Was it? <laughs> yeah, she did say that. Uh, the colloidal silver part. That's pretty fucking funny. Yeah. The did fact she that say she... she was sticking colloidal silver? Yeah, she uses it silver. as lubricant. Yes. Yeah. She she has the best doctor that doesn't take insurance, and she uses she shoves it up her. Vagina, and yeah. and she's she's a follower of Alex Jones, which is perfectly fine. But she Normal wants people to fuck follow him. Alex Jones. Yeah, she wants to fuck Alex. Jones. That's not okay. That's that's on the opposite side. And she also <laughs> could have had sex with Bill Clinton, but didn't because he's married. Because that's never. Stopped. Yeah, I did. I did hear that. She wants to go on Andy Warski's show too. Uh, and she's gonna stop yeah. Pizzagate. Yes. I think uh, finally finding her age. I think. Yeah. That. Wait, how did she wait? How did she say I, she I think she's 47. <laughs> Somebody in the chat said it was confirmed. The Norma Desmond reference. Uh, which... <laughs> <laughs> gave, it, gave it away. I told you guys she was 48. That, that was me. Yeah. I caught it. Yeah, I said 52. I thought she was older than that. Yeah, I thought she was uh, late 50s. No, she that just looks that, <laughs> that was being generous. Oh, <laughs> uh, no, no. You know what? Actually, my second favorite moment was her saying this black guy, Mac Daddy, who's a white dude. Was a <laughs> yes. very good. <laughs> I like I liked how she couldn't decide between sex and and talking to people on the internet for like thirty minutes. She wanted to hang up so bad and kept saying, "I'm gonna go have sex now." And the guy's just fucking waiting, but she, she she literally cannot pull herself away from the attention. I like the uh, JP appearance. Oh, that was good. That was a good one. You oh, think she's she nice. thinks she's sucking his dick right now? Oh God! I bet they both passed I don't out. I don't think about that. I mean, she has to have some kind of skills, right? Like, uh, <laughs> at least the head game's got to be good, right? I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe uh, I, I bet. She, I bet she's gonna puke up all that box wine all she over. Probably, <laughs> she probably takes her. Well, listen, she probably takes the dentures out and she, and she, no telling what she can do. Uh, then, oh, I just said, oh. <laughs> you know, it's probably she's probably really bad because you said she doesn't do anal. I bet she she doesn't oh. deep throw it. I bet you she's fucking bad. No, no, she, throw... she fucking lied when uh, when Dick said, uh, you know, uh, so what do you got? You know, a capital A. She's like, yeah, yeah, wink, wink. And then I don't she's think like, she I don't think anal. I think she's just stupid and didn't know what that meant. Well, she could be retarded. That's possible. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's my bet. I'm going for two for two and saying that she was just dumb and didn't catch the reference. I think that chick does anal. <laughs> I think that's safe what are the anal. chances they're having sex right now while listening to this show? Uh, oof. Hi. Then I'm no. gonna have to put on the right. I'm gonna have to put on the right uh, music for it. Put on the soundtrack for the room, like in the sex scenes during the room. <laughs> <laughs> you are my rose. You are my rose. Oh yeah. Oh, oh no. no! Get it away. Uh, no, no, Katie, you gotta, you gotta play. Uh, you gotta set the mood for it. Play Ram Ranch. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna do your JP voice too. If they're yeah. Oh my god, yeah, narrator sex right now. Narrate oh. what he's doing to her right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh man. Ugh. I'm still pretty Which... surprised that she actually made it here. Oh, you know, I really hope they're not listening because if, if that dude finds out she has a really bad case of herpes, he's gonna get all fucked oh, up. Oh shit. <laughs> the col the colloidal silver will protect him. He doesn't have a blue yeah. dick. <laughs> colloidal silver, it's gonna make like a metal guard around his cock so the virus he'll be, ain't he'll be fine. <laughs> What you gotta do is you gotta take the colloidal silver and you gotta take a big old handful of it and you gotta you gotta <laughs> rub it around your general area. Is that Nerd City or Alex Jones? I'll just say yes. How about both? <laughs> yeah, <why not>? <laughs> <laughs> it's a mix. Uh, I did see a super chat. I missed so many. Whatever. Sorry. Uh, T104 play says, "Oh my fucking god! Colloidal silver crotch treatments were used in oldie toms to treat chlamydia. I'm not even joking." <laughs> <laughs> That's what he said. So. <sighs> I, I bet you this is the type of chick, if she's doing that shit, I bet you this is the type of woman that would literally drink mercury, thinking it's going to get rid of her fucking uh, <laughs> yeah. case of the, yeah, the crabs Yo, or some shit like that. You, I'm very think... curious about her kids. Like, does she actually have custody of children? <laughs> I'm curious if she teaches them this wonderful knowledge that she's accumulated <laughs> about using fucking heavy metals to cure diseases. Do you, do you think you, you could convince her to drink that uh, jelly juice shit that that poop cult was doing? Yes, yes. <laughs> she would drink that, yeah. It can cure the gay. Oh, no, the bleach enema chick? I actually know a lot about that poop cult. Just say no. If you went and bleeds <laughs> on the poop cult, I, I have the deets. <laughs> We need to send it to her to tell her it's, like, great for her health. Get get her on. Yeah. <laughs> oh, she's in hiding right now because one of her cult members died. Oh. Uh, Oops. Yeah. <laughs> from, from drinking shit? Is that, is that how no, they died? It, it, she, she posed Clorox bleach as a panacea for everything, and you have to take it as an well, animal. Well, I mean, she to encouraged... be fair, I'm, I'm starting to like this woman. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> she, but she encouraged people, like, if you have a kid with Down syndrome or autism, just load that ass up with Clorox. Oh, It'll my fix God. It. <laughs> And surprise, somebody with you know, known illness did that and fucking died from from Clorox bleach poisoning. <laughs> and and uh, yeah, she might be going to jail. Just drink that. Clorox; it will cure the autism. That, that, that's good advice. No, you got to put up I your mean, ass. I mean, you're not wrong. It... <laughs> It'll cure it. Does it. Cure. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah, she found out that Tide Pods will clean out her pussy, so she sticks them in there. <laughs> yeah, I looked up the uh, uh, the the rocking for trafficking or whatever the fuck yeah, that was. It too. Yeah, uh, yeah, Facebook page with 400 likes really blazing up the charts. <laughs> Did you see their website? It's like it's really it's really bad. Well, I hope that's not their real email address because the chat was just eating that up. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that's definitely that was definitely a really like really no no What was he thinking? That's why I made sure to say look out for the the dick show one cuz he's going to get a lot of mail. He's going to have like 400 emails from CDC saying a partner you have may have had a disease. You <laughs> <laughs> he's going to be on the Alex Jones so, uh, shop newsletter. Ah. <laughs> uh... <sighs> Ah, I don't even know. I've Tonight's laughed so hard my head actually hurts. I have a headache yeah. from laughing. <laughs> I see a lot of super chats. Honestly, I don't want to read them. Oh, you tired? You tired there? You tired <laughs> <after Ralph. laughs> okay, if you Should read I read them? them? Yeah, if you, or if you can copy yeah. and send them, I'll read them. It's fine. I'll read them. Show Jim the Pokemon vid. Oh wait, I already read that one. Dash through it. Uh, uh, Ouija SDI, what is the, why does that faggot Geek Tulu have a Kiwi Farms page? That bitch is a gold mine of lulls. That was from Ouija STI. Um, Sponge, press one if Chris Raygun is a cuck faggot bitch. Uh oh. Uh, yeah, one. Here come the one. There ones. were a lot of ones in the chat when that was posted. Uh, thus violating the NAP says she is partying with the corpses of the rat pack. Uh, <laughs> The wee snake, monkey, please put Corinne in Monkey Jones's stops a school shooting. Uh, Rodney Ironcock says, can you ask Dick if anyone ever found the yeah? Did anyone ever uh, find it? Yes. Yeah, they did. Uh, Maddox had a, um, somebody found out that Maddox had edited a published episode where he took out like a whole argument that I made and just put me going, Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they couldn't find uh, where it was. They found it. They found it. Oh, Sears says Ralph, Jim, Dick, keep up the great work, guys. Thank you. Appreciate it. 
And Steve Bannon says, do Corinne's vag, excuse me, does Corinne's, va- well, he wrote do, but I'm going to correct it for him. Does Corinne's vag look like a roast beef sandwich? <laughs> uh, probably a safe bet. Thus violating the NAP says she's in the studio with Creed. A new a Newton's law says I refuse to believe someone this dumb exists. Ralph, <laughs> did you hire this sow? No, I did not. Uh, Chikai says I'm in my forties. There's no way that Baron Wound Harridan is a day under fifty. Uh, Dick Tuno says, holy Christ, please plan an actual hangout with Corinne. I mean, it's better this way, I think. Tundra Theory <laughs> says, could you imagine the stuttering waterhead Worski and this stroke victim Corinne on the same stream? Jesus, take the word. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> oh, yippee. Waha, yippee. Oh, <laughs> damn it. Uh, Gabriel Lopes says this was a great idea. Thank you. You're welcome. Although it wasn't really my idea. Uh, yeah, that, Tundra- was, uh, that was Dick's idea. Good idea, man. Hey, yeah. 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 Just Tundra Theory says five hundred dollars. Says this sperm burper's breath smells like a <laughs> dude load twenty four seven. Oh Jesus! Sperm burper. Sperm burper. <laughs> I've never heard that. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my God! Tijuana Four Places. So that's why music sucks so bad now. No wonder so many rock stars have bailed on life lately. Yeah. Uh, Gerudo Tempest. Maybe says, she's why Kurt Cobain killed himself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, too soon. <laughs> Gerudo Tempest said, "Ask what year she graduated." Ben Guillermo says, "Corinne, how can you have periods after your menopause?" <laughs> uh, Clay's, Clay, Clay's remote. R- roommates. roommate says yeah he i don't know close enough <laughs> tia one four places i can't super chat well, i can't super <laughs> chat thought but this kook can rape my brain talking about her dripping vagine yeah nice try lady we all know it's the sahara down there god damn you censors uh then tia one says hey grandma if you had any self-control your yap wouldn't be an endless stream of consciousness that calls attention to your negative sexual marketplace value then he says backyard breeders like <laughs> backyard breeders <laughs> backyard breeders like this grandma need need to be compelled uh to have their tubes tied the national iq is already in a dangerous decline general cow says she's been taking some big fat some big well, excuse me some fig bat digger nick <laughs> 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 I see. I think I can think of that. Everybody say it. Excellent reading. (laughs) Everybody say it one time. Say it as quickly as possible. Fig bat digger nick. Yeah. (laughs) Fig bat (laughs) digger nick. Fig dat. Fuck. Oh, God. 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 (laughs) That was close enough. Fig Um, bat digger nick. uh, Mike Hunt said, what the fuck, Ralph? It's 4.30 a.m. here. You're killing me. Don't get me wrong. It's Radio Gold, but damn, I wish you'd start earlier. Shekels for the insomnia. Oh, well. This is this is our slot. Although, I, what have we been going like six hours now? I didn't plan this. Uh, Long Neck McGee says, Corinne looks like the female lead from Team, <laughs> from Team America World Police. Tijuana Four Place says, question for Corrine. How can you be obsessed with youth and OD the Botox yet do nothing about that nose? General Kyle says, how much wine to get this fig bat digger? <laughs> how much wine to get this fig bat digger, Nick? I'll take one for the team. Oh, Tijuana Four Play. Just Heroin. crying having sex with him as you read all these off. <laughs> <laughs> It's very possible. T- <laughs> you want to foreplay heroin was a big problem in the 1990s. Tragically, not enough Gen Xers OD'd, so here we are. Uh, <laughs> Dog Munch says, best Friday morning ever. Gerudo Tempest says, monkey's closing line about hair lines. Ali says, why, Mike? Is she too dumb to suck dick? Tia one four places. Oh my fucking god! Colloidal silver cross treatments were used in oldie. Oh, I already read that. I'm not gonna read it again. Uh, did did more come in? Well, oh yeah, a couple. Of, Jesus Christ. Uh, thank you for the super chats, by the way. Clay Early says sub to Rakita Law. Clay will make you drink. 
Dick Tuno says, Clay, go poo your bed again. And then Code Guy says, excellent stream. Good night, folks. Don't forget to check the uh, Streamlabs, too. Yeah, I just yeah, want to say, you're right. Do you think we could trick Corinne into going to VidCon and convincing her that like some some big YouTuber was interested in her? But yes, just just pick somebody at random that we know is going to VidCon, so she like fucking harasses the <laughs> shit. Yes, out of yes, yes. Give oh no, no, a Andy Worski. She she <laughs> she wants him already. It's true. Do you think she could possibly be a new co-host for Andy? <laughs> 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 it was it was so sad how she was, I was with a man and was actively trying to solicit this fucking Andy Worski guy she just <laughs> met over the phone. What kind of sexual tricks would she do for Andy? That's what I wonder. <laughs> She'd stay the fuck away from him. <laughs> I was about to I, I was honestly about this I was waiting for a response from, from you, Ralph, because I was about to send Andy the hangout link and not tell him why. Just say, hey Andy, <laughs> no, come on, come on. No, dude, I was literally like almost fully passed out in my chair because I've been drinking tequila since eleven PM and I was just coming in and out of consciousness and then I just finally popped back in when she started talking about colloidal silver. <laughs> Perfect spot to pop back in. Perfect. It kinda brought me back from, from wherever I was drifting off to. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's where I was. Yeah, your chat, uh, Koi uh, Highs says uh, she'd suck the stutter out of him. <laughs> no, no. Pretty sure she can suck the chrome off a off a hubcap if you catch my drift. Huh? Well, then apply it to her pussy to cure the herpes. <laughs> <sighs> Nora says I shook you awake. You did not. And then you elbowed. Uh oh. <laughs> Wait, was she great. listening the whole time to this this fantastic entertainment? Oh man. Well, if that's the case, thank you. She, she's learned the ways of colloidal silver. <laughs> 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 Fucking colloidal silver. Right. Shit. Well, my wife's taking the credit. What about for sinking the stream earlier? What What about that? What? When you threw the toilet paper and sunk the stream. <laughs> 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 that was all you. What an asshole. Packy power, she said, yes. <laughs> <sighs> All right, so, boys, it's been fun, but I think I'm going to bed. Yeah, yeah I, 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 I think, think I'm actually bed. going to bed, too. We, this can never be topped anyway, so whatever. <laughs> it's, good, it's a good stream, man. I had fun. Yeah, yeah it's been great. You. Thank you for joining us, Jim. Thank you, Dick. Wow, Dick, you hey. stayed with us this whole time. Holy shit. How could I miss that? Oh, appreciate man. it, buddy. Thank you. I appreciate Thank it. Man. Gator, as always. Here's the owner, the real-life owner of Kiwi Farms. Oh, the monkey on the lamb. Oh, man. It's, it's been nice meeting everybody. Yeah, hey, you stay safe, Matt Jarbo. Oh, thank you. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Monkey Jones, thank you, man, for joining us. No problem. Thanks to the chat for getting me in here. Yeah, we'll yes. have to get you on one, one on one one of these days. Hell yeah, let's do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah awesome. I do. I do want to do that. And Zidane, thank you, sir, for, like, you know, making the stream work again. Hey, so. part of the team. I appreciate that. An, an integral part of the team. And why don't you be part of the team and just kill the shit so I can go to sleep? <laughs> all right. Good night, guys. We'll be back tomorrow. Uh, yeah, we'll be back tomorrow. Thank all you guys. Thanks for the super chats and watching and all that shit. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye, everybody. Bye. Hey. hey, what's Good up, buddy? Good evening, Mr. Medicare. How you doing? Oh, uh, hey, I've got a bone uh, to pick with you, buddy. Yeah, I know. I, I heard you were dead naming some beautiful trans women, and, you know, I've just got to step up. You When you see something, you need to say something. And, you know, David Rena Shirati is a beautiful woman. And I don't know why you're bringing up their past life name. I don't know what you're doing. Well, uh, old habits die hard, you know. Do they? Do they die hard? So what was it? Was a tweet montage about uh, him thinking he looked pretty good as a trap? Is that what this was conversation was? Yeah. <laughs> Not just a tweet montage, a 21 tweet like mega thread about uh, about being a tranny. And he had I made a joke thinking about it. Uh, I made a joke last night on the kill stream about uh, Shirat uh, fucking growing his hair out and shaving and I was just like, you know, maybe his old MGTOW thing is just a cover for his burgeoning transsexuality. And then well, all of a sudden he's... <laughs> well, I, I like to call it uh, TCS, Trans Contagion Syndrome. Because isn't he friends with Drolassa? Didn't Drolassa just yes. uh, get the full yeah. 
the full uh, whack it off and dig me a hole kind of I thing. I guess, yeah. Yeah, so maybe, maybe you know, he's a little envious, seeing all that attention Drolass is getting. Maybe he figured, you know what, the full cut uh, my dick off. whack it off. I'm gonna cut my dick off and come up here. I thing, guess, yeah. Yeah, so maybe, maybe you know, I mean, he's a little envious, seeing all that I'm attention sure. Drolass is getting. By the way, uh, chat figured, says you know turn Jim up, Zidane, so. Uh, oh, maybe, maybe that's fucked up on my end. Let me see if I can okay. adjust my audio shit. I don't fucking know. I he can't sound, really tell. He sounds I'm fine still, to me. I'm still on the hotel Wi-Fi, so uh, uh, all I know is I can oh, hear maybe, you guys. Maybe that's fucked up on my end. Let me, uh, my audio shit. I don't fucking know. I can't sound, really tell. He sounds I'm fine to me. I'll figure I'm still it out. On the right. So, uh, what's your next big plan to take down Sargon? Oh, well, you know, I am working with, uh, uh, JF, uh, to, uh, you know, initiate a plan. I don't want to give too much away, but we are working on some things. Some <laughs> things, you know, that Richard Spencer was like, Jim, Sergan needs to be taken down. And we're like, okay, Rich, how do you want to play this? And he's like, we're going to burn liberalistisms to the ground. And, you know, both Jay and I were really surprised by this. And we're like, why do you want to do that? And he's like, just for fun. Just, just for the fun of it. I just want to fuck with him a little bit. And we're like, all right. You know, let's do it. And then with the help of the John uh, Loki Foundation on Facebook, uh, we got that ball rolling. Uh, but apparently, yeah, I'm a part of a conspiracy I was unaware of. So that's always that's always fucking nice. What what would possess him to to send something like this out? I mean, uh, there was a theory that uh, some people put out earlier that that this is Sargon trolling all of us. And, and this is a part of part of his plan to. To make us look like fools, not him. Uh, this is like a master op by the liberalist leader. Yeah, is that yeah. what they're fucking saying? <laughs> yes. Well, hey, you what know, you call our ops, dude. Well, I mean, this is the man that was the leader of yeah, Gamergate. So who am I to say? <laughs> who am I to say what the genius might have come up with? But um, ah, <laughs> uh, I don't, I don't know. I guess. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Now, I swear on everything, there was comment after comment. I did a short video on my channel about it, and it's like, well, LOL, you guys don't see how Sargon's trolling you right now. I'm like, okay, well, if so. You're uh, really playing underwater chess. I'm playing 16th dimensional Settlers of Catan. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, I, I am seeing some people in your, your chat saying that. Um, yeah, I, yeah. Fi I fixed it. Oh, you did? Okay. Yeah, because I had to turn it for Discord. I have my gain turned up, but for here, I don't need to. So I had to. I muted my mic and turned it all the way down and turned my fan off. Now I'm gonna steam in my room, but it's all right. I, I, okay, <laughs> all right, I got you. Uh, yeah. So I, I, I don't know. Uh, I, this is gonna. I am looking for. I'm actually legitimately excited because uh, I don't know what conspiracy I'm a part of. So I'm, I'm looking forward to him dropping, dropping that hot bombshell on us. Yeah, he said he has I have more. a theory. Oh. Oh, do you have a theory? Hit us with your theory. What do you think? What <laughs> do you think? My theory, my theory is that during the uh, the Dick Masterson stream when we were fucking with Kareen, I think he heard my JF impression and thought it was actually JF, and then heard my Sargon impression and thought I was playing my soundboard. Uh well, no, he said people sent him things. He said people. What, what did it? What the fuck did the? Uh, it said something like, uh, "People that I don't normally talk to." Or associate with sent me a dire warning <laughs> dire that warning. Uh, that twenty four hour ops were afoot, and yeah. so he just wanted to get the word out there to his uh, his followers that if a screen cap showed up saying "gas all the kikes," that really wasn't him. <laughs> <laughs> so the the main the main Facebook post, and there's some more. I'll pull those up in a sec. But with the main one said, "No, so Wanderer's apparently... right. My song got impression isn't that good." Uh, so apparently we have a guy who does a really good one, mostly because he's actually from the UK. But uh, he's he's from there. Yeah. yeah. So apparently there's a plot against me orchestrated by JF, Medicare, and a bunch of the other blood sports slash alt right types, where they're faking conversations between people and myself. Which, by the way, is the easiest fucking thing to do in the world. But I'll I'll leave that alone for now. Well, I, I'll just be straight up with you. I mean, in, in Sargon's case, there's no need to fake anything. <laughs> like yeah. the shit that he says on the regular is entertaining enough. Why would you need to make up anything? Like the white nigger comment, maybe MLK was wrong comment. You act like white niggers. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Like that shit's that shit's gold. Why would you? You don't need to really. You don't really need to tinker with the formula to get a to get a great result. <laughs> so, I yeah, I I don't really understand the theory. Uh, 
and then here's the, here's some comments from the thread that I screen capped earlier. Uh, somebody said, I knew Medicare was trash, not to be trusted. Then Sargon says, just look at how he revels in his host's his host miseries. I don't know. I didn't know you had personal hosts, but anyway. No, no. He meant a host as in I'm a, I, I, I'm a oh, parasite. Oh, like a parasite. Yeah, oh, okay. yeah. See, I latch on and then I suck okay, out the okay. life force. I'm like a, like a giant <laughs> hybrid of a tapeworm and a lich. Just kind of <laughs> kind of crossbred to fuck with people on the internet. Even though I've been more than upfront with everybody that I've ever gone on their fucking streams or shows and said, I'm not, I'm not your friend. I'm just here to shoot the shit. Yes, I think you've been very consistent in that. I don't understand. Oh, sorry. I just... what, what about what I said earlier? Because somebody, we were talking about it, and they said, well, how has Sargon made it so long? Because I guess what I had pointed out was it really seems to be people laughing at him. Is It's kind of getting to him. And they said, well, you know, people have been laughing at him, making fun of him for a long time. And I guess, you know, my next point was maybe it's because people he thought he was cool with or that should naturally be on his side – are making fun of him or at least saying, wow, Sargon, you're looking like an idiot right now. Maybe you should reevaluate. And that, that seems to kind of have pushed him over the edge. I, I don't know what it, what the deal is in his case. Um, I, I don't really check in on his fucking daily life. When he does something stupid or if there's something funny going on, like the liberalist thing was funny to me. Or, you know, the, the interesting would be like the Tommy Robinson thing, kind of his ducking out of that. But aside from that, I'm not like really paying attention. So I don't know how much he gets fucked with on a daily basis. He tries to, I mean, I know he's written letters to the alt-right, like fucking four of them. Uh, and he tries to make it seem like they're relentlessly fucking with him. But I can't really imagine how bad it could be, um, aside from calling him maybe a faggot in the comments. Uh, I, I don't know. I, you do all this anti sw shit. You shit on feminists for so long. And you deal with Tumblr, nothing but Tumblr. And you get used to dealing with that, right? And then when a normal person or a, somebody from a different fucking community comes along and says, hey, you kind of... Uh, you're kind of a fucking retard, aren't you, buddy? I guess you don't know how to react to it because you can't scream, oh, you're a blue-haired feminist. No, no, I'm not a blue-haired feminist. I should think you're a faggot. So, like, I, maybe that's what's throwing him off his game? I don't fucking know. No, but wait, aren't you obsessed with Sargon? What, what's your problem? Why do you keep talking about Sargon? That's, that's what I've been getting. Oh, oh well, I mean, I've got, I've, got, I've got posters around my bed that I can just <laughs> lovingly look at. Uh, you know, I'm hoping to get them signed when I go to one of his events. I've tried to, I'm going to crowdfund the money because isn't it like $3,000 a ticket? Or, but I mean, that's <laughs> worth the money, I think, in my opinion, to, to be able to, to watch this week in stupid in real life. A small of, sum. Yeah. And of course I get to listen to the great fucking burger prep songs, uh, or a prep burger. I'm reversing order there for a second, but whatever of, uh, Dr. Randomer camp. So that'll be, <laughs> that'll be fun. You know, that's a great opener. Nobody... Nobody's expecting that. A Kekistani song by a guy in a fucking Yushenka with puppets. Sign me the fuck up. Where do, I, where do I send that money? Do I got to PayPal that to you or do I just buy it at the door? Bitcoin only. Um, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, okay. Here's an another one. Comment. Some of the people in the thread were actually, they were kind of like, okay, why are you saying this? Where's the proof? You know, what, what is, where's this coming from? Uh, and Jay Corn says, LOL, I like that lack of proof or evidence you posted there, Carl. And then Sargon says, I'm just being told from multiple sources, none of which owe me anything. They think this is going too far. Yeah, yeah. I think that was the comment I heard. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Something like this. Something like uh, people I don't associate with. They're just uh, neutral sources or some yes, shit. Neutral yeah. sources. <laughs> yeah. Trolls are sending me things. <laughs> well, I, mean, I guess two things, really. One, I, I don't really care. People say shit online all the time. Again, I'm really looking forward to this because it's probably going to be funny. But two... Why would he even comment about it? I, I thought I thought my 24-hour opping ass wasn't worth the effort, but apparently here's one whispered rumor, and suddenly he's got to make posts about it. I uh, maybe this is a grand troll to make him seem paranoid. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what he's going for. <laughs> yeah, I, honestly, I just could not tell you. I, I, just... I will say, um, I, somebody sent me a clip, and I hadn't seen it. He finally responded to me today. He sent me a message. And he pointed to the tweet that you quote tweeted, basically saying, "This is why uh, I'm not going to come on." And uh, what uh, what what tweet did he say? It was the tweet that I that I uh, hold on. Let me let me scroll back up to make sure. I, you know the one you quote tweeted, and it was me, and it was a screen cap of his Facebook post. And I said, "Jim, any comments about another one of your famous 24-hour ops being revealed by Sargon the Big Brained?" And then he he messaged me back on Skype after I sent him a message like May seventh. And today, he just, out of nowhere, 
messaged me as I'm, I was on my way to dinner with my family. Actually, I'm on like a trip or whatever. And he said, why won't Sargon talk to me? And that was quotes. And then he linked that tweet and he said, this is why I avoid your community like the plague. Take care. Good luck in the future. Uh, that's, that's all he said. That's all he said on Twitter. And then uh, somebody linked me and I didn't see this the other day, but somebody had told me about it. I, I just saw it tonight live. And they said, turn it to 340 in one of his videos, New York newscast, whenever he was in New York. And they asked him about coming on the kill stream. And he said, why would I Why would I ever go on there and lend them my name? Look, Just look at the titles of some of the streams where they talk about me. Just why would I do that? Basically using the pretty much verbatim the SJW reasoning for not going on to talk to him or to talk to others like him. Uh, because, oh, they're garbage humans, and just look at what they say about me. Why would I ever go on their platform? I mean, it's pretty much the exact same argument, right? Yeah, I, I mean, it's really similar to, like, two years of YouTube where they wouldn't fucking have anything to do with anybody making fun of them, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I, 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 I don't Why would I lend them my name? <laughs> <laughs> like, it's, like, it's some fucking magical tome. It's a rune that it's can be read song, for man. power. Yeah. I invoke Carl of Swindon. Oh boy! <laughs> Oof, that's uh, some great magic right the there. The great name of Sargon of Akkad, one of the great men of the 21st century. Why would he I, ever uh, lend his name? Him and his 20-year plan. I I really am fucking curious. I mean, like I want to I want to hear what the because uh, I didn't JF put up a video where it was like um, he was he was saying yeah. something about extortion or blackmail. Uh, oh, I don't know if he's extortion, but well, we, he put, we, JF put up two videos. One was five minutes. One was twenty minutes. Yeah, we we watched a little bit of the twenty minute one, uh, where he was going through the I guess the Skype messages between um them, and uh, he was like saying JF was a part of a uh, this grand plot against Sargon. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. He had a long he had a long exchange with with JF. He he played it in some in his video earlier, and it was just. Borderline, you know, schizophrenic. Like <laughs> some of the stuff he was saying, I don't, I, I don't even know. JF's in the chat, by the yeah. way. So yeah, what's up? He, he said he'd be watching. Thanks, Chip. Thanks, buddy. But yeah, I don't. The thing with the entire entire uh, conversation. Oh, uh, let me let me just say something. JF, uh, the payment went through. Good work. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think he bought it, man. Wink, wink. We're doing good here. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I don't know why Sargon. He was being really like. Uh, secretive in his in his uh, i guess messages it was really weird i don't know why he didn't come out and just say it like you know straightforward it was like you know what you did and, and shit like that i was like what? just just be a man just you know say it don't fucking pussyfoot around i, I don't get it i yeah i, I don't know uh it's just i, I don't know, fucking know man. <laughs> it's just weird to me like i don't you could sum it up in like Two two messages maybe, but nah, they went back and forth. I was like, okay. It's you know what's like... really weird about all this? Usually, when this kind of shit goes on, V is like on top of it. Is like the PR guy. I don't. Has yeah. he said anything about any of this shit today? No, no. I DM'd right? him. That, that's really unusual, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Yes. It very like, it... before this stream even started, there were I couldn't tell you at least five or six comments from the chat. That you know there were quite a few people waiting. And they said, oh, I bet this is going to turn into V coming on to run damage control. Quarter Pounder will probably show up. And that's that's probably what this stream will be. I haven't heard from either one of those guys. Like, yeah. nothing. Then they must be treating it seriously. If none yeah, of they... them are showing up, they must believe that there is a level of severity to this. That uh, they don't want to they don't want to risk uh, exacerbating it. Or I, I don't know, to be honest with you. I really don't. <laughs> I haven't heard anything from them. I actually messaged V earlier because Caligula kind of sounds like him and people wanted him to like holler at him. So, <laughs> um, so I messaged him. I didn't hear anything back. He did message me back last night because I was looking for shit rats. Uh, one of his archives and V like hates that dude or whatever. Uh, I did hear from him then, but that was almost 20 hours ago. Yeah, so. it's such a weird fucking group, right? I mean, you've got uh, David Sherratt and then... Like he's got this connection to Crowd, and then Crowd's got this connection to Sargon. But didn't didn't Sharat like impersonate fucking Sargon on Twitter and do all this yes. crazy shit for like yeah. a fucking three months or something? Yeah, yes, he did. I don't, I don't know. The bleed over is weird with these groups. It's very strange. I mean, Sharat was kind of like a Sargon bootlicker for a while, and then they had some kind of falling out. I don't know if it had to do with his crush on Lauren Southern. I don't know. It's like a bad soap opera. Yeah, will you explain that? Okay, I'm not I'm not up on my David lore, but uh, people, <laughs> were saying, people were saying that like Lauren ignored him, and then he yeah. lost his shit, 
and yeah. went full tilt. Is that true? Yeah, we had, scra- you know, right. we're on Scratch Points channel right now. He basically kind of let us uh, do what we want here and do the show here. And he was in a Skype group with him, and he said that uh, Sherat was talking about moving to Canada so yeah. he could be with Lauren and all, just like really off the deep end type shit. And then all of a sudden he couldn't get a hold of her or whatever. She was ignoring him. And she later on came out and said, I don't even know what he's talking about. He got mad because I didn't respond to him for a few weeks because I didn't see it. You know, I had a lot of stuff going on. Her career was fucking exploding at the time, you know. And she said he just blocked me on all social media and, and just kind of been saying, like, nasty things. So. Uh, uh, weird. Uh, did you guys see the DSP related news today? Yes, I yes. did. Why don't you? Can you? So so DSP oh, woke yeah. up this morning, probably probably early afternoon. Well, yeah, maybe like around 10 or 11 this time. And uh, his YouTube channel's gone. Just fucking gone. Just completely gone. No message either, which is really weird. Usually when they're taken down, there's some kind of a message. Fucking nothing. Just mm-hmm. gone. So uh, he contacts YouTube and talks to some, like, Indian t- tech support person. <laughs> of course. And, Hello, uh, <laughs> yeah, <basically. laughs> Thank you and for calling the, YouTube. The, the beautiful reason, this is the funniest shit to me. You've got to understand, DSP has fifty to 60,000 videos on his channel. All right, he uploads between 30 to 100 times a day. Uh, and he was linked to his Google Plus account, if you remember the integration that took place a couple years yeah. ago. Uh, apparently, he didn't adjust his settings. So on the Google Plus platform, every time this guy would upload a fucking video, it would spam out a link to the video. So I guess after three years of spamming out 30 to 100 links a fucking day... Google Plus is finally like, you know what? Maybe no. Maybe we're just going <laughs> to shut your Google Plus account down. And because it was connected to his YouTube, oh. it took his YouTube down. Now, he did get his channel back, but from what I understand, the verification mark is gone. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Man, you think you think Google Plus would be happy that people are actually using it? Uh, well, I, that's that's <laughs> probably the funniest thing to me. You've got like you've got like ten people that use that fucking uh, just horrible <laughs> shit house it's platform. Terrible. Yes. But those ten people were bothered enough by his thirty links a day that they probably reported him. <laughs> Can you make this guy stop? I don't care about Metal Gear Solid Part Four Hundred and Eighty Two. I don't want to watch it. Stop. It. I'm not a big connoisseur of DSP. Hey, you're pretty good. He take long like playthroughs and break them up into like five ten minute clips and then just put a shit ton of ads in each clip. Isn't isn't that how he does his? Well, I, I think DSP is taking the wrong approach because he, he went, okay, he likes to beg for money. I don't think that's really, he'll go on and give you a sob story like every month. Like, oh my God, somebody shot my dog or some fucking dumb shit. Uh, but he has a tendency when he explains this, when he's doing his fundraising, uh, to over explain it and tell people how close he is to getting fucked if they trolled with him just a little bit more. Like when he was on his Twitch stream today, he was like, if I lose my YouTube channel, I will have to file it to bankruptcy. He might as well have shot a bat signal up into the sky <laughs> to get Fred Fux to return. You know what I mean? Like, that's that's the last thing you want to say. But yeah, he was like, if I if I don't, you know, YouTube is a huge part of my revenue. If I don't get YouTube uh, to to give me money, I I'm fucked. And if you go look at his metrics, I think he's getting like 1.5 to 2 million views a month, maybe. Uh, which I think doesn't that translates to like 1,500 bucks to 2,000 bucks? Something like that, yeah. Yeah, so it gives yeah. you a good idea of what he needs per month to manage two mortgages, a fucking uh, lease on his car, and all the other shit. Uh, but, yeah, yeah, he basically told everybody that if anything ever happens to his YouTube account... <laughs> his life's over. <laughs> his life is fucked. He has to go declare bankruptcy. He's going to lose Jesus. his house. Yeah, I'm sure nobody will, will go after his YouTube now. Well, it, and it made me curious, too, because I know he can't have a fucking AdSense account. Like, he fucked his first one up. So I almost wonder if... After Panda Lee left him, if he found this new chick and started dating her just so he could get her to set up an AdSense account to attach to his channel. <laughs> Ooh. Now, what happened? Oh, what happened yeah. with Panda Lee, by the way? Because I was out oh, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll on give my you little that. vacation. I didn't. I just know they broke up. I didn't see the... Oh, I'll give you this straight up fucking story. Like, this asshole likes to try to explain this off like what he did wasn't bad. But I, anybody that's been in a relationship can understand when one of you gets sick. And you have to go to the fucking hospital. That's kind of a big deal, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. A, a little bit. Yeah. A little bit of a big deal, even if it's not something that necessarily in the end turns out to be a huge emergency. I get it. Maybe you don't have the greatest insurance. Maybe you don't have insurance. But occasionally shit happens in life and somebody gets fucking sick and they need to go into the ER. Well, 
Panda Lee had to go into the ER. She had a massive fucking panic attack at work, right? Um, he gets annoyed because he has to sit his fat ass down for two to three hours without a Game Boy in his hands or something. Oh, my God. Um, he gets a bill. They, they, they say it's an anxiety attack. And he actually tells her. He doesn't just tell her. I believe he told the fucking hospital and the ambulance service. If this happens again, just give her a fucking pill. Don't take her to the hospital. <laughs> Okay, this wow. is a chick. This is a chick that had to lie to her. Okay, she wore a fake ring to work because she felt so embarrassed. She'd been dating him for five years and wasn't engaged. She faked her own engagement. Oh Ugh. my god! All right, and he was oblivious to this. The trolls brought it up on his stream until he finally realized that she was doing this at work and she'd been talking about it on social media. <laughs> uh, he's not. He's not the best Casanova. I mean, there've been moments too where he said some really dumb shit, like. Uh, there's one stream where he's like, he interrupts the gameplay of like fucking Star Wars Battlefront and he tells everybody, I gotta go wake Panda up. Uh, she's got the flu and she's really sick, but she needs to cook me dinner. <laughs> like, maybe your fat ass could, you know, LARP your way over to the fucking microwave and just do a hungry man. Maybe let your girlfriend who's got the flu <laughs> sleep it off, champ. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> or make some soup or something to give to her. Jesus Christ, dude. She's sick. What the fuck's wrong with this guy? McDonald's. I mean, there's a lot of different ways you could go with this. Uh, he could have done, yeah, he could have done a whole host of things. Just I mean, order the guy ran, He ran a, a fucking series called Cooking with the King, so I know he knows how to work a fucking oven. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, it, just a lot, a lot of shit going on there. But I mean, you know, she wasn't a YouTuber, but she had a job. She worked, and she tried to run her own small business, as dumb as it was for the soap thing. Uh, he was just, I think, kind of. Uh, kind of a dick and she had enough after the uh i think the hospital thing really was like the the last straw i think that's where she was like fuck this guy <laughs> because what happens if she really gets sick you know what i mean like what what happens if she gets hit by a fucking car or her kidney explodes or some crazy shit he's gonna be like can you just hurry up and heal we need to get, i need to go to an lp of persona like, come on you gotta <laughs> suck it up suck it up panda i need dinner so yeah, even uh, though it's just a small illness that's kind of you know, shows you what it's going to be in the future, and if he's that callous about it, it's just like, oh. You've got AIDS, I've got to go to E3, come on. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, and you know, the funny thing is, after doing the Wings video and hearing uh, Kyle and the other guys who worked with him and kind of knew him talk about the money he was making, I get a good idea of what DSP was making now, back when he started, because he was doing really well in the very, very early days. Uh, he is a fucking idiot for not saving up any of that. He shouldn't have any financial troubles with the money he made for the first two or three years once that monetization kicked in. Uh, but he's got two mortgages he can't pay. Like, how do you get yourself under that? How do you get yourself in that position? It makes me wonder, didn't didn't uh, Matt, Monday Matt, didn't he get a house? But I don't think he didn't pay for it, though, right? He's got a mortgage. He so said he paid for an ho a house, but I don't know if that what that means exactly. Yeah. Well, yeah, I, I, I don't know if he, uh, I can't imagine he bought it, or I can't bought imagine. it outright. Yeah. No, uh, so I, I wonder, like, is he going to face like a DSP situation in two years, where he, his like channel views are gone and he's stuck with a fucking massive mortgage? Well, his, his girlfriend works, so maybe he'll be able to manage. But why does DSP have two mortgages? I, I believe it's two mortgages. Uh, he because he has a house that he lives in, but he also has a condo. Yeah. Uh, so he has to rent the condo out because that's where he used to live, and I, I believe it still has him. I, I'm not the deepest on DSP lore. Mm -hmm. Like, if you, if you want to know the fucking full story, go to like Kiwi or something. They've got a whole fucking sub forum dedicated to him. That's strange. Um, you, you would you would expect him to at least charge enough to pay the mortgage on that one place and a little bit more. You know, a smart thing to do. Yeah, you'd expect that he'd understand the situation, or that he just I don't know, get rid of the fucking house and go back to the condo. Yeah. Or not have bought a house in the first place. He moved states, I believe, because it was uh, there was no income tax or something, wherever the fuck he is now. That was his brilliant idea. Like, I don't have to pay income tax, so I'm going to move and buy another house. <laughs> oh, jeez. I, I don't know, man. He's he's uh, he's a fucking dummy. He's a dumb dumb. I don't know what he's doing. It's not smart. He doesn't seem like the best long-term planner uh, around. I have to or short-term planner. Or well, fuck, can, in can, can you name me one YouTuber that really has been known for their financial insight and their their forethought in planning out their retirement? Aside from the ones that make fucking ridiculous money where they can be idiots and be fine. But like, it seems like a majority are like a flash in the pan. They make a shit ton of cash and then it falls apart. And then where the fuck are they in three years? And yeah, I think that, that's 
DSP. That's what's going to be. Except for the the real, you know, money men like PewDiePie and the top people who almost can't fuck up. Well, yeah, I mean, guys like that. Yeah, guys yeah. like that are are fine. I mean, PewDiePie yeah. makes so much stupid amounts of money that like he could be the most retarded man on earth and be just fine. Yeah. Um, but somebody like DSP can't afford to do that. But like I, you said, I, I, he was in at the beginning. Like he should have had no problems if, if he had saved and. Yeah, if he if he just put aside a decent small, I almost wonder why YouTube doesn't put up like a disclaimer. <laughs> yeah, like you know how colleges, if you go to a yeah. college now, if you start a college, uh, they will sit you down for like an hour course and tell you, hey, idiot, if you take out student loans, you're going to have to pay them back. So let's talk about being responsible four or five years from now, so you know what's going to happen. I almost kind of would expect that YouTube would have something up like that when you monetize your channel. They're like, hey. Maybe you're going to make a bunch of money. Might want to think about saving up a little bit of that. Yeah, <laughs> sincerely, the Google team. Or maybe they could start a. Um, I think the NFL and sports league have like, <laughs> like services and homes for for like broke football players and shit later on in their life. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe that's getting. I, I think they they do financial uh, help yeah. nowadays. There's like a rookie for the NFL. There's a rookie sy uh, symposium where they have all the rookies go in, and they get you know lectured by all like uh, NFL old guys and tell them listen don't spend all your money on hookers and blow buddy it ain't gonna last you're gonna be in the league for a couple of years and then you know your knees are gonna blow out and then you're gonna be done so save some of that shit up but see it's like that in pretty much every field i mean certain careers gonna you're gonna have a longer prom but there's certain prom years that you're gonna have and you'll never get those back you'll, you'll be hot for whatever five ten years and then you won't be so if you don't save money during your prom money making period you're really fucking up. So. Oh, fuck yeah, you, you should you should walk away with a nice little well, a nice little nest egg to yeah. to start or you know your real career it, and fucking stabilize yourself for a year or two or whatever you're gonna do. I don't know. Yeah, people should yeah, learn to invest money. Away. I mean, yeah, exactly. Or invest, yes. Yeah, invest it, put it in the four hundred one k. You know, bonds, mutual funds, this and that. But no, no, people don't do that. They just throw it in the bank and get like what a, a penny fucking every six months. Yeah, good job. Yeah, so I, I I don't know what's gonna happen with his YouTube channel. I, I like if he if if he loses anything, he's fucked. Like his income is split really between three different sources, and if one of those goes down, I think that's it for him. I don't think it's recoverable. What he's like got if, YouTube? Isn't he on Twitch too? Yeah, he's got YouTube. He's got Twitch, but then he's got Patreon, right? So mm -hmm. he gets the subs from Twitch, the monetization from YouTube, and then the donations through Patreon. But I think if like one of those goes, uh, he's kind of fucked. One leg of the stool. Yeah. You know what yeah. you should do? Go on Plex Storm. <laughs> Plex Storm. Yeah, yeah, well, somebody explain what that is. Like, I've heard other people talk about Plex Storm, so what the fuck is that? Um, it, <laughs> do you want to explain? explain it's to Twitch, them? but, like, porn Twitch. Yeah. It's like Pornhub and Twitch had a had a retard baby. Yeah. yeah. Wait, so does it have to explicitly be porn, or can you just stream whatever the fuck you want? You can, can get, apparently stream whatever the fuck you want. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't have like to be you're, porn, Like, but... somebody apparently pulled their pants down or something. Uh, and there's, was watching is there randomly. A bunch, yeah, a bunch of chicks just do it naked, uh, but there's not that many chicks. And there's, there's a lot of... There's a very good there's lot. crop of a talent there on Not Storm, yet. Nope. You know? Yeah. It seems to be mostly, like, ugly fat bitches and trannies. Yeah, there's a lot I don't of... Know, there's what, a lot what I'm asking is, could I, could, could I do a stream nah, yeah. making fun of furries on Plex Storm? Do I have I to believe, be naked oh, to do it? Or? No, no, you don't have to. You, no, it's I, not a requirement. I think it's just uh, a possibility if, if you would like to be naked. Dude, naked. if you do it, that'd be hilarious. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> if you do it, you can just put whatever on the screen, basically. Sure it would be the biggest stream in Plex Storm. Well, no, I just... If, is you it might... a small site right now, or is it pretty big? No, I think have... it's still small, right? I don't know how big it is, to be honest. Uh, See, that think... that amuses me, because I imagine all these cam whores are trying to get their start there, and yeah. if I go over there and I can bring a, a decent-sized audience um, and get, like, the number one stream going on it, I'm going to have all these cam whores really pissed off and angry. Like, why is this dude who isn't even showing himself and talking about fur fags, why is he ahead of me when I'm flashing my tits nonstop? Um, <laughs> you know what? I don't think there's, like, more than, like, 100 viewers on something, so... If you can bring what half of a metal cast there, you'd explode their servers. Uh, is oh, it uh, PC based or is it like a mobile thing? Uh, PC. I it is. PC, yeah. yeah. I might. I might try Plex Storm then. Maybe <laughs> I can do, do it. it. <laughs> do it. 
Because then I could do that meta or uh, the uh, deviance after dark thing there. You could. Yeah, because some things you just can't do on YouTube. Yeah. Oh, there's yeah, there's no there's so much shit I want to do, but yeah, you can't do it on YouTube. But if like I can find a streaming service that doesn't fucking care, yeah, I'd do it there. They have. Also, I mean, there's another one called Stream.me. I haven't used it yet, but I think you can pretty much do. Um, over there. Uh, signed up for an account, but I'm not like. Yeah. Uh, God, I could do a fucking I could do a show about the world's worst porn. You could. Uh, this, yeah, yeah. I, I, like, the possibilities are unfolding. Yeah. See, there's a lot you're, of you're stuff welcome. I would like to do, like <laughs> adult type theme stuff that you just can't do on the service. Oh, adult ever. time theme. Mm. Yeah, adult themes. <laughs> adult themes. Yeah. Mature audiences only. Uh, what was the one I used to use back in the day? Uh, damn it, I can't remember the name of it, but. Uh, it was hot for, uh, I don't know, six months, and they just didn't care. They just let you do whatever. You can stream movies, and nobody gave a fuck. And then all of a sudden, of course, they... Was it Hitbox <laughs> or whatever? Business. No, it wasn't. No, Hitbox, they were pretty wild there for a while. Uh, Nora might remember. Yeah, you don't remember the name of the... Yeah, but... Uh, Wait, does uh, does OBS work on PlexStorm? It should. I believe so, yeah. I think, I th I think it works uh, almost exactly like Twitch. Don't quote me on that. But I guess if you go to that site and you look it up, it should work similarly. Okay. Well, yeah, I, I don't really use Twitch. I think I used it once in four years. But, um, yeah, I, if I can find a place that I can stream uh, adult content, uh, that would be great. Amazing. I'm glad I brought and it I up. And I also heard that uh, Pornhub, <laughs> and I read this, and this was a newspaper article. I think it was uh, Washington Post, maybe, or the... I don't know. It was some main site, you know, known site, and they said that uh, Pornhub was looking into doing like just regular videos and regular streams. Yeah. Uh, of course, on, on under the Pornhub umbrella, where you could just pretty much put whatever you want up there. Well, yeah, I, I hope sites like this, like a Plexstorm or a Pornhub, does it. I mean, if they're lax about it and they're laid back. I mean, obviously, if you're like violating copyright to an absurd degree, where you're just yeah, replaying yeah. a movie or something like that. But I mean, if they're if they're laid back about it, not up your ass about. It, hate speech and making jokes they'll probably be really fucking popular because mm -hmm. twitch is like yeah. authoritarian and youtube's got a fuck ton of rules around it a yeah, rules we got another know. strike the other day and some people were tweeted at me and they're like why don't you just stream on twitch <laughs> it's like okay That's worse. Yeah, that'll work that'll work for about 30 minutes yeah if that that's not a really good solution they're even more they're worse than youtube so yeah yeah, there we go. I, li I like it, chat. Uh, somebody said Meadowstorm. Uh, that's yes. what I'm calling it. Yeah. <laughs> Meadowstorm and Meadow Porn. Yeah, perfect. I've got branding from all sides now. Mr. Meadow Porn. There you go. Uh, the the possibilities are endless. Mm, there was a, a video up. Uh, you know the casting couch videos? I, I think it's like yeah. behind the scenes shit. There was, I think, up I mean, on, I've like, heard of things like that. I mean, I'm not... it, it was up on eFucked uh, where it was... It just had the guy, basically all it was was the camera guy and one of the producers, and they just said the most atrocious shit to the female porn stars. Oh my. Like, your your tits are flabby. Get those fucking stretch marks out of here. You better let me spit in your mouth. Just horrible shit. <laughs> and all they would do is get them to cry. Like, I almost kind of want to take that formula and apply it to really bad porn videos, where it's nothing but just really horrendous commentary about their inability to act or perform or to be attractive. That would be really fun to me. It's like, uh, what is that, Mystery Sans Theater, except with porn? Yeah, 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 that's exactly what it is. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> bring, in a, bring in different guests every day. Yeah. Yeah, you just pick, pick a different <laughs> actress and just go through their catalog of fucking <laughs> terrible shit. <laughs> Why hasn't that happened already? I'm are sitting you... here thinking, wow, that sounds like a great Motherfucker, idea. are you listening to me? It's about to happen. <laughs> 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 we've... we've past the point of no return here well uh, this is great this is great let me ask you while you're here what about the uh supreme court ruling about the uh cake and the you don't have to bake cakes for gay people no yeah well i mean the ruling was more it was less on do they have the religious freedom to deny that and more on uh the state itself violating his rights by being uh really up his ass about his religion Right. So yeah. they, they, they ruled on it, but they ruled on it in a way that stepped around the main issue. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, yeah, at the end of the day, he doesn't have to bake the cake, but they didn't really answer the question. So yeah, it was it a very narrow happened. ruling. It pretty much only applies to that case. Like it doesn't. Yeah. yeah so more than likely, it's going to go. Uh, there'll probably be a similar case eventually that maybe gets them to talk about it. But right. here's the thing. That guy got fucked because he spent so much money on the court cases anyway. 
and it, it, like it, everything went to shit for him. Didn't he lose his business? He had no cash. Yeah. His house was getting yeah. fucked. Um, so I don't know where that leaves him. I don't know what his future looks like, even though he got a ruling that was more in favor of what he wanted uh, than what the gay couple did. But wasn't this back from like 2013 or 2014? It's been a fucking long time now. Yeah. It's oh, been yeah, it's been years well. and years and years and multiple court venues. You know, they had to go up and down the, you know, circuits and shit. Yeah, it's been quite a grind. Yeah, I don't know that I would call it a victory. I mean, he did end up winning, but kind of like a Pyrrhic victory at this point. So, Yeah, yeah. But um, I, I don't know. I want to see I want to see the same thing applied in a different situation to see what the reaction would be. I mean, I made a, I made a joke on Twitter about it, but... Can I go to a Muslim butcher and demand that he cuts up pork for me? <laughs> right? Like, you know, is his it's a religious objection, right? It's a religious objection to handling pork. It's not halal. So how is that going to play out? Are people going to march in the street for me for demanding pork chops? <laughs> you know, like, yeah, where is that going to go? Yeah. That's... Uh, I don't think you'll have the same type of support, but maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, I don't think uh -huh. so either. All right. Also, I see you have a full slate of videos coming up for June. What what, what all is going on there? Yeah. So I, I watched. Um, I watched. Somebody gave it the name Cold Steel. Uh, Cold Steel Cruise, which <laughs> yes, fits fucking it. perfectly. Yeah. Uh, but I watched his video trying to talk shit, and he's the most autistic fucking retard I've ever heard in my life. And it sounded like he was trying to read off a script, like he thought of all the badass things that he could possibly say, and he read them off to try to sound dark and brooding. Uh, but it came off like a live journal from a 13 year old. Uh, so I fucking heard this and I was like, yeah, you know, I was going to do the couch cuck video about the school shooter anyway, but I wanted to do a series on it because it's the majority of these people are fucking exceptional. Right. And when you look into their backgrounds and their online histories and their behaviors and the, just everything about them from how they present themselves to their mannerisms and speech, I, I, I don't know. I mean, I really am of the mind of what I said in the Randy Steer video where you look at Columbine, and Columbine, that shit was blasted out in the media, but nobody really made fun of them, right? So it left, like, this lasting image of, like, oh, my God, they're these dark supervillains, and everybody wanted to emulate that. I really think if you looked at these faggots and laughed at them, people wouldn't be thinking that they're going to leave behind a legacy of infamy, right? If they're going to be the fucking punchline, if everybody's saying that they're going to be a transsexual ghost girl, like they do with Randy now. Uh, so I kind of wanted to make a, a series kind of in that vein, where it makes fun of makes fun of these fucking retards and uh, looks at the dumb, weird shit that they do online. There's a lot of material there. <laughs> yeah. We, wa yeah. we watched that clip. Holy shit. Man. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it, it's fucked up. And then the other one was uh, Degenernet. Aren't I, see, aren't I clever with my, yeah, with like my that. name? But I, it's like Deviance, but expanded past it. I've been looking at shit like for Affinity and Ink Bunny and Gelboru and other sites like that and uh, the user bases and the, the content they put up. Uh, so that's that's another one I got uh, that's going to be like at the end of the month. But if that Plex Storm shit works out or if the Pornhub stuff works out, I can put unedited videos up on there. Yeah. Where it actually where it actually shows. I mean, I don't I don't know if you've ever been to any of those, especially Ink Bunny or Fur Affinity. Some of the fucking shit they have up on there uh, is is definitely interesting. And people were suggesting uh, websites. Where mm -hmm. the fuck was it? Uh, let, let, one one guy. I, I want to see if I can find this one because this was actually really. This is actually really good. Uh, one one second here. Oh, you got dead air. Where's Viva La Rasa? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, you can put on like, you can upload them uh, to like X videos too if you wanted. There you go. They, I, you're pretty, sh pretty sure you can upload anything. I don't think Plexum can upload videos. It's just live. Oh, oh yeah. Here, yeah, here yeah. was. Uh, my guy, have you considered doing a video on Lover Slab forums? Because every copy of Skyrim needs a mod that gives you on screen notifications when female NPCs start menstruating or shitting themselves. What? Uh, so, what? so apparently this forum is dedicated to putting in poop mechanics and pussy bleeding mechanics into oh. Skyrim. Like, that's. that's <laughs> That's the shit that they totally are into, and I've seen, screen, I've seen some screen caps of like these really weird-looking hairless furries shitting on the floor. <laughs> oh God! Oh, but man. when are we gonna get the colloidal, colloidal silver mechanics in Skyrim? Uh, <laughs> you know, they they probably would throw that in for you if you ask them. Uh, you know, have it be like a side effect, like a, a new kind of skooma yeah. has shown up, a little moon <laughs> sugar. That uh, turns you blue when you abuse it. That'd be a good one. 
That needs to happen. Uh, what else? Oh, you said there was going to be an internet insanity. You kind of teased it. It was, it was a well, and of course you're not going to spoil it here, but. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, no, I mean, I, I, the people have spoken. I mean, spoken. unless you want to, unless you want to. The, the people have spoken, and, uh, yeah, no, it's, it's totally going to be about JF. I've got to milk <laughs> those nipples, right? Like, that's, yeah, no. Uh, it's, it's somebody that they, uh, people have brought up kind of when I started doing it, so. Uh, some people will be pleased. I mean, m you know, the majority probably aren't going to know who the fuck they are. They'll enjoy it either way, but uh, it's, it's a name that's known in the Brony community. Oh, no. We did get a tease. Yeah, I got a, got a little bit of a, a yeah, tease a little, there. A little nugget there. Uh, and then uh, E3. What what are you looking forward to? Uh, I, I just... E3 is the same every fucking year, man. I mean, every year you go to it expecting something good and you don't get it. So that's what I'm looking forward to is the fucking train wreck <laughs> that those presentations are always going to be. They're always bad. They're yeah, always we'll, we'll, bad. Have, we'll have Fallout 76 that, yeah. uh, that'll be online that. bullshit. <laughs> It's a battleground, isn't Online it? Online open battleground. world battle royal. That's my prediction. That's what they. That's uh, what they said it is. I'm pretty sure somebody dropped that tweet. That's like a battle royale game. I I, I don't know, man. It, it, there there's some <laughs> there's there's not well, a lot to look forward to. Will I Xbox mean, actually have a game? I don't know. Are you guys looking forward to DMC five being unveiled and to meme taking the stage to ruin it for everyone? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I saw that. Someone they uh they took the what is it, the website for uh, for that. And the trademark for Devil May Cry Five. I I don't know. I mean, I, I've seen some some link or leaks uh, and speculation that at least Sony and Nintendo should have a few decent surprises in there, but Microsoft disappoints me every year, and so does yeah. EA is the lost fucking cause. I mean, can, oh, can gonna... anybody name me an EA presentation in the last decade that's been good? None. But we'll get another Madden. I was just about to say Madden. <laughs> we'll get another Madden. FIFA. Uh, 30 minute FIFA presentation where they're going to bring out some random dude that no American knows who they are. Oh, do you think this year they're going to do what they do every fucking year and unveil a new Forza and then have a sports car on stage nobody gives a shit about while <laughs> yeah. they talk about it for 25 fucking minutes? Because I look forward to that every yeah, year. Yeah, actually, you know who's on the Madden cover? T.O. Do you think they'll get T.O. to come on? Oh, well, well, you know what? Uh, on the cover? <laughs> I don't know because he's in the Hall of Fame now, I guess. Don't know. No, they need to. They need to get more YouTubers. Who was that YouTuber that they had? I think it was last year or the year before, and they threw the camera to him, and he started stumbling over all his fucking lines. <laughs> yeah, I remember. he had like the glasses and like the weird hair. He, he's he's like, hi, I'm hipster fuck from YouTube, and then yeah. just like, Did, like yeah, nothing I, in his mind. Yeah. <laughs> I think he said the wrong game name. It was like it was Need for Speed, <laughs> but he said Forza or something. <laughs> like, he's completely fucking lost. Oof, that's a big mistake. Joey Salads, that's what somebody said in the chat. I don't know. If that's no, it wasn't true. Joey Salads. It was somebody well, else. <laughs> he he looks so just lost. Like, he, I, I can guarantee he was probably at the bar the night before. And he's like, I got this. It's going to be easy. And then he yes. gets in front of the camera. And he's like, oh, shit. Jesse Wellens? Yeah, yeah Jesse Wellens. Yeah, I think that is. Oh. I don't know. Oh. I'm going to have to Google him because I remember his face. But... Oh, on. yeah, it was this guy. Yeah, I, I'll probably do uh, some streams and stuff. I, I'm probably going to do like a pre-3. Uh, pre, yeah, pre-3. There we go. Clever clever names oh, again. But uh, just going over the highlights of the last, uh, I don't know, decades worth of E3s. Because there have been some, like that Konami from 08 was just some of the best shit ever. Um, it's just, just different shit like that. And then I'll, I'll probably cover a few of the, a few of the conferences. But I, I really don't have a lot of hope for most of the companies. I don't think Microsoft will do well. I don't think Ubisoft will do well. I don't think EA will do well. Uh, Devolver Digital will probably have something funny. Nintendo and Sony will probably do okay. Uh, and then the PC show will be the PC show, which it is every fucking year, where the guy just regrets his life and tries to talk about something. <laughs> yeah, it's this guy. Probably my favorite E3 out of the last, like, I don't know, 10 years was when Sony just fucking destroyed Microsoft there. Uh, when the PS4 was about to come out, that was pretty good. But... Yeah, it kind of reminded me of... Um... There's a really old E3 when the, when the PlayStation was launching, and you'll never see another one like this. But I think the Saturn had just come. Somebody was announcing their price, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. And so Sony's entire conference was literally, I think it was the CEO or one of the presidents, walks up on stage. Yeah. He just says the price and he leaves. And that's the fucking end of it. Everybody applauds. They're like, yeah, fuck yeah, fuck the Saturn. And he just walks out of the room like <laughs> It used to be a lot meaner with the like intercompany. Look at look at this fucker! I can see your screen. I'm watching this. I know it's delayed yeah. a little bit, but now I can see him in his pink fucking shirt. <laughs> yeah, it's this guy. Jacket. I remember this guy. This is the guy. <laughs> hey, hey, everybody! I'm here debuting Halo. Is there cars rolling behind him? 
<laughs> Look how. <laughs> Are you excited for the newest Pokemon franchise? Uh, this guy is such a fuck up. <laughs> Yeah. He's, he's trying to pretend. Look, his, he looks so uncomfortable. Even in the still image, he looks so fucking uncomfortable. <laughs> yep. Uh, he was so bad. Oh, he was awful. Just fucking awful. That, that was, I think, a really... Uh, that was a lesson learned for the video game industry, that the people that can cut together videos easily probably aren't the best at off-the-cuff or teleprompter work. Yeah. You know what I also don't like? I don't like Aisha Tyler at all. She's I was about cool. to say, Aisha <laughs> Tyler is the most cringe part of the Ubisoft entire fucking panel. She's like, hey, everybody, you remember me from Archer? That's literally all you know me from. Here's some cringe jokes. Ha ha ha. Okay, now here's the game. Hey, now, you you watch it. I'm pretty sure she hosted Talk Soup for a while on E, uh, which she was pretty okay at uh, before, like, Joe, Joel? Mikhail. What the fuck? Yeah. There, Joel Mikhail, Mikhail, there we go. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, so she was okay in that, but... No, this dude is the video game equivalent of Sank Uger working at MSNBC. If anybody ever watched him on that, mm. he could not read from a teleprompter to save his fucking life. Like, he would he'd get all sweaty. He's just looking around and uncomfortable, stumbling over shit. It was just awful. And then That's they fired is. him because he was, you know, objectively terrible. And he tried to say it was, like, I don't remember if it was racism or they, they he was too hot for MSNBC. And so now he always talks shit about him, even to this day, so. It was, it was really bad. His show was terrible. So what what's your speculation? I mean, I've already said my speculation. What are you guys expecting from this E3? Like, I'll name a conference. You guys give me your opinion on it. All right, we'll start with an easy one, because I think we all know where it's going to go since this guy's up on screen. What do you think EA is going to be? <laughs> so I think EA is going to show another Need for Speed. They're going to show you know the the sports games, and then they're going to try. Oh, uh, maybe a remake or two. I'm not sure. But it's usually, it's the, usually big, the same. I think the big part of their conference is going to be um, Anthem. You think so? Oh, yeah, that's you know that's a good yeah. point. I forgot about Anthem. But, yeah, I bet they'll have gameplay from that. More gameplay. More and more background details. Ralph, what do you think? Uh, I don't even know, to be honest. It probably Like, their biggest franchise, the only thing that really makes them money nowadays are FIFA and Madden. So Battle your chat, your chat is saying Battlefield feminism. Well, that probably is going to oh, be yes. front yes. better than yes. Battle Battlefield yeah. Five. Yeah, Battlefield there. Yeah, definitely some Battlefield. So, oh, uh, Google Plus sucks. Said uh, remake of Mass Effect One. I don't know. What do you think? Do you think they'll go for it? If they keep it exactly the same, just up the graphics and make the gameplay uh, like Mass Effect Two, yeah, that'd be great. Wait, is that is that a rumor that's out there? No, I've just heard it. It, it is now. It's yeah, a, it's now. <laughs> this is this is a Ralph Retort exclusive rumor. There's gonna be some snide fucking like misogyny comment during the Battlefield Five debut. Of course. You know there's gonna be. Of course. Oh, okay. How about Ubisoft? What are you expecting from Ubisoft? What Assassin's Creed something, right? Like, Some new fucking Rayman game. <laughs> uh, Assassin's Creed, pro yeah, probably. Oh, Rayman actually, and... Rayman. What? What, now, what, what about, like what about Rayman? Beyond Good and Evil Two? You think there's gonna be some of that up there? That's been a couple years that they've been talking about it, though, hasn't it? Well, I mean, I know it's going to be her mommy rather than her. I mean, <laughs> isn't that the reveal from the trailer? It's not Jade in this one. It's going to yeah. be whoever it's... the fuck, captain of the USS shithole, as yeah. they fucking fly around <laughs> space with monkeys and rhinos and shit. Uh, okay, oh, uh, Division Two. Oh, how about how about Square? What do you think Square is going to do? Oh, the this... Final Fantasy Seven remake. Is everybody in agreement on that? I'm going to start playing Viva La Rasa if you motherfuckers don't start talking. <laughs> I think the Final Fantasy VII Remake, they're going to probably bring out another... Um, oh, what was the game I was playing? Nino Kuni? Maybe? Really? You think a third one? Uh, the, I like the second one. Maybe they'll trailer it. I don't know. Kingdom Hearts 3, of course, is probably going to yeah. be the biggest topic at, at the Square Presser. That game should have came out fucking years ago like 10 years ago yeah of course it should have but fucking it's fucking got square king kingdom hearts 1.25 and like every fucking number in between one to three yeah i never got kingdom that i never understood why no they had 38 releases in between one and two it made no fucking sense to me either 20 over 69 days and shit yeah i don't get it either but like ah. <laughs> kingdom hearts the square root of mickey yeah that's <laughs> that's what it felt yeah. like um do you no. think they'll do episodic content? I mean, I know that that's where they're going with Final Fantasy VII. Do you think Ow. they're going to actually try that with Kingdom I, Hearts 3? I hate that. 
I fucking hate it so much. I hate it. I hate it. Fuck. I just want the entire game. I hate episodic stuff. Think... We have to wait for fucking weeks. I don't think they'll do it with Kingdom Hearts 3, but I think they will definitely move that direction for future Final Fantasies. And I think no, the fuck. 7 remake is going to be their test bed for it because it's going to print money because nerds are going to be like, oh my god, it's Final Fantasy 7. Oh, Cloud. Oh, Eris. Oh. That's nostalgic. They're going to buy that shit. I think all of us... How many people have played that game? Uh, if you, chat, if you played, played Final Fantasy... I never you, actually beat it, though. If you played Final Fantasy VII, yeah. type 1 in the chat, yes. you're going to see tons of 1s. Well, yeah, but, I mean, wasn't that the system seller? I mean, that was kind yeah. of the thing that got people to say, yeah. holy it shit, was... maybe I need a PlayStation. You, you know what I want to see? Legend of Dragoon 2. Never going to happen. You might as well say you want a Legend <laughs> of Legaia 2. Like, you might as I don't know what the fuck you're saying right now. <laughs> I fucking... I didn't... The first time I played that game, I wasn't into it. The second time I played that game, I, fu I loved it. Le it was so Legend of Dragoon, or a remake of it. You know, I had that same reaction to Ico. I first got Ico, I fucking hated it. And then I, I it must have been some article I read where they're praising it as the best game ever. So I was like, fuck it, I'll give it another chance. And I played it past 20 minutes, and I was like, this is ama This game is fucking amazing. Yeah, so. yeah. The first time I played it, I was a little, I was a little young, and the, the combo system and that, like, you had to, like, it wasn't like 7 where it's, like, uh, turn-based. You had to, like, press the buttons to, to get criticals. And I couldn't get it. And then I waited a little bit, and I, I figured it out. And then when I got into the fucking game, I was, like, wrecking people with it. And I was like, dude, this game is actually fun as fuck. Oh, okay. So, I mean, those are the, the kind of the smaller ones. I, I think we can skip the PC show, and Devolver Digital more than likely is just going to do comedy shit like they usually do, which is mm -hmm. great. Uh, what about the big three? What, what, do you think, what do you think Microsoft's going to bring to the table this year? <laughs> well, they mm, just brought a, good question. a new console, right? The Xbox uh, One whatever, fuck. Uh, Xbox One X. Yeah, there you go. One X. Which X, I, X, X, Xbox. Which I didn't buy because it's not any... you Any game you can get on that, you can still get on your a regular Xbox One. So I was like, what the fuck's the point? Um, but they're I gonna considered try to, buying it, but nah, I didn't. Yeah, they're going to shill that. I already had a bunch of PS4 games, so I just got the PS4. The one game. thing I do like about Microsoft is right now, any game that they make for Xbox is going to be on PC. Yeah, I mean, that's true. They're undercutting their own console by putting it up on PC, which is yeah. weird to me. I mean, I like it. I, I'd rather play games on my computer, to be honest. Um, so, except support, like, yeah, I don't know. Uh, they don't, I haven't seen any exclusives from them. Not one leak for an exclusive, nothing. I can't I think, think of any... It's going to work in their favor, though, because, you know, people... I mean, they could walk up on stage and be like, by the way, Halo 6, Crackdown 3. Walk off Crackdown stage, 3 got delayed though. their spaghetti. Crackdown 3 got delayed. Yeah, it did, but... <laughs> well, I mean, the, the entire life cycle of the fucking console, I mean, what do they had? They've had one Gears of War and one Halo. Like, yeah. what other exclusives? Uh, I mean, uh, Forza, okay. But mm. uh, aside from that, what the <laughs> fuck else did they had? Yeah. I mean, I know, I know the joke was always PlayStation is the Bloodborne machine, right? But at least <laughs> they have fucking Bloodborne. Yeah. <laughs> like, I think of Microsoft, <laughs> right? Like, what do these guys have that I can't? I can play it anywhere else on another console and on the fucking PC. Yeah, it's yeah, you got Sea of Thieves. And, uh... and... But that's not <laughs> Sea of Thieves. Thieves, sea, sea of Thieves is on PC. Uh, yeah, sea, sea of Thieves is awful. Let's be honest. And yeah. then somebody said Sunset Overdrive. I played it. It's eh, it's okay, I guess. They need uh, to peacefully but... sunset it. <laughs> uh, well, people are bringing up Switch now. So, what do you, what are you guys expecting from Nintendo? Now, personally, I think uh, we're probably maybe going to get a little bit of a gameplay Smash. teaser for. Yeah. Well, yeah, obviously Smash, but maybe for Metroid Four. Oh yeah. um, Ooh, yes. That's why I think this year they might yeah, really, you know, if they if they can show a little oh, bit about, of Smash, a little Metroid. What about maybe... that Pokemon game? <laughs> oh fucking no! <laughs> Pokemon. That Pokemon game, they're going to spend way too much time on it. I'm going to. Yeah, they're going to. <laughs> yeah, now basically. You can it. carry your Pokemon with you with the new Pikachu and Eevee editions of Pokemon. And do you play Pokemon Go? Pause for audience reaction. <laughs> oh, it, uh, who do you think? How long? Okay, I, I, I guarantee this is going to happen, so I want an honest answer from all of you. The new Pokeball controller that has the vibration function that's coming out. How long until some degenerate fuck uses that as an anal beat and has to go to the ER to get it taken out? I guarantee you it'll be on Plexstorm the day, day it comes out. One. <laughs> day one. I kind of want, I mean, I almost want to see somebody, yeah, that would be a funny stream, some 
some dude shoves that up his ass and then plays the game with it on Plexstorm would be one hell of a let's play of Pokemon Go. <laughs> Pokeball Plus. Pokemon Go to the ER. <laughs> That's literally what they call it. Holy shit. Uh, what about Half-Life 3? That was asked in the chat. Oh, that's never happening. It's that's never going to happen. Not in a million years. <laughs> every, every year people wait for it. Every year it's never going to happen. Uh, somebody else happen. said, ask Jim about Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh, it'll probably be good. The first one was fucking great. I had a lot of fun oh. with that. Yeah. It's yeah. Yeah. I'm glad it's coming out for PC too. Yeah. Uh, well, hopefully they put the first one up on PC. Then. Yeah. I haven't played the first one because it's on a PC and I haven't. Oh, and then, uh, yeah, and then I guess last but uh, last but least, the Bloodborne machine. What do you think Sony's gonna throw out this year? Oh, I think part of their conference is part of their conference is gonna be that Destiny expansion they just talked about. Uh, Does anybody? <laughs> uh, ah, fuck There's Destiny. Like five people. There's like five people that still play it. I think I'm... Sony's gonna probably have Red Dead Redemption two yeah. in their in their particular thing. Spider Man. Oh, oh, Devil May Cry five. Oh, yes. Probably. Devil May Cry 5, oh, Spoder Man. Fucking Kojima's game. Uh, Death Stranding. Oh. Death Stranding. Yes, That'll right be is. a big one. Yeah, see, and that's what they have. So, I mean, I, like I said, I think Nintendo and Sony have some shit to show on the show floor and, like, for the presentation, but yeah, I think Microsoft and the other guys are really fucked this year. Oh, L- Last right, of Us Days 2? Days Gone and uh, Last of Us 2. Those are the ones I was beginning. Oh, do you yeah, think? Last, dude, that's still scheduled for. That's next year, right? That's not coming out this. But they'll year. still probably yeah. show they'll, they'll, some yeah, stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. They'll definitely show so, some stuff. So actually, Sony's CEO came out and said that the PlayStation Four is at the end of life. Do you think they'll tease? Uh, no, I, I think we got another. No, not year. yet. Uh, another, at least another year before they start teasing new hardware. Oh, I think so too. anything else from Bethesda? Other than Fallout seventy six, uh, I, I think Rage it'll be 2? Fallout. I, yeah, I think you get Fallout seventy six, Rage two, and then I think they might actually tease. At least at their beginning development on Elder Scrolls Six. Now, uh, what do you think? What kind of game do you think Elder Scrolls Six is going to be? Do you think it's going to be more uh, online? Oh, okay, well, let's be honest here. All right, mm-hmm. uh, if, if if for all the Elder Scrolls fans, you've got a really tough fucking future ahead of you, because it's either the Fur Fags or the other Kens. Are you going to go with the Khajiit? <laughs> oh yeah. Or are you going to go with the Argonians? Because those are your two fucking choices. Can't go, go with the Bretons. Already did that. Can't go yeah. with the Imperials or the fucking Dark no. Elves and High Elves. All that shit's taken. Yeah, you're going to go so the Black Marsh. Or other kins. Pick your poison. Oof. What is it? The Black Marsh and the... What is, where do the Khajiit Elsewhere. live? El- Elsewhere. Elsewhere. Yeah. Elsewhere probably is more fun um, because it's a desert type area. But the Black Marsh is just, you know, marshes and bullshit. But the Wood Elves are the other two. Oh, somebody said Orcs. Yeah, I want to play a fucking game about Orcs. Nah, I can go play Warcraft <laughs> if I want that and have it done better. <laughs> True. Uh, Valen Wood, somebody mentioned that. Isn't one of the old ones, doesn't it have Valen? I only played up to... Oh, uh, yeah, you know, I mean, maybe maybe they'll go the extra mile and just put Black Marsh uh, elsewhere and Valen Wood all together. You yeah. know what I mean? It's like one big fucking thing where it's some kind of war going on down there. I don't know. That'd be cool. But yeah, they're they're running out of places on the continent, so Elder Scrolls like seven or eight is gonna have to go somewhere completely new. Oh, maybe you can go yeah. to the Dwemer. Ah, uh, the Dwemer, the, the Dwemer, yeah, yeah, the little pissed off fucking dwarfs that build yeah. giant mechanical monstrosities might be yeah. might be entertaining. Because they they enslaved those elves and turned them into uh, Falmer, didn't they? They left them in the dark for. For oh, snow eons. elves, yeah. yeah. Or they, you know, the Dwemer were like the cunty atheists online. Like, they, uh, <laughs> I can't remember what Adra it was, but they had one of the gods show up, and they like, they pulled, like, a fucking magic trick on them. They're like, hey, hey, asshole, uh, can you tell me what's in this fucking box? And it had, like, a false bottom, so he opened it up and was like, look, you're wrong, faggot. And then I think he, like, cursed them for that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, was, I don't know. Yeah, man, p- playing tricks on gods probably not the best idea. Elder Scrolls 12, Orc Lives Matter. I just said that. <laughs> and Elder Scrolls 6, We Was Kangs. The Red Guard, that's true too. Nintendo Labo 2 introducing a cardboard origami dildo because it wasn't obvious obvious <laughs> enough that you're getting fucked. I saw that in the super chat. I love how the, to... the Labo turned out. Like Everybody was like, this is going to be great. And then the kids found out it took too long to make them. And then the parents <laughs> found out they didn't want to make them. So nobody wants the fucking thing. <laughs> Yeah, 
No one wants something that you have to build to play a game I did on. see one video of, like, one little girl having fun with it. That, like, I mean, it was cool for her. Out. Oh, I fuck. You know what? Your, your chat's yeah. right. Uh, I bet you there probably is going to be a Bloodborne 2 tease at the very least. And then Tenchu. Yeah. Can't forget fucking Tenchu. Wait, uh, the, 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 uh, the ninja game? Yeah. I fucking yeah. love that shit. Stealth Assassins was the yeah. shit, man. That was a great fucking game. I used to play it all the time. Uh, I had a lot Tenchu, of fun with the Tenchu first couple 3. Ones, yeah. yeah. Oh, those are good. Maybe, maybe we'll get really lucky and they'll do a remake of Bushido Blade. That, that's, <laughs> that, was, that was a hot shit on the PlayStation. Hey, hey, you hit this guy when he's turned around, you lose. Okay. <laughs> speaking, really, of, speaking of all these games, uh, there, there's rumors that Sony's going to announce PS2 and PS3 backwards compatibility for the PS4. You think that that's actually going to happen? Or you think? Oh, oh boy, do like, I get no. to do I get to rebuy all the digital games that I rebought two times in a row See, on the PS2 and the what, PS3? Oh, yeah. See, that's exactly what I'm thinking. Is that they don't mean oh. you know literally pop in your old disc. They mean you can rebuy them for yeah. you know original price. What about uh, a new Yakuza? Well, yeah, that's I think guaranteed. Yeah. Aren't oh, they yeah. working on one? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, so. I like those. Those are fun Yakuza. Too. Yakuza games are great. Persona yeah. games are great. I mean, maybe they'll have like a few of those sprinkled in there somewhere. But uh, I, I think you've, I, I, they've got like a few Keystone titles to kind of push out that'll yeah. get people excited. But so, who do you think is going to get the Fortnite annoying Fortnite montage? <laughs> oh, uh, Switch, Switch. Because uh, isn't that the rumor going around that Fortnite's going to be coming onto the Nintendo Switch? So, what? yeah, really. I mean, it seems like a no-brainer to put it on there, though, right? I mean, I, mean, I don't know. <laughs> I don't really... know. No, but I mean, it's like a hut. Like, come on. I, I don't want to play it, but... Uh, I don't know. I mean, I still think Nintendo's uh, online thing is goofy as fuck, where you got to plug in your cell phone and then a dongle and then a fucking headphone and do all this other crazy shit to do it online internet with Vibrating voice nipple clamps and everything. Yeah, so I don't know how that's going to work out on Fortnite, but, um, yeah, I, I almost... I don't know if the rumor's true or not, but it would be kind of funny to see the... It, that's the other thing I don't get is like with really competitive multiplayer games and doing it on a handheld, you run the risk of people getting pissed off. And you know how they throw their controllers? <laughs> well, the fucking controller is the console, so people are going to be maybe that's a marketing strategy. They're like, yeah. we need to get really, uh, we get really competitive games so they break their switch and have to rebuy it. So let's put <laughs> Fortnite on there, let's put COD on there, let's put Battlefield on there and sell some of these fucking consoles. <laughs> How long do you think we could troll Wings uh, Wings into uh, buying a Switch? Oh, he'll never touch. I mean, he, he always cries about how he has to play Call of Duty. He has to play Rainbow Six because that's all people will watch. So I don't think he'll ever do anything else. Man, I would just love to see him throw a Switch controller across the room. It'd be like a science uh, experiment. It, it, it would be entertaining. It would be entertaining. Uh, Ralph, I, I don't know. Is there anything at all at the C3 that you're you're looking forward to? Or are you not really into into this shit that much anymore? I mean, I still play a lot of games, but I don't... I can't say that I'm as up on, like, all the new shit. You know what I mean? So I'll, I'll just see what's hot, and then I'll kind of just... Oh, this looks interesting. I, I don't read the trades and stuff like I used to all the time. So, yeah, I don't, I don't even really know what all the rumors are for E3. So. Yeah. I got I'll be willing here. to see uh, the PUBG guy get on stage and bitch about how Fortnite is stealing his content. I mean, I'm definitely interested in, you know, a new Elder Scrolls. I didn't play the online, whatever the fuck they yeah, did. Oh, yeah. Uh, and I kind of feel like they'd lost some time. Like, I, w I would have much rather them to just have done another Elder Scrolls rather than that. Oh, so what I'm was that? What was that fucking online? I put a video up of this on Twitter of the guy crying because the company uh, fucked everybody over. It was going to be like this uh, South Korean MMO that was going to be the next big fucking thing. And then it got over and it was riddled with microtransactions and he had like five frames per second on the fucking thing. Oh, fuck. Uh, well, it starts with a B, it was, doesn't it? Uh, maybe somebody in chat knows what I'm talking about. Uh, they'll Bless probably Online. Some... There we go. Yeah, somebody Bless, nailed it yeah. right away. Yep. Bless Online, yeah, I'll see it now. And that thing was, like, in development for, like, five fucking years. I mean, that's been an alpha in South Korea and, like, Japan and everything else and never got fixed. And people were like, no, don't worry. When it comes over here, it's going to be great. Oh, man. Uh, Spyro the Dragon remake. I saw somebody mention that. This? Oh, fuck. You know, I was uh, related to the Bless thing, but I was looking at stuff. Do you guys know anything about Tencent? Uh, Tencent. Mm. It's like a, it's a Chinese company that owns half of our video game shit. Really? Oh, yeah, because they've invested in, like, every fucking company. In everything, yeah. They own part of fucking Activision Blizzard. They own parts of just fucking everybody. It's bizarre. 
but they have their own gaming console called the Blade in China, and all the games that we get, they get ported over there. They own fucking Riot, the guys that do League of Legends. Yeah. I see they own a piece of Epic Games, too, or if not the whole thing. Uh, yeah, they own a lot of... Let's, go. Let's see. Uh, their market capitalization, like, they're crazy. I, uh, they did a brand recognition list for the world, and they're, like, number five. Like, they're gaining on have, Google and everybody else. Yeah, They have equity in Activision value. Blizzard, 40% of Epic Games, and Ubisoft. What is that? Five hundred, uh, uh, yeah, half a half a trillion dollars uh, of five hundred eighty uh, billion dollars market yeah, value. Yeah. Oof, that's a lot. It passed, I don't know. Maybe maybe surpassed. one of these days, in like the next two or three years, if they keep buying up shit, we're gonna get a Chinese branded console showing up at E3, <laughs> backed by everybody, because they can make them put the games on it. Yeah. I mean, it wouldn't surprise me. I just looked at their. I didn't even realize they had a console until you said that. Yeah. Yeah, I blade. think it's called the Blade. I, I think that's yeah. what the name of it the was. The TGP box is called the Blade. It's an Intel-powered console running Windows 10 and a TGP box mode. So far, it's imported many Tencent games, such as League of, League of Legends, FIFA Online 3, NBA 2K, Monster Hunter, Need for Speed, etc. And they hope to bring third-party developed games to it. Yeah, and they have enough money to throw around. Yeah, no yeah. Time. With that amount of money, yeah, they could start yeah. buying up shit left and right if they really wanted to. Looks, yeah, they have exclusive in China to shoot. Oh yeah, yeah, games. they have they have their own version of King of Fighters. They like bought up the rights to use it, and they made their own King of Fighters fucking game. Over wow, there. <laughs> yeah. Holy shit! They also own all the rights for uh, large music producers in uh, in China. Exclusive distribution rights, including Sony, Warner M Music Group, YG Entertainment, and in 2017, Universal Music Group to stream it in China. That's damn. I almost kind of want to see it happen because I'm trying to imagine how badly Sony and Microsoft would shit themselves if some half a trillion dollar Chinese company showed up with their own console with all the games on it. Yeah. Just willing to throw whatever money out there. Yeah. Kind of how like Xbox used to do back in the day. Yeah. It just doesn't give a single fuck. They're like, yeah, yeah. We, just want, we just want all your, your precious data. We're just going to give you whatever the fuck you want to get it. The Blade Box. Yeah, I do see that branding now, too. Which is weird, because if you go on YouTube and you try to find videos of people showing the console off or showing the games off, you mm -hmm. can't find really anything. Really? It's like purged off of YouTube. It's really bizarre. Hmm. That's weird. Why would they do that? Because Maybe Google... Like... Well, Google and Tencent are like direct fucking uh, competitors in a lot of different markets. Let's see. Uh... It kind of cucks Google hardcore over there in their market, too. So. Right, this is what it looks like. It looks, it looks like an Xbox. <laughs> yeah, Louis two drinks in chat said oh yeah too. Announcing no, ten cent oh, yeah. TB TGP box. Yeah, it looks sort of like sort of. The controller definitely looks like an Xbox controller. Hey, it reminds me more of like a, a Steam box, to be honest, like something NVIDIA put out uh, mm. when they were doing their thing. That could be yeah. Huh. Let's see if I can get a better picture. Oh. They're really low res. <laughs> Yeah, it's super low res. Let's see. Yeah, they they all have the same picture. Holy shit, Tencent! Oh my god, their business. Yeah, it's nuts. Like the shit they have their hands in. Oh my god. Yeah, everything. and everything. I mean, they're just throwing money at <laughs> fucking everything to get into every market and country they can. I had never heard of these people before. I no, know, I'm right? It's it, 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 well, it's crazy when you think about how much they own, though, right, yeah. Ralph? Like, I mean, yeah. Like, I'm just looking at their list. I had seen them, like, in some news articles about, you know, the Chinese economy and stuff. And I think they do, I think, I want to say they're an ISP over there or they do a lot of stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm, I'm just looking at their, like, list of stuff they're involved in e commerce, retail, video gaming, real estate, software, virtual reality, ride sharing, banking, financial services. I mean, I, I could keep reading for like literally three more minutes with all yeah. this shit they have artificial intelligence, food delivery. Boy, yeah, they're like, they're like the vision of uh, like Blade Runner and all those like uh, dystopian yeah. future tech kind of companies. Like that's what, uh, or what was the company name in Terminator? Uh, uh, Data Dine or what, what the fuck was Whale it? Whale Yutani? Oh, no, no, no. Like I'm getting perfect alien. dark mixed up with fucking new. You get what I'm saying, though. Like, they're yeah. that company. They're the guys that do everything. Damn. Yeah, they do. Music, games, media, everything. Starts with a T. I do. I remember that. Dynatech. Fucking. 
Cyberdyne. Yeah, I'm fucking. I mixed yeah, two of them up together. Okay. <laughs> Mix them up. Chat comes to the rescue. <laughs> I said fucking Whaling Yutani from Alien. Yeah, but that's. Same yeah, theory. I don't know. You pulled that one out of nowhere. <laughs> same, same theory, though. They do everything in that, too. Um, but yeah, no, that's. that's I mean, insane. it's part Chinese, so it's closer to real life. <laughs> well, yeah, and they have the, um, they have that uh, credit rating system now for your behavior over there. I bet they're involved in that. They do. I bet they are. And then the facial recognition shit, too. Oh, shit. Yeah. I didn't realize they controlled WeChat. Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> wow. They got you, dick pics. I think WeChat's the biggest social network in the world, actually. Social media network. Oh, they're going to fuck up Google and Facebook real good. <laughs> Give them a couple 900, years. 902 million daily active users. On WeChat? Yeah, WeChat's huge. Like the Nintendo thing? No, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> not like that. Uh, no, like, they're not touching your squid. No, they're not touching your squid. I was like, what? Okay. Yeah, they do everything on WeChat, so it's kind of like their main social media. Oh, is that not their sure. Facebook? Yeah, pretty much. Talking about Nintendo again, who do you think is going to be the uh, third-party... Uh, Smash character that, that everybody flips their shit about this time. Uh, I have no idea to be honest with you. I, really, I have no specul. I'm not like a huge uh, Smash guy, so I, I couldn't even tell you. Who are you thinking? What do you think is going to come up? I'm thinking that they're going to do old school, and it's going to be Crash Bandicoot. Master Chief. Nah. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> did did. I'm trying to remember if, if they that put fucking Solid game Snake in it. Out. Yeah, they, yeah, they did. Yeah. They did do that. Um, oh, everybody Goku. saying Goku. Funimation <laughs> 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 did actually tweet it at Nintendo about that. We're like, hey, what we got to do to get Goku in this game? Whose dick we got to suck here? Oh, you know what would be even better if they got One Punch Man? That would actually surprise the shit out of me. <laughs> Rather than going with. Rather than go with Goku, what everybody would expect, get like one I see punch a man couple, a uh, Doom guy, Doom guy, Doom guy. <laughs> uh, Monday Matt. I don't think that'll be the one. I don't think so. Andy Cold War, Andy Steel. War Steve. <laughs> yeah. Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic's been in there before, He's in right? There. He's in yeah. there. Yeah. 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 Oh, Joseph Joestar. That's a good Ooh, one too. That'd be great. Ooh, I would be. I would. I definitely. I like that. Well, I, I don't know. I mean, maybe they'll go. Yeah, maybe they'll put some more more violent. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, after all, the Nintendo shop just put up uh, what's essentially porn on their fucking on their fucking uh, eShop. Yeah. With, <laughs> with what the fuck is the name of this thing? Uh, Pure Electric Love. What do you want? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wait, what? what the fuck was that shit? Yeah, it's it's an adult film star. Yeah, it's an adult oh. film star, uh, and it's basically like softcore porn. It's it's gonna be the first thing all these little boys that own Nintendo Switches check off to is a chick in the latex cat suit. <laughs> wow, actually on Nintendo's official site, but I yeah, have to click on age verification. Oh no! Yeah. I guess they saw all that fucking it's Switch a... shit. And they're yeah. Like, oh, all no, right. the, the best part is none of it's translated because they know you don't care. Yeah, it's not. It's not. It's bad. I'm gonna pull it up. Oh, I see this chick. Let's, let's, oh, age verification. Okay, let's just. Oh uh, yeah. Somebody said Ari Katami is her name. I'm yeah, guessing. I'm yeah. Gonna, I see it. I gotta pull it's, it. Up it's five dollars. Rated M, oh. seventeen plus. Yes. I do think. I do think that not only Crash Bandicoot, but I think there's an outside chance that Microsoft works with Nintendo and they put Banjo Kazooie on Smash Bros. Uh, that I could probably uh, that 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 yeah. I could picture potentially happening because that would make sense uh, in some ways with the history and everything. Oh uh, yeah, Ralph, uh, <laughs> can you imagine all the <laughs> soccer moms that bought this console from Mario for the Holy little kids shit. coming home and watching this? It's only five dollars. No, but look, let me read some of this. Electric Love, a love likeness pseudo talk game that is a topic in the smartphone. A little embarrassing. Obviously, this has been translated, but it's on the American site. Uh, Nintendo site. A little embarrassing in a conversation that pounding romance skill up. Which, uh... <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Here's the bio of Erie Katami. Started modeling activities from the age of 16, known as Erie. Wow, I never would have guessed that. Fetish cosplay year. What? But maybe fetish cosplayer of the year? I'm not sure. Hello. Free, <laughs> <laughs> Free model. Birthday is November 26th. Blood type O negative. Or no, excuse me. Blood type O. All right. Uh, I think that's good for transfusions and, and the like. Uh, hobby pl is playing survival games, shooting games. And then it says fighter horn blowing. <laughs> <laughs> what type of horn blowing she's doing there? But uh, what? I swear, that's really what it says if you pull it up. Uh, fighter horn blowing. Oof. Oh man. How have I not heard about this? Yeah, I'll just right wearing the uh, headphones from FLCL, that the new one. Well, you know who I feel bad for? Uh, Andy Worski. Because he got rid of his VR porn and said he was just going to play a Switch, and now here's some porn on his Switch. He's so fucked. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Yeah, there it is. I don't know if you have it up on the screen. But the, I'll bring that. Yeah, it's, yeah. yeah, right here. Fighter horn blowing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and it's straight up, like Jim said, it's all Japanese. Nobody gives a shit what it's actually saying. They're just going <laughs> to it for the pictures and the video clips. They don't care about oh, anything. This is, yeah, this is translated so oh, poorly. Wow. I see Eri Katami has, uh, has a selection on Pornhub, it looks like. Hello. Yeah, I told you. Oh, oh no. Wow. Somebody's telling me I should do an, uh, a Let's Play of this on Plex Storm. Fuck. <laughs> I think you should. I don't even have yeah, a Switch. I just googled her name, and the, the first thing it says is Irikatami, Pornhub.com. So. I can't bring that oh. up, guys. Sorry. She's on, no, we can't bring that up. She's also on XNXX.com as well, Xvideos.com. I have a feeling this is a game people are going to be playing in docked mode because they're not going to be able to do <laughs> handheld on it. Yeah. You're going to need both hands free for this one. Whoa. How to play launch application and, touch to, and select tell to touch. Select or touch a content you want to talk to. Choose or call or touch to start love. Okay. Uh. <laughs> that's, that's what it says. I can't believe this is getting put on the Switch. I, it's, I know. It's kind of just out of left field. I think one of the companies is like, I wonder if they'll let us do it. And they're like, holy shit, they will. I wonder how much we can get away with it. Nintendo's just like, fuck it. Just go with it. And you said it's only five dollars a day. It's I'm only five dollars, actually, for five dollars. Five dollars. <laughs> That's what it says. Touch to start love. Oh, oh my God! They have they have downloadable content. Oh no! Oh, holy shit! The, the DLC costs more than the game. Does it really? Oh. Additional <laughs> additional scenario completes at ten bucks. Additional scenario one seven dollars. Additional scenario two seven dollars. Oh, oh my god, these guys are fucking geniuses. <laughs> right? They Holy found a way to take fucking shit. Twitch thottery and turn it into pre profit. Holy oh, yeah. There boy. are quite a few DLC packs, too. Oh uh, yeah, little Johnny's gonna have some explaining to do when mommy <laughs> wants to know why the credit card's got so many bills on it. Oh, wait. I, I turned on the 30, computer and there was a like, virus. Let, let me read this. Additional scenario two. This is an additional scenario. Cute, cool, cool. Wait, wait. Cool, cute, cool maid. I ordered, ordered the appearance of a maid figure. Oh, well, I, I know what I'm buying. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Let's see three. Oh, oh swimsuit. Yeah. A knee high swimsuit. god select. <laughs> Let's see. Punishment Y is, uh, is, uh, is scenario four. I'm not sure what that entails. Wait, what about this one? Scenario five. Yukata. That's Japanese culture and the man's man. <laughs> what does that mean? How do you say it? 0.5 seconds ago to Koi with Maji Manji. What? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Wake up was already Wakaranaku. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. <laughs> Uh, I, think the, I think the translator had a fucking stroke. <laughs> yeah, it's like, this makes no sense whatsoever. Uh, some of them can kind of get the idea. Like this one, additional scenario number, scenario number one, uh, Katami Iri, a female teacher cosplay, will do a special class for you. Gentle, harsh, <laughs> obediently rebellious, tight skirt teacher is exciting. 
I will only study if I become this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I think the point got across on that one, yeah. Oh god, if you look at if you look at the pack for um the the ten dollar one, uh, in the description it says without bothersome, all one o'clock, this one choice. <laughs> I really hope the whole fucking game is just nothing but English. <laughs> I mean, the actual game, it's nothing but Japanese. Like, I don't think there's any English in the actual game. Not that you really need any. This is... I 100% think that we need to do a fucking stream of this. Absolutely uh, have to now. Probably not here on the new channel. <laughs> uh, well, no, no, obviously not here, but... Yeah, we'll find a place... Just... We'll find somewhere to do it. Plex Storm, here we come. The Ralph retort on Plex Storm. I mean, it is kind of genius to put up oh, uh, to put up this this DLC to really get yeah. those people paying the money. This is funny. Oh, they have other things. Oh no. Oh yeah, somebody said buy. Yeah, it's out on Switch right now. Oh, I'll go down. I have to get the Elgato to stream this. E loves universe. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god yeah well I doubt anything at E3 is going to be able to top this there's um, no way I wonder if they're going to start putting more of these up if it's just going to flood the eShop with fucking softcore Japanese porn <laughs> I mean if it sells it used to be Nintendo would never even let this get published on their fucking eShop one of your super chats is saying uh, they asked you to, or you asked them to remind you about a cigarette question Oh yeah. Oh, yeah we're okay. gonna ask you what kind of camels you smoke? Yeah, he did a super chat last time, and it was like twenty dollars, and he wanted me to ask you what kind of cigarettes did you smoke, and, and he specifically thought you smoked camels. Yeah, I smoke camel or camel ninety nines. Used to smoke camel reds, but you can't find those fucking things anymore. There we go. I'm glad you reminded me. Sorry that you had to pay <laughs> another five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, Narrator asked, I see some of the Super Chats now. Uh, what the heck, Ralph, the slave question hasn't been asked. I don't even know what you meant, meant by that, because you were talking earlier about if slavery had been allowed to continue, would we have the perfect race of humans or something? I don't even know. Like He it was, was starting to say that uh, we would have bred all of the slaves to be, like, superhumans, uh, because all they would have done is work. It was weird, yeah. Oh, look at all the millennials in your chat. Smoking's bad for you, Jim. No shit. <laughs> That's why he does it. Oh, well. There's a lot of shit that's bad for you. True. Do uh, oh, here's somebody, nice somebody said Newports. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Newport, uh, Newport Mental. I actually, I actually used to smoke Newports. I'm not even, oh, why? I mean, a lot. Just because everybody around me smoked Newports when I was like younger, so... God, did you it's grow up in Memphis? Compton? Like what? I, <laughs> I grew up in Memphis, Tennessee. So yeah, a lot of a lot of uh, melanated individuals around that area, and even the white people, a lot of them. Smoke oh yeah, them. yeah. People always give uh, you always hear the shit about stereotypes aren't real. No, dude, black people smoke real. Newports. That's oh, fucking one hundred percent legit. There's That's no legit. Newports and then Cools. Cools. Yeah, are the yeah, ones. yeah. It's, yeah. Cools are even nastier than Newports, though. So yeah, don't smoke Cools. Pimp sticks, that's what they used to call them. <laughs> Pimp sticks. <laughs> Holy shit, Newports. Ugh. And then there was always this urban legend. I mean, I don't know if it's urban legend or not, but apparently that Newports had fiberglass in them and they would, like, crystallize your lungs or some shit. I'm pretty sure it's some shit somebody made up, but... Wait, they're like, awful. Like, men yeah, menthol cigarettes are fucking... I, it just... I, they would give me a headache. It was like I was smoking chewing gum. Like I never understood the fucking appeal of menthol, or menthol cigarettes. I always hated them, but I just kind of got like everybody else was smoking. Oh, uh, I know your type. You're the asshole that would bum cigarettes off people, right? Yeah. And, yeah that's, that's why you smoke Newports. Yeah, I know your type. I'm good with whatever, guys. That's fine. I'll smoke whatever. I don't care. Hey, now I'm now I'm cool, Jim. I vape now, so you know. Oh fuck! I hope it explodes in your face. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> What? You can't hate on this much. My, my shit tastes like Fruity Pebbles. That's literally the name of my favorite. I, 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 hate, I hate these fuckers walking around with their vape pens, and it's like the center of their life, and they fucking vape everywhere, and they blow out fucking clouds everywhere. 
<laughs> and, it's and then the, they're the, just like, I'm not smoking. I can vape anywhere. Walk through Walgreens and shit, blowing smoke. Yeah, or vape, excuse me. It just vaping, yeah, until their lithium battery fucking goes <laughs> nuclear on them and burns their hands off. Yeah. Blows the side of their face off, yeah. Uh, luckily, that hasn't happened. Yeah, it only happens with like the really, really cheap, shitty ones because the, the they're made in China and the batteries are no good. Yeah, this one, this is actually most almost all of them's made in China. So yeah, my, my vape, I won't, I won't show it because it's too. I guess I could send you the link. It's, uh, it's kind of comical what my don't vape link me like. to your vape pen, Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not, it's not a pen. It's a mod, so it's like a big mod box. <laughs> Wait, you have a giant vape box? <laughs> yeah, it's, the size it's, of it's a, pretty big. Hold the on. size I'm of a sorry. fucking book you're walking down the street. It's pretty fucking huge, I'm not going to lie. Oh, no. Look, we're going to oh, look on, at it. Google this, uh, Zidane. My, my, my Wi-Fi here sucks. Google GPRIV2 Lux Edition. See, when you say it's gigantic, I just imagine you walking with, like, a giant-ass boom box with one of those, like, fucking uh, opium like, fucking pipes sticking out of it. That's what it's I mean. Like gold, it's crazy. Like it looks goofy as fuck. Is this it? Uh, or similar? Let me see. Wait, where are you? Are you yeah, it's around, screen? yeah, yeah. It's gonna take a second for it to come up. Oh god, it is. Exactly yeah, that's what it. I that's it. it. Except, except, gold except mine's gold instead of the rainbow. It's like all gold. <laughs> so yeah, it's like all like golden trim and shit. That's actually it, though. Yeah. Is it is it big enough for you? <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty. It's pretty. It, it looks like somebody took a pack of cigarettes and then took a car lighter and glued them together, and that's what you're fucking smoking from. <laughs> yeah, you know you're probably not far from that. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> Chat's calling you a wigger now. <laughs> Oh, wait, how, how does that make me more of a wigger than smoking Newports? Come on, I think man. the Newports. I don't even know. Okay, the Newports. Yeah, Nog vape. <laughs> <laughs> I, know you, I, I used the pin con uh, when I was smoking THC from them. I've never used the pin con. Or actually, I, that's a lot. I did try it with the um, nicotine ones, but they're so harsh that I couldn't even. Ugh, couldn't do it. Anyway. Yeah, I have that image of Baked Alaska vaping nonstop with his little fucking dabs of yeah. oil or whatever the fuck he would smoke. Yeah. But but wait, he kept saying he was drug-free. I'm drug-free, I'm drug-free, and he's just taking massive rips off fucking THC cartridges. And then Andy <laughs> fucking like, gave it away. <laughs> it's like, what? Well, since when is that drug-free? Your high is a I, fucking kite right my now. My favorite part of that fucking stream was was uh, Bake trying to be like, oh, it's just a vape pen, it's just a vape pen. And Andy was just like, later, it's like, yo, dude, you want to smoke some weed? <laughs> I don't know. It's just, I, I have a hard time. I mean, do whatever <laughs> drugs you want, but don't claim drug free status when you're getting hot as fuck so how is uh, i haven't been watching warski lately so how is his show doing uh, i know him and jf split uh how how has that worked out now that the dust has kind of settled like a month later it's, uh, he's trending back up it's up and down it seems right i think it mostly depends on the guest he had on so he had lauren southern on i guess it was thursday or friday and he did really well with that and uh well yeah of course david's gonna watch so that's at least <laughs> one of the <laughs> <laughs> Um, so yeah, I think it as chat is a little more unkind, I think, but, uh, yeah, it's definitely hurt. I mean, pretty much did split the audience. JF's doing, I mean, he's doing better in terms of numbers, no doubt. Yeah. So, um, I do like his co-host. Jay Gerard's not that bad. Uh, Jay, uh, Jay, uh, was that Dying. the, um, that was the guy that did the, didn't he do like a religious debate with somebody? Yeah. With, with, with JF. JF. Yeah. With JF. Yeah. 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 Uh, he's still, yeah, he's still losing some subs, and, oh, uh, yeah. Oof, is that, if somebody said in chat, 600, 650 viewers, is that, is that accurate? Yeah, that, that's accurate. Yeah. yeah, for some of the shows, that's accurate, yeah. So, but Ralph, you're doing... other when he got over, like, like, 1,500, I think? Yeah, yeah, yeah but, gotta... yeah, but Ralph, you're, you're doing double that right now on a stream that's at, like, 1 in the morning on a channel with 5,000 <laughs> subs. <laughs> and we're talking about we're being talking big about vape pins and, vape. and Japanese Nintendo porn. porn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I mean, so. Yeah. Well. It is I what mean, it is. I like Andy, though. I don't want, I don't want to tell him. Oh, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying But yeah, he's, guy, ha he's, having, he's having a rough time. Um, I mean, there's just no other way to, to, to put it. 
I see he's doing the purple dragon stuff though, doing a, you know more. That is the worst stream. name. I told him that that was the worst <laughs> fucking name for a gaming. Now, but have you heard him talk about it? He's just like, yeah, because he was kind of making fun of uh, Tonka and them. Because I mean, literally, and I like Tonka and them too. But you did the metal cast, and you're like, ah, uh, the Viva La Ross is gay, and why do you keep playing that all the time? And the fight people in real life shit's gay, and then the very next day they just all of a sudden stop doing that, which I mean. Come on. Anyway. Well, to, I mean, to be fair, man, that they uh, failure was playing Viva La Rasa like all the fucking time. A lot, a lot. Yeah, I mean, I don't have, I didn't have a problem with it, but when you play it five hundred times, no, I did show. because you know if I'm listening, like I, again, I was watching it because it was kind of like a morning radio shit for me. Yeah. Like if I'm watching morning radio and I'm trying to think like if it was Opie and Anthony and if they interrupted their fucking show every minute to play some sound clip over and over again i would have been like fuck this no i'm saying i had a problem with how much they were playing it so if they did it you know three times per whatever three or four hour show all right but when you're doing it 50 times an hour <laughs> it's like okay i guess it, it gets to be annoying now i know what they would say is the annoying part was part of the joke or whatever but it, it turns off from being a joke to actually making people want to turn off the stream <laughs> you know what i mean yeah. So um, is Andy going to keep doing the Worski show, or is he just going to focus on the the gaming stuff? Is he going to like no, jump over and just do Purple Dragon? He's still doing the Worski show, and I think he's been doing the Purple Dragon stuff during the day, and kind of like the Worski stuff at night um, with Jay Dyer. And uh, yeah, I don't know. You know, that's that's kind of what it looks like to me. Oh, I was going to say something, but I forgot. Great oh, hosting man. abilities. <laughs> you threw me off. That's your fault. That's your fault. You threw me off. I'll blame. Uh, so, uh, I forgot. It was. I have things to talk about, but I don't know. <laughs> yeah, but after everybody, after everybody kind of had their big divorce, it, you know, it did kind of split the fan base because you got people that like one guy but don't like the other guy, and and that's like through all the streams now is like the JF fans have settled on JF's channel. Tonka's people have settled on Tonka's channel. Andy's people have settled on Andy's channel. And there's a little bit oh. of crossover, but there's not nearly wait, as much. Wait, as there since was I am the host, let me cut you off because I remember what I was going to say now. Um, it was the Purple Dragon thing. So he was making fun of Tonka and Failure because they kind you know, for quote unquote cucking to Jim or whatever, because they immediately just changed up the Viva La Rasa stuff. And he said, if it had been me, I would have just started playing a whole show full of Viva La Rasa just to show I could do what I want. And then he said. That's what I did with Purple Dragon. So when Jim said that and kept saying how gay it was, I was, I was just determined to do it. And so that's why I stuck with the Purple well, Dragon. He sure showed me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I, I mean, I feel bad for Andy. He was doing really, really well there for a while, making a lot of money. He was really happy. He had a really popular show, and it just kind of kind of fell apart. The, the the split it doesn't look like the best best course of action in hindsight does it uh well, no this is what no, <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> oh no this is what happens this is what happens when uh you don't like handle all of this stuff like talking about guests and money and show planning and stuff and like like hash all that out in private and decide to just kind of wait until it all starts spilling out over the air i mean you know, I like all these guys, but they just let all this internal shit just spill out into the public airwaves, I guess, because, you know, it, I, was, I don't con know. it was interesting content. But yeah, I don't know what's with that. I mean, the, it was kind of a similar situation to what happened with uh, All Sep and Fuentes. I mean, they had kind of a yeah. good rapport with one another. Uh, their shows were doing OK. Uh, if they had done their their own version of kind of like a, a Worski show, they would have been just fine. But, you know, uh, disagreements about management about money and everything else and it just kind of blew up and then it blew up publicly um which is weird because when they were on your show ralph uh talking and debating you know about uh, syria and trump and shit like that I, that was really entertaining like they they completely disagree with each other but it was a good back and forth um so it yeah i don't know what it, some people have this thing where they work well together or at least on the show they work well together uh, but behind the scenes, I guess they can't stand each other, and it just it fucking implodes. Well, and it's got to do with control, and yeah. it's, you know, so and so's taking over my show. And I think one of the big things with these guys, and like like Gator said, you know, I like all these guys too. But um, you know, how many weeks can you argue in public about the same fucking shit, uh, and just you know, not even drama. I mean, we talk about drama too, but drama with the show itself. You know, what I mean, it'd be like me and Zidane and Gator getting on here every day and. 
arguing about who runs the show or, or we have long drawn out fights for weeks and weeks and somebody goes and starts their own stream and we're still talking about each other back and forth through the streams and it's just it turns people off at a certain point so i think that's part of it so yeah well i mean i, I still think fuentes and lsep should make up and do oh yeah together. They, they, they'd make a ton of fucking money doing it together oh they would i mean just and even by the end of that stream they were just i don't know they just go good together on air so and i think uh, fuentes talked about it because uh you know they came on the baked alaska whatever meltdown stream that we did and by the end of the stream, they seemed like, you know, they were super cool and could just start right back up working with each other the next day. And then Fuentes said he got a letter from, I don't know if it was Alsop's lawyer or one of his representatives or something, basically, like, threatening him the next day. So I guess that kind of went down the drain. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I remember, yeah, they came together to watch a train wreck uh, and enjoyed yeah. that. That's still weird. I mean, I... And the fucking crazy thing about it was that was one of the uh, pieces of advice I gave Bake that was like, you should get Alsip and Fuentes on. That'll be an entertaining fucking back and forth. And he never followed up with that. And then and then they get together on your stream to laugh at him as he implodes. So there's a nice little <laughs> meta level of irony to that. Yeah, and then Alsip was on here one day and we had this black nationalist dude. So it was kind of white nationalist or whatever, alt-right type against uh, black Black nationalist. skin is amazing. Yeah, that dude. Yeah, and that kind of happened out of nowhere too. I don't know. I've, I've found that a lot of the best episodes we've had just kind of happened out of nowhere. Yeah. So even We just bring somebody in on, from chat. <laughs> yeah, well, it just happened. Like, Corinne, that was not planned last week. She's messaging me. We had all you guys on. I mean, yeah, I that, that was that was fun, that, that particular one. Yeah. Uh, She's, okay, she. What was his name? Mac Daddy. This fucking yeah, white dude. Like yeah. yeah. <laughs> but part name. of me was like, nah, I shouldn't bring her on. We just had her on the week before, or whatever, and you know it's played out. But then I said, you know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna bring her on. It ended up being you know pretty funny. Most people liked it. So I don't know. Spur. I feel like spur of the moment spontaneity uh, is good. For me. Yeah, you got a, you got a good format, uh, but mm -hmm. I probably it, it, me saying that's probably a fucking curse because everybody <laughs> I've told, hey, I like your show, it fucking implodes three months later. R.I.P. So. <laughs> R.I.P. Yeah. Right. Well, I mean, we've Here been twenty four hour ops. How many how many channels have been kicked off already? Like three. So I mean, I, I think. It's uh, the yeah, we so we got at. a strike on. So what happened was I didn't get a strike on the. So we had the whatever the tech issues. So we basically had two streams. The Dick Masters and mostly just him. You came on towards the end, so we had to start a new stream. Um, anyway, I took a clip from the first one, and it's when Dick Masterson is roasting Chris Raygun. I uploaded it as its own clip, and it got, I don't know, 10, 12,000 views, and a bunch of people reported it. Even though that content's still on the other stream, they reported the video. I guess it's easier to report uh, just a little clip like that, and they gave me a strike on the main channel over that and then they gave me a strike on the backup channel for hate speech and i still don't i still don't even understand what what that one's about at all it uh, was the post boogie stream that was all yeah, we it was know the post boogie and i ended up taking that stream down off the main channel because we went in a little too hard on boogie <laughs> so so wait what did, what did you get the hate speech strike on? i have what no idea you know, see i didn't even do that stream zidane runs the post yeah, stream me and kater we were both there we don't remember uh, yeah good good there. going zidane <laughs> yeah <it's>, uh, <laughs> not no, to throw him under the bus or anything but i you know i don't know what i, I don't fuck know. that motherfucker under there <laughs> <He's> <laughs> the i don't know i don't know what happened first of all youtube's racist against Bhutanese people so yeah that's, that's a problem probably, <laughs> but i mean i'll say this i fucked up by uploading that clip that single clip because if i hadn't done that i probably wouldn't have even got the strike but I was just thinking, oh, it's a funny clip. I'll upload it on its own and let people, you know, just view that. Some people are not going to, you know, sift through a whole stream. And I thought it was funny. Plus, I don't like Chris Reagan. So I just said, okay, I'm going to upload this. And they, they gave me a Oh, wait, that that's what got the, the fucking shit on your channel was Masterson laughing at Reagan? Yeah. 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 Oh, then that was yeah. whatever. I don't know what YouTube's thing is, man. I thought it was I fairly mild, it. especially compared to some of the other Real. stuff. I think this is my theory is that I think all of his like cuck ass fans went and got butthurt about it. So he's talking shit about my favorite Indian celebrity. I'm gonna go report a stream, and that's what yeah, fucking they, happened. They gave me a strike, a, a bullying and harassment strike. So because um, now now he's dating Lacey Green, so now he's got an in at YouTube. Yeah, I haven't heard back. The appeal usually takes about three days. I haven't heard back. Um, I don't know. We already 
beat one. Uh, it, it can take a while. I've had a, I, I had an appeal on one of my videos that took like 20 days. Oh, Oof. wow. Yeah. Well, see. we'll see. Hopefully this we is why I think... Uh, this is why I think he's actually Chris Reagan himself is actually involved because if he if he wasn't involved, why even feel the need to tweet about it? Nah, maybe I don't know. Look, we ran him down on stream the other night. I was had a few drinks and uh, I went in on him. I can't really say that he's involved personally, though. It could be anybody. But... Oh, you're drinking on stream yeah. last night. Do I need to start checking the newspapers for cops getting punched? <laughs> I was in a hotel too, believe it or not. So uh, I I fell guess, asleep at the lounge, started beating people. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I lucked out. Uh, luckily, I stayed in my room. Uh, but yeah, I, I, we did, you know, go in on him. But I couldn't say, you know, who knows? There, I, I don't know if you noticed, but there are a lot of people that um, have some animosity towards me. So it could, it could literally be anybody. It could even be trolls that don't care. It, it could know. be worse. Yeah. I mean, uh, who? what's the YouTuber's name? Uh, I think the guy's name is Damn Pesos. Uh, keeps yeah, trying yeah, to do yeah, Monday. Yeah. yeah, he keeps trying to do Monday and Mad yeah. videos. And like every time he puts one up, it gets fucking yanked down. Yep. <laughs> I know exactly what you're talking about. He's pretty fucking hilarious, too, by the way. I, I liked his, this is a commentary, you fucking <laughs> cunt. <laughs> <He's> just, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and he keeps getting him yanked down. I don't know if it's Matt himself. Who could say, really? But I mean, it wouldn't surprise me. Just like it wouldn't surprise me if it was Reagan himself. But I mean, some people I tweeted about, Ralph, can you prove that? Like, no, I mean, I can't. I, I never said for sure he did do it. I just said, look, shady. So, whatever. Yeah. Well, you know what you need to do? You need to write an elaborate Facebook post about this. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. A giant one. Basically, a conspiracy to keep to keep me down by certain from certain skeptics. Figures. Yes. Yes. Skeptics. Skeptics. I see. You got people in your chat bringing up Ice Poseidon. Did he do something tonight? Like I, I thought he'd kind of lay low after the Arab Andy thing. Like I thought they'd all kind of lay low after the Arab Andy. He's probably thing. streaming. He they keep saying he's doing like a sponsor only chat or something. Oh, oh, yes. oh yeah, he no, he does those like once a month. Like, because it's the uh, if you have a gaming channel, I think, or Streamlabs, some kind of shit uh, for the subs, where he does like a sub only thing like once a month. No, no, uh, Ice Ice his fans were kind of after us for a while, but I don't I don't think they're really. Fucking Man, we've pissed anymore. off so many fucking people. We've yeah. pissed off like. Like There's both of Vegas Alaska's fans and. Yeah. Oh wait, wait! Somebody's saying they got caught faking shit. Oh wait, what? I don't know. I mean, that wouldn't really. Like, I mean, I know, I know the Arab Andy thing's legit because that was in the fucking newspaper. Yeah. Well, they arrested him. So. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah. That's one hundred percent legitimate. That happened. Somebody said entire CX community revolt against ICE. I haven't. I don't know anything about. Well, that. time to go check the old fucking. Well, Ralph, you said you like drama, I mean, motherfucker. It's biting you in the ass right now. But his Reddit, of course, he controls his Reddit. So I guess oh God, I Reddit. Yeah, well. It says Bjorn. What the fuck is this? Uh, somebody said he lied about breaking up with her. The redditors are mad. Oh, is this just about some chick he's fucking? Like I don't know. Really? Are they getting fucking butthurt about that? Uh, uh fake that break up with his girlfriend. That's what they're saying. I haven't seen it. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I I don't know. I haven't really paid attention to but it. But I mean, I, I... like. I never really thought everything I saw in there is real. I mean, it's kind of like the reality TV type deal, right? So, I don't know. What? What? Wait, what girlfriend are we talking about? I haven't. Like, oh I haven't no, you think it's of... you think it's Aaron? Oh, oh no. no. Oh 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 no. I'm just Richard, gonna get this. Richard one. Stallman Shoot saying up. it's boring drama. No such thing. <laughs> <laughs> Be gone, fuck! Let's see. Uh, Pepe LaFerre says, faked breakup, then fucked another girl. They fight. Cop got called. Okay. I don't know. Just I think everybody control. that's involved with Ice Poseidon is just going to end up in jail. <laughs> like, yeah. it seems to be trending that way. Well, no, I mean, they all want to kind of outdo each other. Like, Asian Andy's got a pretty good middle of the road approach where he does goofy shit, but he's never yeah. done anything where he walks in with a bomb threat at a university. Yeah. <laughs> so I, <laughs> so I, think he, I think he'll be fine. I don't know about the other guys. I don't know what's going on I with that. I saw Asian Andy made the news, uh, local news there in L.A., I guess it was a week or two ago. Oh, because yeah, because... 
an Uber driver <laughs> threw him out because uh, his speaker. What did the speaker say? The Holocaust was a lie or some shit like yeah. that. Jewish Uber driver, and they throw him out. And, and the, the guy said six million members of his family died. <laughs> <laughs> he did say that. Yeah, that was pretty funny. But oh, yeah, man. Andy seems to be a little, a little smarter about it. Yeah, he does. He goes for cringe, not for oh shit, I'm gonna get arrested. Yeah, again, I don't know much about the uh, the community. I kind of started paying a little bit of attention with the. Uh, Corinne shit, where she's trying to get him swatted outside his fucking house on live stream. That was pretty yeah. good. And the cops legit showed up. I actually thought that they might arrest uh, him that night, but then they basically told her, we're just going to have to arrest you too. I just, I love the fact that he's got police in his house and, uh, you know, they've been called <laughs> for handcuffing a woman and holding her against his will. And he looks at the dude with one eyebrow shaved off and he's like, context matters man <laughs> yeah that's what the cop wants to hear that's what's gonna defuse this yeah. but it worked yeah yeah I mean, remarkably it did work yeah it's, like, it's because the cops were so fucking tired they're like all right look if one of you presses charges we're just gonna haul both of your asses to jail so fucking play nice or we're gonna go fucking leave well it's just so much work and they find yeah yeah, they were just like, if we're filing paperwork, we're taking everyone in this house to jail. You know what really pissed her off was you talking about the iPad. Uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> that really <laughs> sent her into a rage. <laughs> Out of all the shit you were saying to her, when you started talking about the iPad, she fucking lost her shit. It's like, no, no, it's all on tape, it's all on tape. I'll follow the police report. Da -da -da -da. Well, yeah, because I kept, I kept telling her she stole Paul Danino's <laughs> iPad. <laughs> she really didn't like that. <laughs> Oh man, that was fucking classic. Ugh. Yeah, she likes to tell tall tales. Like that whole I'm at a fucking recording studio, and you look up the Facebook page of the people that own the recording studio, and it's like 200 likes. Oh yeah, somebody sent me some stuff about that yesterday too. Oh, fuck, I have to dig through my DMs, but yeah, that was um definitely an exaggeration. A little bit, a tiny bit, but I mean. Yeah. I, I'm sure she's telling the truth about fucking Bill Clinton and Donald Trump's son and all of that's probably completely 100% Friends with true. Ted Turner. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know, of course. All these billionaires just happen to know who she is. Yeah. That's, uh, and he's trying to start a new CNN. No, that was something I hadn't heard of. Oh, yeah, a new CNN starring her. <laughs> yes. <laughs> she that's what the C stands news. for is Kareen. Kareen's news network is going to be. I'm sure that will that will take right off. I'm trying to find it. I don't know. It's not worth it, but it's it's funny. If I find it, uh, I'll talk about it tomorrow. Somebody sent me some DMs, and it's uh, basically just she was pretty much. I know this is going to shock people, but uh, the things she was saying on stream the other night weren't true. Uh, so. Shocking. <laughs> Gasp. <laughs> yeah. No. Nobody saw that coming. She's such an odd lady. <laughs> Got the fucking Scooby Doo squad here driving the mystery machine around. <laughs> all the case. Okay. So, the, yeah, the Ice Poseidon things. Ice basically lied about breaking up his girlfriend, who he said was crazy, and they found out she was on the RV and shit. So now people don't believe Ice. I guess that's that's it. I mean, yeah. did people believe him before? I, I don't know. Um, well, when they said faking shit, I thought they meant like faking stuff that had happened on. I don't care yeah. if it's fucking. And, and, yeah, he, and he also like cheated on her. And then this is from Aaron, I guess. Well, I know what I know that I have seen it, and it is no wonder he cannot trust people. I saw a video of him emotional and crying, and that human part is what he can never let die because it's a sense of soul. Okay, Aaron, I don't know what you mean. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what she means is she she burned through the five thousand dollars on heroin, and now she's trying to suck uh, suck some dick here to get a little bit more. <laughs> That's what she means. <laughs> Uh, Aaron, I saw her stuff was burning out a little bit, her views and stuff, so. Oh, somebody's saying that he was faking, uh, is that what they're pissed off? Okay, so they're saying that they're, I guess they're upset because he was faking trying to get laid every stream for six months when he was actually dating somebody, and oh, it was all bullshit. That makes sense. Uh, well, there you go, there's your Ice Poseidon drama. But hey, I mean, he's bringing in the viewers, what does he got, he averages like 20,000 views a fucking stream. It's nuts. 
we cracked the case. You cracked like, the case, yeah. You know what? I think it was on Discord. I'm sitting here looking through my DMs. Oh, earlier you said Skype greater than Discord. What, are you going to justify that or? Yeah, name me uh, every fucking uh, shitstorm that's happened this year, essentially. It, going back even to, a little bit into last year has all been related to Discord, whether that was uh, the crowd shit, yeah, uh, but... whether just a a anything, alt-right leaks, the shit going on with Braving Ruin, uh, just fucking every, it's like a horrible service. E and even if it's not user from the user end, right, where people are doing weird shit or being accused of weird shit, Discord's just like fucking knocking people off left and right from bad press. It's true. Yeah, that's true. The, the deletion of rooms and stuff. But to be honest, well, yeah, when's the last time you heard anybody say, uh, I saw a news article saying Skype has removed users for talking about polit or politics or racism? That's true. All right, that's that's actually a fair point, I have to say. I'll, I'll just say I, I remember a lot of drama coming out of Skype, too, though, back in the day. Uh, oh, yeah, fucking Skype. Skype cabals and shit. Oh, yeah, oh, like, I mean, I just feel like more people use Discord now, but actually that's that's the best point is... You know, you can pretty much do what you want on Skype. Nobody uses Skype anymore, so Skype is great. They're not going <laughs> to throw you off. I mean, I still I actually do use Skype, but I just don't, not for the group. I'm not in a lot of groups and stuff like I used to be. I use it. Once. I mean, I, I, I get it. Discord is more convenient, I guess, because you can do the shit you do on your yeah. show where you just bring people yeah. in and out. But um, I, I don't know. I have no interest in Discord. <laughs> It's not very trustworthy. Though I said that I don't know if you're listening to what I said earlier because I can't really get into the main channels and stuff because people are always sitting in there recording and and I don't know just yeah, the way it is the way we have it open so you know pretty much anybody can join it as, as people sit around. No, no uh, Richard Stallman, of course, and your chat yeah. saying Discord collects data on all the apps you use even when it's closed. Yeah, I've heard stuff like that. I know. I, I mean, know they have to be to make some kind of money because, like, there's no ads or anything on there. So, uh, I don't know. I, I we're already getting fucked with. Uh, you know, like if you have Windows 10, you're already getting bent over a barrel and ass raped. I don't know if I want to add on top of that. <laughs> Discord fucking me twice. Uh, somebody said the Ralph me personally retort. That is kind of a speech tick of mine. I do use that <laughs> phrase a lot. Me personally, which is kind of a redundant phrase, but anyway. Oh yeah, here's here's the thing. Uh, this is too good to be true. Remember what Chlorine said about that rat, which was rock against trafficking concert that was happening. The main show is members of a Journey cover band covering the police. What? <laughs> They're not even covering what? Journey. What? Say that again. What? Members of a Journey cover band covering the police. That was the main show. Hold on, I'll, I'll post this link. Uh, well, that's some hot Hollywood uh, music scene shit going on. A cover band covering another cover. All right. Wow. That's amazing. Coverception there. Uh, yeah, that's the link I was sent. I can't pull it up. But... Oh, did Mac Daddy ever get in touch with you to tell uh, tell you if you ended up with herpes after that fucking strip? I haven't heard from Mac Daddy yet, so I'm just... I'm or a sure. giant blue Dimadong. <laughs> rock against trafficking how fucking californian is that idea you guys children getting fucked and stolen is terrible let's have a rock concert fuck off california <laughs> that's literally yeah god oh, yeah, there it is. damn man <laughs> sedan has to pull it up yeah 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 yes the okay. only way this could get better is if it was sponsored by like fucking pizza hut or something yes major major uh major concert series so <laughs> somebody said mac daddy <laughs> Mac it's Daddy was a dick, dick show. Really? Wait, was he? <clears throat> that would be even funnier because I don't think I don't think Masterson recognized him. I don't think was. so either. No, I don't think so. Not at all. Oh yeah, that was so cool. Chris, Chris that sent me that. By the way, I see him in the chat. Yeah. <clears throat> Mac Daddy. <laughs> Somebody did a Photoshop with the. Uh, like Avengers poster and it had all kinds of faces on her on there. Oh yeah, it was yours funny. and ours and everybody. They had you as Loki, of course, Jim. And then uh at the top they had her face with on Thanos where Thanos goes and she had a Mac Daddy hat on. <laughs> oh and she had a I box did. of wine. Yeah, that was pretty good. Oh yeah, and there was a box of wine. Yeah, don't the box of wine. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of the Infinity Stone glove, it was a box of wine. <laughs> uh, 
man, that chick is, uh, she's something else. Just a stolen iPad under one arm, box of wine under the other. <laughs> yeah, basically. Uh, Melisma, there are also some other super chats I'm going to read here in a minute before we sign off. Uh, it says, Windows 10 is an absolute piece of shit randomly breaking. Also, love your show, Ralph. Thank you. I would agree. Actually, I mean, I use Windows 10, but it's, yeah, it's very frustrating. Oh, I see. I uh, thought you were, I, I thought you were getting a little bit of an ego there. I didn't think you were talking about the Windows 10. I thought you were replying to the I love your show, and you were like, yeah, I agree. Uh, no. My show is fucking awesome. No, 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 no. <laughs> No, I don't. I don't know that I agree with that at all. But, <laughs> but uh, it's always good to hear. Yeah. We have our moments. <laughs> Do you wanna wanna play that that uh, thing I got from Dick? Oh yeah. I yeah, have... you can't play it since, <laughs> since you said we're gonna play it. It's it's a serious vomiting. Here. Uh, what, Here, so, his podcast. So we yeah. said we were gonna play that, didn't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we did. <laughs> so so. Uh, Dick sent this tweet out, right? This fucking guy, Asterios, asked me and uh, Tokes Allen to keep his mid-podcast uh, throw-up audio under wraps due to embarrassment. Tokes Allen agrees, even though it would lead to people to his podcast. Not safe for human consumption. Now Asterios is going to paywall said soundbite. And the tweet underneath is Asterios going, Should I drop the vomit audio on my Patreon to totally scoop? I'm with Dick. So I went and said, uh, You should give this to us to play on the Ralph Retort right here and the guy was like well obviously what's your email and he, i said okay d uh, dm me and he dm'd me the audio oh so you have right. it yeah 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 we have it <laughs> i was I like, actually he posted earlier in our chat but i haven't listened to it yet yeah so. they're talking about star wars and all of a sudden he just you'll hear it it's pretty funny all right um okay. i'm gonna play it i guess do you have a way all to right. play it inside oh well, i guess we'll just watch the stream though yeah, yeah I guess. it's just it's just audio there's no all right, so we'll be delayed. Yeah, so I'll play it in three, two, one. Yeah, mm. I thought that was I thought that was super clever and super good, and um, that whole fight sequence to follow that was awesome. You never get to see oh, the red guys fight. That that was that was the first thing I thought is now I understand why the emperor surrounded himself by these red guys because like oh these red guys are super good at fighting they almost kill these kids yeah there's some badasses. They're the yeah, ones you it's want. Like, yeah, they all have their own cool, unique weapon. I mean... <coughs> sorry, one sec. Oh. <laughs> you alright? What? <laughs> <laughs> Awkward silence. Oh, uh, sorry. Star Wars you makes you vomit today? thinking about it. Yeah. Uh, oh, what was I going to say? Wait, is it what still going? Um, the Red Dudes. Oh, yeah. I hope oh. that those were there. the Knights of Ren. Yeah, he comes right back. He pukes, right. comes right back, and just starts talking again. Okay. All right, we got it. <laughs> sorry for the awkward listen party there. He <laughs> 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 to listen on the delay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry. Uh, so I was talking about Duck, fucking Star Wars, and he's like, oh, 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 oh. Duck Dick in the chat says, The Last Jedi was that bad? Yeah, it actually <laughs> yeah, was. Apparently it was. And I wanted to give it a chance, and I watched it, and I was like, this shit is just, ugh. It made him puke. I like The Force Awakens, but that one was terrible. Well, that was a, that was a nice way to, <laughs> yeah. to, to end up. <laughs> 